Hi, I'm Emma. I work with Cricut to help you get the best out of your machines. Cricut is a range of tools, machines and accessories that allow you to work with hundreds of materials. I love Cricut because it allows me to take craft projects I have in my head and make them a reality. You can customise and personalise your paper craft projects, your home decor, clothing. You can work with iron on vinyl, paper, card, wood, fabrics. The possibilities are endless. On the shows, I hope I can inspire you with ideas to help you become your creative best with Cricut. So make sure you don't miss the Cricut shows. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hello there, good morning and welcome. It's a brand new day here at the craft store and we've got an amazing day coming up. We've got a fabulous one day special which I'll be bringing to you in an hour's time. But this hour we're going all dreamy and we've got the fabulous dreamy girls including the wonderful Carol to my Ooh. right. Hey, I felt, I felt like we're going to have some sort of contest now. <laughs> and over to my left, in the left corner we've got the lovely Hayley as well. Good morning. Hello. Now, thank you ladies. You're joining us during our Christmas event so of course you can see we're bedecked with Christmas. We've got loads of fabulous things that you're going to be able to create as gifts maybe to adorn your home over the festive period but we've got two shows with the lovely ladies so you're back up at 10 o'clock 10 o'clock that's lovely. right yes slightly different focus during that hour yes i think so more into the stamps and the, the dyes on that lovely. one yeah but this hour, i mean hayley this hour we have got the most amazing mdf characters yeah we've got a, a nice range <laughs> put it that way we've got the characters we've got some kits that you've probably never seen before the snow glow so you can make okay. something 3d we've got our basics on as well it's just a mix of everything just That's great it. and Christmassy it is. it's a perfect opportunity for you to perhaps stock up on some of those essentials that you may be running a short of we've got some brand new items to share with you and we've got items for less than a tenner which means if you're taking part in our flex extravaganza which of course runs the right the way through until six o'clock this evening you can spread the cost of anything that you purchase over five pounds um, for over two payments so that means if you're going for one of the items for a tenner well, there you go. You don't need to be a mathematician. Two payments of a fiver will get it on its way to you when you post some packing being attached to that first payment. But obviously we're talking lots of MDF during this. Can I very quickly just show you these stamps? Because I think you might want to get hold of these ahead of the show later on. Because this is going to be the main... This is going to be the main focus when we get to um, 11 o'clock, not 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock even. So we've got um, these interchangeables. Now all will become apparent later on, but I know how keen you are on getting your dreamy products. So I just wanted to show these to you. You can see you've got little duos here of stamps and dies. In a nutshell, Hayley, what have we got here? Well, this is just some of our favourite Christmas images. Um, so what you've got is the interchangeable element there. So you've got lacy decorative pieces that will stay in with your cardstock. But also your outside edges cut out your stamps or you can obviously use your outside edge and your detail die to layer that up and you can really build up little characters obviously your stockings you can do in your pattern papers it's just a really nice easy to use but again one that will grow with you collection. i love it very very versatile I can see the versatility in those i haven't even seen them demonstrated so if you're wanting to jump ahead don't forget this will be the main focus when we get to 10 o'clock but if you want to make sure you've got hold of yours then the details are on your screen five one two zero four five just 20 27 pounds and 98 pence but the focus of the hour are these fabulous characters and i have to say the first bundle absolutely well actually before we get to the bundle let me tell you about the sledges because i forgot about the sledges off to my side here these are adorable carol got three sizes with these no aren't they so cute uh, the smallest one, we was thinking like you could have it as a Christmas decoration. Oh, that's you know, a good hang idea. it on your tree. Yeah. Um, and then obviously the middle one, it's so cute. 
the larger one you could make as a gift, couldn't you? And you put could. like smellies or or a chocolates. cheese board. I put the cheese on that on the dinner table. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, um, and they're just so cute, aren't they? Absolutely adorable. Now, so you easy get to all put together. three of these. Yes. For fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. My goodness, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> um, absolutely amazing. Obviously, you can see them in their boards when you receive them. You pop them out, put them all together, and there you go. Then you have fun adding your decoration to them. So, if you fancy getting hold of your winter sledge collection, just fourteen ninety nine works out at seven pounds and fifty pence. If you wanted to spread back cost over two payments, but you'll need that number, won't you? Nine two five four five five. If you wanting to get hold of those now. Characters. Last time I did a show um, with the lovely ladies, we had loads of cats and dogs and different animals and bunny rabbits, if I remember <laughs> rightly. Um, so here we've got characters. Now, Hayley, these are three-dimensional, but you're getting all of these for twelve ninety-nine. Yes. So these ones, they're about 150 mil tall, so about okay. 15 centimetres. Um, obviously, there might be a little bit of variant in there in size, depending on the sheet. But you do get all the layers to build up the clothing on there. You've got a gorgeous little um, reindeer that you can layer up all of his. Um, scarf and things like that, his <laughs> face. We've got a couple as well. If you just use the facial elements of some of them, you can make a separate project if you want. So oh, you could okay. always trace around the pieces and layer it Good up idea. with cardstock if you wanted to make a second project. I love um, it. But yeah, so you are getting the seven characters and they are just cute and Christmassy and simple. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. These are going to be real fun projects. I can imagine these sitting on mantelpieces and things like yeah. that. Works out just £1.80 per character. And of course, that's if you're using them in their entirety. But as Hayley said there, you may be able to kind of mix and match and play around with these and really maximise the bundle. But for £12.99, I'm sure you'll agree, brilliant value. So at 860-146 if you're wanting those. Now, these characters will become familiar because we've got them in different sizes. So if you want to go larger, then do take a little journey with me to the next bundle because with this one you're going to get again all the characters but on a larger scale on this um, uh, uh, this opportunity and I must admit these are fabulous I love these um, these are quite substantial pieces so if dexterity is an issue and little tiny fiddly pieces you're not so keen on working with then these are going to be a perfect one. Oh yeah absolutely and they are really easy I've, I've not really thought about obviously children doing them as well but they are easy to pop out easy to make the projects up and also especially the small ones at £1.80 odd each like can you imagine if you're doing those with your grandchildren and you make something for your mantelpiece just a decoration each year I think they'd be really cute and obviously you can make them into whatever you fancy. I'm going to have to fess up. I think I've picked up one of the larger ones there. I think this is the size that we're looking oh, at. Oh yeah, it's, there, um, it? it's about 22 centimetres. Okay, they medium you. sizes. So I yeah, this know. obviously, the gorgeous penguin as well and his little hat on there. They, you can go to town if you want or equally they'd look so nice if you just did them white and white with a bit of glitter. Definitely. And I know how frugal you guys are. Obviously you've got your multiple layers with this one but your tummy there, that is a separate piece. Maybe you're just going to trace around that, keep it quite flat, paint it and use that on another way. Obviously use it with regard to cardstock if you're wanting to. But you are going to get all seven of those characters again. They're nice to work along with all three sizes because you've kind of got your small, your medium and your large coming together potentially. So if you're wanting your medium size, you can kind of see them in comparison with the little chappy that's down at the front there. So that one obviously is your lovely lady, but you're going to get all your different characters in there for just £19.43. Um, 812391. Incidentally, if you want to go for all three bundles and spread the cost over two payments, you can do. You don't have to wait till your order gets to £60 or more. Extravaganza. Take advantage while you can. Now, gave you a sneaky peek of the uh, the range. You can understand why I went straight for him. I mean, what a cutie. Absolutely adorable. Um, but he's not the only one that you're going to get in this bundle because, again, you're going to get all seven. But what a phenomenal price. Less than £25 you are going to get. Now, I'm jumping ahead again, aren't I? The gnome is in the bundle. No, 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 the gnome's, oh, in, the gnome's in them as well. As well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm tired to miss that off. <laughs> yeah, the gnome's in all the bundles. He was so popular, oh, so we split him off as well. But amazing. And you've got a little bit of a series of gnomes going on, I understand. Oh yeah, we, we tend to make everything into a bunny if we can, obviously, because I love bunnies. So yeah, we've got bunny gnomes, we've got all sorts. But Hello. yeah, so keep your eyes out for the rest of the gnomes. Um, <laughs> and you will love these. I mean the gnomes are not just for Christmas, are they? Obviously no. if you put Christmas on the hat, then maybe, but you could use them all year round. Now if you're wanting to get hold of these seven characters, they're thirty centimetres high so you're looking at more of your 12 by 12 paper size if you want in a comparison but 24 pounds and 93 p for all of those you've got 10 pounds saving on those five one 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 two three if you are wanting those as well getting busy it's good to have your company now there's no place like no there you go that's the pun for the hour and with this one you've got your different sizes with these ones so you've got your small your medium and your large 
for less than a tenner. These are one of the best buys that you've got during this hour. I mean, spending less than a tenner. It's one of those ones that even if you haven't got a, a reason for getting them at the moment, it's worth getting them because they're going to be useful for, as gifts for people, last minute gifts maybe. Thinking ahead to Christmas decorations. I know I'm not doing my Christmas decorations yet either. <laughs> but it's nice to know that you've got them there ready for when you do want to get started. 289-503. If you wanted to get hold of yours, the trio coming together for just nine. $9.99. Brilliant value for me. It's a nice one for the kids to be making with those as well. But then snow globes. I do love a snow globe. Um, not just for Christmas either. You see them all year round, don't you? People collect them as well. And this is a lovely one because you've got three-dimensional um, snow globe with this particular piece that you've got. All the elements. Hayley's going to be putting this one through its paces. But you've got have you got all the elements to make up your scene as well? You have, yes. Yeah. So we've just put the reindeers, the little house and the trees in there for you. But obviously you can build a scene in there if you wanted to but you do get the option of the base in there so you have got a scene base so you can pop all your scene in if you want but you've also got a flat base if you do want to build something different inside so it really is versatile beautiful now i'm sure you will have spied around the outside of that fabulous snow globe there some little pearls which i'm going to tell you about but 076861 if you wanted to get hold of your snow globe but you have been shopping ahead to get hold of these now carol i know how you love to add these to your projects oh yeah it's just that little bit of extra uh, element on your finished project and I think it brings it all, Doesn't all it just? To, to life then yeah and we've got the lovely colors there the white green Gorgeous. and red obviously for Christmas um, but yeah they are such a something that you're going to go to all the time definitely now they're flat backed um, yeah. and I, I like the fact that you're basically using your adhesive to put these in place that's right yeah yeah nice nice um, and easy isn't it yeah Love it. Um, all of those, £11.96. pence. You found them by yourself, but I thought I'd mention it to you. It was all into my finger. Oh, it's lipstick. Don't worry. <laughs> um, so, um, 679159, if you're wanting to get hold of that, please do so. Um, now, um, you've been looking at some, uh, again, looking ahead to find all sorts of different bits and pieces. Now, these ones, I think these are the stamps that I tried to show you earlier on. Um, I'll show you the packaging to start with, because I've lost the stamps themselves. You will get the stamps. Um, these are pretty, again, Carol, such a traditional look. They are, and I mean, you can do them like in emboss. Uh, oh, yeah. If you need to emboss those, they look absolutely stunning. And you can use your pattern papers, you know, and they're easy to fussy cut around. Mm -hmm. You get your stamps and your leaves and your little pearl embellishment there, Definitely, you know, your, yeah. your sprig, which I tend to put pearls on. On the little round nice bit. Little so yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. Yeah, I like that. And it's nice because it's not just a Christmas style flower, is it? I mean, it could be a clematis, it could be a daisy, whatever colour you choose to use. Look at the price. $9.99. If you're just getting started with your craft, and then this is definitely one to go for. But, um, details on your screen, 544-576. I will give you a little kind of nod to urgency. One of our most popular items so far are those fabulous gnomes. You're going to love in that trio of gnomes. Not I mean, less than a ten. It's worth stocking up on those, isn't it? Now, of course, something else that you might want to have a little look at is the website, because on there, there is everything you could possibly wish for. Um, you've got all those wonderful, dreamy projects that we're featuring during the hour. Some of the things we've not touched on, so you've got three-dimensional trees, as you can see there. Bump a pack of baubles. These are huge. You can see they're 150 centimetres um, in size. You're going to get 10 of those for 9 99 So, again, it's another one that's definitely worth adding into your basket for that price. Um, and, of course, there's loads and loads that you might want to add in in there. Got some new paper pads to share with you during this particular hour as well and of course familiar favourites as well with your shades of sparkle um, to be able to put all your little bottles in there. So there you go, those are the brand new paper pads. You've got a bumper bundle of them all three together or you can kind of choose those. Something else you might like to have a look at. It's the first time that we've bought you a pick and mix with regards to your pollen stamens as well. So that's a nice opportunity. And of course some of our favourites though, we love those little card, card creators and those additional little bits and pieces that you can just pop in as and when you need to the fluttering frames as well we'll see that one in action later on so first demo of the hour we're going to hand over to Hayley and you're going to be showing us the snow globe I am yes so I'm just popping out my pieces um, so these are really simple they're just tabbed in a couple of places so all you need to do is just give them a press um, so you can see there you do also get obviously your scenes and there's a little bit of engraving on there if I turn that around so you can see whether you're using your plain base or your scene base so they're just in these slots here so as you pop them out you know exactly what you need to use um, you also get, if I grab my other sheet, just at the top here, you've got two slightly bigger tabs and they are marked 
just so you know, these two go in your top slots. Ah. So it is all self-explanatory and you do get your instructions in there as well. So you've not got to worry. If you do get stuck though, it's us you speak to. So that's, you can call up. So these again, they're tabbed in in the center. So if you want to completely knock all of this piece out, you can do and make it completely hollow all the way through. So if you wanted it completely see-through, you can do. And all you're gonna do is just literally use this one. Just slot in all of your pieces. So your two bigger ones straight in the top and then your little ones all the way around the edge. And that's literally as simple as it comes together. And obviously your seam base or your um, plain base if you want. And then just pop that on the top and it does go so easily together. So I have done it before because it is a little bit fiddly. Okay. Um, and and you just want to spend your time. And something that's worth what I call a dry run. So before you get your glue in place, just put it together yeah. so you know where it's Always goes. worth doing that, isn't it? Just in case you're not familiar or anything like that and you just think, oh, I want to give it a try first off. So I've put my seam base in the bottom there and I've just covered up the holes where my reindeers would be because I'm not going to put them in. Okay. And then this is one of the papers from the, um, it's the Icy Blizzard paper pad. Yeah, pretty paper. They really are, yeah. Like They've got, it's a gorgeous pale blue and kind of a hint of green in there as well. So it's a really nice one. It's got a hazy look to them, I like Yeah. It. So what I've done then is I painted it just with some white gesso and I've just popped a little bit of the... Um, in fact, I don't need to do that yet, do I? I'm getting too ahead of myself. <laughs> getting excited. I need to put my scene in. So what I've done is I've painted these, just popped a little bit of green on there and then just some glitter on it, just as some snow. Lovely. They are really simple to do. Obviously, you can cover them if you want to and then they're just going to pop into the back slot in there. Oh, that's simple enough to do. Yeah. So that just builds your scene up really easily. And obviously, you can do them whatever way you want. So if you want your house on the same side as your tree, you can do like that. So that's what I've done with that one there. So are those symmetrical? So if you wanted the house, say, on... Where am I? It's on the left-hand side. If you wanted it on the right-hand side, can you flip it back? Yeah, like, oh, so okay. whichever one you want. So uh, tradition, well, traditionally, as we designed it, this house would be on the other side, so you've got an oh, even okay. scene. But I just wanted it that way, so nice. that I've just got a bit more open space on this side And I suppose here. if you've got other stamps and dies, you could put little characters in there if you, you wanted can. to yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. Aww. So don't just think of it as the scene that we've provided. It can be absolutely anything. Right, so I've just got some red liner tape just around the edge. Now, the reason that I'm putting some acetate over the top is because of where the slots are. If you put your acetate behind it, it'd be a little bit difficult for you to pop then all of your little pieces through it. Oh, OK. So I'm going to make my snow globe. I've cut a piece of acetate just to size. Pop the tape around the edge there, and then I'm going to add some gesso and some um, glitter around the edge there just to hide that. Ah, that's so a good tip. I've just got my brush. Just dabbing it in place. Yeah. Just while you're doing that, Hayley, I need to give you guys at home a bit of an update. Our gnomes, or not my gnomes, but the <laughs> Dreamy's gnomes, um, are causing a bit of a stir. Um, lots of you taking advantage of them, um, so much so that 10% of the stock has gone. We knew they'd be popular. They always are. Whether you've seen them as your Easter bunny gnomes or whether you've seen them as Christmas gnomes, it makes no difference um, that you've been wanting to get hold of these and been going for them in multiples, I believe. So if you're wanting these, 9 99 um, Talking of multiples, same item number, so no additional posts and packing so I'd potentially go for a couple of sets of those I know you're getting three in there but I think when you start creating and crafting with them you'll wish that you've got a second set for kind of a future project so do treat yourself to a couple of those and also you could have the same size almost like little bookends couldn't you um, so uh, yeah uh, do like that symmetry idea with them it's almost like a crowd of gnomes um, so if you wanted them 289503 for each set of three you're paying just 9.99 Right. Oh, look at oh, that. No. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Right, wow. so I've just dabbed my white gesso just around the edge of that. Now, I would usually use an anti-static bag just to not get any glitter on my acetate. Okay. But it doesn't really well, it's matter. It's not too bad. Because then you just get the snowy <gasps> wow. effect. So what I'm going to do is then I'm going to layer up some flowers just to make that a little bit neater as well. But you've still got then the acetate. You've not had to trap it all inside. It's Pretty. not difficult. So, yeah, you can make it as decorative as you want to. Or obviously, you don't have to put acetate on if you don't want to. And I know how creative our viewers are. I mean, some of them will oh, find yes. little ways of putting LED light in there oh, and get yeah, a proper absolutely. little thing going. Yeah. I think there are the odd little gaps as well. So if you did want to feed your uh, lights through, you could do that. You'd yeah. be able to get your battery pack That's through as you're putting yeah. it in. Yeah, definitely. That'd look gorgeous. Right, so now I've got some flowers. So I've just got these are from the Fancy Florets. And again, I've die cut these from some of the papers from the Icy Blizzard. 
So I've got quite a few. I've, they're not all perfect. I literally just tear they're my beautiful paper. Beautiful colours. Oh, These yes. come from that paper pad again. Yes, they the do. The Blizzard one. That's mm, the one. Yeah. Nice. Gorgeous. They're beautiful. Just flicking through those papers, they're double sided and they're not all yeah. just Christmas things. You've got things, just very, very quickly show you. You've got things like your polka dots in there and you've got obviously your snowflakes. So lots of things that will relate to Christmas, but they're not all Christmas by. Well, actually, can I turn around and do it the other way? I don't know why I did it that way. <laughs> Um, but there you go. That's better. You can see them better now, can't you? Um, so look at these. Double-sided. Um, oh, and it's quite nice, actually, because you've got the kind of the bluey tones on one side, but more of a greeny tone on the other. So if you are working on a project where you're wanting that contrast, I know lots of you do things like your, your paper folding and things like that, then you've got those there. But those are beautiful. Of course, those gorgeous. In, that's clever. I like that because you've kind of got two for there, haven't you? You've got two of those fabulous scenes there. They're great for DL cards. Those are designed yeah. by a crafter. I can tell that. <laughs> Getting your most out of your money there. <laughs> and of course, you've got those gorgeous kind of marble effects in there as well. So as you can see, not just for Christmas at all. And that's just one of those three. So that one obviously is your Icy Blizzard. is available by itself, but the saving is if you're going for all three together. Tempt you with the others a bit later on. How are you getting on over there, Hayley? Lovely. Right, so I've just layered up a couple of flowers. I've just grabbed some pollen head stamens. So I've just got a few of these. I've layered up three together so far. So this is just one of the flowers that I've made there. This is, um, it's called Signature Sprays, but it's part of the Fancy Florets collection. So this one looks quite poinsettery. So it's a normal everyday flower, but you can actually layer that up and make it look all spiky and poinsettery. So that's what we've done. So I'm just going to make another one. So I'm just using the ball tools. Now the, the pollen um, head stainers, don't forget, it's the first time we've seen them as a pick and mix. So do check those out. Um, obviously, everything that Hayley's working with, the papers, the ball tools, all of those are available. And all of them are available for you to kind of pop into your basket and spread the cost. But if you want your florets, stamps um, and die collection, 15 stamps, 34 dies. My goodness, you're getting a lot of dies in there. Um, two flexi buys, £22.50p. Those flowers as well are similar to the interchangeable um, concept that we were talking about earlier. Oh, okay. So you have got your outside edge, which is what's made this plain flower, but then you do get your detailed flowers in oh, there as well. Okay. And your stamps, obviously, that coordinate. So there is a really nice collection. So I'm just layering the three up and then just pressing in the centre. And then I'm just going to use my tweezers. You can use a pokey tool just to poke through to make a hole for my stamens. So we'll give that a good space. And then I've just got three here. So they're double-ended. So all I do is just grab what I want and then just fold them in half. And then we can just twist that out and then just pop that through. And then that's just going to oh, make the centre that. there for the flowers. And obviously you can adjust it. And because you've got, I think it's eight different colours to pick from, obviously if you're doing a pink Christmas mm -hmm. or a lilac Christmas, you can do whatever colour stamens you want then. Can you change the colours as well? Because the, the white ones there, can you, I don't know, use your inks and things on Yeah, there? you okay. can use your dinky inkies, you can use um, alcohol markers, oh. anything that you would normally change, for instance, your pearl colours with, you could yeah. do that with them as well. Or spritzing, your gilding waxes, anything really. Exactly, versatile then. Yeah, absolutely. Right, so I'll just pop these two, I think, shall we go? One, two, I just want you popping those Sad, in place. Yep. Um, can I quickly mention those stamens that on the website's place, place for you to shop because you'll see all the different colourways that are there. Of course, when you are choosing three of them, it doesn't have to be three different colour tones. So if you're wanting to go for lots of white or lots of blue, then you can go for repeats of those ones. I'd keep an eye to that item because I think you'll want to reference these and go back to them time and time again. So it is something that you'll find in the brand section. Um, but um, just in case you need the number, 319-685. Um, and like I say, keep a note of it because I think you will want more of those as time goes on. Right. So then I've got another couple of flowers then. So these are slightly smaller. And again, we're just going to do the same sort of thing and then just layer those on top of each other. In fact, I think we'll leave them as ones and then we can create two arrangements. So we can leave them like that. I can pop some pearls in the centre of them as well. Right, so if we bring this back in, I've just made a little lace bow that we can attach to at the top. That's just going to go into the centre up there. I would suggest you make sure that your gesso is dry before you do this. <laughs> I don't know. If, no, mine's clearly not. <laughs> <laughs> Um, right, so I'll add the flowers too at the bottom as well. So I'm just going to add them 
just slightly above my layer. So you do get these panels as well if you wanted to add those on as a layer. Okay. So you can obviously use them flat if you wanted to draw around it as a template. But you can layer the MDF on like I have as well. Wonderful. So we'll pop these to the side here. Right. So yeah. then we can add... They're a good size, those slides. But I like the way that you can kind of choose how many layers you have. So you can yeah. have them as flat as or full as you want. Yeah, that's it. And also, um, this isn't even the biggest size. So these are probably the medium, three and third or fourth mm -hmm. okay. size. So you do get bigger than this as well. So you can make some really right. nice flowers. That's good to know. Right, we'll swap our lace bow. In fact, we'll leave the lace bow off. And then I've just got, these ones are at one of the different flowers in the same die collection. Oh, so these okay. are the paisley petals. So what I've done is I've just chopped it out of sage green. And then I'm going to turn it into some holly petals. Holly petals, holly leaves even. Clever. So I've just chopped two of those and then I'm just going to bend each one in half. And then just back Shows up again in the centre. There you go. You can see that we've got Clever. kind of a little holly leaf sort of effect there. So I'm just going to pop those in the side of my top. Flower. Now we are getting very, very busy for those snow globes. Of course, this is our first demonstration of the hour. We've got MDF concentrated um, on really during this hour. Um, and if you're wanting to create this particular project, such an affordable way for you to get hold of the elements. Obviously, you're going to add your decoration as time goes on. But your raw um, snow globe that Hayley started with, just £9.99. That is beautiful. It really is. And also, you can sell anything you make with your dreamies products as well so if you are making to sell obviously for yourself a charity or anything that's fine with us i think it's a lovely little one and i know a lot of time uh, around christmas time people will use them almost like a, a little kind of memorial piece as well i mean a picture oh, frame you could make with this one yeah. absolutely beautifully um, and again that'd be a gorgeous brilliant if, if it's a missing family member this year exactly. or something yeah yeah absolutely adorable and i love that um, do try and put stick those little led lights in there as well because i think you'll get a fabulous effect but what a lovely little scene as you can see and this time we kind of got the, the, the trees on one side and the little house on the other because it's all about personal choice that's the beauty of this but you've got all the elements for it to come together just make sure you've got your glue which of course you can find on the website as well um, and the details will show you what you need so 076861 if you want in them now those items are just less than a tenner 999 something else that's less for, uh, than a tenner and causing quite a stir is your gnomes your nordic gnomes now you're actually going to get all three of these three different sizes so you've got your little one that you can see um, at the front there you've got your medium size and your large as well so you can see you've got a little trio of gnomes in fact there is a collective noun for gnomes is it i don't know if you were aware i didn't know but kirsty has done a little bit of research and it's a donzy a donzy of oh. gnomes who'd have thought it there you go <laughs> um, so if you want to, to create your own little donzy then you can do <laughs> 289 um, 503 i think at some point we need to have somebody have that as the details on the screen a donzy of gnomes <laughs> there you go um, but so if you wanted to get hold of yours, the details are there. Nine ninety nine for each set of three. They're on the same item number, so if you want to go for multiples, you can. But again, you still have the ability to spread the cost. Because of Flex Travaganza, through until six o'clock tonight, you can spread the cost of anything over a fiver that you're purchasing. So do not miss out on these. Two eight nine and five zero three if you're wanting those. Um, lots of other characters, obviously. Um, we've been talking about Christmas characters. So you've got oh, naturally a snowman's going to make an appearance in there. You've got penguins featuring with these as well. We've got gorgeous little girl and boy as well now these ones are the larger pieces so these are the largest of the three different sizes so um oh yes these ones are the largest ones so yeah if you're wanting these ones i have to keep checking i'm looking at the, the back of the set and it looks different to what you're looking at um so uh, yeah the largest size here again you're gonna get all seven of those characters um at 30 centimeters high so really good height as you can see they're quite a substantial piece so plenty of room for you to add your decoration but it's the same characters so you've got obviously the little reindeer i've shared with you you've got the snowman featuring on there you've got your penguin in there your little boy and girl um featuring as well as your gnome as well so really nice little collection that one like those ones a lot then next you've got your medium size now this is useful because with regards to these you can kind of do your small medium and large if you're wanting to 
So it's like a little family, a family group. So with this one, if you wanted to go for these, these are 20 centimetres high. Um, and again, exactly the same characters, exactly the same shape and kind of style, but just on the smaller scale. So on these particular ones, if you want in these, 19 pounds and 43 pence, we'll get all seven of them on their way to you. 812391. And then finally, your last family members and your little characters again for Christmas. Um, again, a set of seven, but this time you're looking at 150 centimetres um, high, Really good height with these as well. Perfect for table decorations, I would say. So if you fancy these, 860146. Again, brilliant value at £12.99. You can add them all into your basket, spread the cost of all of them if you so choose. But don't forget those additional bits and pieces that we're speaking of, um, like those little pearls. In fact, I've got a feeling we might see these in action. We're going to go over to Carol for her demonstration. And you're going to be working with one of the characters. I am. I'm using the large snowman. Oh, uh, this is beautiful. I must have Oh. Out of all the Christmas characters, the snowman's always my favourite. I love it. Uh, yeah. Really so, good size as well. Yeah, now, this is. is the largest size that it you're is, working with. Yes. yes, it is. So uh, that's the one that I'm going to do. I'll just pop it down there so I've got something to reference. So obviously you get your base and everything. Everything is like 3D so you can make it up. Or you could just do it single if you wanted to. Um, so what I've done, I've just got an A4 piece of card on here left the bit at the top so that is like the the height of the a4 so you can see oh uh, see, yeah. how big it is i'm just going to go around the edge i've done some of it but just with one of the chocolate syrup dinky inkies and then first of all i know we don't always cover how we how we do the mdf you know okay. actually cover it oh, I so see, yeah. i thought i'll do that um with the hat and then obviously i can put this on last off so i use just the go-to glue just quite a bit on there and then i just spread it out with my fingers wonderful and the go-to glue i mean obviously you're using it for paper going on to mdf i mean could yeah. you use it for your mdf construction oh yes yes oh, right, you can okay. yeah um i probably won't this this time because no. it's just for quickness but some yeah at home to. i do yeah so then i just put the paper on and just smooth it out make sure your glue is all over the mdf okay smooth it out so we don't get any like air bubbles that's one of the new papers isn't it, it a is. beautiful yes, color it's the, I can't, is it the, this one's your vintage christmas that's it vintage look. christmas Each time you're picking them up i'm having a thumb through i know i'm a bit right, so I'll just leave that on one um, side there then <laughs> and all three are just very very quick i showed you the blue didn't i show let me show you the vintage one so you can see those gorgeous kind of dreamy tones as you can see there and again similarly to the previous ones we were looking at you've got different colorways in these you've got different designs in these as well so please don't think they're just exactly the same as we saw previously just in a different color tone you've got your point setters, you've got your little lanterns in there and lots of wonderful script as well all uncoated so if you do want to change the color of them you can do and again these are in that bundle that we've got on the screen there but again they are available by themselves as well but if you want all three four five five zero one six for those as well lovely thank you carol you're welcome right so i'm just going to pop a little bit of sisal in everything on here as well so we're just going to pop that underneath this bit over here so just get a little bit of that on and then I've just torn some papers the other papers and this is the one that I'm going to use the sentiment out of as well because we've not got any Christmas oh, sentiments clever. in the show yeah you know you use, use something like that right so let's just get some of this on here then so that's just got some point setters on I'm just popping these on as they are, nothing major here. Okay. Just so we're getting a little bit of something on there. Right. And then I have got his scarf. So this is one of the embossing folders. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. I think they are on the show, but I don't know if they we'll probably, actually um, listed as yet. We'll probably see those up close, more so at 10 o'clock, because we've got another yeah. show with the dreamers then. That's right. So you've got all your places to see where you've got to put them so don't think oh crikey where am i going to put the scarf it is all made out for oh, you like clever, here yes. is where i put the mittens yes so you know you've not got to think oh oh i've put that too low down or too high up or or whatever um right so then that is my base 
if I just do this little bit of holly as well. Mm -hmm. So what I've done here, I've done gesso underneath. Okay. Just so we get the true colour of the dinky inkies. And then all That's I've... a good point because you kind of got that, that kind of um, like a talk tone, haven't you? Of the That's MDF. right, yes. Yeah. it does affect it, yeah. Yeah. So then all I've done is straight with the ink pad, straight over there. Obviously, I did do that previous and then just the red in the center those are gorgeous and colors. then the nose i'm just going to use the peachy again just a little bit of gesso on there and then just straight on with that and you get a true color with that you can brush it on if you want but i just think it's easier with the ink pad just do it like that yeah. let it dry a second or two and then we're we're okay Wonderful. um Right, so if I can just show you the stamp. So these are the same ones, actually, that Ailey was using. Uh, the Fancy Florets, the signature sprays. So we're just going to stamp this out. Just on one of the pattern papers. I've got some already done. So you can see there how nice that's that stamp. beautiful. It's a useful flower, that one. Oh, it is. It's mm. very useful. And same as we were saying, it's not got to be Christmas. Good it can point, be yeah. everyday ones. And this is what we want very often, isn't it? That um, the versatility of your flowers. Right, so we just add a little bit more sisal on the top of here. Again, all the additional bits and pieces that Carol's working with, you will find those on the brand section for the Dreamies as oh, well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, so I've got that onto there. Oops. And then... These are the flowers, obviously. I've just stamped that one out, so I'll just make one up. So I've just got two of these, just fussy cut round, and just twisted the petals, just oh, with my okay, tweezers. Yeah. Just That's a good sized pair of tweezers. Oh, you I do know. some damage with those, Carol. <laughs> yeah, and I broke one end, but you know, they're my favourites, so. <laughs> so there we go, just twist those like that. And then just the ball tool in the centre. Just like that. Just a quick press in there. I will use the hot glue again. So this is the flowers that I've created for this. So we oh, just get that papers. little... They're substantial papers as well. I mean, they're oh, really keeping the shape. Yeah, they are. Mm. So that is the flower. Lovely. And then I've just popped a pearl. Oh, a red pearl yes. in the centre there. I knew we'd see them making an appearance. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've got to have the pearls on, haven't we? That's it. Now, those pearls, they come in a little trio pack, so you're going to get your, um, your kind of pearly tone, as in your cream pearl. You're also going to get your green as well as your red, um, and, uh, yeah, definitely worth adding into your basket. They're kind of fundamentals alongside those stamens, really, aren't they? If you're making flowers, you need either pearls or stamens, or both, hopefully, as well. Um, so eleven ninety six if you're wanting those three little pots. They're brilliant value for money, Six seven nine one five nine if you're wanting them. Right, so I've just got the three buttons here, so I've just covered those used a, one of the embossing folders again and just got a little bit of ink on there so we'll just pop those down the center there we we'll pop them that one on top of that one this time so you get all your buttons as well so you know it's everything is included and that mdf i mean every little area that you've got you've popped something in there yeah oops right so I'll just pop his nose on <laughs> just pop that on. Right, and then what I'll do, I'll just go back to this just so we can Oh, yes, see. the hat, of course. Yeah, yeah, the hat. So all I do then, I personally use my scissors, but a lot of people do use knives, but I, I prefer scissors. A bit safer with scissors for me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's literally just trim round it like that. And then... I've just got a nail file at the side of me, which is what I use just to smooth it off. But Good obviously, finishing touch, yeah, yeah. But obviously you can use sandpaper or you can get the um, sand blocks, can't That's you? That's true, that, yeah. you can, yeah. So, yeah, I'll just do that. Wonderful. So then it'll just make it all nice and smooth and makes it finished off on the edge, which I've done on all of these as well. Lovely. Okay, so that's all we need to do for the MDF to cover it. Obviously, you can paint it as well if you wanted to, but I do like to use the papers myself. Right, so we're just going to pop that on to 
his head now. But same as say, the go-to glue is more than ample to stick all this together. It's just for quickness that I'm just doing it with the hot glue. Right, so this is the brim of the hat. So we just ink and Again, it's edges. adding all that dimension. It, yeah. yeah. And, and these I, are the kind of things that when you go out and about, you know when you get to Christmas and you the department stores do all their fancy sets and their fancy kind of things that you can buy and those baubles that cost you an absolute fortune just for <laughs> one. These are the kind of things that you see on display that you'd be paying a lot more than twenty-four ninety three for one of these characters. Bear in mind you are going to get seven of these. And Carol, as you said earlier, if you want to make and sell these, you can do. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what we encourage, you know, because obviously the more you make and sell, the more you can buy your crafty stuff. Stuff, isn't it? So, I mean, even if you were to look at a very, con and I'm not suggesting that you sell these for a fiver each, but straight away you're looking at £35 with regards to making seven of those. But I mean, you can right, yeah. you're looking at well, at least a ten or a piece with regards oh, to these, yeah. I would say. Yeah, depending I'd on what you're for one of these well, decorated. Yeah, yes, I would. Mm. So I've just had some little sprigs there, which are from the fluttering frames dies. And then I've got my mittens, so I've done one. Oh, look at this. And then we've just got this one, just to add a few pearls across the centre there. Have you got the papers on there as well? Because they look... Yes. It didn't look like they'd been knitted. Yes, oh. and that is uh, that is one of the embossing folders. This oh, is the... I this see. is the... Um, Fair Isle, sorry, I couldn't remember. <laughs> so, yeah, so like... like the it's very effective. The, the uh, scarf, scarf and that, you oh. can do it with, like, knitted, because there is a knitted one in there. And you've got all three of those embossing folders. They're, they're 3D ones, so of course you've got that additional depth with those ones, so even more so seeing that design. Um, at £19.97, 078089. We will see more of those in the next hour at 10 o'clock, but if you do want to shop for them, you can do. Um, you might not have a picture on there at the moment, but don't worry, you are going to get a lovely little trio. If you want to see them in the flesh, we'll show you those a little bit later on at 10 o'clock. Right, so then we have got our mittens, so I'm just going to glue these in place. Again, you have got your place where you need to pop it onto there, so you just your little bevel out bit there. I mean, I'm looking at this and the colour tone and everything it reminds me so much of a store that we've got in our shopping centre in Redditch. And it's kind of like a, it's almost like a, um, a, a whole year Christmas, you can always find yeah. Christmas things yeah. in there, um, this whimsical nature. And I can say, looking at one of these, very easily you would see these for at least £25 each in that particular shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. You yeah. Could, Especially because they stand up. That's yeah. right, and with it being Christmas, everybody spends that little bit more at Certainly Christmas, just, don't they? Yeah. Right, so then I've just got my sentiment here, which, again, same as I said, was out of the um, papers. So if you've not got any Christmas sentiments, use something like that, and it cuts up quite nice. And we'll just add that little bit of extra there. Now let's just get some foam pad onto here. That's all we need on there. I've just gone round the edge with the ink as well. And just pop that onto there. Again, we'll just do it on the cream as well, just to make like it stand Kirsty out. Kirstie she's been doing the maths. Oh, well, I she say she's been doing the maths. I think she's been doing a bit personal shopping, if the truth be known. <laughs> um, and she's been popping everything into a basket. So she's gone for all three sizes. Now, don't forget, you're getting seven of the characters in each one of those three sets we've been chatting about. So if you're going for the large, you're going for the medium, and you're going for the smaller ones, popping them all into your basket together. How much does it come to? All together. And I know she's spreading the cost as well. So it's £57.30. 35p um, but of course you can spread the cost over two payments so you're looking at 28 pounds um for with regards to um, and 67 pence with regards to your first flexi buy on those which if you were looking at getting the large ones anyway you're looking at 24 pounds and 93p aren't you now i know i've got your second payment but you would have 21 characters my goodness 21 characters that's going to keep you out of trouble <laughs> isn't it all that creativity and the beauty is they're really good sizes i mean obviously um we've got the, the snowman being made together but look at this one this one is adorable as your reindeer um you've also got all your catches your gnome your penguin they're all featuring there and they're all really good sizes with regards to the largest ones and those are the details that are on your screen there but carol i have to say i love the snowman that you've created those papers looks beautiful yeah. obviously this one what i've just finished um 
I've not put sisal at the bottom or pearls on the on the hat there on the holly, but obviously you can see the the. Uh, it, it is. It's a lovely character, and a lot of people do d go cream, don't they? They do. At it's a nice so, neutral tone as well. Yeah. And can I ask? Because I'm absolutely rubbish at doing faces on things, because I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. I'm just hopeless. So the actual face, the little eyes. I know they're only little tiny details, but are they on the MDF to start they with? They are. If you ah. look at one of these, if you can see one on the counter oh, there, I see one you can see down. there. Look. And oh, okay. I can't remember what I was doing the other day. But I needed it to be placed perfect. Right. So I just cut it around. Oh, I see. It wasn't just snowman because this is quite easy. But then use parchment, you know, like, oh, like you tracing. made your own little template. Yes, oh, and just did that. Okay. Scribbled on the back with a pencil. Oh, and then that good old tracing pe oh, technique. I used to yeah. love that at school. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, do that. It's, it's ideal. Brilliant. Thank you for that. And thank no you problem. for your demonstration. Thank you. Wasn't that fabulous? I really enjoyed that. That's going to look amazing in your home. And of course, the beauty is you can make it in whatever colour way you like, with, especially with those papers that we've got for you. So, the characters. The characters, all seven of them coming together here. I would hold the boards up, but I'm going to lose little elements there if I do so. But you're going to get, obviously, your snowman. You're going to get your fabulous little reindeer. And of course, you're going to get your gnome, as well as the other characters as well. So, the details are there on your screen. 511123. There you go. You can see all of those pieces there all coming together for just £24.93. and pence. Now, if you're wanting the medium and the small, obviously we've got those available. But if you have got that little hankering to bring more gnomes into your lives, then we can help you with those. For less than a tenner, you can get three of these, all three sizes. So you are going to get the larger one, obviously in the larger bundle we were just looking at, but you can't have too many gnomes in your home, can you? So if you're wanting to get hold of these, you can see we've got your trio. Now, obviously your larger one, you've got your medium with regards to these ones, and obviously you've got your smaller one. And again, Again, those characters are available if you're wanting them in the other characters at those sizes as well. But if you're just wanting your gnomes, then for less than a tenner you can get all three of these. They have proved to be one of the most popular items during this hour. You're loving your gnomes. And of course the beauty is they are um, flat at the moment. So until you actually put them together, you can store these away and save them um, for whenever you need them. Now of course, when you're looking at them, they're not just necessarily for Christmas. There's nothing on each one of those to kind of say it's just for Christmas and nothing else. So they could be birthday gnomes, they could be anniversary gnomes, they could be new home gnomes, if there is such a thing. In other words, that rhyme with gnomes. So uh, I, I wouldn't mind a new home gnome. I haven't got a new home, but I don't mind one. Um, but 289 it's almost a reason to go and buy a house. Um, 289-503, um, less than a tenner for all three of those. And Hayley, you're going to be showing us how these come together. I'm, I'm doing a sled, if that's all right. Oh, is that okay? Oh, sorry, I thought we were doing a gnome. No, it's all right. I is do okay? apologise. <laughs> it's fine. But if you know, you've got a gnome, then he could sit on your sledge, couldn't he? Of course he can, yeah. <laughs> Especially if maybe you've knitted something from the event. I'm sure there's That's been plenty true. of little crochet <laughs> critters or something. <laughs> um, right, so then, I've got the two pieces that go in the bottom of the sleigh here. So this is the medium size. Okay. So I've just heat embossed these. So they've just got silver embossing powder just all over them. I'll show you this technique a little bit later, but it is just literally first of all, all over it and then just your heat embossing Wonderful. powder. And again, these go together so easily. So they are all in a sheet. They're pretty self-explanatory. But you've just got your two pieces that then pop into the slots. So the best thing is, because they're all designed in-house by Jimmy, if it comes downstairs and we say, I don't know how that works, it goes back up. <laughs> so the best thing is, we, they are really simple and you can't really get them wrong. So you pop those two onto there and then they're all spaced as well. So you've got little notches that your little bars fit in between, so you've not even got to think about it too much. Doesn't look very comfortable at that stage. It I doesn't, admit, no. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't recommend you sit on it then. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of hot glue just in my middle space there. And then we can pop that onto there. So I'm just going to adjust it slightly further backwards. So I do try and make sure that they stay all in line whilst doing them. But obviously, if you want them all a little bit wonky, you can do. It's completely up to you. I can pop those into the slot there. So I did just paint them. Just um, It's a little bit of grey paint and then a little wash of blue over the top as well. Now, often when we're making things out of MDF and we've got the construction, we have to keep away from kind of the little joints where you've got bits slotting together. Do we yes. have to worry about this particular style? Um, not really. They are pretty forgiving in terms of the slats on the top. Okay. With your... Um, 
where you're attaching it to the base here, mm -hmm. then yeah, I'd probably suggest you do just avoid that because it is oh. just a little slot. Oh yes, you she, might, yeah. It's sort of like, it's kind of like a tooth that will yes. fit in together. So you don't really want that to be too full of glue or paint or okay. anything. We'll stick that afterwards. <laughs> right, so you can pop these ones onto here. So we're going to make this into a first Christmas gift for a little boy. Oh, because I thought whilst they're absolutely gorgeous and I would have them in my house, I also thought we could probably do with making like a purpose for them as well. So if you are buying them and you're thinking of gifts or something like that, that's a great way. And right. So I've just popped some hot glue into there and then I'm just slotting these in just into the bottom there, just so that they don't move anywhere. Like I said, you can use your wet glue as well if you want to, but this is just for speed. So we can pop that into there as well. You can see how quickly that has just come that together. That is so speedy. It really is. And even the painting as well, that's not really um, difficult to do or anything like that. So now to decorate then, I'm just going to turn it the other way around. I've got my mittens. Aww. So these are the interchangeables. And if you can just see, I've got the cable knit on there. Okay. So that's oh, one yes. of the wintry texture embossing nice. folders. Yeah. So we've got a nice little pair in just a pale blue and Very obviously you can see that gorgeous texture on there so all I'm going to do is you also get the little layers just for along the top of the gloves as well so you can pop those just on the top really easily so we can use a little bit of hot glue again just Wonderful. for that um, and if you are going for those interchange don't forget you are going to see these in action um, in the next time you're actually getting 10 sets of stamps and dies you've got 33 dies in total there's a lot within that bundle for 27 pounds and 95 pence so do treat yourself to those 512045 if you are wanting those right so then i'm just going to position a little bit of twine just onto here with a bit of hot glue because this is going to connect my two little mittens Oh, do you remember that? You mittens tied together so you didn't <laughs> lose them. So I'm just adding some little dabs of hot glue just so I can attach it a couple of places. And we're just looping it round. A little bit more hot glue on there. And then I can just move it down as well and then position for my second mitten. And that can pop onto there. So then as we trim that off then, at least we've got... A starting point for where this is going to go. Aww. So then we can pop the two little mittens on the bottom of there. So I'll just give them a little bit of a, a shape and these can pop onto the side. So I'm just going to add a dab of hot glue and then that can pop just on the top of there. I love it. Now, if you have just joined us, I know lots of you join us um, during the course of the hour. Um, we have sadly coming to an end before much longer. I don't wow. know where the time's gone. Um, so lots of you adding goodies into your basket, kind of finalising your purchases. Don't forget those goodies won't be on their way until you check your baskets out, though. And with some of these, they've been rather busy, so I'd hate for you to miss out on them. So make sure you're checking your baskets out before we get to the end of the hour to ensure that those goodies will be on their way to you. Right, so now I've just got some of the same flowers that we used earlier, so from the fancy florets. And I'm just going to chop into the centre of them a little bit. So this is actually watercolour card because I wanted the texture on it. Oh, just okay. And not really for any particular reason, just because I liked the way that it looked. <laughs> and it looked a little bit more wintry than just my plain white card. So I'm just again using my ball tool just on the back. And because we trimmed in between, that's going to help lift those petals up ah, even more than last time. Gives them a different look when you do that. It really yeah. does, yeah. And the good thing as well with the ball tools is you have got four, well, eight different sizes because they're double-ended. So you can really change up what sort of look you get in, whether you want it quite fine on the petals or you really want a curve around it or something like that. So I'm just pressing in the middle there. And then I can flip that yeah. over. There we go. Right, so I'm just going to layer up, in fact, I'm going to chop these in half and just make that a slightly bigger flower, I think. You do get bigger ones in the kit, but you can create your own if you want to. So I'm just going to add a blob of glue on there and then just place these petals slightly wider apart. Oh, that's a good tip. Just so that we're making that petal a little bit bigger. 
So we'll put That's a little, clever little glue trip. onto there. Like I say, you do get bigger flowers in the collection, but sometimes you a poinsettia, it's not always perfectly formed, is it? You know, so you've not is like seven it's petals nature, or something. It, yeah. yeah. So then you can sort of position the petals where you want them to be. As you flip that over, you want it to be a little bit messier. Right. So then we can press again into the centre there. And that's just really changed up what sort of shape flower that we've got there. So it's a little bit more messy and a little bit more poinsettia looking. Right, so then this is just going to pop on the top here. And pop that one onto there. And then I've got a few little pearls just for in the centre. So these are the AB white, well, the silver white ones that are in the description. So they have got a little bit of a B shine to them so they are nice and rather than pearly they're just a little bit more shimmery and then we can pop some some leaves in so these are from the fluttering frames so they're on the show we'll see those a little bit later so I'm just embellishing with a few of those little leaves there and then I'm just gonna so add on cute just my first Christmas Aww. just in the bottom corner there isn't that lovely and there we go and that's something that'll come out every single year yeah isn't definitely it? That's you the could put the name on there couldn't you and obviously it's something you're going to keep forever isn't it definitely Thank you. Thank, Thank you. So you. Down to the last three minutes of the hour. Where has the hour gone? Now, we are very busy. Your little gnomes, you've got all three of those different sizes. Now, you've got a couple of different ways you can get hold of these. So you can either go for them as a little trio for less than a tenner, brilliant value for money, or you can go for your sets of seven. So your sets of sevens will give you seven characters, including your little dinky uh, gnome that's going to sit perfectly on the little sledge that we just saw. You've also got your medium size and your large size, again, with all of those characters. But if you're wanting to go for the MDF... Um, known together you can do to be honest lots of you are going for all of those different bundles because of course you've got so many of the different characters i mean all the fabulous little characters we just spoke of the little uh, people obviously they're featuring in there as well medium size if you're going for the medium size ones you're going to get some um, little elements that are like your fabulous little penguin there and of course when you start talking about the larger characters then you've got things like your reindeer don't forget your little sledges though because they sit on there absolutely beautifully as well um, and uh, just a brilliant way of getting hold of those wonderful characters so you've got your small your medium your large seven characters in each one of those bundles check them all out on the web website because you can get hold of them or you can go for your gnomes all together but do not forget about those sledges i mean these are absolutely beautiful this is the largest version you've got your three sizes and of course lovely Haley's just taken us through and they all come together in a similar sort of way i'm guessing Haley. Yes, they do the big one is um double layered for your feet and your swirly oh, yes, bits yeah just so that it's um a little bit sturdier but yeah same concept Concept. makes sense i love it thank you so much um thank you for your demonstration thank you and carol thank you for your thank fabulous you. demonstration that wonderful snowman you're both back at um, 10 o'clock yes. yes looking we forward are. to it a bit, yeah. bit of card making during that hour yeah a little bit <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah you guys make sure that you do join us but please if you've gone for any of these bundles we are incredibly busy for all of them and don't forget the snow globe that we saw in the first demonstration as well that one's less than a tenner so it's definitely worth popping that one into your basket as well but um, the details on your screen for the sledge that we just saw the demo for um, at the bottom of the screen you've got your little characters so again just to reiterate each of these sets you're going to get your seven characters got the details for the small one coming up on the screen these are the ones that are 150 centimeters if you're wanting your 200 uh, sorry your not your 200 centimeters they'd be huge <laughs> your 20 centimeter high ones then obviously we've got different item numbers for those those are popping up at the bottom and finally your sets of your largest ones which are going to be your 30 centimeter ones they are available as well and don't forget your gnomes treat yourself to an extra little set of gnomes as you go as well ladies thank you thank for your you. company during this hour thank uh, you. we'll see more from you with those wonderful stamps and those dies as well those interchangeable dies looking forward to seeing those so yeah key thing is anything in your basket now is the time for you to be checking those baskets out still got flex extravaganza going on so even if you're spending a smaller amount as a tenner you can spread the cost over two payments and take advantage of getting those christmas goodies on their way to you nice and early but you need to take advantage of it before six o'clock because flex drive begins up will end then i'll see you in a little while <laughs> I will indeed do with the most amazing glitter star card. You're going to love it. Um, one day special coming up after the break. Then we've got an hour of Ross paper crafting before we have more Merry Christmas from the Dreamies.
Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are The Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs. We've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. On The Dreamies shows, we hope to further inspire you with all the techniques and tips that we can offer, hopefully getting you to use all of your inks, your flower making techniques, and really build on all the skills you probably already have. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and join Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy and pergamano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, We've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team. it's eight o'clock so it's a fresh look at the one day special and my goodness it's a cracking deal it's the most exquisite glitter style cardstock that you've got and I say glitter style because it's got that glittery aspect to it but it looks very different to things that I've seen previously naturally I am not by myself I've got <laughs> fabulous John Lockwood with me and I have to say this cardstock looks incredible it, it really really does it, it's um, I mean I never know I run out of things to say about it to be honest <laughs> and um, people must get bored with me waxing lyrical about a glitter cardstock but it has been so long in development and it is such a beautiful thing this is we we named it the waterfall and i can understand why because it has got that almost cascade that it runs has, through it, it it looks through as soon as we saw and the first sample we had was a little bit of foil that was an inch and a half square oh my goodness in silver that was it um and we looked at it and we just thought it looks like waterfall it looks it like water coming down but the fantastic thing about this is that looks like the glitteriest glitter card you have ever yeah, bought. Yeah, but there's nothing there. You don't move. There is nothing there. Yeah. And it is even that smooth that you can stamp and you can stencil <gasps> on it. Wow. Oh so my goodness. So you've got a sample there with an angel on it. Oh, yes. That's actually stenciled on with a stencil no brush way. and pigment ink. <gasps> Oh my goodness, even down to the fine detail of the, That's the sentiment. Stamped on. <gasps> the sentiment is stamped on in pigmenting. You couldn't do that on glitter cards. No, you could the texture. No. I mean you struggle on some cards. Yeah, that's to a good fair that point. Yeah. And that's what I love about this. If you are I love glitter, I love the glittery look. I love the glittery looking cards. Mm -hmm. um, and I play with glitter, but it has to be in like controlled environment. Yes, yeah. And at a set time and it all has to be done as one, then cleaned away. And it, it's one of those areas that some people just cannot abide glitter. They love the look but, but they're glitter phobic. I know, but we've got a, a mutual friend um a lovely um judith i think it's judith that used to have issues with glitter yeah, um, used to have allergies with glitter so there's a lot of people that um, can have issues now before we get into the throws of the one day special better housekeeping because you've already found this one you're probably already aware that every single one of the one day special shows during this event um with that we're talking about you are going to be able to get a happy hour deal now this is the one for this hour 
This is a phenomenal deal. This is a useful set, incredibly useful. But not only are you getting the stamps, but you're getting the dies with this one. This is an amazing deal, John. It is. It really is. We've, we've managed to sort of... I always say that um, the Crafts Do Warehouse is like Narnia. <laughs> okay. You know, I think it's connected to it because we <laughs> find things. Um, but we're able to sort of pull things together, and we need space, so we yes. always try and clear for people so that you can get some fantastic products, a fantastic deal. And this one I love because this is detailed, looks like hand-sketched holly. Gorgeous. That is stamped and die-cut really really simply it is Beautiful. so easy to do but i'll be using that in the second demo anyway just to show Lovely. everyone how easy it is now if you want to get hold of yours it's 9.99 for this hour and this hour only and that is stock permitting you've got um a little shy of 57 minutes to take advantage advantage of it you might think oh that's ages yet it's like nearly a full hour don't be surprised if it goes sooner than the hour, because that's what can happen. And already 10% of the stock has gone. We're just a few moments into the show. So that's why you need to be taking advantage and getting hold of yours while you have the opportunity. Details are there on your screen, 558720. Of course, with our Flex Travaganza event, even an item that's less than a tenner, you can spread over two payments as well, which means if you do want to pop it into your basket, it's only an extra fiver. Because I've got a feeling you're going to be adding all of these beautiful uh, foiled cards. No, well, they're not foiled. I mean, Foil it is glitter. foil. Is it classed as foil? Well, it's not. It, it, I mean, I checked the definition of glitter yeah. card, and basically, it is card that glitters. Okay. It is card that shines with the glitter. But there is absolutely no glitter used in it. It is actually done with a foil process. Right. So it's actually, if you look at every colour, can you see there's almost little streaks of silver in there? Yes, yeah. It's like the, the traditional waterfall is in silver. Right. Then we have the foil coloured to colours that we've chosen. Oh, I see. So we went through the Pantone chart, which okay. for everybody who doesn't know is like an international... It's, it's internationally known, yeah. Everyone knows those colours. That's yeah. how you choose colours. They've got colours. numbers, yeah. We chose those colours and we chose them, A, to be what personally it sounds horrible i felt was going to be big this oh, you're christmas so selfish. i was no, it was <laughs> literally the two pinks and the two blues are there for me um, but we chose those colors but we also chose those colors so it would match exactly with i think you've got it there our satin and gloss oh, card oh i see it's so coming together even right. though the satin and gloss is made by one manufacturer oh, okay the waterfall card is made by a second manufacturer you know, hundreds of miles apart, yes. we were able to make sure that they all tone or tie in because somewhere with what you may have got or what else we've got in the thing Beautiful. so that everything matches. And then it's basically hot foiled on. Okay. So it's almost like a Kaleido machine right, yes. in that it's hot foiled onto and it's hot foiled onto. And I always go on about this. It's like a white virgin card. Yes. Okay. And I say that because have you seen like mirror card and glitter card in the past? that's grey on the back. Yes, yeah. That is with recycled card. Oh, OK, all right. Which is great, brilliant for the environment. However, the problem with that is that it's fibrous, so it doesn't cut cleanly. Right. So when you get the bits and you get the little shivers and you get the little... You know the little edges around get, it. They look like they're bearded. Yes, got that's little, it. Little whiskers. Yeah, they have. So it's on to virgin cards. We made sure we get the best quality possible, but it allows you to do cards like this, which to me <gasps> that looks as if I've chucked a ton of glitter it at does, it. It does, yeah, yeah. And there is no glitter on that card at all. My goodness. Rapidly, actually, I think I've got that the wrong way around. I know. Rapidly approaching 70% of the stock has gone. Now, your one-day special are all the colours. These are brand new. We've not seen these before. So naturally, you're going to want them all. Details are on your screen there. You're going to get 40 sheets, so you're going to get all of the colours there. Absolutely beautiful, as you can see there. And this is a brilliant starting point because you'll have everything. Now, as time goes on, you will restock with these. You'll go for the additional packs. You don't have to buy them as a full set of 40 every single time. This is kind of like your pantry. This is your, your glittery what a glamorous panty you'll have with these <laughs> so these are all of the colors but then as you start using them you'll find naturally you'll have your favorites silver and gold it might be worth actually adding some extra ones of those in because these are ones that you're going to take advantage of and of course that gorgeous green is going to work so well alongside our happy hour as well with those gorgeous holly leaves as well which incidentally are flying out now zero zero eight six five nine if you wanted to get hold of this you can see the pristine cut that you've got with these it's got a very glamorous look to it a very chic look to it and it's glittery but not kind of brassy glittery sometimes you want it almost look like it's illuminated it, it's like you've i always this it's classy not brassy very good you basically you've had your hair colored in the salon yes you didn't just chuck a load of sun in on it and sit outside <laughs> for, for six hours hoping like i did as a kid <laughs> um, you've got a classy look to it and i think 
Glitter, sometimes people go, oh, glitter, and excuse me for this, and go, glitter looks cheap. Yes, yeah. 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 And it doesn't, if it's done right, Look it looks that. so expensive. Phenomenal. To be able to cut out dyes like this. Incidentally, don't go looking for that one because it's sold out. Sorry, I picked up, but, well, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to apologise. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Now, this is a telltale sign. Yeah. When you can roll it. Yes. And you've not got any of that crying. I mean, this is beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Now, that's what made... A cracker. <laughs> that's actually made, haha, -ha, with my proper cracker dye. Oh, OK. Which will be back. Ooh. It has sold out every that. time we've done it. You got it, didn't you? I got you? it, yeah. Um, we'll be back. But it, to me, I, what I wanted to do, it's and gorgeous. I didn't... The reason I didn't do it, I wanted to do a cracker in every colour to show people the colours. OK. I didn't because I knew that people would be going, where's the dye, where's the dye? Yes. But it shows, as you say, how well it, it folds. Useful. And if you look in the inside, if you turn... Can you see how how tight that is yes yeah. of that's cracked there's no fraying turn it there's around, nothing it's a bit difficult to see yeah. from the front but it's kind of this area isn't it that you'd see it on that curve you would see it can it's you imagine it's almost going 90 degrees almost isn't it yeah. yeah take a sheet of glitter card you've got at home yeah. of old traditional yeah and try and cut something as fine as that on it and roll it's it up and happen. watch what happens oh my goodness do not waste any of this keep all those scraps even your sentiments the tiniest elements you'll be die cutting with these and utilizing them but it's been a popular deal um, lots of you taking advantage of this to the point that 70% of the stock has gone. I've got a feeling that some of you, and this often happens with one day specials that are popular, you all dive in, get it first thing, and then you start thinking about, usually around now when we start talking about 70% having gone, maybe I should have gone for two of them. Still the chance that you can do that. And the beauty is because of Flex Travaganza, you can spread the cost of that additional one. So even if you did get hold of this last night, you paid for it outright, um, 19 98 For an extra, well, for tenner today and a tenner in a month's time, you could actually have a second set of these. You will have a second set to go to, which you will do. This will become your firm favourite. Be one of those ones that you almost look at your glitter card stock and it's like it's almost second best. <laughs> it's one of those things. But it's going to be beautiful, whichever you're using absolute gorgeous colours but don't forget you can stock up on colours so if you've got your favourites if you like your gold and your silver you'll find them on the website it's not the most economical way of getting hold of them but it is a way of getting hold of them and I would certainly suggest you add these in alongside go for your one day special spread the cost add in those kind of favourite colours it might be that you don't naturally go to your teals or go to your blues or go to your pinks you'll certainly be using your gold and silver and I'm guessing with these I'll ask John the question in a moment about changing the colour of them because I'm sure you'll be able to but don't forget those additional things that you can see there. Some amazing dyes. We're going to see some fabulous stamps coming up as well. And you can see five-star reviews throughout. We are busy. Busy, 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 not only for that one-day special, but for also those fabulous holly um, stamps and dies. This one, if you've just joined us, is your happy hour for the hour. You've got a little shy of 50 minutes to take advantage, and that is stock permits us to run the full hour with it. 558720. At this stage, over 30% of the stock has gone, and we had huge quantities of these. We know how you guys like a bargain. And you're looking at less than a tenner for both of these. You're saving more than you're spending. Ending. So make sure you're adding that into your basket. Definitely go for that particular one. Are you going to be using this one as well, John? I am, um, yes. We're using this one in the second demo. OK. Because I need to sort of switch machines over and things. No problem. So, But what I wanted to do is I wanted to focus on the... Um, on, I was nearly said the mirror card then, honestly. <laughs> my brain. Um, on the waterfall glitter card. So you, you can see how beautiful it is. I mean, this Gorgeous. is obviously my colour. This is the colour that I chose. This is a clever colour because it's, on some lights it's going to look blue, on other lights it's going to look more of a purple It is. If it. you put this with the um, chocolate box purple, okay, because I'm not allowed to say Cadbury's purple, You're so not, no. if you put it with <laughs> the chocolate box purple yep. um, that we do in the mirror and the satin card, this looks purpley. Yes. If you put it with the air force and the teal that we've got in the mirror and satin, it looks, looks more blue. Yeah, yeah, you mix it with colour. silver, it will mm. work. And that sounds weird, but you wouldn't normally put blue with gold. Yeah. Oh, no. But if I take a piece of gold, because of the way colour's done, oh, can look you at see... That. That's a regal collection. Now, that, that shouldn't go. Yeah. Because you do not normally put blue and gold. Yeah. Blue yeah. goes with silver. Yeah. So, but the thing is, so that's blue and gold. That's blue and silver. It works both ways. But look how different yeah. it looks. Totally different. So, I, I'm not trying to sort of 
thing or anything, but we were clever with the colours, or we tried to be. Can I very quickly ask, because with my, my brain, I will probably forget to ask later on, the lighter tones, the silver, can we change the colour of that with things like alcohol markers? Yes, you could, well, you can actually change the colour of it with pigment inks. Oh, OK. That's what I've done on the one that I stenciled. Perfect. So any of your, sort of, anything you can cut colour over with, you can. Perfect. So you don't have to use your alcohol inks. And you've still got that glitter content coming You have, yes. Yeah. Oh, and if you like, if you like alcohol inks and you like the idea of glittery alcohol inks, which... Oh, I feel a temptation I've coming I've never on. heard about. I'm going to be back next week with You some. are. I've noticed the schedule. You're in at the yeah. yeah. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to maximise the most out of this. So okay. last night I did the card and I said I would do the flowers this morning. Right. So, and I, the reason I'm doing this is because Sam helps me out an awful lot. He does. Okay. But... What I normally do is cut the card for him. Mm -hmm. I, he started, he prepped a demo for me um, with some glitter foam we've got on the show. Okay. Again, it's another bargain we've got on there. Um, but I didn't cut the card for him. Okay. So he took the die and he cut it that way. And in all fairness, it's something you naturally would you do. Would. Yeah. And it was great because I was able to say, that's what people do. Yeah. That's what's important. And he got two and a bit out. Right. The card and the die, all the dies from me are designed to be A6, so what you do is cut it down okay. to five, just over five and three quarters randomly, okay. or if you're metric, 15 centimetres, okay. and then cut it the other way to four inches and an eighth, so ten okay. and a half centimetres. Okay. And that way you will get any of my flower dies, any of my A6 dies out four times. That's a lot. Can you see one, two, three, Four. Yes. You're paying for this card, get yeah. the best out of Definitely. it. Definitely. But if you notice, I'll only get one out the other way. Yeah. There's no other way. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut one with the solid poinsettia. Okay. And I'm going to cut another one with this is one of the finest dies I've done. Wow. This You're gonna is cut the that pinstripe. As well? If you look at that small one, can you see there? how much detail, how much there is in there. Wow. Yeah? Yeah. Because we had it done onto a virgin card, mm -hmm. because it's a foil, because there's no... Because sometimes, again, if you're newish to die cutting, you'd look at this and go, well, isn't that going to blunt the die because it's yeah. glitter? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, because dies aren't sharp. Yeah. But secondly, no, because there isn't actually any physical glitter on here. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing to crack. I love it. Um, now, just as John's popping that through his die machine, I need to give you an update. My goodness, flying out. I know John's planning on using this in his second demonstration. This is your happy hour deal, but approaching half of the stock has gone. It's not even quarter past eight in the morning. Um, we are incredibly busy. Now, I know lots of you will have tuned in for the launch show last night, and you love watching John's demonstration, so you'll be back in, potentially, because you know there's going to be a happy hour at the beginning of every Every single hour that's why you're getting involved and that's why you're taking advantage but who would not love to get hold of this set it's one of the most useful sets that you could get now mm, um, I'm gonna apologize I'm gonna say it very quickly we've got nine minute cues on the phone sorry that's not my fault <laughs> I'm not taking the blame no, this is <laughs> Haley's fault um, so if you look on the back can you see there everyone's cut Wow, look at that. Yes, and again, a, a really, you know, a tip for anyone, again, die cutting, new or old. I mean, uh, Sam and I were actually watching a show a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. and um, Sam, who is new to all of this, was screaming at the TV, don't cut it that way, because we all learn all the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, but to show you, so the simple one, if you what, did you see here it crack off? Of, yeah, it kind of pops, yeah. It's because of the foil, so what you have to do is you won't find that they'll just drop out. You just have to ease each one out because it's made with a foil. And that's kind of what you would get if you were buying them pre-cut in a pack. Exactly. You, you, the same. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. you don't Ooh. want them to fall away completely, really, do you, sometimes? Yeah, I could do that, could, I could do that as a business. <laughs> <laughs> Have them done for me, cut them in this and then send them out. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I so, just work on 10%, you're okay. What we're going to do is, so I'm just going to pop these out just to show you each one comes out. Oh, that's a very satisfying And it is well. actually, I mean, if you want to, you could actually cut a load and just sit and pop them out at night. Yeah. You know, while you're watching the mindless TV that we all watch we at do, night. We do, we do, we watch that, don't we? Um, um, incidentally, if you plan on cutting out your holly leaves with this one, you might like to know that 60% of the stock has gone now of that die set. Uh, it's a happy hour deal. Um, we can pop the details back up on your screen. Again, the phone lines, if you can jump off the phone lines and get onto the website or the app and place your order. The only reason I'm saying that is that 
knows you can actually get your order on the system soon. And I know it's one of those things that a lot of people have no choice but order on the phone lines. I'm just hoping we've got enough to see everybody through. If you want to be purely selfish with regards to actually getting hold of your happy hour deal, then the website is the place for you to go to get hold of it. I don't want anybody missing out on it, but if you can jump ahead, I would suggest you do that. And also on the website, you'll see all the other lovely things that John's brought to us as well. So it might be a good way for shopping. And it can be frustrating when you sat on the phone line waiting to be served, can't it? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it can actually. I, I remember I had to ring, I think it was the tax office a couple of oh, weeks gosh, ago. Oh gosh, you don't be phoning them at the best of times, No, and do I was you? queuing for 50 minutes on there, and it's the most frustrating <gasps> no. thing in the world. At least you have decent hold music, and it's hey, and it's it's and Janice's keep, voice. And it is as <laughs> well. Because I have phoned the call. Yeah. Like. And we keep you entertained while you're waiting. Yeah, so I'm going to pop these ones out. I'm not going to prick all of these out. Okay. Yeah. Okay, because basically. I'll give it the flick and you'll mm -hmm. notice some bits will come out, mm -hmm. yeah, but what you have to do with these, again, is just ease oh, just each bit out. You see how they're all cutting? Yes, yeah. Yeah, even this little bit here, um, and I actually know that that's there. Yeah. That's how I knew that it was there. But you can see, basically, and what you have to do is you have to just sit and ease those bits out. But that's something um, that's quite mindful to sit and do. Do you know, I it? actually sat and did, and I watched a film in my craft cave, and I did one full set to test every one of the eight colours. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, so you can see there, yeah. I did every single one of the eight colours. And that took me for cutting and doing it an hour and ten minutes, because that's how long the film was, it was a oh, short right, one. okay. <laughs> yeah, and I sat on my chair in my craft cave, which I rarely do, cutting and popping each bit out. So you would just pop each bit out. Lovely. But what I've already done is, because, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm a Blue Peter child, so <laughs> here's a set I cut earlier. Wonderful. But I cut these in silver, because one of the things I love about this card is that when you mix the two together now how much more glittery that looks, that looks amazing. than a normal glitter <gasps> card if i hold that one up there can you see wow because of the waterfall effect it, that it, is lovely i'm not moving but that's still winking at yeah, you yeah 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 it's not as it's flat yeah, yeah yeah so just grab um, can I just grab my spray box? No problem. Because I thought I should be a good um, boy and bring one. I'm just going to give you a quick recap just while John's getting himself organised. Rapidly approaching three quarters of the stock. I was meant to tell you a little while ago, actually, but we were chatting and, you know, things happen. So, yeah, now, so, um, you need to make sure that you're definitely getting hold of this. As I've mentioned, if you've already got hold of your one-day special, perhaps you ordered it during the launch out, brilliant. Great news to know that you've got it on its way to you. But what I would suggest you do is consider going for a second set today. Um, it's one of those ones, and I've done it myself I've gone for something and suddenly thought maybe I should have gone for another one might be a case that you're wanting a second set for yourself or maybe you've got the perfect um, kind of craft you, it's all right John make as much noise as you like um, and uh, it could be that you're thinking of a friend I mean what a fabulous gift or, or suggestion I mean even if you, they are going to be paying you back for it they're going to be grateful for it aren't they now you're going to get all um, all eight of those colors um, so absolutely beautiful so much so that you can die cut with them look at the effect that you're getting with these phenomenal you can use them for molding as well and they're, they're not going to crack sorry john what did you say is we've actually tested this as well sam has tested it on his cricket oh, okay. silhouette oh yeah so they yeah. will cut with all in you in all of your electronic die machines without dragging yeah because you know what i mean i do indeed you, yeah will, i i bought some glitter card from a, a well-known company that was designed for electronic cutting machines. Okay. It was non shed I opened the packet, it was full of glitter. Yeah. When Sam tested mm. it, he said it was dragging. Yes. Because there yeah. were encapsulated pieces of glitter yeah. in there that were hitting the, the blade. Like little bumps, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And that's the difference. So I know, I know that's important to you. I ch oh gosh, very much. So now I challenge you to take glitter cardstock, even the encapsulated glitter cardstock, and be able to stencil through it, to be able to stamp on it, to be able to get those kind of results where you can still see that gorgeous foiling coming through through you still get that waterfall effect but then you've got the color that you've added to it this is a game changer when it's talking about um, your kind of the effects and the looks that you're getting with your projects please do not miss out on this as a one day special even if you're just giving it a go even if you're just inquisitive
good as to how this is going to work then treat yourself to that it could be just a tenner that you're spending today second payment of a tenner in a month's time through our flex extravaganza event you don't have to pay for it all in one go but of course many of you are going for these in your multiples and some of you are adding in additional colors so each of those pounds you can see you've got your gold your silver your christmas red and green you've got your two tones of blues and your pinks as well lots of you are going for these in addition so you can do that if you're wanting to um to be honest i'd go for two sets of your one day special because the saving that you're going to get with that you're going to get a four pound saving you're not going to get that saving if you're going for them individually so i know you'll get extra colors but it's not like it's going to go off it's not like it's got a sell by date or a use by date you will be using this way into the future because it's going to become a firm favorite but three quarters of the stock has gone just My an interesting point on the we did the silver and gold last year. Oh, that was okay, where we right. started. Yeah. yeah. So silver and gold we did last year. I think it was about three weeks that we sold out. Wow. It came back this year. So there's nothing in between? There was nothing in between. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, because obviously oh, we have to place very large orders. <laughs> yeah. And you are chunking through the stock yes at a rate of knots well, we like what we like yeah exactly so the thing is it's i, I, mean, I don't want to say that but i know that we, we have to bring know. it in in yeah. big lots yeah. so again if it all does go mm -hmm. i can't i cannot see that we would get this back again before christmas in terms of stock we've got more in the warehouse but if that's all gone that's like last time it's it. going to be gone well it's causing such a stir. i mean obviously we saw a stir when they bought um, you bought the ombre star glitter yeah just dropping that little nugget in your head there. Um, so if you wanted to get hold of your one day special, the details on your screen, 008659. Do not miss out on this one. You've been lovely and you're happy. What have I done with it? It's here somewhere. Oh, put it down. Oh, my goodness. There you go. Find it. There you go. This is your happy hour deal. Oh, my goodness. Approaching three quarters of the stock has gone. We're looking at the clock. We're, not, we're just about halfway through the hour. You've got 36 minutes to take advantage of this one. That's if the stock allows us to run that long. To be honest, I have my doubts. I don't have a crystal ball, so I don't know for definite, but knowing the rate that it's flying at and knowing the usability, I mean, look at that, absolutely phenomenal. And that's before you start talking about the stamps as well. 9.99, you've got a half price deal with this one, but only for the next 35 minutes or so. 558-720. John, coming back to right, you, darling. So what I've done is I've got my, look, I have got a spray box today. <laughs> I'm sprayed. It's not, on, it's not on the imaginary box that I pretend is on the floor. But you see how these fit on top of each other. So I absolutely love how they fit. But you see how glittery do these look? They look as if you've hand glittered every single bit. Now, will those, I know it sounds a bit of a daft question, but will those pieces stick together? Because if you've got a texture, sometimes, especially if you're sticking two glitter cardstocks together, they lift. They don't glue down in place. You've actually got one I made last night there to oh. your left, okay, red and this green. One? Just this flower on its own. Oh, right. That was made last night, and all I've used is my standard spray glue that I use. Oh, wow. Yeah. So there is no solvent glue. There's nothing glue. lifting up. Um, what I would say is don't use your white PVA. If you don't use um, spray glue, use the glue glaze by Craft Artist. Right, okay. Because it's a flat, quick, dry glue, and it won't squeeze through. Right. So um, I would just use you that. that on a T-shirt. Um, <laughs> but... It's not. So if you don't want to use spray glue, use that. Don't use your standards. Okay. The only thing I wanted to show you is on the smaller one, I could not make that one oh my small goodness. enough die to match with that small flower. <laughs> so basically it's slightly bigger, but it fits over. And that's all you do. Don't, don't think there's something wrong because okay. they're not exactly the same size. Because I just couldn't get it small enough with holes I'm in it. I'm not surprised. Because it's tiny. But again, really simple. So these have just been glued together with spray glue. I'm just going to take, all I do, fold and pinch and fold up. Pinch, fold up. Pinch, fold up. Pinch, fold up. Pinch, fold up. I'll do it with the larger one. Pinch, fold. Pinch, fold. This helps to make sure as well that they're well glued. But, you know, there we go. So already you can see... 
but that to me looks like I've put individual glitter on it. That looks amazing. And can you imagine what you'd have to do to cut into yeah. the oh and peel? Oh, yeah, life's too that short on that one. Such a substantial piece of cardboard. Um, we've had a love and a really good question as well. Incidentally, if I'm not asking the questions that you want um, answered, then do get in touch. That's exactly what Sarah has done. So um, email us in at studio at the craft store dot com, and I'll pass those questions on. And Sarah, good morning. She's sending us crafty hugs, which is rather nice at this time of the morning. Okay, um, thank you, um, Sarah. Morning. Could you ask John if you can emboss on the card or does it melt the coating? So we're talking heat embossing rather than die cutting um, style. Yes, you can. Okay. Yeah. What you will find is you want to be a little bit more gentle with your heat. Okay. So would you use kind of what I call the heat guns that look a little bit like a hairdryer rather than the nozzle the, ones? The one I call the Julia one. Okay. Because it makes me think the Julia one's <laughs> yes, bless yeah. her. Yeah. Um, but I would use that one just to give it a little bit and just be a little bit more... A bit more wafty. Wafty. Well, less wafty. Oh, okay. One of the things is don't do it from underneath. You will foil it off. Right. Do it from above. Okay. And what you want to try and do is when we waft, we overheat the card. Ah, yeah? okay. Right. So you want to go in an area, melt it and move. But right. heat your heat gun first. Okay. You would never iron with a cold iron. That's a fair point, yeah. So why we think embossing powder is going to melt with a glue with a heat gun we have just turned on. That's true, yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. So heat your heat gun first. What I do with mine is, and then it's plugged in, I put it down and I turn it on. Right. And I get it hot. And when it's hot, then go. Got that you. way you are getting heat in contact with your card a lot, lot less. Okay. That's the a good point. The one thing you can't do with it is obviously you can't foil it with the Kaleido. Right. Because it's already foiled. Yes. And so it's kind of going to undo you, it. Yeah. I you, well, no, what will happen is you will put foil on top of foil. Oh, right. Run it through a heat surface so you will just foil the whole of the car. Right. Well, what a waste of money. That's just very yeah. Oh, my goodness, John. Sorry to butt in again. Um, the happy hour is kind of turning into a happy half hour um, because um, it's now rapidly approaching limited stock. Um, $9.99. You're going to get both of these. These are dies and, and stamps that you'd quite willingly pay $19.99 for. They're very usable, perfect for the Christmas season, as you can see there. But what an absolute bargain with that £10 saving. But you have to be quick. I can't see the stock lasting the full hour. We're, where am I? Just uh, well, just rapidly approaching half pint, um, half the hour. Half, I, try again. I can't even say it. Half past eight in the morning. It's now officially limited in stock. It's not going to last the next 31 minutes, so please make sure you take advantage. If you're on the phone lines, fingers, toes and everything else in between um, crossed, but we hope you're going to get your call answered before the stock goes. If you can order online, then that would be your preferred choice to make sure you do get hold of it. If you do miss out, um, don't forget every single one day special hour we've got a happy hour to share with you so get in early that's the only thing i can say with these deals when you're looking at half price saving don't leave it too long get involved as soon as you possibly can and that way you can bag a bargain but details are there should you need to uh, add it into your basket um it's, it's going even faster now so it's right. down to handfuls shall i now. quickly demo it quite your best do <laughs> right what i'm going to do is now this will be this is the full kit is coming back the Clido's on the website lovely but the full kit is coming back it should have been back now okay i'm not going to pretend that but people know what's going on with boats. Yes. You know, this is not the show I should be I doing kind of today. Get stuck, stuck in things. Everything is literally <laughs> sat at the port on a oh, boat really? waiting uh... for like two weeks. So all I've done is, but I want to show you how well it works with it. Okay. If I throw a couple over into the space for Haley, you can show them when they're foiled. Oh, so my what you word. do is I've just stamped it. Okay. Yeah? I've stamped this in the Kaleido foil, but you could stamp this and heat emboss it. So this is in the Kaleido ink. I'm going to put some of the foil on top. Okay, I'm just going to get my plate combination right, and I'm just going to run this through on the heat setting on my Kaleido. Now, can I just show so you? Just so that you can see. Can I show you the results of these? Look at that. How exquisite is that look? Oh, my goodness. Absolutely It's amazing. just a beautiful... That looks like I've spent a fortune. It, it does. It really does. Or you've bought an A4 sheet of those. That's what I mean. Because you're like, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've basically bought professional foiled yeah. toppers because the details there. So Where here I've it? got it that I've done. Okay. So I'll peel the foil off. You can see there then. Wow. That's the level. And even at the top where I've over inked it, still looks beautiful. And all you do is find the match. Okay. Yeah because it fits one way, not the other. Match the corners. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so look through and match these two 
corner marks. Yeah. Yeah. Once you're happy that they're on there, and you just have a look through, make sure it's okay, you then run that through with the matching die. Okay. And that will literally <clears throat> cut each one out. So you can see there how each piece, you'll get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sprigs of holly wow, out. In one pass. In one pass. Wow. That is beautiful. All that detail. And all I do to shape them is just cut. Can you see that little gap? Little leaf there. Oh, yes, yeah, like a little yeah. U shape, yeah. Couldn't really put that on the die because right. it would obstruct what you're doing. Okay. So all I do is cut that and then just pinch and, so you can do and fold up, same as your point set here. Got you. Add some berries in the middle. And there you go. And there you go. Beautiful. I'm talking of gone. Um, yeah, we want to, well, yeah, needless to say, we knew it was going to go. Um, and it has gone now. It didn't even last an hour. That's um, how quick you have to be, really, if you wanted to take advantage of your, your happy hour. That's turned into a happy half hour. I'd give you the item number, but there's no point. It's gone. That is it. But we will have another happy hour deal to share with you at 12 o'clock, so make sure you join us then. But we are going to show you the one-day special because this is a beautiful one. Incredibly useful. And this is the thing, whether you're using it with your next door products whether you're using it with your two J's products it doesn't matter what you're using it with these are going to make the most incredible difference to your finished projects you've got that gorgeous kind of water look things are just falling off all over the place it's just shock it's sheer shock what you've got with these is you've got this amazing effect look at this you can see that water it reminds me almost of a beaded curtain you know like a cabaret the backdrop on a cruise ship or something like that you've got that gorgeous kind of cascade of color coming through and this is brilliant because you are going to get all of these colors so you've got an amazing array you've got your kind of your usuals and that usuals are used that sense i mean we say usuals and your, your basics i mean there is nothing basic about this it is a go-to we do love our gold and silver and you can get more of these if you're wanting to um, but do um, consider going for the one day special and adding extras of these in or even go for a couple of the one day specials so your gold and silver always a familiar favorite we've got another bundle where you've got your christmas a red and your Christmas green together. If you got hold of those holly um, dyes a few moments ago, then you definitely need to make sure you've got plenty of those in your stash. Um, a little goes a long way with these. Even if you're just cutting out uh, your scraps, your little tiny circles for your holly berries, you need to make sure you've got those. Then you've got your pairings of your pinks together. So your pinks, your lighter tone, and that gorgeous kind of almost like a, um, oh, I don't know what to call you. It's almost like a cerise, isn't it? But cerise sometimes it is quite a quite a brash colour, but not with this. Um, and then you have got that beautiful dual tone where you've got the two kind of blue tones in there with that purpley tone, as you can see, and that gorgeous, almost like an azure blue, absolutely gorgeous. So these are your one day special colours. You have been loving them. Lots of you taking advantage of them. Of course, launched last night at six o'clock. Resounding success. It's been busy throughout the night as well. And you've got your A4 sheets. You've got 40 of those. All of these gorgeous colours coming to you. And I would certainly go for these. And then keep a note of the item number for you to get hold of the additional ones. You don't have to always buy them in their 40s. Um, but you can go off and get them in their pairings. But they have got different item numbers. And you'll find all that information on the website as well. So, demo-wise, John, uh, I mean, we've been going at a, a rate or not. So, um, I suppose we're going to do a proper demonstration. Well, really. I'm going to try to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try. I'm going to show you how we can stamp on the card and cut it out. Oh, okay. Normally, I would do this on the silver. Okay. Okay. Now, I have gone through all of my silver. Um, I had three packs. Oh, did you? I had, do you like silver? I had, yeah. <laughs> well, no, I had three packs of each colour okay. to do all of the samples. And obviously, you're not seeing samples that have all been done with it right. because I have a full Christmas collection yet to launch. All, oh, all done in the, wow. in the um, this. Yes, of course. Um, so, I'm going to try it in gold. And whilst I'm doing that, I'm going to ask if Ben could nicely pull me a sheet of silver out of the spares. Wonderful. I'm sure um, he can which is help my you with that. Way to do it. So I'm going to use the poinsettia die and stamp. So again, I've cut it to size, and you'll notice with this one, this was the first one I did. So it's actually slightly bigger. It's exactly a six. It's slightly over. So it's not a problem. I'm just going to put my stamp down in the right place. Okay. I'm going to pick that one up. Okay. And then obviously my magnets will get in the way, so I'm going to move those, and I'm just going to ink this so 
So I've got a piece of silver here. Thank you, Hayley. So I'll do it on silver as well, because I'm not sure how black will show up on gold. And it's all, and this is all, I mean, it's new. It's brand new stuff, so it's one of those it situations. Is. Go experiment. Yeah, I mean, I literally tested it all. I got one, one, one pack of each colour through from the manufacturers um, to test and check the colours and everything. I would have I was able, when the stock arrived, that. to get myself two more packs. Yeah. So obviously I've been making lots. So, you know, I've not been able to try and test absolutely everything with every colour. But all I'm using here is Versafine on its black. So I'm not using a, um, I'm not using a stays on or stays in place. I'm not using anything fancy. Okay, right. I shouldn't need to. If you're very concerned, right. then use a stays in place or a stays on. Okay. Um, but... This will, hopefully, there we go. Yep, I just want to get a little bit more you detail. You've kind of got a lot of, of kind of shimmer Can with this see? one, haven't you? Oh, there you go, yes. Okay, now, normally, wow. I would leave that to dry, but can you see there, look, this isn't wiping off. That should wipe off, but it isn't. That's a fair point, actually, it should, yeah. It should. Yeah. It should. So all I'm going to do now is take the poinsettia dye and... I think this is the first time since the initial launch that we've had the stamp and die back on. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, yeah. But all you do again is match the corners, the same as you did with the same as you did with the um, what I can't think of the right word. Exactly the same as you did with the holly. Yeah. But this is kind of a technique that we regularly see, I mean, this combination of stamps and dies with that little corner. Yeah, yeah. and this was Clever. the first one. Oh, is it? This was the, I think this was the first or the second one that I did. Um, so I'm just going to run it through. Um, I'm just very quickly going to uh, draw your attention to these. I haven't had a chance to show them before, but we have got these as a set together. Um, they are limited in stock. Obviously, we've had them on the other show, so naturally many of you have gone to them already. But if you are looking at getting ha um, hold of it during this hour, please be aware that we do not have huge quantities of these left. We're down to the last few opportunities, really, to take advantage. So do not leave it to the end of the hour. You know what happened with that happy hour deal? It was here in the blink of an eye, and it was gone again. So if you want wanting these at 180554 19 pounds and 98 pence brilliant saving on that and they look absolutely beautiful when you are stamping them out as you can and see there if, unless we find some more <laughs> okay fair enough we are not reordering this stamp this is the oh, last really? of them oh yeah. my goodness this is the last it's had its run it's had a really good run yes and we don't like to keep reordering can you see there oh wow uh... So it just adds that second level of detail. And again, I do the same thing. And again, if you've got the Kaleido, and again, it will be soon, I'm really sorry. I've stamped this actually quite badly. Have you? In the Kaleido ink. Right, yeah. okay. I can see it. You probably can't because of the TV cameras. But right. It's a little bit faint. But I'm going to do the same again just to show you, if you have got the Kaleido, how beautifully it works in there. And this makes me think, every time I do this, I think of, again, toppers that I've spent a fortune on. Oh, well, we have to. I mean, it's one of those things we love, the, the, the kind of the, the foiling that we see on things. It gives that air of luxury. Now, incidentally, I know I've been mentioning to you about treating yourself to additional colours. I'm going to have to apologise because the gold and the silver now, you can't get hold of those ones. Um, individually, they have gone. So when we're saying individually, do we mean there's a pair or just as the gold by themselves? So the gold and the silver pairing together, right. So that one is not available anymore. Um, it's technically sold out. So that means that if you've got it in your basket, you are okay. You can still get hold of it if you're checking your basket out quickly. But if you miss out on it, the only way you can get hold of it is within your one-day special. Well, let's face it, it's not a bad way of getting hold of it, is it? And I would certainly consider going for a second set. So if you were thinking of going for uh, more of the gold and silver, Go the whole hog. Go for the another um, set of the one-day specials. You will use it. You will use it over and over again. Um, and uh, this is the key thing. It's going to be beautiful. It's not the only thing that's sold out as well. Is the, the stamp and the die set gone as well? Oh, my goodness. I'm still going to show you. Well, yeah, we need <laughs> to see it. But you see there, that's it, foiled. That's so that's beautiful. the same image that I stamped in black using the Kaleido ink yeah. with the foil that comes with the machine. I need to get cracking and having a go with that. I'm yeah. not around to it, yeah. But exactly the same again. All you do is, because it's easier to see, is tie it up with that, 
tape it down and cut it out. And it's the easiest. I mean, I saw a, I, I saw a poinsettia die the other day, and it wasn't on a plate. And it, it explained to me why I put mine on a plate. Yeah. And there were five in there, and it was 18, 19 pounds. Yeah. There's six in here. Yeah. And I think this breaks down to, like, the die itself works out something like a tenner. Yeah. Because I put them on the plate, it makes yeah. it so much easier. Clever idea. But you can see here now how each one of those is cut. Absolutely beautifully. Perfect. So it looks as if, um, to me, that, and when I add the stamens in the middle that we've got on oh, the show, and double them up. Gorgeous. Because we tried to match this card to the stamens as well. Um, but it's gone though, that particular die set. So the stamp and the die set together. Again, another sellout during this hour as well. Um, we've got a poinsettia collection, so I can potentially t um, tempt you with this one. So if you like the look of the die, you've kind of got your two parts of the die. So you won't have the stamp in this collection, but what you will have is that finer detail, the overlay that will go with those solid petals that we just saw. You've also got your foliage with this one as well, those gorgeous little fronds as well. So it's a very useful set. You've got 20 dies in there. So if you did miss out on the stamp um, I would certainly have a little look towards this one because I think this is going to look nice and especially as John showed us earlier on with that multi-layer effect can you imagine using that with your two tones of your gorgeous um, waterfall um, glitter card that we were talking about and that's the one where we saw obviously those lay layers coming together I mean this one here look at that isn't that beautiful? This is using two of those dies from that set. Don't forget your stamens. We can help you with those. Or if you want to go for your traditional colours, you can do as well. So uh, there's lots and lots of opportunity. And if you want to know stamens, they are at the bottom of your screen. You're going to get 12 of each of those 10 different colours for just 14 99 Now, we've had another question come through. Lovely Teresa. Good to have your company, Teresa. Um, saying, good morning, John and Hayley. Loving the show. John's flowers are always exceptional, aren't they gorgeous? Um, can you use the glitter cards on double-sided sticky sheets? So I'm guessing if you're talking perhaps fine detail sentiments and things like that, potentially, um, yes. Teresa? Yes, yeah, no, yeah. it will cut exactly the same as any standard card. It holds a little bit because of the foil, as we showed earlier. Right. The only thing I would say is if you're using the double-sided adhesive sheets, Certainly, if you're using mine, they're, they're almost like a 200 GSM. Yes, so you've got the thicker. Super thick, super yeah. thick. So what I would do is use a shim. Right. Just to help go through that extra. When you think about an adhesive sheet, you've got your two carriers, haven't you, either side, and you've yeah. got your adhesive in the middle. So it's almost like you're adding three layers to the back yeah. of the card. So if you right. stick it to the card first, you're going to take one of those away. Okay. So you're going to reduce that. But you're having to go through the foil, the card, the adhesive, yeah. and the backing sheet. And what you might find, is it Teresa? Yes. Yeah, what you might find, Teresa, is that... It cuts through, but it doesn't cut through the final carrier sheet. Right. So you might pull it out of the card. Yeah. Yeah. Or you might find you have to actually get your pokey tool underneath and pull the sentiment out sticky. Right. And the backing sheet won't have cut. I kind of prefer but it like that. That would make, for me, would make it a lot, lot easier, to that, be honest. I'd be like punching the air, and that's like a successful cut. Yeah, I'm not having to, to pick all the little bits yeah. off and the backing yeah. off. Yeah. Really good point, Teresa. Thank you. Never even thought of that, so thank you for that. Um, incidentally, I don't know if you've gone for the one-day special already, Teresa, but both for your information and everybody else's as well, rapidly approaching 80% of the stock has gone. We've got another two shows yet. Myself and John are back at 12 o'clock with the one day special she says in quotations because who knows when so many of them have gone during the live hours and i know now we start getting to quarter to the hour lots of you finalizing your decisions and your purchases checking your baskets out before we get to the break of the shows but i know that lots of you will be catching the shows in between as well commitments kids going to school different things going on you might not have had the opportunity to take your order through the system now is the time to do it please make sure you do not miss out on the and as I've been saying to everybody, if you did go for the one day special at launch last night, which I know loads of you did, then do consider going for another set. As John said, we don't know when we're going to see this again. The gold and the silver, we did see previously, but it was a long time ago before we saw all these amazing colours alongside it. And incidentally, the gold and silver as a pairing has gone now, so you can't get hold of it. Again, we don't know when we're going to see that again. But with regard to the one day special, we have the stock here. It is ready to ship immediately. With the details on your screen there, so this is why I'm saying, please don't think, oh, it's going to take me ages to get through those 40 sheets. I won't need any more. You will need more, and you will not want to be without it when that situation arises. So stock up on it, 008659 if you're wanting it. And it's a beautiful card stock that you can use in loads of different ways. Now, time-wise, we've got about 10 minutes left, John. Right. 
Can we? Can I'm we squeeze sure another demo we can. in? I'm, I'm absolutely certain we can. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is, I want to show you two different ways. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to use the Christmas time die. Oh, I love this one. Um, this was one of my absolute favourites and the girls use the clock from this in, in nearly every sample they I do. I think it's a brilliant one. So, what I'm going to do is I'm using the panel, so I've cut myself a six by six square of craft card. And I'm going to use the panel from this and I'm using one of the two panels. This one is the holly, so I'm going to make sure it runs down one side and I'm just going to cut it. And while that's running through, I've already done this with a sheet of the waterfall glitter card. Okay. Because I want to show you a dif the difference. So what I've done here is, I've cut this, but can you see, what I have to do is ease each part out. Yeah? As we were talking about earlier, I have to go and ease each part out. So, if you have patience, and you're happy to do that, mm -hmm. yeah, then it comes out absolutely beautifully. But if you're like me and think, I want the effect, but I don't want the faff. I mean, even these small bits are coming out. You can see the design starting to appear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. But if you do want to do it a little bit quicker. Okay. Um, or you want the effect, but you don't want the hassle. Mm -hmm. I've cut this this time into craft card. Right. So you can see, give it the flick. And 90% is out. Yeah. So I just have to take that out. I love it. I have to say, this is an exquisite die. Just as John's doing that, can I just very quickly show you this? I didn't realise that the hands actually move. You can position these where you want them to go. So it is literally a case you can put whatever clock um, time you like on there. One of the things I love doing is when you're doing a birth card or a birth sampler, is actually have the time of the birth on there alongside things like the weight of the baby and all that information that gets passed on with that new birth card. Um, and uh, the die is going to be the perfect way for you to do so. And you've got your two halves for this one so we can interchange those designs that we've got you can so you've got the holly sprigs in there and you've got a holly frame which is what i'm using now but you've so that gives you perfect classic christmas card yeah, yeah beautiful. so if you swap over to using the lattice then you've got almost you could have an anniversary card or anything else good point yeah because you've got a lattice panel as well very usable like it right so what i've done is you can see how much quicker that's come out mm-hmm yeah? I'm going to take this, and what I did was, when I put the first one in, I made sure I'd got an even border all the way round. And as long as you make sure there's an even border on all three sides, no matter how big a piece of card you cut it into, you will always get the right circle in the middle. Oh, OK. So all I do is match it again, this time, to the sides. Yeah. Yeah? So even, mm -hmm. even, even. Yeah? Might look that circle might look a bit odd off, mm -hmm. but trust me, and when I, it's cut, it will be a perfect and symmetrical circle. And I think circle. your eye naturally draws to the outside edge. To be honest, as it well, it does. Yeah. yeah, but you'll find by doing that. So if I do this on a seven by seven, that will sit in exactly Clever. the same place. Yeah. So all we do is the same again, and make sure you run it down the side. It is the most, you know, it's a, a complex die. Sticking it there to go like a sleeping policeman, all you'll do is disappoint yourself. That's true, Because yeah. it'll jump it and not cut half of it out properly. So, I did this on the green. I'm going to grab my scrap of green here. So, I could do it on the green and then I could put a craft card behind it or I could put a gold behind it. But mm -hmm. sometimes, it's a little much. You know, glitter on glitter. See, that's... That's very extravagant. I, I'm a bit of a frugal crafter. Yeah, well, so am I, to be honest. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this. So, I'm going to take this one out and, again, give it a flick. I'm sorry, Ben, I apologise for the state <laughs> of the floor, but everyone's used to me by now. So, again, just clean these bits out. Poor Kirsty, our producer started out as a floor manager she has swept my bits up She's <laughs> more than once at she, that rumor stuff yes <laughs> but she has had to sweep the floor of all the die cut bits for me for lots of times bless her that's a great thing here, though, isn't it? it How is. many producers and directors started out it is on the floor I'm, as I'm like a, a proud auntie or a proud mum or a proud big sister. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like, like a modern it, dysfunctional it, family. It's, it's perfect. Uh, you, do, you do watch all these different people come through the different kinds of uh, channels, and it's lovely to see. It is, yeah. 
Yeah, things like Katie back and things like oh, that. Yes. And, you know, everybody. So they, can you see now that circle in the middle is perfect. That is beautiful. But it didn't look it. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So that didn't look Very perfect effect, when yeah. the dies in. Yeah. Trust your judgment. Trust the dies. Yes. Trust that I've done the hard work because I don't want to have to do it again. Yes. It's yeah, all for me. It's point. all lace for me. <laughs> so now you can see a piece a lot smaller can fit behind. Yes. Now me, suddenly, yeah. that pops. Yeah. And it's showcasing it. And it needs it Now needs I think it that's better. Don't go you for two of the same. It, don't you do. You? Yeah. Use it sparingly, but again, so I now know I can chop that down, but I don't want to meet. I, this, this has cost me money. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. This has cost me money, so I don't want to waste it. Mm. So I go to the die and I take the plain circle. Now, it's of actually course. got a stitch detail, okay? Right, okay? Now, if you're unsure, pop it there. Yeah. On the back. Yeah. Make sure on the make sure that's all covered, yeah? Yeah, it can't Lift see that it. off. Right. I can now take that centre out mm. to be come on the front. Oh, wow. Well, and no yeah. one will know because that way I'm wasting less card. So overall you're just using what, a six inch square or something like that yeah. as a cardstock. Well I would say that's probably about a five and a half inch square. So I know yeah. I'll get two of those out of an A4 sheet. That's the point. Actually you will, yeah. So I'm getting this twice out of one. Mm -hmm. Whereas if I didn't take the circle out of the middle, I'd get it it would come out of the next bit and you'd yeah. use a whole A4 sheet. Yeah. You'd pay good money for it. Definitely. And especially when you're going for something that's it's a bit of a luxury, isn't it? It's a luxury look, it's not a luxury price. I think that's the key yes, thing. You it still is. treat it like a luxury well, item. You should. The, the other thing is, you know, I because of the way that, you know, we order and things. I mean, mm -hmm. this could be back next week. Yes. In terms of how much stock we've got or whatever else. Mm -hmm. But you've already gone through all your reserve stock yes. that we had. Yeah. Um, for you last mm -hmm. night. Yeah. So, you know, we're not going to be pulling much more out. To me, I want to save this and get the most out of it because it might not be back till next year now. Yeah. The gold yeah. and silver wasn't. Yes, yeah. And, you know, and it, it's not that to risk anyone, but if you can only get it once or get it now and, to, and you're going to have to wait, mm -hmm. you want to get the best out of it. So if you Definitely. see, I put this on on the back, yeah, your instinct will be to put that down. Okay. Don't. Put that down glued right. and take this to it that way you make sure yes that you're not showing that hole in anywhere else so when yeah. i then turn that over looks perfect yeah nobody knows i've taken that hole out so i've then got this which has got this even on the glitter card can you see the stitch detail it's showing from it. the oh, die wow you don't often again with glitter card you'd lose it you lose yeah, that yeah. because it's too mm. chunky yeah. to take the patterning so that will go in the minute so something you want to do for a second and i'll prep to do well the i'm next just bit. thinking because you were just talking about obviously maximizing the use of your you your fabulous waterfall and um, glitter card so this is why i'm thinking if you've not already got hold of your satin or your um, your mirror finish that is another way that you can maximize the use of it think about things like your sentiments if you're cutting your sentiment out of your waterfall then why not back it you Using something that's going to be exactly the same Pantone we were talking earlier on, exactly the same match, which gives you that fabulous result. Now, obviously, I've got the red here, but we have got it available in all your other bundles, as you can see there. 50 sheets in total. You're going to get your Air Force, the sapphire, the pink, the opal, the um, amethyst, and the silver. All of those colours feature within your fabulous one day special, so you'll be able to use those. The gold and the silver, they're interchangeable, so they're going to work perfectly with your mirror there and also your satin as well. So £24.99 pence being your price on this one if those colors aren't floating your boat well let me show you some others because we've got another set which is your festive set now this is one that you'll definitely want because it's got that gold in there 24.99 again you've got your 50 sheets in there again it's going to look absolutely beautiful with regards to your waterfall um, glitter card add it in again if you went for your one day special last night and you didn't even think about this then you can get hold of this and you can spread the cost over two payments if you want to because it will make it all that different and that's the thing i think you don't want to use i wouldn't be multi-layering necessarily my waterfall i'd be using no. something that's different to make it stand out more yes exactly that's what i want to do is if you're going to do mats and layers use the satin use the red gut don't gut the card die cut it to take the bits out yes but that's why you're stretching it out by using exactly tonal yeah but the mix of waterfall satin and gloss together Beautiful. along with just one plain color of card yeah. it's it's your work done for you yeah that's you know it. pick your color scheme Beautiful. for this christmas and go with it 
And I think that's the thing. The thing. I mean, obviously you've got your multi layers with those. Um, I've just grabbed a card. This isn't hasn't got the waterfall on there, but you can see that idea that you can use them as multi layers if you want to. But for the time being, your one day special. Well, there you go. What an amazing deal. Lots of you taking advantage during this hour. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you. So many of you reordering with this one already. Well, you've got the chance because when you want to reorder it, you might not be able to if you haven't got the stock available. John, thank you so much. Thank you. I was just cutting a clock. So just to... <gasps> Look at the detail. Again, in the waterfall, just so you can see. Wow. You can actually get that fine. Yeah, but just that to show it is. But no, thank you. It's been a brilliant show. I've I love loved it. it. I love it. So many tips. If you think of anything else that you're wanting to ask, then you will have other opportunities. We're back at 12 o'clock. Then final call, of course, being 4 o'clock later on this afternoon. So for the time being, if you're in a phone queue, apologies. We will get to you as soon as we can. But if you are on the website placing your order, make sure you've got everything that you need before you check out that order because you don't want to miss out on anything. We've had sellouts during this hour, and I think that's kind of how it's going to go. Brand new, happy hour deal. Don't forget, 12 o'clock we will see you there see you a bit later bye now don't go anywhere we've got a fabulous hour coming up looking at ross papercraft straight after the break before we are back with the dreamers wishing you a merry christmas and then the lovely katrina is here with a rowan dean christmas embroidery special hi i'm leslie from chocolate baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just the water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. Our pearl sprays and our pearly winks are loaded with mica, so they give you amazing results on your projects. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. I wanted to find a box which I could receive every month and would be full of craft supplies. As I couldn't find such box, I decided to create it myself and that's how Craftbox started. Every box contains at least 15 products which are beautifully hand packaged by a team based here in Cambridgeshire. products are placed in a beautiful sturdy box which is ribbon tied and we hope that by receiving this box you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. All of our MDF products are produced in Devon, in the UK, and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. Hope you are very well. Now, of course, we are gonna uh, start the day, well, or my day actually, because Haley has been here for a couple of hours already. But of course, the, uh, ha with the happy hour, we are starting this, well, this hour with a happy hour. And of course, it still is flex, festive flex extravaganza, which means that not only your prices are incredibly low for this hour and a lot of brand new today's, but also you can spread the cost, uh, the, co the cost of anything that is on this show, because everything is. Of course, anything that is above five pounds, you can spread the cost into interest-free payments. 
Now, of course, uh, you know what? Even better than that, so we have got festive flex extravaganza, we have got a happy hour, and even better news is that I'm not here on my own. We have, well, I'm here on my own, but actually I'm joined by Tina Barnett via Skype. How are you, Tina? I'm fine. Hi, Pauline. You're okay? I'm really good. I'm so glad that you are here. Uh, you kind of join us uh, via Skype because you love Ross uh, Papercraft MDF, don't you? Oh, absolutely. I can't wait to see, like, you know, everything come to life with um, MDF because it just starts off and it looks, you know, it looks good, but then you just bring it to life and that's what I love. It's, a, it's great, isn't it? There are so many brand new today's. Of course, you will find them on the website at craftstore.com. And jump ahead, shop ahead, because remember, the prices are low for this hour. However, uh, even though, you know, the prices should stay low, if the stock goes, well, then you miss out. Now, all 17 brand new today's, including that Elf and Deer MDF box, as well as the MDF fairy doors. Not just for Christmas, of course, everything has a kind of underlying turn of Christmas, but there's a lot of, uh, you know, versatility in many of them. You also have a paper craft uh, papers as well in there, as well as, of course, the pencils if you wanted to add color and the always, imp always essential acrylic paint so you can then paint your MDF with gorgeous uh, paints. Now, Remember, festive flex extravaganza means that you can flexify that $9.99. Of course, spreading in two payments would be that you are paying five pounds today. Now, of course, you will find everything on the craft store today, but let's start the day with a beautiful, bold sentiment that you can decorate in many different ways. Now, you are getting uh, eight pieces in total. You are getting two of the larger ones, two of the medium ones, and four of the smaller ones in here. All of them, so eight in total, with a saving of three pounds, nine ninety nine is your price. If you flexify it, you're just paying five pounds. Um, Tina, I was thinking this is a, a perfect bundle to, if you want to create beautiful presents for the door or something like that, for a wreath, beautiful paper flowers, so many ideas. Definitely. Um, in my first demo, I mean, this, the, the big ones, they're huge. I mean, look at that, they're absolutely huge. So um, I'm using the middle sized one for my first demo and you can just do so much. They could be a standalone piece or you can add them to a piece of artwork um, that I'm doing. That's what I'm gonna do on my demo. Yeah, yeah, it's a great one. Uh, 098076 is your item number. It's about 16 inches from side to side. Uh, of course, we are trying to show you as many items as possible uh, with the brand new today's. And then we have Love the Tree with the Deer. I love this. This is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I, I love the fact that it comes in separate pieces and then you can reassemble it. It's absolutely glorious. Would you use paper maybe in the background for this one, Atina? You can, yeah, absolutely. Um, again, what I've done with um, my first demo is I've taken bits from lots of the kits to show you how they can work together as well. Oh. So this one I've broken down and I'm using it with um, lots of other different things as well. That is such a cool idea. And of course, we have got papers, Christmas papers on the show as well. 539662 oh, is your item number. 999 is your price. And of course, if you flexify it, you pay just five pounds today with a saving of three pounds. The next one is trees, but this one is very playful, isn't it, Tina? With the bubble inside it. it. And it comes with- Isn't it gorgeous? It is. Look at that. And you are getting also the, is it four elements for the bubbles? Um, yes. Okay, sorry, I, sorry. I, I, three elements, is it? Yeah, three elements. Sorry. Yeah. I kind of mistaken. Yeah. Two, I thought that the fairies were different, but it's actually the same fairy. So you can see two, el the elf, the fairy, and of course the deer here as well. Just yep. beautiful. They're so cute. And the pencils that we have in the show, Paula, you can um, use straight onto this MDF as well. It's, it's okay. fantastic. I just, because I've used one on a ball ball. So if I just hold that up, so what I've used is a, the actual pencil there. Oh, all right. Oh. So, all right, so basically you can use the pencils in here, but you can see that the kind of gorgeous in there. Uh, look at that. So you can see there. 
Let's see, that's a very popular lady here now. Uh, now, of course, look at that. She, the elf is, is kind of, can you see the truck that she is fixing? He is fixing or making a little truck. Isn't that? That's so cute, so delicate. 11 99 pence is your price. Uh, you know, you're saving three pounds. 403912 is your item number. And of course, it comes with the two bubbles in there as well. So you can select which element you want to. And of course, 11 99 is one of payment, but if you wanted to flexibly buy, of course, you could pay, I think it's six pounds, right, uh, today. And of course, the saving of three pounds. 403912 is your item number. Then, this is a bumper pack. Now, this is an assorted uh, bumper pack of 50 Christmas MDF bubbles. Bubbles? And uh, you can see there, lo I love the different shapes as well. Like kind of you have got those ones with the little elements. And Tina, I think these ones are, you know, this is a perfect decoration if you want to create your own unique Christmas decorations for your tree. Oh my gosh, absolutely. They are so, so beautiful. And you get so many shapes there as well. Um, you know, I, I, I've used the different little elements from the kit before and then placed them on um, the ball bubbles. You, you just get... So many absolutely fantastic, you know, elements to these that you, different shapes and sizes, absolutely beautiful. They are, and I love that they are like the ones that you are holding, which I found in my pack as well. Uh, you know, like the scallop bubbles. You don't often see them, and of course you couldn't, you know, and have maybe wrap some ribbon around it and put some bells or some things elements. They work out a 24 pence uh, bubble, uh, an element. And look, I love the lo longer ones as well. They are just, and look at this. They are just, it's like the chandelier, isn't it? It is, most definitely. They are just the most unusual shapes. They really are. And then you've got bits that are cut out and, um, you know, just fantastic like elements there. They really are. They are. With, and I love how some of them, for instance, where it was, I kind of had it here somewhere. I put it before. Ah, yes. So this is the leftovers. So they kind of create, like, the inner bit also becomes one tag or something element as well. So everything is usable. Would you put some ribbon in here and hang in elements? Yes, um, I, I have. I've used um, some ribbon, but you can use some twine. You can use anything, really. It could be that you um, have made your own little um, braids that you could pop through there. Right. And of course, uh, there's so many ideas and so many pieces to experience, to experiment with them. 50 in total, 11.99. And remember, you can flex divide. Remember, this is the only happy hour from Ross uh, Papercraft today. So if you want to split the cost, uh, you can. And remember, uh, you have got that three pound saving. 300514 is your item number. Now, 10% already has gone. If you want yours, you know what to do. Check out your baskets. Now, I will say something. There is nothing, nothing that says more Christmas than a round bubble. So if that's your preference, <laughs> you have got the larger ones and as well the smaller ones in here. These would make coasters as well, the larger ones, Tina. Yes. Yeah, definitely. There is so much. That there's a little pack there where you have a little bit of everything. And there's this beautiful round element which is cut out with a bird in it. And that sits beautifully on this it really oh. does. So you could use your um, cutouts. These would be fantastic for your um, papers as well. Yes. The card of the papers that we have in um, on the show. Yeah, I work amazingly with these because you can die cut a circle, maybe just paint the top. If you want the papers, uh, details at the bottom, sixteen mm. pounds and ninety eight pence. I also was thinking. I always think that this is a very lovely element to do Christmas cards with elements like this, so you can send them and then they can display it on their own Christmas tree. Absolutely. Uh, in my, in my second demo, Paula, I'm going to be using one of those ball balls and I'm going to use the paper um, uh, to print actually onto the ball ball. So, oh. it's, yeah, it gives a really lovely vintage look. It does. 977787 is your item number. We are eager to see the demonstrations. This hence why we want to go through the counter a little bit faster. We have queues on the phone. So if you have got access to the Internet, the craftstore.com will be the fastest and easiest way to order here. Now, we have one of my favorites. It has to be, of course, the mm -hmm. slays because in here we have got three of them, the same size. This is a perfect for putting little presents inside. 
decorated, perfect for decorations, maybe chocolates, maybe bath bombs, maybe, um, you know, like if you want to give us something, you know, like the tip, traditional um, socks for Christmas, you know, kind of, and you're thinking, oh, you yeah. know, I'm not going to give something that it looks not very, you know, not very appealing. With this, it's just much more special, isn't it? It is. That's a fantastic idea, actually, Paolo. You could pop, like, um, someone's favourite makeup inside Ooh. there as well. As you say, items of clothing. It could be some treats that you've made, some some of your own homemade toffees or sweets. Yeah, definitely. And also, I always think that it's a really nice display if you have got artificial candles to put it around with some mm. greenery as well, and it kind of makes a... Yeah. And would you use just papers, you know, paste, glitter paste? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think this this one is calling out for a little bit of glimmer and glitz, isn't it? It does. So I, I think it'd just be beautiful for that. And not only that, it could be that um, your children want to make a Santa's sleigh and then put the uh, things that they leave him out on Christmas Eve in it. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, mince pies, maybe. Uh, 250 yeah. 1463 is your item number. 999 is your price. You are saving five pounds. And of course, if you're flexible, you just pay five pounds today. This is a great reason to check your baskets. Uh, now we have another bundle, the Christmas bundle. Now I need to show you the big Santa because look at that. It has been laser etched. At Tina, have you got a finished sample of the Santa? I do. Oh. He is gorgeous. Look at him. He is so, so gorgeous. And it's such a, a brilliant, like, you know, um, thing for, to do. I, I think you can have your, like, your stockings hanging on, which you need to weight it down. But so your stockings hanging on it, you could put, like, um, a candle on there. Oh. Um, again, it could be what you leave out, um, you know, for, for Santa. It could be your magic key. You could leave that there, but yeah, so, be so, so gorgeous. Cool. Uh, because, um, can we see the bottom? Can you sh show us the stockings? Oh, I see. So yeah. then, oh, I see. So I'm trying to replicate it here with the one. I mean, obviously, I'm wrecking the whole display. But the, you can have them <laughs> up as well. You could have them like this. You <laughs> After a couple of them. <laughs> Yeah, He's dancing. Good. He's doing the Cossack dancing. Dancing's falling down the chimney by the looks of it. <laughs> well, you know, they have to, you know. But, uh, but I love the kind of possibilities, the playful possibilities of this bundle as well. And of course, you have got the stacked head, which is absolutely stunning, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm going to use that in my first demo. So, Pava, can you see that that's, there's a circle there with a bird inside? That was the one that I was talking about popping. Oh. Uh, that's the one. Wow. On one of the ball balls. It fits absolutely beautifully. That's so you could really, really do something quite special with that. It's and what I love about this kit, you've got so, so many elements. Oh, that, that's, that's it. That's it, yeah. That's it's beautiful. beautiful. Isn't it? So you could put your papers behind if you wanted to and yeah. then paint up, you know, the, the bird and the, the leaves and the branch. That would be Fantastic. beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. Right, of course, if you want your bundle, uh, this is a bumper one. Of course, you have got trees, 19 pieces in total or approximately, actually. And you have got different ways of using. I love how you have got bubbles as well and the Christmas yes. trees in there as well. Gorgeous. Lots of Definitely. different possibilities. Lots to do. Lots to do there. Right, if you want yours, 404-476 is your item number, £13.99. If you flexify it, you're just paying £7 for it today. And, of course, that £4 saving is still there. Now, one of my favourites has to be the next bundle. Um, I've got quite a few favourites, actually, this hour. <laughs> But There's so many bits, isn't there? It's so gorgeous. Look, well, I'm not, this one, of course, you have it, the finished sample. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Look at the so What I've done is I've added the tag from the previous pack with the, the key, and it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous um, sentiment on there as well about not having, you know, a chimney, um, yeah. so to use this magic key instead. But as you can see, it, it's just fantastic. And you can put, oh, I've put, used the papers, the gorgeous papers around the edge. And then I've added some glitter to um, the horns here of, um, or the, the antlers of the, the reindeer. Oh, and it's just, I just love it. I think it's, it's so beautiful. cool. And you can, like, you can actually put then 
really just carrots in there, couldn't you? Absolutely, you could. Now, I love the keys as well from the previous bundle. You can see there the key there uh, as well. But, of course, if you want to go for the elf and deer, so you're going to finish two MDF boxes for just 9 99 So it works out for £5 for a project. Perfect present. Love the elf with, again, the, the, you know, fixing the car in this one. Uh, they are happy hour deals. Of, uh, the prices will go up in about 44 minutes, so make sure to check out your baskets. This is the only happy hour from Pros Paper Crafts today, so make sure to check out your baskets. Then we have got the fairy doors. I love this one as well because, um, Tina, yes, it comes with a Christmas tree and a Merry Christmas, but again, we could yes. alter it in a little bit for all year round. Uh, definitely. I mean, you can use the, the door on something separate, the tree separately, and even the, the Merry Christmas on its own, popping on a ball ball if you wanted to. But this is a really lovely way of giving you an idea of how to sort of like give some dimension to your piece. So you've got like a 3D element. I love how simple as well it is this to assemble uh, because then you have, Absolutely. you know, like there it is. That's it, the door in there. And of course, if you have got maybe fairy hugs or Lavinia stamps, you could kind of stamp and create um, coming out from from behind the door, couldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. And you could you could actually attach this to your card or piece of artwork and um, have the door so you can open it and your sentiment can be behind it as well. Oh, really gorgeous. Uh, 9.99 is a price, which means that if you're using Flexi, because of course we are in festive Flex extravaganza, you can spread the cost and pay just five pounds today. 622642 is your item number. Now, if you want something incredibly delicate and beautiful and stunning, this one is the one for you. Very busy already for this one. You found it online and of course on the website, the craft store that come already over 10% of the stock has gone. Now, this is one of those ones that just spray painted in white, just get in some glitter. There's so many possibilities, but whatever you do is going to be stunning, isn't it, uh, Tina? It really is. Um, so if you see me glittering, it's because I have silver leaf oh, all over me. That's what I, I popped see. onto this. And then just some little balls. Uh, the Could you bring it a little, little bit more to the opposite? Yeah, direction. Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, yeah there it is. There Perfect. We go. There. So yeah, absolutely stunning. I love this tree, and it just it because it's so beautiful. You don't really have to go too mad with it, you know, just to keep it a simple color. You could pop it so that it actually matches in with your color scheme for the year, you know. Yeah, absolutely. So gold or green, yellow, red, whatever you you've got. It's gorgeous. I love that. Uh, it's such a beautiful. Even even naked uh, like this is just absolutely I, me glorious. Too. Me I too. mean, it's very it's, beautiful. It's just it's very Scandinavian with it when the MDF is like that. Now, twenty percent of the stock has gone. Please make sure wow. to check yeah, out your surprised. baskets. Uh, you nine ninety nine is your prize. Flexivied, of course, it means that you only pay five pounds today. Nine nine zero eight three two is your item number. Very busy on the phone lines. If you have got access to the internet, the craftstore.com will be the fastest and easiest way to check out your basket. Now, uh, gingerbread people. This is not just uh, well, well, my, my my producer is very gender, in, you know, inclusive, and I think that she's right because, of course, it could be women, it could be men, it could be everything in between, and I think that's really cool with the bow tie and the little ones look at this one the gingerbread. Oh, look at that so gorgeous oh you have got the big one tina yeah i just wanted to show you the difference in the sizes they're just gorgeous so you've got this huge one which is a standalone piece isn't it you can really decorate that yeah. up and then the little dinky one that I popped on the ball ball as well. Oh, Absolutely that's stunning. A, that's a great idea that you can mix and match. Of course, they can bring in with other the bubbles and other pro, pro And that is absolutely gorgeous. I love that. And of course, we have got that decorated the set with a lot of, uh, you know, gingerbread men as well. So this could be really cool to have also around the house, like kind of... Oh, would you put hidden messages in the bag, Tina? That's a good idea. That's like, a really good idea. And you could put, if you were doing like um, a little hunt for your gifts or something yes. like that, 
then you could use these to put the messages and the clues on, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah that would be so cool. And again, you are getting 10 of them. You're getting one of the larger ones, two of the medium ones, and of course, two of the smaller ones, and five, I think it's, is it five of the little ones? So it works out at one pound each. So a pound for the larger one, imagine that. Three pounds saving. That's unbelievable. And of course, you can flexibize. So it means that you are only paying five pounds for three one two six zero is your item number now the tree the glorious beautiful delicate tree very busy a third of the stock has now gone if you want yours please do check out your baskets do not miss out on a bargain like that you can also flexibly and only pay half of it while we have got the stock now is the time to check out your baskets and also something really beautiful and also very practical uh, a wine holder but again i think artificial candles um you know tina mm -hmm. that would be perfect yeah some parchment behind definitely that's um yeah yeah really good idea um what i've done with my powder is i've used my papers so i've got some the cards sort of behind here yeah and then i've used one of my baubles yeah okay over the top and then i've painted inside with the gorgeous paints that we've got on and i have to say they are beautiful um and then i have this um different paper at the back here but so what i've done is that you have so many of those baubles in your different pack i've used one as a, like a little tag and then the other to decorate the front that's gorgeous if you can bring it or sometimes like out to the left uh, we can see it a little bit well, well anyway uh, Sorry, um, there it is there it is no, it's off. Anyway, so we can see you're getting two of them with the beautiful snowflakes falling down. Gorgeous. Uh, now, eleven ninety nine is your price. Again, you can flexify, which means that you, today you would be paying just six pounds for both of them, and of course you're saving three pounds. Two four one nine five three is your item number. A perfect gift uh, to, of course, put in a bottle of something in some. All right, of course, do check mm -hmm. out your baskets. Uh, now, of course, Tina, I believe you have got some um, demos ready for us i have i shall get ready for those so you get ready for those ones and i will give you the details of course from uh, of some of the popular most popular items including of course the christmas wine holders which we have in here we have also the acrylic paints so you can use for any of the mdf you have seven uh, of those 75 mil acrylic paints for 9.99 so perfect uh, starting point for your acrylic collection five zero five six seven eight is your item number now we also have those uh, those pencils that tina was talking about that you can use directly onto mdf you have got a set of two 72 pencils in total so you have got 36 colors in each of them 11.99 pence is your price and again you can flexify it and just pay six pounds today 686-531 and remember this is a happy hour those deals those savings are here not for the rest of the day but for the next 36 minutes so do check out your baskets now those papers that of course Tina was talking about we have them look at that patchwork of papers absolutely stunning we have got three different uh, types of paper. This is the first option. You are getting 45 pieces of card and 100 papers, printed papers. So a bumper pack with a massive saving of 13 pounds, 16 pounds and 98 pence is what you're paying. Or you alternatively, you can pay, pay just pay eight pounds and 50 pence today. Now, uh, of course, we have uh, another option. If you just want to go for the 45 uh, pieces of car sock, you have got that option for 9.99, or if you flexibly, just five pounds today. And of course, you have got a five pound saving there as well. Now, if you wanted to go for the printed papers on their own, remember, we, you have got the bundle with the printed papers and card, and then you can go for the card or the papers on their own. 9.99 is your price. You are saving five pounds six zero six eight one nine is your item number. Now, of course, you will find everything on the website thecraftstore.com. But I think Tina is ready, so Tina, take it away. Thank you. Okay, Tina, right? Uh, Tina, uh, yeah. What are you going to show us then? Okay, so I've got um, one of our A3 um, balls here. And what I've got is two of the cards from the um, the card and the paper pack. 
and I think you can buy them separately as well. Absolutely gorgeous. They're a lovely feel. They're going to take the, the mediums and um, the sprays and everything really, really well. So what I'm doing is I'm working to the side because of my great big A3 board. I want to make sure that you can see what I'm doing all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my gel medium. Okay. And I'm using an Amsterdam gel medium um, this time. All right. And just popping some over my board. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we can use different elements and just really, really layer up. And then perhaps add some mediums and everything to it as well. So just pop in that one that side. Okay. And then the other on the other side. So it'll look like I'm doing my work sideways. And then when we've finished, I can turn it around and then you can get the full effect. I shall uh, run it past the camera okay. so and that is you can the... see it. Is, is it your preference to use gel medium because uh, of how it interacts with the MDF and paper? Yeah, definitely. I think it's because it's just an all-round um, brilliant glue, you know? So you can get so, so much um, use out of it by mixing it with your different um, mediums, using it through a stencil, um, using it as the glue, using it a little bit for dimension, also to seal your work. It's just fantastic. Okay. Right. So I've got lots and lots of different elements here. I love the papers. Mm -hmm. They're just gorgeous. I know. Aren't they they just gorgeous? Yeah. Is that uh, so got... the card or the paper? It's the card. This is the card yeah. pack. So it's yeah. included in the paper and card as well as on the card on its own. Yeah, those are the options. Definitely, yeah. definitely. So I've got all of these different elements here that I'm going to use. And some are from, like, that you may have had before, but they're definitely on the website. So you've got the, a frame here. And then I'm also going to be using some different elements, such as these gorgeous different sort of, like, um, different textures, if you like. So I'm going to start off. So I'm having, instead of painting my background, what I'm doing is I'm actually using the cardstock okay, just yeah. as like um, a detailed and colored element. So just going to pop some of these lovely little in, um, different textures at the bottom here. Okay. So, oh, are you okay? Yep. You yeah, yeah. Okay. Lovely. If you could bring it, uh, yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. We can see it. Yeah. Lovely. Okay. And then I'm going to just pop lots of these elements and show you how to layer up. So I'm using different kits here, and I'm using things that um, are on the website also. So just mix and match them. So that, so I like the fact that we're framing a little bit there oh. of um, that gorgeous cardstock. Now I'm not going to bring in the stag's head, which oh. I love. Absolutely love the stag's head. Me too. It's just, and also again, it's yeah. one of those ones that you're thinking all year round, just paint it black onto, you know, yeah. a canvas of linen or something like that. And it's just a stunning Definitely. image. Definitely. So here is one of the trees from that set that we had. So on that, I'm going to start building a scene at the bottom. Yeah. So all of these different things, we're just going to lay onto each other. Add in some gel medium there. And then starting to lay my different shaped trees down. So here's another one that I have. Okay. So we're going to have this one over here. Is that from the tree with the deer? Um, yes, I, I, oh no, I think the tree with the, yes it could be actually, this one I think is the tree with the door. Oh, I see. So you can mix and match all the different elements. Oh, absolutely. So we have that there. Then I'm bringing in a little more of the different embellishments as far as my different twine. So we've got some sisal there. 
We've got some raffia. Just bringing those in. And then I'm going to pop my deer. Okay. Here. And then bringing in a little bit more of the different raffia, just so that I'm. I don't really want to see, and my glue will dry clear. Right. I don't really want to see too much of the the base. Tina, would it be possible to, to to because uh, you're a little bit of the camera, like uh, it, towards more towards your right, or yeah, or to the yeah, there, yeah. Is that to, right? Yeah, that's a little bit more. A bit, a bit, a bit. Yeah, that's coming really together. Yes, yes. So it does. So you just build up elements. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we can then add a little bit more texture here. And by um, adding a little bit of um, a texture paste, just a little bit perhaps to the frame. So you could do this through a stencil if you want to, but you can just add some gorgeous textures on. Okay. Just where you want um, them. And then the F is great for that, isn't it? You don't have to oh, be worried about adding too much. It's marvelous. It's, it's absolutely marvelous. You, you just get so many different um, elements and, um, you know, you, you, you can just use, you can take a piece of wood and just transform it, basically, into something, you know, beautiful. Okay, so we then have our Merry Christmas. Oh, so our Merry nice. Christmas can just sit just to the over to the side just slightly so again that's one from our um our christmas pack and they're beautiful sizes so you've got the the more, more delicate ones if you want to or you've got the larger ones to make really really gorgeous oh, so, yeah. God, you know yeah. plaques with absolutely yeah gorgeous that's there okay so because of um the time element yeah i am um, going to just give it a quick blast while you do that so is it all right mm -hmm. if i get a kind of a quick recap of uh, the items of we course. have oh thank you tina because of course uh, tina is just uh, kind of uh, giving a quick blast so to heat it up but i need to give you an update because the fancy tree of half the stock has gone and i'm not surprised this is just so beautiful and i see it's nice and proud it's over i would say it's about 10 inches in height as well it's absolutely delightful and once you assemble it i mean you could put like little pictures if you wanted or just a decoration you can multi-buy it as well and remember we are on flat festive flex extravaganza which means maybe you put three or four of them into your baskets i mean i would think you mean three of them and then candles in between them imagine your mantelpiece how gorgeous it would be and you can put maybe something like a box underneath the central one to give that elongated a little bit more the, the central one uh, 9.99 is your price three pounds a saving very busy have the stock on 990-832 and remember well we are very busy queues on the phones so if you have got access to the internet that would be the fastest and easiest way also very very popular is the sleigh approaching half the stock of this option now you will have three of the sleighs the same size and of course you have got a sizable inside so if you maybe collect oh you know the uh, elf on the shelf and things like that so you want to give the the elf a sleigh you can with this because of course you could put him inside of the sleigh you have got some um you know elements as well you could do that with adults and somebody has um you know jackie has sent a picture of the sleigh look look at her sleigh it's oh that's so cool full of penguins going through the uh, down the banister they are having a you know like a proper proper uh you know exciting write down uh 250163 is of course is your item number and you are getting three of them in total 999 is your price of course you're saving five pounds is a fabulous kit remember three of them in that for that price and of course you flexible it you only pay five pounds right now uh, tina have you have you given her a quick blast i have um it's not going to dry completely, but what I've done is I've just got a big dry brush and I've got some white gesso. Right. And all I'm doing is just adding a little brush across just to highlight some of these bits. 
Right. Now you could leave it like that if you wanted to. Yeah. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, that you can add your different sprays and mediums to this as well. So if I take um, one of these, which is the Pretty Gets Gritty Amazing Spray, and it's Rustic Rose. So just okay. give that a little bit of a twirl there. Probably you can and find them on the website, so the craft store that yeah. come, check for those ones. And I'm going to hold up quite high and just give it a little bit of a spray. So see how the pay, the, the card takes yes. the, the spray as well. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And then just keep going with a couple of my my different colours here. Right. And then a little bit of the frosted latte, which is one of my favourites. Oh, gosh. And I love how you are using just a little bit of gesso, just a little bit of spray, so you don't have to carefully colour in every single MDF no, element. No, abs absolutely. So if you wanted to do something in your, and you just don't want to be, um, you know, colouring your MDF yeah. or anything like that, these give a really lovely, it gives like a mottled look as well. So it's nothing too, too harsh. Now I'm going to add some of these rose gold, which I love as well. So that's going to bring a little bit of sparkle back. Yeah. There. So it's, it's a very, very vintage looking piece. But if I just turn that around, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it through the camera just so that you can see. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at that. Could you turn it yeah, around yeah. so we can, like, because we are seeing upside down. So yeah, perfect like this. Yeah. A little bit more. Yeah. yeah. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <sighs> so it's a really, really layered piece. Can you see it all like that, Paola? Uh, well, we can see parts of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, we can see the. Yeah. That's it's a really, really layered piece. I'll pop some pictures on um, on my Facebook page. Perfect. Of the of the finished item, but it's just to show you that you just layer up with lots of different things, and you can make a real, real, you know, um, statement piece. Now, if um, when this is dry, I can then go re go over with a dry brush with the white gesso and bring out some elements. You can even run some different paints down as well if you wanted to. Absolutely. So, if I, for instance, take this dusty sage, which is like a, a base color, and really, really do some, you know, um, sprays that are quite close up and then run down. Yeah. Then some Do you see? Yeah. You can really get some um, some effects yeah, going some effects. there. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for showing that, Tina. Uh, that's absolutely okay. stunning. And I love the way that uh, Tina has shown us how you can take MDF and you don't have to spend time, of course, uh, spray painting, of course, letting dry. You know, even the naked form of MDF is absolutely stunning. Uh, Tina, we let you to reset for the next demonstration and I will give a reminder of uh, what we have for um, everybody. Now, of course, uh, look, the Merry Christmas, we have this bundle that has has a beautiful eight different Merry Christmas, well eight actually, eight in total, two of the larger ones, two of the medium ones, and four of the smaller ones. Now a third of the stock has gone. You can use a smaller one for maybe Christmas cards. You can use them for Christmas decorations and building scenes, and of course you want that sentiment. I think the Merry Christmas, the large ones, be really cool uh, if you don't want a wreath for your front door, door this year and then just put in like a ring uh, like a baker's twine and then maybe put in some artificial flowers or dry flowers at the bottom and of course or you could do it with also with uh, something like power tags or power pole or something like that to make it weatherproof as well love the idea of kind of coloring them as well giving it the varnish but also there is so much more as well you could use the smaller ones with a kind of a um, you know, when the, the flower arrangements that you put them in as well. So there is a lot of different uh, possibilities. 098076 is your item number. 999 is your price, but remember you can flexify. And the saving is here for an hour only. So we have about 20 minutes to, to check out your baskets. Now we have also the tree with a reindeer. I love this one. 
This is such a glorious image. It's so elegant, isn't it? Now think about maybe you want to have a gray, silver, white uh, Christmas uh, decorations in the home. So imagine that, kind of painting them into white and silver with glistening of glitters in here or papers that you may have or papers that you can buy today because remember we have got those ones on the show as well. The simplicity of these. I do like Tina, bring them into other projects as well. Look at the ragged edges of the tree. How detailed in there. $9.99 is your price. You're saving three pounds. If you flexify, you're only paying five pounds. 539-662 is your item number. Now, you may want to go for trees that are even a step uh, you know, a step up uh, with uh, these ones are really decorative, aren't they? So they come, you are getting two of them in there. Each of them has its own uh, plastic transparent bubble in there. Now in here, of course, you can position one of these elements that you are given. So you have got three choices. You have got the fairy, you have the elf, and then you have, of course, the reindeer. So you choose which one you want to put in each of those bubbles or alternatively, this could be another project and then inside the bubble you could put pictures of your family maybe and so when it rotates you can see like different times of the year or maybe different Christmases in there and that would be so cute wouldn't it and then you can put maybe uh, memories from different places or or maybe you have some memories from Christmas that you want to preserve there so maybe oh baby's first Christmas and of course you can decorate the bottom with flowers with greenery you can paint it you can decorate it as you wish as well 4039012 is your item number you have got of course two um, in there now we need to tell you that the Merry Christmas bundle uh, we say, say a third of the stock we are approaching half of the stock now that means that it's going very quickly. Remember, it's a happy hour. The prices should be here for uh, 20, 19 minutes, in fact. However, will the stock last? Make sure to check out your baskets. This is the only uh, Ross Paper Crafts happy hour today. So remember, these take advantage of those happy hour prices in there. 18 minutes, actually. Now, I uh, love these, the bubbles. Uh, I love them because there are there are so many different shapes. I mean. And they're not just uh, for Christmas. You have got tags. You can use them as tags as well. You can use them. I mean, I'm kind of thinking you have got 50. Imagine decorating each one. Maybe my, my, my little niece did that last year for Christmas. Um, so they did. Uh, so basically they did a tree in the school and every child put a wish for uh, the new year. Uh, so, I mean, her wish for me didn't come true. But uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, but well, there's still time. There's still time. But um, but it's kind of such a gorgeous way. But imagine that. Imagine to, to write a wish for the new year or the, the new, you know, new Christmas, maybe as well, uh, maybe for the world. Uh, and of course, you can decorate your Christmas tree with it. You can put Messages. You can use them for tags. You can use them, of course, for um, Chris, um, for just a tree, just put it like a little present, maybe. All right, as three zero zero five one four is your item number. Eleven ninety nine is your price. You are saving three pounds. Now, before we go, uh, head back to Tina, we need to mention the fancy tree. Isn't it just glorious? We are approaching seventy percent of the stock. You have a three pound saving, 9.99 is your price. You can multiply it because we still have got the stock. I just should, should hold it with both hands. Uh, now, of course, you can flexify it and pay just five pounds today. 990-832 is your item number. Now, the SLA is very, very popular as well. So uh, over the half the stock as well gone for the SLA. Now, you are getting three of them and it's a perfect decorative element but also as a present, I think it's just glorious. 9.99 is your price. You are getting three of them and you're saving five pounds, courtesy, of course, of being a happy hour. Now, Tina, I believe uh, you have got the bubbles and the deer. I have. So I'm going to show you a different technique this time. Um, I have done it before um, on different shows. I know it's one of Adam's favorites. And what I've done is I've taken one of the pieces of card um, and I've um, put it, the pattern down onto the ball ball and glued it down with my gel medium. Yeah. So you can okay. use transfer glue as well. Then I've just got an ordinary um, water spray, just water inside. And I'm really going to soak that piece here. Okay. okay. So you can see 
the, the, um, it starts to show you that it's soaking into the paper there. Okay? Yeah. So then you gently start to rub yeah. the paper away. And nice you can background. see... You can see that the pattern then starts to come out. And what wow. I love about this technique is it looks like I've stamped it on there. Yeah. So You know, because it really, really does pick up the ink from the papers. You can tell really good papers and card, yeah. um, um, you know, by doing this because it really gives a beautiful, beautiful print. So I suppose you know, the medium that you use uh, to attach it is very important. It is. So you can use a transfer gel or a transfer medium or like I have, yeah. um, my my gorgeous gel medium that okay. I use for absolutely everything. And what you want to do is you want to make sure you've got a really nice even coat. Yeah. And then you want to make sure that your paper is stuck down completely. Completely, yeah. Okay, yeah. or your um, card is stuck down um, completely. And it is... Then you have to... Sorry. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. You have to then give it about 24 hours to make sure that it's completely dry. Perfect. Okay. So all you're doing is you just keep adding water and carrying on. Now, once you've got all of the paper off, leave it for a bit and then spray water again. Because if I bring in one that I've, ah, I did before, yeah. you wow. see, and you still got yes. these little tiny patches of white. So you can still get a little bit more of the paper. That's that. stunning. But I think it's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? It is. I mean, the paper, really the papers are just, I mean, of course, and no, it's part oh, of the yeah. printed pay, card and paper, paper pack, isn't it? I love it. I, I, you know, I really, really love it. I, I think that the, um, the styles that we have on there are beautiful. And it just gives, so I haven't prepped the, the MDF at all. So that's gone straight on. That's why it looks like it's been stamped on. Okay. Yeah. So you can just keep going and, and rubbing off more. But where I want a vintage look anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring in right. my oxide ink. Yeah. So I'm using a vintage photo, and I'm just going to just go around the edge just to give it a little bit more of a vintage feel and to and look like you know it's um, it's bringing your eye towards the middle, so it's highlighting the edges and bring your eye in. Okay, so right. just bring that there like that. Okay. There. So that gives a really, really nice feel. So there we go. So then I'm gonna bring in, I've got the deer. So that's one of the ones that's got the bar on there that, right. that stands up. You can cut that away if you want to, but I'm, I'm not that worried about that to be honest. And then this is the smallest of the Merry Christmases. Which is still is a so nice, gonna... legible size, isn't it? Absolutely. So I've got a couple of, um, of the acrylic paints here. So I've got the gold and the copper, and Gorgeous. they are beautiful. So I'm just going to pop some okay. onto my mat, a little bit of both, just so that you can see how these work. And I was very impressed with these, I have to say, because the Oops. price on these yeah. is amazing. Uh, and they, they're not sizes. Uh, bottom of the screen for them. Uh, yeah, you're getting 75 mil. Usually you get less than that in acrylic paint. And I love the squishy, squishiness of the bottles as well. Yeah, definitely. So they go on beautifully straight onto the MDF as well. Okay. So that's really, really going to make my MDF pop and give it a, such a lovely glimmer. And you can see. Yeah. There. And go around your edges if you have time as well, because it all, it does make a difference. It does. So, okay. And then I'm going to bring in my copper. Just like that. Okay. And of course, Work the acrylic paint, stack. you don't have to prime the MDF? Um, I would always normally prime with um, with the gesso. But I got so excited when these turned up that I was um, more concentrating on just decorating <laughs> yeah. and doing some samples for yeah. you and getting the demos ready than then priming them. So as you can see, it it gives it almost gives like a texture to the body when you don't, you know. 
Yeah. So you've got like a, a lovely texture going on there. So just popping that one to one side and then getting my um, ink back again. Popping a little bit of ink on here. How are we doing for time? Uh, we have about uh, six minutes. Oh my word, that's gone quick. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. I had another demo prepped as well. <laughs> Yeah, well, it always happens live on TV. Even if from the you know from the comfort of your home uh, with Skype, it always goes very quickly. By the way, can I just say about uh, the uh, kind of very ornate tree? Uh, Eighty percent of the stock has gone. This is the fancy tree you can see in there. You get in one of them uh, for nine ninety nine. You can multiply because it's still a stock. But remember, eighty percent of the stock has gone. Nine nine zero eight three two is your item number. Remember that. Don't miss out. Don't miss out on the tree. Don't miss out on the bargains. And remember, you can flexify if you should choose to do so. Right, back to you, Tina. Okay. So, um, using my gel medium, you can tell by my paints. Look, all my gold leaves everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that happens, doesn't it? Oh yeah. I was absolute. I was silver yesterday. Yeah. I was like completely silver myself. So just popping a little bit. You don't need too much. And then popping that onto my ball ball there. Okay. And then my Merry Christmas, I'm going to have just, I think there will look good. So just pat in some more of my glue on. And just there like that. I like it when it comes off at the edge. I might actually even move him up a little bit like that because I like that when it comes off at the edge like so and then you can bring in some ribbon okay That's, I love how it's looking. I love that gold and the copper. Yeah. Of course, part of the acrylic paint set, you are getting seven. Of course, uh, two of them are the metallic, the gold and, and the copper. And then, of course, you have got the titanium white, the cadmium red. You are getting also uh, the gorgeous uh, ultramarine blue. And, of course, you are getting the black in there as well. Def I, I, they are beautiful, beautiful paints as well. As you can see, I've not got anything underneath mine, and they sit really, really well. So just popping a little bow on there, okay, and there you perfect. go. That's gorgeous. So I love just layer that. up. Yeah, I mean, the, these bases are so beautiful because you could stamp on them and colour them if you wanted yeah. to. Um, I'm just what I want to do, Pal, is that's okay. So I'm just going to bring in just my pencils. So I wanted to show you how they do really, really work. Oh well. yeah, the pencils, yeah. Yeah, so I'm just going to just add a little bit of colour up here, just on the holding side of it, just so you can see that the pencils yeah. are really, really quite creamy. They are. And they, they work beautifully on the MDF. Are they wet or soluble? Or... They. Oh, fuck. Um, I don't think so. I think they're, they're normal coloured pencils, you know, okay. so... Um, so wax space. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so you can just use it like this and um what i was going to do is i was going to do my little lady in the ball ball as well but oh just so you can see oh the fair oh. yeah yeah just so you can see how it actually does go wow. so that might be clearer yes do you say the pigmentation of the pencils is quite a strong gorgeous. isn't it yeah that's going straight onto the mdf and you're getting two sets of so it's 72 in total uh, 11 pounds and 99 pence is your price 686 531 is your item number by the way I need to tell everybody to check out their baskets one of the reasons of course is the fancy tree is now limited in stock which means that of course 90% of the stock has gone if you want yours you know what to do check out those baskets limited the stock very busy for the fancy tree back to you Tina okay so, um, I mean, we're basically there. So that's, that's our Beautiful. gorgeous ball ball. And all, all I want you to say is if you want to chat, you can only go for a couple of things on the show. The ball ball packs are amazing. Yes. Because you can, you can lie them up with different elements. You can stamp on them. You know, it just gives you so much choice. And I think you'd have 
um, is it like 50 and 1 and 30? And I've said 80 ball balls. That's plenty to cover your tree, isn't it? It is. I mean, especially with this size of balls, uh, that's just, yeah. they're very large in this one. I love the coasters. I love their way of kind of doing messages as well from out, for outside. This also would be lovely um, if you want to uh, kind of christmas find the outside of your the house, put the number mm. of their house as well outside. Definitely. It, yeah, that's a really good. You could actually do the, you know, the different size baubles and then um, put it along some string like bunting as well, couldn't you? So you could have bauble yeah. bunting. I love that. Yeah, Christmas bunting as well. Yeah, that's such a cool idea. Uh, now, of course, mm -hmm. if you want uh, yours, uh, remember you're getting 30 uh, of, so you're getting 10 of the larger one, I think, and then it's, of course, 20 of the smaller one. 9.99 is your price. You're saving three pounds, but you can flexify it. So, you, of course, you can uh, say, you know, five pounds of uh, just five pounds uh, for air today. Now we are down to the last couple of minutes. So I want to remind everybody to check out their boxes, uh, their boxes, <laughs> check out their baskets. Now, because the fancy tree incredibly busy for it. Remember limited stock. So if you want yours now, it's your basically last call to grab it and checking out those baskets. You can uh, flexify it, of course, and pay five pounds today. You have got a three pound saving. And remember, this is the only happy hour from Ross Paper Crafts this hour uh, today. So if you want to grab something ex exquisite as this tree, uh, there's only one way to check out your baskets right now. Now we also have those acrylic paints that we mentioned and Lina has been using. Very popular. You're getting two metallics, the copper and the gold. And then of course you are getting the cadmium yellow, uh, the cadmium red, the titanium white, the black and of course the ultramarine blue absolutely, uh, you know, easy to use acrylic paints. And Tina has been uh, creating amazing projects. This is the first project you did, isn't it? It is, yes. So, you know, I'm just going to give you, if I can get back a little bit, just a perfect full viewer. That's gorgeous. Oh, that That's re and you, they made it actually from a scratch, and it shows how gorgeous the MDF is. Thank you so much, Tina, for uh, your demo. Thank you. I've really enjoyed it, Paula. Thank you so much. Uh, now, of course, we'll see you soon. Uh, now, the Merry Christmas is very busy uh, for uh, for them as well. Remember to check out your baskets. The Merry Christmas. Uh, Eighty percent of the stock has gone. Do check out your baskets. Do not miss out. But stay tuned here at the craft store because we have got more inspiration. The dream are next with Hayley. Well, Merry Christmas from the Dreamies. It is indeed after the break. Then Katrina is back with Rowan Dean Christmas embroidery and then craft artist Christmas card one day special at 12. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 the craft store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orange Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We pride ourselves with high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orland Create shows.
Are you struggling for ideas or need a little extra creative inspiration as you start your crafty preparations for Christmas 2021? From Thursday the 1st of July at 6pm to Tuesday the 6th of July at 6pm, we'll be bringing you the Craft Store's festive Flextravaganza event. Tune in and be inspired by a fantastic selection of your favourite crafty experts who are guaranteed to get you in the crafty Christmas spirit. Also, as an early Christmas treat from us to you, if you add at least £5 worth of any items to your shopping basket during the event, either online or on the phone, you will qualify for our festive Flextravaganza Flexi Basket offer. This means you can spread the cost of your entire order over two equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you a more cost-effective way of shopping with us. Flexi payments for everyone. So get ready for Christmas 2021 by tuning in to our festive Flextravaganza event from the 1st of July at 6pm. Hello there, and our event continues. It's running right the way through until um, tonight, actually, 6 o'clock, so it's not that long to go, to be honest, but I'll tell you more about that as the hour goes on, because this hour we are looking at Dreamies. For the second time today, we were here bright and early at 7 o'clock this morning. We had a fabulous hour, very busy. You've been loving your MDF today, but we've kind of turned our sights a little bit to somewhere different, but we are going to kind of be touching base with some of the little characters that we met earlier on, the little gnomes. But before that, let me introduce you to the little Lovely Carol. Good morning, Carol, again. Well, hello, Hayley. You all right? I, I am. I'm mm. looking forward to this. Hour. I know. Because in the last hour, we were very busy for these little gnomes. Yes, I'm going to be doing a gnome first Are oh, you going to show how you yeah. bring it ever? Looking forward to it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, do jump ahead and have a little look for those if you want to. But naturally, Carol is not just here by herself. The lovely Hayley is joining us. And Hayley, you've got a bit of a paper crafting demo planned for us. Yeah, my first one. It's a journal, actually, for Ooh. Christmas. So here's a bit of a sneak peek for you. I so love this is Ooh, what we're going to be making, that. yeah. So I want to mix it up a bit. Like you say, we've got a lot of MDF, but mine's MDF later as well. So. Love it. There you go. <laughs> so we're going to crack on because we've got loads of demos, loads of products and some fabulous inspiration to share with. But we're kicking things off with this lovely set. Now, we did touch on this a little bit in the last hour, but we're going to look at it closer because you have got a fabulous interchangeable system with this one. Now, Hayley, tell me about what we've got here and how it comes to be interchangeable. Right. So you've got initially stamps. So if you think of those as your usual stamps, you can stamp them and then you've got your outside edge as the die to cut them out as is um, but obviously you can just use your stamp on its own as well but then you've also got the interchangeable element if you can see on the trees there that's the detail piece in the middle Beautiful. so they actually come completely apart so you can just cut your trees into your cardstock if you want and leave them within or you can cut the detail with the outline die and then get a nice fancy tree there as well so obviously you can do that a fancy one on top with a solid one behind if you want to do black with maybe gold mirror board or something so you've got, um, obviously, five different designs in there. Your mittens, stocking. The robin it. is just lovely. It's so versatile. Absolutely. Draw. I've actually got a finished card made with the robin. And this is the thing. You don't always notice with the dies, but when you see the die cuts actually cut out, that's when you realise just how much detail is in there. I mean, Carol, this is amazing. Actually having the detail within the die cut there. Lovely oh, finish. Is. It is. And same as Ailey was saying, you can do that actually in the card as well. So if you didn't want so to do too much... you didn't have to have the outside cutting edge. That's right. Right, yeah. yeah, so you can have your white on white if you want, which, I mean, we all love that, don't we? Definitely. Absolutely amazing. I love that. I love the craft card with the red there as well. And um, the stockings, obviously, the stockings, you can have loads of fun with those. Now, have a look at these. These are actually cut out with um, some of the new papers, Carol. It is, yes. That's the Icy Blizzard. Um, and then just a little bit of the navy card just on the accents there. But you get that all is. of those, you know, the toe, the heel the extra bit at the top you can have so much fun just think of those like on on a fireplace oh you gosh, know if you've got a little card yeah yeah, oh, yeah. beautiful absolutely gorgeous so there you go it makes sense doesn't it to go for those and you've got a brilliant deal with these you're saving 12 pounds you're getting all of these it's not choices of you're getting all of those sets so you're gonna get your 10 stamps you're gonna get your 33 dies in total you're gonna have so much fun with these especially in the knowledge that you save 12 pounds in the process and because of our event you can spread the cost over two payments as well if you want to works at just 13 pounds and 97 pence so it makes sense to do so doesn't it so if you fancy popping those into your basket then please do so um five one two zero for five. Now, of course, something that Dreamies do so well are their stamps. Absolutely beautiful and useful designs because, of course, Hayley, you're both crafters, so you kind of create things that you know that are going to have that usability. Yeah, absolutely. So these ones, 
they aren't really necessarily a poinsettia. They can be, obviously, mm -hmm. hence why they're on Christmas. But with the stripy petals there as well, if you heat emboss that maybe onto red or pink, they don't have to be poinsettias at all. True. Yeah. Or, as well with it being stamps on the dies as well, you can make Christmas in whatever colour you want. Definitely. Because not everybody goes, oh, I like blues or browns. Sometimes you That's want a, a pop point. of purple, don't you? And you Definitely. can do your Christmas, your style. I love it. Now, of course, with this particular set, we've just got the stamps for $9.99. I say just the stamps, $9.99 for all of those. That's brilliant value. Um, what was that? A pound stamp? Well, no, a little over a pound of stamp. Isn't it? Because a pound of stuff would be nine pounds. It's nine ninety nine. But yeah, one one pound and third. No, I, I can't work it out. No, um, you can get all nine of them for less than a ten. That's the key thing, isn't it? One pound eleven p. That's the sum I was thinking of. It's just my brain started. I could almost smell the burning. Um, <laughs> five four four five seven six. If you're wanting to get hold of those, very useful. And I think, like Hayley said, they're poinsettias, sunflowers, um, gerberas. So many different combinations. Even fantasy flowers. You can like those. Now, something that we touched on early on and we didn't have much of an opportunity to share them with you but we have now we've got the most incredible set of wintry textures now three-dimensional embossing folders they're six by six now Hayley what do you mean by 3d with these well that just means that they're a little bit deeper so you'll be able to see that in some of the designs a little bit is more raised than the other so you can see on there the cable oh. that's running down is a little bit deeper than the little knitted elements that are in the background so that's the sort of 3d that's effect amazing. you're looking at so you have kind of got three different depths if you think of your base card and then the second layer and then a little bit deeper as well but I've just picked up a little bit of gilding wax on there and a bit of ink just so you can see it a bit better it's very effective well, that one's playing have it with me <laughs> and then move on to the next one I like this yeah. one now, as a strip border, that is a useful one, but that little fair isle um, look, very, very effective. And again, nice straight lines as well, so if you do want to turn it into paper ribbons, you can do. Now, you are going to get all three of those for just £19.97. They're six by six in size, and the way that these are kind of on the hinge, you can actually feed through longer strips of paper, can't you, if you wanted to? You can, yes. Yeah. So if you wanted to butt up the design as well, it will carry on. So if you wanted, like you say, a 12 by 12 length or, or 12 by 6 or whatever, you yeah, could play yeah. around with it. Love it. There you go. Um, brilliant value for money. 078089 if you're wanting to get hold of those. Now, in the last hour, we introduced you to three brand new um, paper pads. I've got the opportunity to show you a couple of them, and these are beautiful. Now, you're going to get all three of these. Um, gorgeous colour palette, as you can see, lovely cool tones. Um, the Ice Blizzard, which is the one in the middle, I think, there, isn't it? That Icy Blizzard guy. That one has gone by itself. The only way you can get hold of it is as the trio. And to be honest, that's the way that most of you are going for these. Now, now, I did flick through um, two of those paper pads earlier on and draw my attention to the winter florals. Kind of clue is in the title with this one then, Carol. It is, <laughs> yes. I mean, obviously, you can use it for, like, winter birthdays. It's not got to be, well, I wouldn't say it's got to be Christmas Ooh. at all, but you've got that nice wood effect Love in that. there. Yeah. That is everyday stuff, isn't it? That's and those pretty. lovely, <gasps> yes. Look, look at that one. Yeah, that is my favourite one out of Isn't that, that collection. Isn't that pretty? And it's nice because you can kind of see the little nod to some of those others that we've just flicked through there. And I love, always love a paper that's got a script in there. Yes, yeah. yeah. Always Definitely. useful. So this is just one of those three paper pads. You're actually going to get all three of those. Double-sided as you go there. 48 sheets in each one of those and 8 by 8 So lots of possibilities with those. So if you did miss out on the um, Icy Blizzard earlier on, then rest assured you can still get hold of it alongside those other additional ones. There, your vintage Christmas and your winter florals. £23.97. If you fancy those, uh, they're 455016. Pop them into your basket. Now, something that Carol was using in her demonstrations and you loved them in the last hour so I think it's only right that we should mention them again um, your fabulous little pearls now these are brilliant you've got three different sizes um, you've got the gorgeous little red one perfect for your berries again the green ones you could use for your berries or just as little embellishments and then of course you've got your pearl tone there all of those for just £11.96 so uh, six seven nine or one five nine if you fancy getting hold of those so there you go those are some of the things that are going to be featuring during this hour but we are going to revisit some of the things that we saw earlier on because we were so busy with them. You were loving your little MDF characters. Well, I say you're loving your little ones. You were loving your little ones, your medium ones, and your large ones, to be honest, because they come in three different sizes. So we're starting off with the small. And when we say small, they're not exactly small, really, Hayley, are they? Not really, no. I mean, they're about, it's six inches, 150 mil. So if you think of just your little six inch ruler, it's about that size. Um, they might vary a little bit depending on 
how many pieces there are on the sheet and things like that but they are about that sort of size and they look so cute on windowsills and if you maybe did um, a garland or something all around its base nice. you could have all your characters stood out of it I think they're really usable and again if you were making to sell we completely we, we want you to do that absolutely that right? yeah and nice is the thing because these are the sort of thing that people are certainly going to come into have a look at if you've got a craft store um, taking orders or maybe for your family if you're making gifts and things like that you're going to get seven of these uh, 150 centimeters high and as Hayley quite rightly said it depends on where you're gluing the elements as well because yeah. the gnome I mean you could probably make him quite a lot taller or you can pull that out right the way down so you've got a certain amount of scope with these the other thing is you don't have to necessarily use them as their characters if you don't want to but look at this where just a little element of the the reindeer being used that's a nice idea yeah. if we get there that's my second demonstration this oh, okay. hour but failing that I'll, I'll make sure I put a um, tutorial on Facebook if not Brilliant. But, um, yeah so that one mixing in the papers you can see again that sentiment that's in the paper pad Very but all I did is just build its body just trace around it but out of craft card instead of the wooden piece I love it. Now, the base on this one is actually the bauble, which you've got the bottom of your screen. You're getting 10 of those big size baubles there for just $9.99. So, if you are thinking of doing something similar with your characters, make sure you're adding those in alongside the details on the screen there. It's only an extra £9. Of course, spreading the cost over two payments makes it very affordable. You've got your medium, you've also got your large with these characters as well. And we did see Carol working with the snowman from the larger collection, um, and these are brilliant. Really good sizes, around 30 centimetres high. So you're looking at roughly 20, um, 12 inches, aren't you? Um, but they're the, the bottom of the screen if you want to go for the largest size. But the one in the in-between is um, are on your screen there. £19.43 and pence for all seven of those. And if you do love the gnomes, stay tuned because I'll show you where you can get hold of them all together. And you've been adding them into your basket. Now, this is going to be Carol's first demonstration. So let me give you those details to start with. With this one, you're just getting the gnomes, but you're getting them in the three different sizes. So you're going to get your little lady beardy one, which I'm going to bring. Oh, actually, you can see down at the front there and you're also getting your medium and your large alongside these so all three of those and these are brilliant I mean Carol these are such fun and I think it's almost like a doorstopper type of character yeah amazing. yeah they are um yeah we've had so much fun creating these you know decorating them up and same as you say they've not got to be Christmas definitely you know not, you can do yeah. them in whatever color you want for your decor in your definitely. house or anything yeah yeah you definitely need to stock up on these ones now they're 9.99 you're gonna get three of those but it'll just let you know approaching half the stock has gone so as I said perfect for your Christmas you can see those lovely little pearls being used there as well um, but do stock up on them if you're wanting to go for more than one set you can do the same item number it makes it a very affordable way to shop for these so 289 503 if you fancy getting hold of those now of course everything we've spoken of and much more is on the website so those papers we touched on the, uh, the sledge that we saw earlier on and um, Hayley did a lovely demonstration with that one so do um, have a little look at those as well they're perfect to work with the smaller characters because you can have them sitting on there you could use them on your table you could use them always as drinks coasters as well there's loads of ways you can use them and um, the pearls do not miss out on those they are flying out and of course it's a perfect opportunity for you to stock up on some of those other the goodies that, um, that we've got for you as well if you want to get yourself your dinky ink is all sorted and all organized then of course you can do and do check out the stamens it's the first time that we've seen these on a pick and mix and you've got loads of choices with regards to the colors so that's an item number you'll definitely want to keep a note of because you will be revisiting that one I am sure of it but we promised you a demonstration and we promised you a demo with the gnomes and that's where we're gonna start oh Carol yeah, I, I, know. Love them. I know isn't it cute uh, soon as I say, you can do whatever colours you want. It's not got to be Christmassy colours, has it? Um, right, so what I've done already, I've covered my base and I've just covered the bottom of this particular one, which is the back piece. You don't need to cover all of it because obviously this one is going to mat onto there. Obviously, if you want to, if you're a bit like, if I see something underneath, but you don't have to at all. Um, and then this one, I'm just going to run this through the... Um, machine so I can oh, show the you the yes so I can show you the knitted one because that is how I've done his um, I do like that texture I'll say his beard or whatever oh I know it is I mean just think of things like if you've got anything that you want to dress up yeah you know like the gingerbread yeah I the think clothes and yeah. everything yeah. yeah and scarves and things like yeah. that as well that knitted profile is gonna look amazing right so we just run this one through so I've just done it onto the white card and look at that straight away. 
If we oh, can, wow. I don't know if we can see that. Oh, look at that. That cable. I do like a cable. Oh, I do. Yeah, yeah there's something about a cable, isn't there? Very effective. So that Lovely. is that particular one. So that is what I've done for this part of his, I'll say his beard. So we're just going to pop this onto the base then. Wonderful. So just, I'll use the hot glue this time again. So we just need to line all this up. Obviously, if you use your wet glue, you've got a little bit more movement. That's not too bad, actually, to say it's the hot glue. Okay, then just onto this bit of his beard, mm -hmm. I'm just going to go over oh, just yeah. a little bit, just tickling it, if you would like, <laughs> <laughs> of the ink pad. Obviously, you can use your door, but if you wanted to, but just want that little bit onto there. And then this is the bit that goes on to here so what i've done i've just cut that across there so if you mark where you want it to be because you don't want to go it's right up yes. or right low down yeah. so if you mark that first then you know where you're going right so we just get this on to here then so again everything is marked for you you know where it needs to go with your little bits jutting out there okay so then i have got some flowers here Ooh, okay so these are the fancy florets which are the paisley petals this particular one Lovely. and what i'm going to do i've just used a plain die for that so just mm -hmm. the outside die and i'm going to put these through the embossing folder so this is the fair isle one now lovely thing now like little knitted flowers yeah um those embossing folders incidentally you're going to get all three of those for 19.99 and they're all on that gorgeous kind of knitted theme so your fair isle you've got your twist with that one you've also got quite a geometric look with them they are brilliant six by six in size they're really good size and as carol's just showing you you don't have to cut them or emboss them in a whole piece you can just do little segments of things if you want to so nice set to go for those so then, once we open this up, we have got the embossed pattern. I don't know if you oh, can you wow. see that. Oh, look at that. That's of a it. crisp finish. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. So, obviously, depending where you put it on your embossing folder, you get a different uh, 3D bit of it. Right, so what we'll do, we'll do these first then. I have got my other ones laid up ready. So, again, I'm just doing this twist. That's all I need to do on that because we don't want to do too much. We don't want to run the ball tool over it because it would flatten the uh, embossing then. So if we just lovely, do um, all just this. to let you know at home as well, the Nordic gnomes. If you're going for the trio, the set of three for less than a tenner, um, sixty percent of the stock has gone. Oh, oh approaching wow. sixty percent of the stock. Oh, we are busy. So mm. yes, if you're wanting these, do make sure you're getting them into your basket. I think quite a few of you will be going for these for multiples as well because we are busy on those phone lines. So if you find yourself caught in the queue system on the phones, we will get to you as soon as we can. Um, it might be worth ordering an extra couple of sets of some of those gnomes because if you have to phone back up again because I don't know Doris down the road wants them all you're suddenly thinking oh I could do with a few extra sets for um, kind of home warmings and things like that then uh, it's certainly a good time to get them all together at the same time so uh, yeah make sure you get enough for your needs right so I'm just going to layer those three up and obviously in the um, icy blizzard you do get that paper that's a bit like mottled you know light in one part and darker in another and then what I'm going to do with the stamens just to make it a little bit more Christmassy. Just using one of the white ones. I've got my others done because obviously I wanted them to uh, set with the glue. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of the go-to glue onto my mat and then just fold these in half. Just dip it into the glue and then straight into the glitter. So then we have ended up with glittery oh, stamens. Oh, that's a clever technique. And you can do that with any of the colours. Obviously, you will get the base colour underneath showing yes. through. Um, but then when they've dried, they are really... Look at that, that look, sparkle. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Wow. It now, does look actually, nice. Actually, the white are the most popular of those ones. I think lots of you are thinking about changing the colours of them. And the pick and mix is so easy to work with. You've got all your different colours there. So you could go for three different colours if you're wanting to. Or if you want to go just for your white, then you can do. It's always a popular one. So do get in nice and early if you are just going for your white. Dark tones are beautiful as well. And, of course, any of those you can add colour to, whether it's a case of using things like your glitters, as Carol's just used, or even your pens as well. But keep a note of the item number. It's the 
first time we've bought your pick and mix with these, but it is something that you will want to come back and look at time and time again. So make sure you keep your note of that number. And incidentally, we've had loads of emails in during this hour. We've got some of them. I'll read some of them out um, during the course of the hour, but thank you. It's been lovely to uh, get those through and have your company in this hour. Right, so that's the one that I've just done, finished. And then I've got all these other ones. So these, the slightly smaller ones and the largest ones, which is going to go at the bottom there. So we will add a little bit of the sisal just on here just so we can spread that out coming up there and that's where the flowers are going to sit so the largest one at the bottom or top of his hat should I say this bit okay so we're just going to pop those on then I'm going to go from the other end so we can try and space them out quite nicely so you know you can do a, same as I say again in all your different colors you could do a large one a medium one and a small one all in different colors so you get all your different uh, looks on there they almost look like little pom-poms they the do moment. don't they <laughs> yeah I just grab that Alex just to make it stick onto there I've probably done too many, but it's best to have too many than not enough. So again, you can see how easy it is to put together. And then, then you have your fun with your decorating. Well, these emails that have come through, some really nice emails. Um, I will read them through, um, but I mean, Trudy, Trudy is somebody who wasn't necessarily into MDF before Dreamies came along and said, Good morning, Carol, Hayley, and Hayley. Lovely to see you on our screens again. Super excited for your Christmas range. Before Dreamies, I never used MDF, but they are so easy to use. It's hard to choose a favourite, and I will have them all. Enjoy your day. Trudy, Aww, oh, thanks, Trudy. Yes, Trudy's a dreamy catcher. And yeah, I've got a few people that put in brackets here from Tracy Dreamy Catcher. Yeah, and these yeah. are all part of your social uh, media. That's right, yes. Uh, a group that we've got on there and I do demos most evenings in there. Um, right, so I'm just using the little sprig stamp out of the Contemporary Blooms now. So that's just it stamped out. So what I thought, putting all the pearls on, obviously I'm not going to bore you with putting all those on. So I've done that previous. That's so if nice, you can see, it? you know, just adding that little bit of extra sparkle. So we'll get these just popped, coming out of the flowers there. Obviously you can put and them. they nice just to add that little bit of detail. And that's right, yeah. and carrying on with the sparkle as well, because we always want yeah. sparkle at Christmas, don't we? Right, so put that on there. And, then we'll and they're flat-backed as well, so nice that's and easy right, to yeah. actually put onto yeah. the cardstock when you're putting them in place. There we go. Doesn't that and make a difference? Remind me a little bit of gypsophilia with those yes, little kind of dots Yes, yes, it yeah. does, doesn't it? Yeah. So again, they've not got to be Christmas, have yeah. they? Um, so then I'm just going to ink around these. So these are his paws, and I've used the, well, his feet, should I say, um, use the knitted embossing folder again on here. Looks oh, like he's got woolly socks on there. It <laughs> does, doesn't it? Right then, so we'll just pop those on to there. Yeah, I mean, think of that on your stockings. You know the stockings. Well, the stocking yeah. dye that you've got in that interchangeable set. Yeah, because yeah. you can do it all on those. And I said to Ayla the other day, what about knitted trees? Oh, yeah, actually. Uh, you know, anything. anything like that. And then we have got his or her nose. <laughs> so we just pop that on to there. Well, Janice will be pleased, blue nose. <laughs> <laughs> and then the little heart, you can either put that on his hat oh. or I'm just going to pop it there as if it's oh, his that's tummy. Adorable. Um, and then we have just got the Happy Christmas, just to pop that on. And this the... is clever, because has this come from the paper pad as well, where you, you trimmed it out, or have you stamped no, this No, this is a stamp that ah, we, we've we got on one cute. of our other sets that's not oh, that's here yet. but on his yeah. hat. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, obviously, it goes into the stand, and there you go. Absolutely could add a little perfect. bit more sisal on the bottom if you wanted to. Aren't they brilliant? Now, can you imagine if you were running a craft store and you got these on your stand? Um, they're going to draw people in because everybody loves gnomes. And this is the thing. They're going to look perfect. You could be taking orders, taking them, making them up in different colours for different home schemes and things like that. Some people might like traditional red and green. Some people might like the cool tones. And, of course, the beauty is with this set of three, you have got um, your small, your medium and your large. Um, so with regards to that one, you can see all three of them for less than a tenner oh my goodness rapidly approaching
approaching 70% of the stock has gone of that one. So 289503. If you're wanting those, please do make sure you're getting them into your basket. The pearls, of course, pearls are useful for adding those little tiny details as well. And these have been very, very popular. Perfect to use, obviously, with your florals. And we saw Camel using them on those little fronds. They're just perfectly shaped to actually go with those stamps. So if you're wanting these, and they're going to work so well with many of the stamps that you've got as well. But 70% of the stock has gone. You can bulk up on these if you want so you can go back in and get more of them now with regards to these you've got your red green now it says silver oh silver white sorry silver slash white so it's kind of like a cool tone of your silver for a moment i thought i'd lost a pot um, but no you're going to get all of these ones that are holding here so um six seven nine one five nine eleven pounds and 96 pence definitely worth popping those ones into your basket you're gonna love those ones when you get them home so the stamps um, and this is the key thing i mean they're absolutely brilliant to work with and you've got kind of a different combination and stars of stamps that we're sharing with you now these ones are your florals and they're lovely because they're like a contemporary bloom could be a poinsettia if you're using it at christmas time might be a clematis if you're working in the summer um, it could be daisies could be sunflowers they can be whatever you like and i love that you kind of got the fall away as well from those little petals so it's almost like he loves me he loves me not kind of a bit Taking those petals off as you go. A uh, brilliant value, less than a tenner. Spread the cost if you're wanting to, because with the Flex Travaganza, you can do. 544 576 if you are wanting those. But of course, the uh, set with the most stamps and dies in is this wonderful set that we've got here, which are interchangeables. Now, the idea behind these is you've got your stamps, so you can stamp your stamps out, and then you can cut them in a variety of different ways. So things like the Christmas pudding, you could cut it as a whole if you're wanting to. You could actually create it with the icing if you wanted to you could stamp it out use it in whichever way you like they're interchangeable that's the whole point but you're getting a lot of detail within those as well 27 pounds and 95 pence 10 stamps 33 dies brilliant value for me if you wanted to 512045 lots of other goodies that are proven to be very very popular during this hour lots of you taking advantage not only of those stamps and dies but also many of the other things we've been speaking of the paper pads are popular the embossing folders are popular and naturally those gnomes are flying out. If gnomes had wings, perhaps that's a thing. We need to make some gnomes with wings so they can fly out. Um, 512045 if you're wanting those interchangeable. To be honest, if you've got MDF elements, and I'm sure you will have other MDF pieces within your, your stash, you could put whatever you like on them actually, couldn't you? You could have little butterfly wings on your, your, um, your little gnomes and all sorts, to be honest. Anyway, that's enough about gnomes. We're turning our attention to paper crafting and we're going to be looking at those wonderful um, flowers. And this is a lovely little journal that you've made. Yeah, so I've started trying to get into journaling a little bit more. It was mostly Lou Sims doing some of our shows that really inspired oh, yes. me. Um, but yeah, I wanted to give a bit of a different take on some of the fluttering flower or fluttering frames, sorry, the dice that are on the show. So this one's just been embossed into the cardstock rather than cut out. Nice. And then we've just made it into kind of like a concertina book. Because I thought then you've got the little um, cards so you can put a memory in there and then on the opposite page you can just pop yourself a little picture or something. So that would be really cute. So first off then, I'll show you how I made the cover. Okay. So I die cut two of the outside shapes. So this is just the base layer of one of the frames. So obviously you could do this with all the different frames. And I've just got some chocolate brown cardstock and I've just covered it in little bits of double-sided foam just so that I can layer that up and it's just making me a nice sturdy cover. So I've popped that on there and then I've already stuck my die onto it just with a bit of washi tape. So then I'm just going to run it through my machine. Let's see if I get it the right way around. No, it's underneath, I think. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll try it. I don't know if the sheet's on top or underneath. Oh. Whichever way your die cutting machine well, works. What are you popping that through? Yeah. Shall I show you a picture of all the different yeah. elements that you get Don't embarrass me when it goes wrong. No, so you can sneak a little look. Give me the nod and a thumbs up, Hayley, if you want me to come back to it. So with these, you're going to get... I've got your back, don't worry. 24 dies in total. You've got your innies, your outies, your decoration with these. These are firm favourites. You will regularly see both Carol and Hayley utilising, if not the whole of this particular die, but little elements within these as well and this is the beauty because you've got all those little kind of additional bits and pieces you've got your little um, foliage elements there you've got things like your little name plates in there the frames all of these coming to you for a brilliant price two flexi bars 24 pounds and 99 pence but they are incredibly useful and you've got 10 pounds saving with these so do not miss out on them um at four six three two three two if you wanted to get hold of them can i come back to you halo yeah oh don't have to do it. back to Haley.
I could get away with it, but I did put it in the wrong way. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> but you can see, I've just removed my dye there, then, oh, and it's look. not cut through, so it has just embossed that. So that then we can pick that up with a bit of gilding wax. So I have got one that I did a little bit earlier. But obviously you could use your dinky ink if you wanted to as well. I just Good wanted point. to yeah. add plenty of colour on here just so you can see that gorgeous emboss that's come through. So you that luxurious look, but it's just, it's cardstock. Yeah, it's exactly. Amazing. It's literally two pieces of, I think it's about 240 GSM cardstock stuck together. And that makes a perfect book cover then. I love so, it. Now, you've, you've got one. Sorry, you go. <laughs> Wonderful. I was just very quickly going to mention, because we've not touched on the dinky and keys earlier on, so we have got these available for you. Um, loads of different colours. They're all coming together, so you don't have to choose. It's not like a, um, just selecting um, a few. To be honest, you couldn't select a few because you, you want them all. But um, if you're wanting yours, 826028, £34.95, whopping great £30 saving. And it's brilliant because you're going to get your little ink pads with these and your re-inkers, um, and uh, you'll use them over and over again. They'll become your firm favourites. We regularly see the girls using them. Don't forget your storage system as well. It gives you the opportunity to keep them all neat and tidy on your desktop when you're crafting with them because you won't want to put them away. 826028 if you wanted to get hold of those. Lovely back to you then, Hayley. Right, so I've just stuck a piece of card just in the centre of my front panel there. I will carry on with this afterwards, but I just want to make the book first because then it's easier to work on, on top of. Okay. So I've just got, this is a length of cardstock. So I cut down um, two pieces and these are scored at four inches wide or you do get the rectangular die that cuts the centre of the frame anyway so you could use that oh, to make the yes. perfect size. Okay. So then I've just put some super sticky on both the top and bottom. So then I can stick this onto one of my panels that I've done. So if I grab this one that we just did, this can go into the centre there. Then we can pick up some more of that gold afterwards. But then I'm just going to line this up over the top to make into my book. So then we've got this gorgeous concertina fold coming That's out of there. so easy. It really done. is, isn't it? <laughs> See, yeah, way these sort of journals, than that. <laughs> I can get on board with because they come together really quick. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what my thing is with journaling. Like, I just think I've not got too much to say. <laughs> oh, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> but that's it. That's me putting myself in a box, isn't it? You can journal anything. Well, the thing is, I think it's just getting started. Sometimes your mindset um, kind of changes because with planners, um, obviously, yeah, fabulously, I've only been doing some wonderful planner shows. And I must admit, many of us have got involved. But to start off, we were a bit tentative. I don't know if I get this planner thing. But then all of a sudden, you think about we make lists, don't we? Make photographs, yeah. albums, and all sorts. And we're doing all this documentation as life goes on. Even if it's a case of that you're doing a shopping list on the back of an envelope, technically you are planning your shopping, <laughs> aren't you? So that's what it's all about. And I think sometimes we have to kind of switch the way we think yeah. about things. Yeah, don't put too much pressure on it, definitely. Right, so I've just got some little pieces of cardstock and then some of the papers. These are from the vintage Christmas pad. And then I'm just going to make a couple of quick pockets as well. I just I tend to make them super easy. I don't have to measure too much or anything like that. So I'll just layer this into the centre and one of my papers again. The great thing is as well, you can use all your scraps for books like this, can't you? So you oh, never have you, any definitely. waste. <laughs> and right. those papers, any a section of those papers, isn't look amazing. So, oh, yeah. absolutely, yeah. Right, so I've got the same size pieces that I've just stuck on, so I'll just show you how quickly I made my pockets. So I've just got the rectangular piece and I've just popped a bit of the tape just on the bottom, it's the um, super sticky. And then I'm just going to stick my paper just along the edge, and then as I flip this over, I can fold that up against the edge of the card, and then just flip it over and trim that off. And then that's an easy way just for you to make your pockets then. You don't need a die or anything like that. Fold these ones round. And then we can tape that or glue it into the book then. So then, there we go. We can pop that into there then. And then we've got a nice little pocket that you can pop your little notes into if you want to or anything like that. And also, same sort of thing if you wanted to do a corner pocket. Just got a piece here as well. And I'd just lay it across at a corner. I'd cut it a little bit deeper, like this piece here. And lay it across my card 
like this, I've not stuck it to my heart, my mat even. <laughs> oh, it happens to me so much. Lay it across wherever it's going to be and then just literally fold it round and trim it off. And then that way you make really simple pockets. You've not had to worry about it too much. And there That's you go. That's a got clever idea. Just to pop something in the side there. Right. So then once you've got all your pockets inside and things like that, or you can do it afterwards, but I just thought easier now to work on the top of. So we can pop a nice little layer onto here just from the paper pad again so that's just going to go in the center and then I've just got a piece that I'm just going to roll the edges up a little bit and then we can just pop that onto the side there just as another added layer so then I'm just going to add in the um, bottom corner here I just want to add a, a flag or something just to add that little more pop of color okay so we'll just trim that into a rough flag. I don't worry too much if they're not perfect. And again here. And we can pop that on oh, the side lovely. as well. And then all of these little overhanging bits where you've got space and things will be covered by the flower anyway. So at least you've not got to really think about that sort of stuff. So then I'm just going to add a little bit of some of the frifery stuff, the sisal, just in the bottom there. Now, if you're wanting things like your, your sisal, do check out the brand section. You'll find all these additional bits and pieces that Hayley's working with there. Right, so then I've got the flowers that we used earlier. So these are from the Fancy Florets. And this is what I mean, the one that I made that was bigger earlier, this is your biggest size, so it is good really size, big. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to trim into the middle and take a petal out. And then I'm just going to wrap it round a little bit and just put it on top of the next petal. But not all the way, because I just want it to be a little bit off. Like I say, so that we've got that different change of um, flower shape. I'm not too worried about the glue either. And then I'm just going to shape this one as well and trim in and take the petal out again. So then these can fold a little bit further around and they just look a little bit more random rather than the actual perfect flower that the, the dyes are. Mm -hmm. So then we can pop bottle into the centre. I think, yeah, the centre will probably be best for that. Just to flatten that out. Just so then it's got more of a flat base just to pop onto my memory book. That's a good tip as well. So I'm just going to bend them out a little bit and then that can make our oh, point lovely. setter. In fact, we'll tie this into just a loop or something just so that we can add a little bit of extra ribbon just in the back. It's background. all about adding kind of the layers really, isn't it? It is, definitely, it yeah. yeah. I do love adding lots of little bits in like the twines behind and things like that, just so that whenever anybody looks at it, they go, oh, I didn't see that the first time <laughs> round. good point, yeah. Right, so we can pop that on. Oh, so many lovely emails, just reading them through. I mean, Trudy and Gemma and Anne, all of you emailing. Lovely Tracy as well from the, the Dreamy Catchers. Um, such a popular, popular um, company. This is the thing that so many people <laughs> are getting involved with this. Um, oh. Real fun. I've got, we've got Paula from Geordie Land here as well. It's Wet Tuesday. I think it's wet most places to be honest today. <laughs> um, oh, oh, shh. I've got to whisper it because she's at work. <laughs> We We're didn't not hear advocating that. <laughs> watching when you're at work. <laughs> right, so then I've just got one of our MDF words. The um, It could be in the pick and mix, but if not, then it's definitely coming very soon. So okay. I've just popped a word onto there that just says memories. Oh, and I've grabbed cute. the word Christmas. So this is from the um, paper pad again. So I've right. just grabbed the word Christmas so we can pop that above the word memories. Trimmed out, nice idea. And this is true because, I mean, it, although you might not be ready to get started for your Christmas cards for this year, you'll certainly have photographs for Christmas cards past, won't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I've got a few of the red pollen head stamens as well, just to poke in there because they look like really cute little berries. So what you were saying about the white being the most popular, if I was going for 
three for my Christmas cards, I'd probably go red, white, and black. Yeah. Oh, because I feel like oh, I didn't notice there were black tones. Well, in it's there. like oh, a blacky right, grey yeah. colour. Ah, okay. Um, but yeah, like again, really useful, especially if you're doing something monochrome for Christmas. Yeah. And then, well, white and yellow at the moment are neck and neck. I mean, the yellow is perfect to go in the centre of your poinsettias. Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Right, and then I'll just add three little pearls just in the centre there. And pearls are, are literally flying out. There um, we go. And three pearls on one little flower might seem like a luxury, but not when you're paying 11 99 for them. But three quarters of the stock is gone. Wow. So, yes, if you want them, you have to be quick. Um, 679159. That is beautiful. And that's the sort of thing that I'm guessing. I mean, we've had a question come through. I haven't got a name attached to the email, so apologies, but asking about whether we can make and sell, and is that okay? Of course, yeah. We have a full angel policy, so because we design everything that we do, we, we're quite happy for you to make and sell it. as much as you like. And I and think it's for whatever Catherine. you want. <laughs> Catherine's name may appear on another sheet somewhere along the line. <laughs> Catherine, thank you. It's a really good question, so thank you for that. Loads and loads of emails, so uh, yeah. Hayley, thank you. That was thank beautiful. Thank you. Um, and that's the thing. We've got some amazing things to share with I'm going to give you a little bit of a recap. We're going to head back over and see what Carol is up to. Um, it's been a busy hour, lots of different things that you've been going for. But, of course, our focus is slightly different on this hour. And as you saw earlier on, um, working with paper crafting with lovely Haley. Now, this is a lovely set of stamps and dies that you've got that are interchangeable. The idea being is you've got your die cut elements that you can interchange if you wanted to. So cutting out, maybe you're stocking out your pattern paper. Maybe it's a case that you're going to be using some of your, your solid cardstock from the toe and the heel of your stocking or the little kind of rollover that you've got at the top. Or maybe the robin, you're going to be um, die-cutting it out and taking advantage of the fact that you've got so many different little elements within that robin. And this is the beauty. It's about the design. And, of course, Carol and Hayley, both being crafters, know exactly what they want with regards to the dies, and they uh, design them accordingly. Such a clever idea, isn't it? Turns it from something that would be beautiful just as the outline, but then turns it into something that's incredibly detailed. And the beauty is because the outline is separate to the inner dies, you could actually have that going straight into your card front. You don't necessarily have to make it into a little topper, as you cannot see on this occasion. So, a brilliant set. 33 stamps. Um, sorry, try again. 10 stamps, 33 dies. Got it the wrong way around. Um, so, yeah, if you're wanting these, then definitely do get them into your basket. They're perfect for Christmas, but to be honest, you'll use them all year round. The little bird there, I mean, that could be a little blue tip. It could be whatever you like. The circle that you got from the Christmas pudding, it doesn't have to be a Christmas pudding. You could play around with that. And the mittens, you can certainly use those for any project like the trees very much um, a collection for all year round 512045 now something else that's perfect for all year round as well these beautiful flowers and this is lovely now we have got them just as the dies by themselves they may well sorry the stamps by themselves there may well be a die available if you want to check out the dreamy brand section but on this occasion we've got these gorgeous stamps really good size nice easy shapes as well so even if you're not a die cutter it's not going to take much to cut these out very effectively and also depends on the color of the cardstock you're using very useful useful poinsettias we were talking about they could be daisies if you're doing them out of your white cardstock yellow that would turn them into little kind of sunflowers clematis flowers loads of different opportunities and at nine pounds and 99 pence i think it's be one of the most useful flower um, stamps you've got in your collection to be honest 544576 now the embossing folders are something that we kind of drew attention to during this show beautiful set of three they are six by six in size and i've got some little examples of how you can work with these because the beauty is they're three-dimensional and what you've got especially if you're using something like a craft card i mean it almost looks like it's been knitted up very effective you've got that twist in there your cable twist absolutely perfect for you to use in loads of different ways and of course because you've got that three-dimensional emboss where you've got the different layers in there it means you can brush over the top with things like your gilding wax or your inks and get some amazing results all three 90 pounds and 97 pence zero seven eight zero eight nine very affordable as well but of course the characters oh and i'm not just talking about carol and hayley i'm talking about these fabulous little characters that we've got with the mdf we're going to be heading over to carol in a few moments but these have been incredibly popular Three different sizes with regards to these. So you've got your small, your medium, and your large. In each one of those sets, you are going to get seven characters. Now, we've got the details on the side of your screen for your small characters. 
all seven of those. If you want in your medium, which is your next size up there at the bottom, and then your larger ones, I will give you the details of those in a few moments. But small, um, you're looking at around six inches tall, so uh, 150 millimetres. Um, depends. Obviously, they vary with different bits and pieces and how you're going to put them together. But the gnome, I mean, look at that with those pearls on there. Love that. Not just for Christmas, though. I mean, little gingerbread characters. I mean, yes, obviously, if you do them in the gingerbread colour, then you do tend to think of Christmas, but they don't have to be could just be uh, little boys and girls with those ones the gnomes all year round the reindeers again we do sometimes think of christmas but i know people that love reindeers all year round especially penguins as well people collect things with penguins on don't they so if you're wanting this set all seven of them just 12.99 860 next size up at the bottom of your screen and the larger ones i promise you these are really good sizes carol was working with some of these in the previous hour so this one's the medium is it oh, to apologize so, um, um, I say, oh, I don't know. I think these both are the large, are they? I don't know, actually. Yeah, I'm getting a nod. I'm getting a nod. Um, so, yeah, you've got your large snowman. We saw Carol decorating this one earlier on. And your reindeer as well. See, the reindeer, I think, would be lovely for, like, a new baby or something like that. Beautiful. A Christmas baby, definitely. Love it. There you go. So if you fancy these, a five on one, one, two, three. Those are the largest sizes. Many of you going for all three sizes and lots of you treating yourself to a full set of those gnomes as well. Because the Nordic gnomes are available in three sizes. Your small, your medium, large, just as a set by themselves as well. So if you fancy a top-up of these, for less than a tenner, you can get all three but you need to be quick. They are now limited in stock. You've got green gnomes on your screen there. Um, 289 of 503. They must be feeling a bit queasy. So yes, if you fancy getting hold of those, please do not leave it too long. We've uh, had a chat with the ladies. Can't bring any more of those, so make sure you get hold of them as soon as you can. Now, time-wise, we are rapidly running out of time. We've got about 12 minutes or so left, so I think we're going to go back over to Carol and see what Carol's up to. What have you yeah. got planned, Carol? Well, I'm going to be doing this bauble oh, now. These so are cute. I'm using the Icy Blizzard papers again. Lovely. Um, which I have covered one of the baubles. Now, the so, Icy Blizzard, you can only get them in the set of three. I, know, now, I thought you? that's yeah. typical. I've used oh. that both times. Uh, and first of all, because I've used the um, tree papers, I'm just going to pop a little bit of glitter on here. So I'm just using the glue pen. So I think this, if it's not on the show, it's on the website. So just. Um, add a little bit of glitter on there to start with just to make it a bit festive in the background there obviously yeah. you could add your snow if you wanted to add snow but you can Good see point, just yeah. that little bit of glitter going on there and what I want to do now and I've used that <laughs> um, I just want to show you cutting the trees out because I am using the trees this time from the interchangeable Oh, okay, so yes. what I'm going to do, I, I'm going to be using the ones that I've cut out, but I also want to show you while we're putting it through the um, die cutter, I'm putting one just on its own without the outside edge. Okay. So if we cut this, you'll see that one will come out loose and the other will stay in your cardstock. So yeah. if you want to do that sort of scene, then obviously you've got uh, that option Useful as well. Useful having it as an option rather than you just saying, well, there you go, it's going to cut it That's out. That's right, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I do tend to say to Ailey, like, if we've got anything, can we have an outside die? <laughs> can we have an outside die with that? <laughs> <laughs> right, so then you can see that one has stayed in your cardstock. Obviously, all these little bits will pop out. So that one stayed in your cardstock. And then this one has cut out because I've put the outside die Aww. on it. So yes. again, they will pop out as easy as anything. And they're perfectly sized to work with the baubles that we've got. Um, yeah. Incidentally, can I just show you a couple of other ideas with these baubles? We didn't really get, have an opportunity to show you. Now, I'll very quickly just show you these, because obviously we want to get back to the demo. But these are your bases. So these are brilliant. They're, they're fabulous value for money. They're 150 centimetres um, in size. So, of course, perfect to work with some of the characters we've been looking at. But really good size areas, as you can see. You're actually getting 10 of these for 9.99. I mean, you could spend as much time decorating one of these as you would a car but you probably yeah. find that if you're selling you can make more money making right. these aren't you and if you're getting the 10 
just think you could do like a bauble um <gasps> oh like bunting, bunting. Yeah. yeah i couldn't think of the word then yeah so you know you can do anything really like good that, point yeah definitely and all year round ten. one as well yeah, yeah. with Love 10 that would be so yeah ideal. do make sure you're taking advantage of those zero two three 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 two and they're perfect for the actual um stamps and uh, dies that carol's working with as well right so i've just got a little bit of the knitted embossing folder on here so i've just done that into the white card so i'm just going to pop that over the edge here and then this this die is from one of the fluttering frames and it's okay. the inside part so just as a little bit of detail on there i'm just going to pop that on there as well and then we can i'll just make sure that's straight and that frames that you're regularly using that one aren't you so a nice yeah, set now i mean you you get the frames and you just think oh that's another frame there oh that's another one there you know you don't realize how many you've got so that line i'm just putting at a little angle so i'm going to put a little bit more glitter on these trees as well i've done some of them but just add a little bit more onto there oops just to glitter them up a little bit and um add a little bit of sparkle but obviously the the things we like is white on white yes. for christmas so yeah. when you've got your dyes you can easily do that um right so then we're just going to add these trees onto here then we've just got that lovely lacy look to them very yeah. classy and then I'll, the last one i will pop a little bit of the pearls on because i've got those two done so i'm just going to add some we'll just put a couple on this one just to tie it all in with the others i'll just use the go-to glue for this just pop a little couple on there just random nothing special but obviously you could do your your um, red pearls or your white uh, green pearls yeah we've well, got um, getting all of them aren't you yeah um, incidentally if you are planning on getting them you might want to get them in your basket as soon as you can um, <laughs> they are now limited in stock oh, so gosh. yeah 11 uh, pounds and 96 pence brilliant value for money you get and get all of those and you're getting a lot within there as well so you might only use one or two on a project or because of the price that you pay you don't mind using more of them do you because you don't have to be quite as frugal keep a note of the item number because I'm sure that we will have these back again at some point so you may want to restock them but for the time being I would get them quickly if I was you and you'll need that number 679159 for those right so the flowers I'm using this time are from one of the card creators oh, okay. so you do get flowers in some of those so just check which one if, if you're after these flowers just check which one it is it is the one that's like got a, a frilly edge if you can see that oh, right, okay so you know just that one with the frilly edge oh, and we then, think it might be the trifold one. Uh, it might be yes and then i'm just literally going around the edge of the petal with the smallest ball tool and then just flipping that over and if you can see now the the frilly edge has really oh, gone like fluted pretty? hasn't it yeah so you know just try your different um things with your flowers so just layering two up there I've got plenty in front of me, so I won't um, I won't put a pearl in that. But you can see how delicate that is. That's so and pretty. I think I think you get a slightly bigger one than this as well. But these are the smaller ones. Look how dainty they are. Oh wow! They are so cute, aren't they? And they're nice because they kind of give a design of fullness, don't That's they? When you put it, those yeah. in between. Yeah. And they are ideal for just filling in your little yeah. gaps, aren't they? Right. So we just pop a little bit of sisal on there. And then we're going to this one i have oh yeah this is the larger one on the base oh, there right, so yes. i've used the three sizes on this one so we're just going to add a little bit of uh flower arrangement here just i love these gorgeous tones i know the blues Beautiful. well i mean all of them are so yeah <laughs> so nice and to be honest, you could be making these out of any of those colours that you've got yeah. in those choices. Yeah, they still look just as beautiful. Whatever papers you've got as well. Mm. Right, so then I'm just going to pop three little ones along there. Because that looked a little bit plain to me. So mm -hmm. just pop three in there. And then we can add these other little ones where we think onto there. 
just to add that little bit of a arrangement and then these flourishes these are the smallest ones and these are in one of the frame um so if you can see that look how dainty Very they useful, are yes again lovely for being your fillers in there I'll just pop a couple of those in two of those in and then I've just made a little tag with Merry Christmas on and that's just going to pop out of the side of the arrangement in fact Aww. we'll pop it there I know it's going to be over the trees but it'll be fine oh isn't that lovely and then obviously you have got your hole at the top if you want to do that or you could leave it covered over that is Oops. beautiful. Oops, Daisy. <laughs> Very Slipping. durable as well. I love it. And you could repeat that over and over again. You're actually getting 10 of those bases in there. Really good sizes. Um, and as Carol's just shown you, whether you are just using it with the papers that you've got within the set or whether you're using some of the things that you've got at home already, using some of those little MDF characters that we've got in the show as well, whichever way you are decorating these, you are creating something that is looking absolutely amazing. And as I quite rightly said there, many of you will have um, craft stores. You'll be making your cards and selling your cards. But the time that Carol took to decorate that um, fabulous kind of board, you take that sort of time to create a card but what you probably find is even though you've used the same quantity of cards or potentially even less um, and uh, obviously created something you're going to find that you'll actually be able to sell that as a gift to somebody and probably find that you're selling it for a higher price a higher premium than you would do if it was a card by itself so again do consider it I love the idea of maybe putting blackboard paint on these as well and almost doing a countdown yeah. to Christmas yeah so you could kind of do yeah, so yeah. many days and all that and yeah, uh, yeah. you could have a, a naughty one and a nice one <laughs> um, for the kids as well if you're trying to get them to behave but there you go if you're wanting your baubles the details are there on your screen um zero two three 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 two all important item i mean you're going to get 10 of those for 9.99 incredibly affordable as well now um your nordic gnomes let me just give you a little bit of an update with regards to those they've been a popular one carol showed us how quickly and easily they come together and how much fun you can have with these but they have to um, technically sold out so if you've got them in your basket and you're quick you should be okay you be able to check those out and get them on their way to you but i will let you know if anybody doesn't check out the baskets and any fall into stock allocation before the end of the hour i will let you know if you're watching on repeat you never know you might be lucky down to the last minute and a half of the hour i mean hayley thank you so much for bringing us so many fabulous things oh thank you for letting us oh. <laughs> nobody ever says to me oh that's too much stuff i'm just like oh, not at all there's never too, <laughs> never never too much now when are you guys due back again to see us we haven't got a day but I think there's going to be a happy hour next week. Oh, okay. And then I'm actually going to get ahead and we're going to have lots of shows. So watch this Fabulous. space. <laughs> Getting ourselves organised. I love this. And Carol, keep doing those Facebook Lives because oh, everybody's yes. loving them. Yes, they are. So it's, how do we find them? Just in uh, case anybody doesn't that know. That is on Facebook and it's a group called Dreamy Catchers. So you have to, you know, join, which obviously everybody gets accepted. Um, and it's a lovely, friendly group. Oh. That's what we wanted, and that's what we've got. And I have know. to say, thank you to yeah. so many of you for yeah. emailing. I'm sorry I didn't manage to get to read all of them out, but they're all saying the same thing, that you love what the Dreamies bring to us, and you're loving all the products, the quality, and how much inspiration the ladies bring to us. So thank you, um, thank to you. both of you. Um, so anything in your basket, now is the time for you to be checking your basket out. Don't forget, some of the stock of these are incredibly vulnerable. Um, don't want anybody to miss out on any of these. And if you're shopping online, make sure you've got everything in that basket for you check out it's last chance for you to actually use flex travaganza with the dreamies so of course anything in your basket you can spread over two payments even if it's just a tenner you're spending if it means you're getting hold of it then we certainly want you to take advantage of that deal um all comes to me at close at six o'clock tonight so take advantage of that while you've got the chance i'll see you later I will indeed, but I'm off to grab a cuppa because I'm going to settle down and watch the next time because I know it's going to be amazing. Christmas with Rowan Dean, you know you want to watch that one. Then we're back with a one day special before craft embellishments. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for FlexiOrder, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments.
After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel, and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand-illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Cathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Cathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs. All of our products are manufactured in the UK and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Good morning. Well, we are still in festive flex extravaganza and well, you know what it means? It means that you can flexi buy anything above five pounds. So everything in this show, of course, by Rowan Dean and with brand new today's, you can flexi buy. But remember to make the most of these amazing festive flex extravaganza today because of course it ends at 6 p.m. So make sure to use it as much as you wish today. Now, of course, you could use it for this hour with the amazing brand new kids from Rowan Dean and some returning favorites as well. And talking about favorites, we have to welcome back Katrina who is obviously one of our most favorites because you bring such a delightful projects we've got lots of sparkle lots of beads and lots of glittery stitching really exciting really exciting and by the way how are you I'm well oh, yeah? thank you good oh. I love your top we are kind of coordinated <laughs> we are. Today. It's Christmassy. exactly <laughs> Christmas now uh, you know Katrina we have been very busy already for the brand new kids over 10% of the brand new embroidery season greetings cards you have them in here over 10% already gone before we even got to air now you have got the seasons greeting card kit now Katrina do we get everything we need for this kit everything everything's included in the kit you get the the fab background fabric you get all the organzas you get obviously get the instructions and the uh, details but you get a fabulous range of beads and sparkle to create six designs maybe seven six designs uh, mm -hmm. and that's great let's see that's the tweed that we have woven for us and it's just a great fabric to stitch with uh, and it really lends itself to that. It does. Now, colors. if you are very thrifty with uh, the uh, beautiful tweed printed, uh, you could get a uh, little bit of extra projects. I think you could. You could yes. make either another card or possibly um, some gift tags to go with, with the cards. Or ornaments for the tree, a little kind of yes. a special element in there. Now, of course, we are getting the greeting cards as well, the balance cards, the envelopes, and the bag of beautiful sparkle. Just, just great and there's always a lot there's a lot of it of different kinds of sequins and different size beads uh, so really you can you can add as many or as few as you wish yeah I'm so, I lo look at this a uh, sequin like a holographic sequence in there we are approaching 20% uh, of the stock gone and we are only two minutes in now can we talk about the thread that you have included here 
Well, I, I like a combination of different kinds of threads. Uh, so on this card, we've got some variegated stranded cotton. So that means it's got six lengths in the, in the thread, and then you can use them as various thicknesses. But this time I've gone uh, a little bit overboard with the sparkly threads. Mm. So we've got golds and silver and green. Uh, some that, uh, you know, just gives that special it is, glint it to it. And, and then, of course, Christmas. we've got Christmas. You can use as much as, as you want. And Absolutely. then we've got a little bit of bead thread there uh, so that you can attach the beads. The beads. And, of course, you have included two different needles as well there. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've got a, a chenille needle. So that means it's one with a large eye and a sharp point. And it'll take, you know, various thicknesses of thread. And then we've got... Uh, a needle that you use for the for the beads and, and the bead thread. Now, of course, you are getting all that, and of course, the, the beautiful uh, organza and the beautiful, uh, beautiful fabrics in here. Now, if you want to use festive flex organza, it means that you can split the cost into interest-free payments. So you would be paying nine pounds and ninety-eight pence today. Now, we are very busy. There are queues on the phone, so if you have got access to the internet, of course, the craftstore.com will be the fastest and easiest way to check out your baskets 20 percent of the stock has already gone for this bundle a zero is three two seven six two is your item number but the next one is even busier a third of the stock has already gone with the gorgeous holly and ivy and the robin now this is it's a bit, you know, I have to say, it's very Rwandan, but also very different from other projects. It is, it is a little bit different, but we have a robin that visits our garden all the time, and I just oh. thought that would be great to capture in thread. Yes. And then the idea that it's that, the holly and the ivy, there's lots of ivy in my garden, so I've got lots of inspiration from that, and, and a little bit of the sequins there that are in the shape of holly. And then the ivy leaves Does it at the bottom there. Uh, no, sorry, to you, Katrina. I mean, I love the story, but I have to tell you that 40% of the stock has already gone. Very, very busy. And of course, you can flex divide as well. So you'll be paying actually eight pounds today for this fab. Well, actually, seven pounds and 98 pence, I believe, uh, today if you wanted to flex divide, which is incredible value for money. While we are having it in the stock, of course, you can multi divide. Maybe it would be a lovely Christmas present as well. Three, five, six, eight. 881. Love the story that this is inspired by a robin that comes to visit you. Yeah, he's, he's very cheeky and, and uh, oh. I think he scares all the other birds away. But it's, it's, it's a lovely idea that it's it easily is. transferred into stitching. Uh, and then just adding a little bit of organza because I love the organza as the background yes. here. The so, ivy, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we've got a little bit of pale blue organza and a, a couple of snowflakes in, in, the, in the sky there and a little bit of very pale uh, organza. And, and then, of course, you've got the display hoop, yeah. so you can make it straight away. And I love, I love the sparkle as well that you are getting in here. Now, the other thing I love is like the painting with thread of the robin. It's just incredibly delicate. Now, of course, if you want to go for the holly and the ivy, be quick to check out your baskets. Fifteen pounds and ninety-five pence is all you're paying, but even you can pay even less today. Seven and nine pounds and ninety-eight pence would be all you are paying today because, of course, festive flex extravaganza gives you the ability uh, to spread the cost into interest-free payments. 356-881 is your item number. Now, you know where you will find it? Of course, on the website, thecraftstore.com, alongside with many other returning fa favorites from Rowan Dean, including uh, the gorgeous Christmas hard kit and that embroidery Christmas card kit in blue and purple. Now, that is almost like it is a returning favorite. However, it's slightly different than the previous version because it doesn't come, it comes with the cards, but they are not aperture cards. So it's a slightly different so if you have loved it in the past it's a great to get it again because it's slightly different now it has five star reviews as well so you know it has been loved by many of you as well in the past and of course the tortoiseshell uh, butterfly kit with five star reviews as well now if you wanted to go for the hardwood uh, display hoops we have them on the show as well and of course that includes the five inch which is perfect for the holly and the ivy which is in, uh, there as well and of course you have got one in the six inch and the seven inch if you wanted some extra of that tweed especially designed 
something, of course, for embroidery. You have the fat quarter, £12.99. Again, five star reviews galore. Uh, oh, maybe the, the one for the Holly and the Ivy is a four by four. I think it's a four by four. So four inches, yeah. So we have them as well. So you are getting a set of four, four inches. So, uh, of course, you could go for that one as well. And, of course, uh, Katrina's beautiful book is, is incredibly full of inspiration. And her love of texture and colors is amazing. Now, look at that. Five star reviews. Well, 46 of them. And I can tell you, I own this book and it's absolutely stunning. Right, of course, all of that you will find it on the website. But... We are eager to see the demonstration. So, Katrina, how do we start? Which one are you starting I'm with? I'm going to start with, with the holly and the ivy. Fabulous. Okay, so, th so this is a, a, I think it's a, a really nice project to do. So, it, like all our designs, it's got a little bit of a print on the fabric with the robin uh, and the branch that he's sitting on. And then you've got some organza in there. You've got some organza for the sky and organza for um, a little bit of shadow, uh, shadow at the edge of the picture. Um, I've tacked, you get the, the hoop, display hoop in your work. So I just took a piece of paper and then right. I cut the piece of paper out just so that I knew the boundary of the design so I wasn't going to stitch too much. Okay. And so that's a temporary stitch all the way around just in case I would get too carried away. Uh, but I want it to, to fit into this frame. So the first thing I'm going to show you is I'm just going to move my one of the leaves out of the way. So the first stitch is called stem stitch. So, so this is the bit that's for uh, the branch. Okay. And you'll see on your card, they're all, they're all numbered on the card, and you'll see that some are variegated and some are metallic. So I'm using the first thread here, and I've got three strands in the needle. Yeah. And I'm just going to start without my hoop, and I'm just going to do work a little bit of the stitch all the way over the branch and fill that shape in. So okay. I'm going to start with a small stitch right. halfway along. And then I'm just going to keep the thread to the top right. each time. Whoa. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of the ah, fabric. And it's it. going to be a fairly small stitch, but it's a brilliant <coughs> stitch that's going to curve. And it's going to give you that little bit of shape for the branch. And I think it's sometimes much easier without the frame, without the spring hoop to do this. You can really hold the fabric in your hand. And each time, you're just going to get so a lovely shape. Only is decorative, but it's also holding the organza together. That's right. Uh, you, the organza really, you, you, once you've tacked it in place, you can forget about that. And it's just to create a little bit of the background. Uh, and as, you, as it's multicolored, you'll get different effects appearing uh, and different changes in the colors. And as you go towards the edge, there are finer branches. And really, that's such a great stitch. I mean, I do use this stitch a lot to outline a shape or a curved shape. And then when you come to fasten off the thread on the reverse side, you're just going to wind it round a couple of times. And that's enough just to keep it in place and then remove the rest of the thread. Of course, Holly and the Ivy is incredibly popular. Approaching half the stock has already gone. Uh, only 11 minutes in, not even a quarter past, and already uh, approaching half the stock gone. Okay. So now you put the hoop. Okay, so now I'm going to put my work into the uh, spring hoop to actually start stitching the robin. Okay, so you can just place the, the, the plastic ring on a, a flat surface and then just hold the spring and then just release it into the hoop and that's going to keep it yeah, really perfect. nice and taut yeah. really really it keeps your work especially when you're going to be framing it afterwards it's a little bit easier so I've just got my thread here so the robin uh, the robin is worked in one strand of thread and I to start with you're going to do uh, part of the the red breast there and that's done in two strands taking it to one strand so one strand really is going to give a great effect for the feathers so, so the one strand will be more like adding the, the final touches or the two or on the, on the actual breast of the, of, the, of the robin it's just going to give it it's just going to make the um the feathers just blend in with the line of, of the wing and the and the underbelly uh, so it's it's just a lovely way of creating fine stitching but easy it's still it's still very easy to do you're just going to follow the shape of the uh, the back of the bird 
and you're just going to fill it all in with straight stitches and it fills in quite quickly you just take one or two stitches yes. and you work towards the, the tip of the wings and then yeah. and just it's as easy as that to create this bird it's not, diffi not difficult stitching and there is no kind of, you have to be precise on how many threads or anything like that. Is just there? though, you, you can just blend, blend the colours uh, when, it, when it says to just join the sort of creamy colour with the yeah. under, underbelly there and the, of, the, of the bird. But it's just a really nice way of stitching. It's quite relaxing and you'll yeah. get that instant shape of the bird. Yeah. So you start basically doing the robin first and then it would be the, would the beads be the last thing that you do? Yeah, so so once you once you've done once you've done uh, the wings yeah. uh, and the rest of the bird yeah. over time we'll be able to show this afternoon what it looks like mm -hmm. when it's finished. Um, you just take and by the way, I need to ask: Do you do you have a nickname for the robin that comes to visit you? No, but maybe maybe people could suggest to me. Oh, I that's think that a would very be a good, good idea. idea. Yeah, e email in, of course, at the studio at thecraftstore.com. A suggestion for a robin, and of course, if you have got any questions for Katrina, uh, Katrina will be is here for the hour, but also at two o'clock. So it's perfect to ask any questions regarding the kids. Now, of course, if you want to go for the uh, spring-loaded um, uh, embroidery. Hoops. We have the five and the seven inch as well with embroidery scissors details bottom of the screen. And I remember you can flexify it if you wish to do so. Back to you, Katrina. Okay, well, I'm just going to go on to some of the berries here. So some of the berries on the holly branch are just worked in a satin. So you just cut oh. a really, really sort of a bad circle, really. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't be a good circle. And, and then you can place it. inspire irregular yeah. circle. You could have, you could have as, as many holly berries on here as you yeah. want. And then there's a little bit of hand dyed felt as well. So you can cut some yeah. little tiny shapes out. And you can add as many of those as you wish. As you wish yeah. And then those can be secured either with a French knot or a bead. Oh, a so, you know, you just look at the beads. The beads here, you, you, you'll have a big collection. You'll have some um, different sequence shapes, some wooden beads and the lovely holly beads, but yeah. berries. But there's, there's lovely different size red ones as well that you can add in to this. And I'll just show you how to, to hold that on there. So you just bring the thread okay. up from the back and I'm using the same colour as the robin. And then you're just going to go round once, twice, and that's yeah. just enough to hold yeah. that in place. Yeah. And as you pull that through, you'll get a little bit of a French knot. Yeah. So you can just add those. Katrina, we are incredibly busy for the holly and the ivy. Uh, just a quarter of the hour gone and we are already over a half the stock. And that's a stock that should last us uh, through two o'clock as well. Uh, make sure to check out your baskets for this gloriously beautiful holly and the ivy. We have had a name, name in. Janice has emailed in. Uh, to name, name uh, the Robin Pip. A pep, the Robin? Yeah, we have got a pip here. Yeah, I wonder if it's him in disguise that he's emailed in to name him Pep. Uh, Janice, oh, Janice loves Rowan Dean. It's, it's not our Janice, it's here. No, it's, well, you are, a, you are our Janice as well, but you know what I mean, it's the presentation. That's so lovely. Pip, Pip the Robin, I think it works. I think that'd be good. Yeah, well, do email us in if you have got any more suggestions for names. Okay, okay, I'm just going to show you the next part. So this, uh, the next part for this that I'm going to show you, this time um, we've got the holly leaves. They're on a template uh, in the instructions so that you've got the size and the different shapes to work to. Now you could, if you wished, uh, just cut these out with scissors, keep the, uh, draw the shape of the leaf on with, with a pen and just cut them out with scissors and then apply them to your design or you can melt them out. I'm just going to show you how to do that. Uh, it's quite easy to do. Just let me get all my Perfect. colours. So I've given uh, some quite large pieces of organza so that you can put your work 
better. into a into the frame and then it's easier to melt out to melt, easier yeah. to hold if it's in your spring hoop so then, it's not just for embroidery the hoop it's also for of course tracing around and make sure that the, the fabric is nice just and keeps the fabric uh, clear and out of the way and I'm just going to first of all I'm just going to light the candle so you could do this you know all those safety things you know ventilation and all the rest of it you know just watch out when you're yeah. using a flame uh, like this I have my work on a pencil the needle on a pencil and the idea is that I'm going to just get it in the right position here I'm just going to place the the needle yeah. in the flame so it, it, you make the needle very quite hot and that not only will cut but also seal the edges right that's right and it, and it really makes them really quite quite a nice shape so just test out on the edge to see whether it's going to melt <sighs> and you'll see that as the needle cools down there isn't a rush it's, yeah. it's a quite a gentle thing to do and as soon as the needle cools down put it back into the flame and it'll carry on heating up and then you can do the next bit so if you want to get a leaf shape you can either draw the shape onto the fabric or you can just go round the shape and as it cools down keep putting it back into the flame and you can go round the shape of the leaf and as it cools down put that in again and just go all the way around but don't worry if you, you know you don't have to do it like this you could easily cut it with scissors and it, the, the beauty of this is you can use several colours here. You can, yeah. And I go all the way around. I have to say, this technique is so satisfying, but also it gives you that organic look. You know, it's not going to be precise, precise. That's right, and it's, it's, it's just really, you can, uh, you know, you can add little bits. You're just going to make sure that before you cut it, if it's not quite detached, you can snip that with scissors and you just get one of the leaves and of course you could make them multicolored you can use one or two colors there you know you've got three shades of of green there and then those are going to be added on and I think that's melted out now so there's my shape that I've, I've got from the, the holly leaf and then I'm just going to show you where we're going to place it let's put that out the way okay perfect safety first of course yeah so then we're going to just take you go back to the design yeah. and you can work out where you want to place your leaves and then you're just going to pin those on and you can make them multicolored you can have <sighs> as many that. as you wish and that you could have them coming over the edge of the design and pin those in place That's and then you're gorgeous. just going to take one of the colors and you're just going to do a giant stitch just to create the veins of could, the flower. Could, could you follow that? You know, in your templates, you have the kind of veins of the ivy. Could you follow them into you could, the embroidery? You could follow those. You could draw those on if you wanted to as a guide. Um, but, you know, it's really easy. You're just going to do three lines uh, of stitching, and that's going to attach it to the background. So the leaves won't be fully attached they'll only be attached on the leaves which makes it quite 3d really it does quite nice. absolutely stunning of course the three five six eight eight one is your item number for the holly and the ivy very very busy as we are for the greeting card the option here brand new today approaching 40 percent of the stock of the beautiful seasons greetings cards you are getting of course the pre-printed tweet with the designs of the hard day holly those gorgeous ivies in there and as well if you will look at the center one in here you can see that there is that kind of ornament now this is a perfect element that you can put it maybe hang it onto the card and then they can display on the tree but remember you are getting enough tweed that you maybe can do six projects which of course are for the cards but you have got a little bit extra that then you can use if you are thrifty enough for another project it's up to you it's pre-printed in this amazing tweed that Katrina has selected to make sure that the embroidery looks amazing. You are getting, of course, the six blank hearts. They're matching envelopes with the hammered look in there with cream. Then you have got all the little pieces from, look, sparkly red organza. So you have got the satin red. You have the satin pink in there, those gorgeous organza and greens and yellows and reds. And, of course, a, little, a felt for the bubble. You are getting the bag of treasures that sparkly.
I mean, this is kind of, can I open it up? Because once you open it up and you see all that it is, look at this. Oh, could, oh, oh, maybe I shouldn't have opened it up. There's so much, it's going everywhere. So sorry. But, um, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, Emily, could I have a little plate for these ones? Because there is so much. I do apologize, but, um, I'm so sorry, everyone. But I just made a little bit of a mess. Uh, but look how much you are getting, because sometimes the bag doesn't give it a, an, an idea of how much amazing goodies you are getting. So the beads are completely different, completely amazing too. You can mix and match of course in there so no no i have got to go like this all the time it just, that didn't work out as i wish and of course you have the all the amazing cage uh, in here for all six cars in there uh 19 pounds and 95 pence uh, and of course that means that you are getting enough to create all those six but so much more in there now, of course, remember that we still are on flex extravaganza, which means that you can flexivite. No, look at this. 998 would be what you are paying to it today. Look at how much. Can you see? The when you put it like that, it's so many bees that you are getting, and there are some missing because they have fallen. Uh, my my oopsie doopsie moment for uh, of the day. Forty percent of the stock has gone. Grab yours. Check out your baskets. This is exactly the Christmas cards that somebody's going to receive them and then frame them and take it, bring them up every single day uh, for cr every single year for Christmas. Now. I promise not to open uh, any more bags, but also we are asking for names for the Robin that visits, of course, Katrina in her garden, and is the inspiration behind this amazing Holly and the Ivy with the Robin here. We have got another email from Jackie, suggestion uh, for the name is a Stitch, which is, I think, a yeah, very... That's a good... A Stitchy Pip. Maybe we can do a little Stitchy Pip. Stitch a bit. Uh, that could be. That could work. Uh, now, of course, very super busy. Actually, in fact, we are approaching 60% of the stock. You are getting in here. Of course, the printed. Um, is this? Is this cotton or cotton. it's cotton? Yeah. But it has. I always find your cotton has that um, nice close weave. Is that so? Of course, you can put as much as many beads and embroidery as you want. You can have use heavily textured threads, and you can. It takes all the threads without the fabric distorting. So yes. that's really, and it's nice to to work with. It's it's a. Uh, quite a, a heavy cotton, so it is. shows the stitching well. And of course, you have got the satin and the felt in here that uh, Katrina was showing how to make the berries. You have got the, both the chenille needle and of course the beads and needle to create all those del delicate elements in there. Instruction, and of course, do not miss out. Do check out your baskets. You may want to add the embroidery hoops, the four by four, so the four inches, and you are getting four of them. Do not miss out. Remember. 60% of the stock has gone and you can flexify even the 15 pounds and 95 pence. If you flexify, you're only paying seven pounds and 98 pence today. I would buy two and then give a present to more one of my friends. 356881 is your item number. Now, we have got more car packs, returning favorites here. So we have, uh, this is the gorgeous uh, cards, uh, the Christmas sparkle. And I love that you are getting three with those beautiful uh, warmer tones and then three with more, uh, slightly more cooler teals in there. Uh, and of course, that makes it stunning, isn't it? This is a very kind of Christmas traditional Rowan Dean with layers of organza, beautiful flowers, a stage, lazy daisies as well, the stage is there. And of course, you are getting the six blank cards, the six envelopes, those beads. I'm not going to open them up, but I'm going to hold them up because it's absolutely a delight of the amazing colors that you are getting. Aquas, you can see purples and pinks, and of course you can see them all here with the golds in there. 19 pounds and 95 pence is your price. No cards were harmed in the making of this program. Thank goodness for that. I couldn't work in a pottery shop. Can you imagine that? 089566 is your item number. Remember, you can flexify that as well. That would be nine pounds and 98 pence, uh, the first payment that you would pay today. Now we have got something really original and really special, and of course, is the pebbles, the Christmas pebbles in here. Now you are uh, going to be able to make two of them, one more traditional in colors with those reds and greens, and then uh, the blues in there as well with the greens. Now, Katrina, what is the inspiration behind the pebbles? I think I think it was just uh, you get fabulous 
jewellery, don't we, with emeralds and sapphires and rubies. And they're sort of Christmas colours, so I thought it would be quite nice, you know, if you had a, a table decoration or you wanted on a mantelpiece, they would look really, really sparkly uh, and different. So there are lots of sequins there, and there's some uh, glass beads, you know, with different facets so that they shine uh, as if they were real. And then lots of stars and... and uh, yeah, I love the speeds as well. in there, like, absolutely stunning. And of course you are getting uh, enough to make both of them, uh, the blues, the, uh, the sapphires and sapphires. tanzanites in there, like go absolutely gorgeous. Uh, now of course £19.95 uh, is your prize, the gorgeous tweet as well. It's so original, it's just something really, it does look like pebbles with jewels in them. 631374 is your item number, £19.95 is your prize. Remember you can flexify, flexive, well that, that's the flex of Aganza. I'll point in the right direction one day. Uh, right, of course, we have now the heart as well for you. Now, that is a really gorgeous heart, Kate. £16.95 is your price. It's a proper size heart. I mean, this is, this is, uh, I love this. This is, uh, it has got a scandy feel to it. The colours, maybe. I think the colours and it's, it's the wool as well and stitching with just shades uh, of white and a little bit of sparkle. Really, really easy. A, f a couple of fly stitches and a few, a few stars. And the idea I quite like is it's all handmade. Uh, you can make the cord that, to hang it with, uh, and then you can add the back of the. Uh, design you can put a design on the back as well that is just, of course the back look at this ah, how gorgeous is that it's just beautiful and I love how you have got the kind of the nature uh, look of the tweed but then the sparkle there that kind of hint of it the sparkle. Is just that touch of Christmas there. it is isn't it uh, now of course you could put a sentiment in there of you could put poopery as well kind of cinnamon or something like Christmas like that would be lovely. The smell of Christmas, whichever is the Christmas scent for you. And of course, you are getting everything you need to complete it. Uh, we also, do we get also the, oh no, I think this one is from the previous kit, sorry. This should be long here. <laughs> there, two, four, three, and nine, eight, two is your item number, 16 pence and 95 pence. And of course, that means that you can spread the cost into interest-free payments. So that means that your payments, uh, what would be, eight pounds and, uh, eight pounds and 48, or 50 pence, no, four, four, 48. £8.48. There you can see that. I was glad that I got the maths right. Right, anyway, moving on to uh, the next bundle that, of course, we have got the blue and purple here. Now, this is the one that I mentioned when we were going through the uh, uh, website uh, because this one is a returning favourite. However, Katrina, am I right thinking that the cards are blank cards, therefore you have adapted a little bit the kits? I've had, yeah, I've changed a little bit on, on several of them. The, the little wreath there, I've added some different textures oh, and different beads. And I changed um, a couple of one with the with the Christmas, you know, the forest of trees there, mm -hmm. uh, so that you don't need it. It doesn't need an aperture card anymore, and it's it's just really easy to place it on is. the set of six cards. That is absolutely stunning, and of course, uh, we have got an image of how it previously it looked, so you can see them there that are a little bit different. Uh, personally, I like the new updated version, I really do. And of course, if you want yours, maybe it's one that you got before, but you want a brand new kind of version of the same idea. 317144 is your item number, £19.95 pounds is your price, but again, you can flexi buy it and just pay half of that today, so that would be, of course, nine pounds and 98 pence today. Love that you are getting all those different textures and the gorgeous threads as well. And you have got the iridescent, uh, of course, whites and of course the organzas, the satin, and of course the felt in there and the printed elements as well. Now, if of course if you wanted to go for uh, this bundle, do make sure to check out your baskets. Remember the holly and the ivy, and of course the uh, the brand new cards are incredibly busy, but so are these ones. Now you can you can also go for another beautiful winter to frost kit. Now it's just ten pounds and ninety-five pence. But remember, you can flexi buy that, and that would be five, uh, five pounds and ninety-eight pence. Yeah, yeah, five pounds ninety-eight. No, no, actually, no, no, five pounds forty-eight. Forty-eight. My maths all oh, failed me. There, five pounds forty-eight. That would be how much you would be paying today. I mean. 
And you have to take advantage because, of course, the festive flex extravaganza finishes at 6 p.m. today. But look at this. You know, Katrina, I love this wintry scene. I think it's, it's quite gentle colours, isn't it? Yeah. It's that little bit of the bronze organza and the, and the purple beads and those just those tiny snowflakes in the distance. And I think the tree looks great with it, sort of a metallic thread, but it's sort of a grey. It just reminds you, you know, those those winter e winter evenings. They are, and I love how you have put French nards in those beautiful blues. So they are subtly there, yes. aren't they? So the sky, yes. Just I think that's the beauty of variegated threads is that you can really get texture with them, and you can it just the magic happens as you start to stitch. So you know when you're using a thread that's variegated, it just happens. It just happens, and that's really exciting about the colours. It is indeed. Ten pounds and ninety-five pence is your price. Remember, you can flexify it, and those threads, and um, you can see them here 548 would be all your pain today 9077613 is your item number five pounds 48 pence that could be all your pain for some of these kids because of course festive flex organza means that you spread the cost in interest-free payments for that we are very busy queues on the phone so if you have got access to the internet of course they store.com will be the fastest and easiest way to check out your baskets now we have got a larger project for you for you as well oh I love these color and textured and those warm tones I think this is a beautiful tree when you see the berries in in the sort of autumn time they're just magical and I've created those and with layers of organza for the leaves different shades so you place the, uh, a large part of the organza over the top of the print and then you're going to uh, stem stitch around and then just cut away the excess colors and you just over it's the overlaying of the organza that makes that really quite fun. yeah you know, it really does. bright reds yeah. and, and yellows yeah. as well uh, well I tr will try it to pronounce Rowan and Pyra Pyra uh, pyracanthus it's a really beautiful uh, plant with lots of yellow berries and you can get them with red berries oh, as well. Pyracanthus. We learn everything, uh, every, uh, every, something new every day here at the craft store. And 19 pounds and 95 pence is your price and of course you are getting the beads to create. I love how you have covered them up. I'm going to tilt them so you can see the dimension as well because you have those amazing, amazing dimensions there. Look at that. And they are of course wooden beads that they have been covered up. Now of course if you want yours uh, do check out your basket. Three, four, Nine three five eight is your item number for that one. It's just oh, I love that so much. Uh, you know, I, love, I want everything. Uh, now, of course, we have also the tortoiseshell uh, butterfly kit, which to me also not only color and nature and flowers is synonymous with Rowandine, but also these amazing realistic embroidery butterflies. Now, is the technique, do you use the organza and then embroider into it? Exactly the same. Uh, uh, the piece of, of organza has the print on the fabric and then you stitch the whole thing and then you can either cut it out or you could melt it out like we just showed mm -hmm. for the leaves. Yeah, it's just beautiful. And of course, uh, this one, if you want to go for it, £14.95, one of payment, spread the cards, and then of course you can pay just £7.48 today and the same amount next month. You are getting everything you need, except of course the display embroidery hoop, but that's for display purposes, so you know what to, how you would like to display it. Now, we also have the play kit of the organza. So this is, uh, this is so phenomenal because I always say I always associate you, Catherine, Katrina, with color, and color of the most beautiful colors, but also organza. So this is a perfect, you know, add-on. I think so. I think I mean, there's red in there. There's purples. There's bright greens. They're sort of all sort of festive colors. Yeah. And I think you know, if you were adding or you wanted to create new cards, it's a great way to to have all those colors they ready are. to work with. Yeah, and of course, remember, now is the time to buy it because you can flexify it. So five pounds and four, uh, 50 pence, that would be all you would be paying today for it. I would multiply if you want to because if you have got the quality, you have got the colors that Katrina loves. And of course, 118313 is your item number. I absolutely adore them. Uh, 10 pounds and 99 pence is your price. Now, we are very busy. There are queues on the phones, but make sure to check out your baskets. The holly and the ivy with 
with Robin. Incredibly busy for that one. Brand new today and two thirds of the stock has gone. We are not two thirds of the hour yet gone. And the first hour, because of course Katrina is back at 2 p.m. and already two thirds of the stock has gone of this amazing, beautiful kit. Do not miss out and do not miss out because also you can flex, flexi buy it and spread the cost into interest-free payments. 356-881 is your item number. All you need is a spring loaded embroidery hoop and a display hoop if you want it or you could then uh, frame it if you want it to as well. Another brand new today is of course Seasons Greetings a card kit. Half the stock has gone £19.95. and pence. Everything you need to make six beautiful projects with of course those cards but you can then use them for other elements as well. 032762 is your item number. Now we have got cues on the phone, so make sure to, um, to well, apologies for that, but also if you have got internet, of course, the craftsor.com will be the fastest and easiest way to check out your baskets. We will get to you as soon as we can on the phone lines, but if you have got internet, that would be quicker. Uh, now, Katrina, back to you. So where are we up to? We're up. We're, we're going to have a look at the, the new card kit. Um, I've, I've stitched a couple of ideas on here that, as a starting point, and so I'm just going to show you those. So we've got... 17, 17 different colours on here and we've also got some textured yarns in here as well so it's a lovely range of Christmassy festive colours uh, quite a lot of variegated threads more sparkles, a lot of sparkles oh, there, look at that. Uh, and everything to play with really so we've got our six designs on the fabric yep. so six have a, a, a little bit of an outline on the fabric there and I'm using the, six in, the five inch uh, spring hoop to work the designs. So you could either work all of the designs and then cut them up and place them in the card. Perfect. Uh, and then of course you've got um, one of the cards is a bauble that is going to be free, free you're going to stitch that onto the fabric. Uh, so there's a piece of wool felt in there and a little template just to draw the circles and then you're just going to add a little bit uh, of stitching there just to create really texture and colour so there, there won't be a print on there but you'll be adding I'll show you how to do some gathered flowers uh, some flowers like we've done uh, on the with the robin there and some French knots and some lazy daisies so I've just created a, a, almost like a wreath uh, yeah, of colours and then you wreath. can add as many um, of the beads as you want so there are, there are there are quite a lot of beads in there quite a lot to choose from so you can really use those uh, to create sparkle okay so I'm just going to show you because it's it's quite rare we, we do a program of hardly done a French knot so I think we better do one another, yes <laughs> let's do another one yeah of course. so I'm going to show you how to do that so uh, the, this is the one with the ivy leaves so to create that first part of the ivy leaf you place the organza over the top of the print and then you're going to stem stitch around the edge and then cut away the excess and then we're going to do a splash of color all the way down diagonally through the design and we're going to work some french knots here so there, there isn't a print you're just going to have an imaginary diagonal line and you're going to just fill it with color uh, and texture so the French knot so I've got six strands here so I'm just going to wind the thread around once twice nice. and then I'm going to just turn the needle almost into the same place not quite and as you push the needle in then you can tighten that thread and it's the tightening of the thread that sort of keeps it nice and nice and neat and that nice shape and then as you release it just let it travel in on its own and you'll get that perfect knot perfect. Just, just to create a lovely bit of texture there. So again, you can repeat that as many times as you want. You can go around twice. Yeah. But if you really want the knot to be um, much bigger, just make the thread thicker. Don't wind it around six or seven times around the needle because that spoils the, nice. the shape and uh, you don't get as good a result. So you can even just go around once and make the French knot smaller. All right. And so if you wanted off. to make it larger, would you just put more uh, strands of, uh, of embroidery thread? Def definitely. Just add more, uh, a thicker thread through the needle, yeah. uh, and that will give you the yeah. best result. And can you do um, uh, French knots with any type of thread? So even a little bit of yarn or even? 
You can use, use you can use ditting yarns. You can use uh, metallic oh. yarns. Metallic yarns give great effects. You can use all of the all of the colours on the card. Um, you could you, you could work French knots. Uh, I have got a crazy idea. I don't know if it would work, but if you wanted to put a bead in the centre, would it be possible if you thread it beforehand? I think it would be probably easier to do it afterwards, afterwards and use the, yeah. use the bead thread because the needle might be too big for the, uh, the, yeah. the hole in the, in the well, bead. So you can add it in the centre afterwards. Add it in yeah. the centre. Perfect. So they're, they're lovely, lovely to do and you just work a couple of colours and then you can change to different colours and different textures. So I'm just creating a line of colour there. Yeah. And then to uh, attach one of the beads, right? You just got the needle, and I've threaded that up already. And then you can just take a little bit, okay, of the th of the thread, and then you can just have the beads in a container. And then you can either just pick any any colours. You c it's, it's difficult to choose the colours because there's so oh, many. Ah, no, no, no. But you can add as many be as many sequins and as beads as you wish and just those hold on with a, a very small stitch look at that and then the other part so the fun part is you can add as few you can use more stitching if you wished or you can add loads and loads of sparkle with the beads and sequins so the sequins are the, the beads are the same look at those you know when I leave here there's sequins everywhere all over the floor and everywhere so the bees just you just scatter those over the top and you can add them wherever you wish and you can put stars on there and do you have a pre-plan with those beautiful beads and and sequins do you have a pre-plan of where you're going to or you just kind of go with the flow i think go with the flow but i mean there will there is a, an illustration in the instructions yeah. of of what i've done with those and then you've all you've always got the, the front cover as well to refer to as you're doing the stitching so but if it, as it's really meant to be festive you can really add as many as you wish you know, there's a lot, you can add a lot of stitching or, or you can be very minimal. So it's up to, as you start to stitch, uh, you can choose what idea you want to go for. So I'll just take that off now. Okay. Now I'll just show you what we're going to do. I'm, we're going to do a little few fabric flowers. But first of all, I look at I'm just going to show you this. So this, the idea uh, of this is that uh, if you've got a fat quarter or you've got any of the six designs, you could use uh, the fat quarter to create either um, a little gift or something to hang on the fridge or a, or a gift tag, or you could put a magnet in there oh, as magnet, well. That's you a could really add cool decorations uh, around the house. So this is the one uh, from the Christmas Sparkles kit, and I've used the beads from the, all the all the sort of leftovers from the from the kit, and then I've got a fat quarter. Uh, just to add a little bit of interest and you could easily do that with these designs yeah. uh, I think you could make a, co a collection of those would be quite good as, you know just to a little bit of something different than you could put uh, a gift name name the person Absolutely. on the back which you would look really be super yeah. that, is, that is such a beautiful idea and I love the idea of, of having cards that then you can then display under Christmas tree as well uh, very very busy on the phone lines if you have got uh, and access to the internet that would be the fastest and easiest way we cannot uh, we can only uh, just apologize for the cues but make sure to check out your baskets now the kit with of course the season's greetings card kit uh, we are approaching 60% of the stock 19 pounds and 95 pence is the price however remember flex, festive flex dragons that means that you can spread the cost in interest free payments nine pounds and 98 pence I would do like Katrina suggests and get maybe the fat quarter of uh, the amazing tweet extra and then flexi buy it as well and what about those organza because once that you start you have got so much left over that you may want to use it for your play around and remember the uh, fat quarters it will be this amazing uh, fabric the tweet that you can stamp on it with and then follow maybe your stamps and create the same sort of techniques that that Katrina has shown you but with your own images in there as well now we have also an accessory pack that you can add on and remember this is the perfect day to check out your baskets because the accessory pack is the one that uh, has the embroidery hoops that Katrina is using of course you have the spring loaded in the five inch and the seven inch 
and you have as well the embroidery uh, scissors as well. Now, if you flexi buy it, £15.99 becomes today, of course, £8 to pay today and £8 next month. It makes sense to stock up on those essentials now and those tools, of course. 646785 is your item number. Remember to check out your basket, especially on the Holly and Ivy. Katrina, we are incredibly busy across the board. Uh, now, of course, I want to remind everybody to check out their baskets. Uh, we have about eight minutes left. That's great. I'm just going to show you a little bit more on the card here, just to do, and oh, then gorgeous. hopefully we'll have a little bit of time to show one of the other designs. We'll just do one first. And so, I love that loopy um, ribbon. Oh, no, a thread, sorry. It's just so it's a, gorgeous. It's a, it's a yarn that I've just yeah. coiled uh, and just placed and pinned into place. So it's a, it's a woolen yarn, and it's got nice little loops on there just to give a little bit of texture. And you're just going to pin that onto the background. So this is the, the pine tree, so I've pinned that in place. And then I'm just going to take one strand of the white colored fabric and then a colored thread and then I'm just going to take a small stitch over the top just to create and hold it in place create a little bit of texture it's called couching but really all we're doing is placing the yeah. yarn on the surface of the right. fabric and then stitching it in place with a smaller finer yes. thread just so it looks like the wool is just sitting in the foreground so it's quite a nice thing to do it's a nice stitch to do that like that and that's quite quick yeah. to hold in place and when you've got your stitching right. in place you can remove you can remove that the pins yeah lovely Love so it's nice that. to sit back and admire them it you know, is. sometimes you forget to, to to look at the work you've done and admire it. So once you've, you've gone all the way over the surface then you can fasten off that thread. And it's one of those uh, crafts that you can do, you know, at, and pick it up at any point, right? That's right, you know, the, it's, uh, it's relaxing, uh, you know, there's no counting of the fabric, you know, you're just working on the surface, you're creating really, really easy designs there, and, you know, you don't have to use a certain colour, just because in the instructions I've suggested a colour, if you want to use one of the other ones, then it, everyone's comes out slightly different and, and quite unique. And then, just as on the bauble here, I've got some fabric here. I've just cut a little strip of organza, and I'm just using the white, the white thread, and I'm probably a knot at the end of the thread. And I'm just going to do a running stitch all the way down the middle of the fabric, tiny stitches, and then when you get to the other side you're going to gather that up. So you're just going to take the thread and just pull it gently and it will gather all the thread. Ah, oh, look at that! Right, and then just holds the folds between your fingers and just stitch those in place. That's so simple and just... I, it doesn't... I, that has tickled me. That is just really cool. Really, really easy it's to easy. do. easy. Yeah. And then you can add those directly or as many of those and just have a couple of stitches to hold that in place on the felt. And it's so fluffy and it's so beautiful and intense in colour. So in, I, I've used a colour, um, red and the shocking pink and those two together can look great and you can add as many of those as you wish and that's enough to hold that in place on the felt. Oh, look at that. So really on this one, that you know, you can really uh, choose what you want to do. And then finally, when you've completed your design, then you can cut out the circle right. afterwards. Yeah. And I think it would look great with a, a little bit of a hanger there yeah. that you could use it as a bauble on a tree or you Absolutely. can use it on the card. That is beautiful and of course if we look at the finish uh, sample in here you can see it how glorious does it look and of course it makes the most beautiful bubble for your tree. It's just beautiful and of course you could pair that can we kind of sit, say talking about Christmas scents in there. I think that'd, I think that'd be lovely because I, I just attached it I mean you could glue it on but you could just attach it so that it's detachable and hang it on the tree or, or on a present. Good. 
That's a bit, yeah, as a present as well, that kind of is just beautiful. And I love how uh, the sequins are holographic. So you kind of, every now that you turn it around, it kind of is like dancing, you know, the light is dancing with it, with the color. But remember to check out your baskets. Very busy for across the board, especially for the two brand new kids. Uh, Season's greeting card kit being one of those kids that we are talking about. But of course, we have got the Robin, the Holly and the Ivy, which by the way, another jacket has emailed and to suggest another name for the Robin. Oh, this is a good one as well. Mr. Rowan. Oh, that's a good one too. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, isn't it? Mr. Rowan, the, the Robin. Now, look at that. And of course, incredibly busy for the Holly and the K Ivy kit. Now, we are approaching 70% of the stock has already gone. And the stock should have lasted until 2 p.m., uh, which when we have got another hour of amazing Rowan Dean uh, beautiful kits. But however, 70% of the stock gone. So make sure to check out your baskets. £15.95. £15.95. If you want to flexify, you can, of course, and you can pay just seven pounds and ninety-eight pence today, uh, because of course that is half the price. Because that's half, um, you know, like if you flexify, it's interest to interest-free payments. Uh, three five six eight eight one is your item number. Now we have got, of course, lots more kids, including that updated version of the Christmas uh, cards with the beautiful purples and blues. And if you want to go for that one, you will find it on the website, thecraftstore.com. There you will see also the amazing Rowan Dean embroidery Christmas heart kit. I adore it with that scandy feel. And then of course the embroidery Christmas card kits in blues and purples. And of course that is one of the ones that has been updated. Well, the one that has been updated. If you wanted to embroidery hardwood display hoops, we have two different sets. The one that comes in with three different sizes, five, six, and seven. Or you can go for the set of four, four inches, which is the perfect complement, perfect display for the Robin, the Holly and the Ivy, which of course is the favorite of many of you. £14.65 is of course the price for those hoops. And of course you can add other elements and remember everything about £5. You can flex wide, spread the cost in interest free payments. Now, Katrina, we have got about uh, two and a half minutes till the end of the show. Is there something else would you like to show us? Well, I must, I've got the uh, winter frost here, so I just Ooh, thought I'd show you just a little bit how easy it is to do a, this design. So, we've got the stitch that we've used before, we've got the stem stitch, but to create the foreground, it's, it's really quite easy. We're just going to take some large stitches and we're just going to create a little bit of the, the grasses in there so that you've got a little bit of an orchard. And the idea is that you're just going to have a few stitches on top of the frayed fabric there. Yeah, it's beautiful. And, and I have to say, I have got up close now the finished one and the amazing beads that you have put into them. It's just incredible the beads, detail. The beads are so lovely. I mean, look, look at those, that they're just really delightful. They're sort of um, almost elderflower coloured and, yeah. and purple. And then there are some silver bugles in there. Uh, and obviously there's a couple of stars in there as well. So some of the beads are quite large. And then you've got some of the ones uh, to put on the tree to look as though it's frosty. And then I think as well as that, I've got a little bit of fly stitch in there as well. So you can add a couple of little bit of grasses as well as a bit of foliage in there just with a fly stitch, just to create a little bit of texture. Oh, yeah. and, it, and I think the purple and the bronze uh, organza just gives it that little bit of a different, a different look uh, to the bright colors. And again, this is, this is displayed in the four inch display hoop. And then to work it, it's much easier to go and use the spring hoop, of course. It is. And this then you makes. can add And of course, uh, if you want to go for the display hoops, the four inches, uh, one details at the bottom of the screen. For instance, if you wanted holly and the ivy and the embroidery winter frost, and then of course the embroidery hoops, you can put them all in a basket and flexify it. Or even if you wanted just the winter frost kit and flexify it, uh, you would be paying £5 and 48 pence today. 
Absolutely. Uh, it makes sense to grab as well the essentials and the accessories. Now, Katrina, we have got seconds to go. We are back together at 2 p.m. We are. Uh, can you give us a hint of what uh, demos are you going to be doing? We've got lots to demonstrate. We've got a little bit on the on the heart to look at. We've oh, got the some heart. And I love the robin the berries. We haven't worked with those. And maybe a little bit. Go back to the robin and see what he looks like when he's finished. It does. Oh, well, I'm looking forward to that. Thank you so much, Katrina. At home, do check out your baskets. Remember, very busy for the winter frost, but also the holly and the ivy and the brand new Christmas cards. Do check out your baskets, but stay tuned because we John next door is, of course, giving you another look at the one day special Sparkle Christmas and, of course, Flex Extravaganza. Well, Craft Artist Christmas Card, one day special after the break. Then Craft Embellishment Christmas uh, with Haley, And then again, Katrina is back with more sparkly Rowan Dean Christmas. Hello, my name's Stuart, and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Hi, I'm Anthea. Uh, I'm from Quilting Antics. Quilting Antics started around 2011, 2012, I'm never really sure. At one point we nearly became the cushion company because we've churned out so many different cushions. But we'll do bags, we'll do cushions, we'll do book covers, we'll do things for your sewing room. So don't miss the Quilting Antics shows. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Hello there and welcome back. Well, this is it, the penultimate hour with your current one day special. I say penultimate hour, but I have my doubts as to whether we're going to see this right the way through to six o'clock because it has been an incredibly popular one day special from the moment it was launched at six o'clock last night all through the nighttime shows, even through the shows today. We've been seeing lots of you revisit this deal and I think this is the thing. It's kind of the card doc you do not want to be without. Details on your screen already, so if you do want to get involved, you can do, but a 80% of the stock has gone. Now, John, we knew this was going to be a popular one day special. Well, we, hello, by the way. Hello, hello. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, we were chatting we, we, earlier. We did, but I was actually talking to Peter Owenscraft too earlier, and he didn't realise how much stock we put on. Yeah. And when I said to him, you know, I was like, you know, we might need a, a bit more. Mm. I'm not sure. He said, well, how much have we put on? He went, we haven't put that much on. Oh, yeah. And we yeah, had, because there's have. something, communication had gone somewhere, probably me. <laughs> um, it's like, really? But they've had, like, 
this percentage of the entire stock well, this is the that thing. we have brought in yeah. for the year. Yeah, and this is it. When you order stock in, and, and this is the case across the board, when you buy in stock, you're not just buying in stock just for us to have no. here at the craft store. It's kind of looking at the whole thing, looking at the shops, all the different high street shops, all the different websites that you might look at. And the beauty is that we've <laughs> actually had most of it. You, you, you've had more than a lion's share yes. of it would, more be, than, yeah. would be the best. And what we do do, we bring it in to get the best value. Yeah. For, for, for the customer, we have to bring in a lot. Well, this is it. It keeps that price down. Now, we have seen this card stop before. I know with the gold and silver. Yes. But those are the only two that we've seen. And we haven't seen these two for a long time. No, those actually sold out when we launched it last year with Christmas. Okay. Um, and I think it lasted about two to three weeks. Wow. Um, but this is the first time it's been back with the six new colours, which again oh, are gorgeous. exclusive colours to us. I don't believe anyone else has this pattern. Mm -hmm. We found this pattern in a pile. I love it. I mean, Sam and I actually found this. We were sent a, a packet of 200 of the foil that goes on top. Okay. Inch and a half squares to look through. So we had them all spread out in our living room about two and a half years ago. Oh, wow. And um, we found this pattern and it was just in silver. Okay. And they said, we can do it in gold as well. Mm -hmm. So we said, right, we want that pattern, it's ours, gold and silver. And everyone said, can we have more colours? Beautiful. So we selected our own colours, and these are our colours that we've chosen from, as I said, the Pantone chart, from the yeah. International Guide of Colours, so that everything matches and ties together. But it's so clever because what you're looking at now, this is just pigment ink through a stencil onto the glitter card. You can't do that usually, even no. with the encapsulated glitter card. You can't. There's too much texture. It's, and it's plastic, and it's, as yeah. you say, it's textured. This is so smooth. If you pan down a little bit on that card, okay. you'll see the sentiment, Joy oh, to wow. the World. yeah, yeah. Okay? That's stamped on. No way. With Craft Artist Pearl Pigment <gasps> Ink Pad. You don't make it easy for yourself, no. do you? So that's not stays on. Okay. That's not something difficult. That's something easy. But that shows how smooth it is. So it looks, when it doesn't move, it winks at you. Yes. Because it's so beautiful. But it, I, it's one of those where I wish people could put their hands in the telly and feel yeah, it. Yeah, it's amazing. Because so. it feels like silk. It does. Um, it feels like a, a piece of silk fabric. You could close your eyes uh, and, and it, it almost feels like a satin cardstock. You wouldn't know that you've got that, sh no. um, that shimmer and the shine and the sparkle. But the beauty is you can use it in so many different um, scenarios. I mean, you can die cut with it. I mean, here you can see quite intricate dies have been used to cut out elements with these um, but you're getting an amazing result you, you each can, every time every time and the, the great thing is it will die cut intricately and beautifully it will die cut i mean if you look here if i can show you this sort of camera on the overhead Ooh, this yeah, card on the overhead um, and i have to say this is one of helen jones who's one of our angels cards oh. and i have to say to her happy anniversary helen oh helen because oh, it's her anniversary, anniversary. And she's at her mum and dad's today oh. watching the show oh happy anniversary but can you see she makes those beautiful cards? Can you see how fine and delicate this is? That is beautiful. Look how beautiful. Now, if I block out that at Christmas, nothing says it is. But that's yeah. how delicate it is. And that will die cut. Beautiful. But of interest to you, because mm -hmm. we've had this as a question, Sam tested it, first of all, on the silhouette. Oh, right, OK, And on yeah. the cricket. And Lovely. it doesn't drag. Perfect. And, and if you cut on electronic machines, you'll it's know that. Quite easily, yeah. yeah. But, so, but what I mean, ooh, now that <laughs> isn't supposed to happen. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll just put my blade back in. But Lovely. if you watch there, look, hardly any pressure. It's like a feather light touch there. <gasps> no. Yeah, completely wow. neat. If I want to do, let's say I want to do a leaf shape. Mm -hmm. I can almost not see it. So if you're a paper cutter. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Wow. Okay. If I want to get delicate into it, mm -hmm. so let's go into it. So if you're one of those people who loves to do paper cutting, you're constantly doing swirls and but circles. you wouldn't even entertain the idea of doing you paper cutting with glittery do star that card. <gasps> with glitter card. Wow. It doesn't drag. And what that means is you can treat this like normal card. So if you want to, you can cut it with a knife. You can cut it with a guillotine cut it with scissors, you can cut it with a paper trimmer, you can cut it with your silhouette, with your Cricut, with your Cricut Joy, wow. with no problems <gasps> whatsoever. Oh how my intricate goodness. It is. But also, you can stamp onto it, you can stencil yeah, onto it, beautiful. you can recolour it with ink, yeah. you can make delicate things. It's literally like having a sheet of plain white card that happens to look 
like there's a million dollars worth of glitter being thrown It's like a gold lame dress. It looks amazing. Now, um, the beauty of this is exactly as John's saying there, it's incredibly pliable. Now, this is something that you wouldn't necessarily uh, want to do with your cardstock that's got glitter on it because as you're rolling it, you would kind of find it, it would shared. It would be very springy to start with as well. And certainly these little elements where you've kind of got these fold lines here, you'd almost have like little bald bits because it, it falls yeah. away. So you can emboss with it. This is actually a die. And this die is coming back, I promise everyone, because we sell out of the proper cracker die every year. We do, yes. But you would never take a normal sheet of, even encapsulated, yeah. non-shed glitter card, I wouldn't dream of making a cracker wouldn't. out of it. Yeah. Because, but if you look, it's no cracking. But if, I don't know if you can see it. If you can see inside, mm -hmm. you can actually see there, look, no cracking yeah. anywhere. Absolutely amazing. Which is what you would expect. It's just so fluid. It's so, almost like a fab. Well, it's yeah. not a fabric, but it behaves like a fabric. It behaves almost, like a fabric. Yeah. So yeah. if you want to score it on a scoreboard and make your gatefold cards, go ahead. Absolutely amazing. Now, John's already shown you using a craft knife, but have a look at this. This is actually using an incredibly um, delicate die there. All those little tiny elements there cut to perfection. That is the beauty of this. Even down to the little tiny little holes that you've got in the design there. Phenomenal. I mean, how do you manage to do this? Because usually when you're cutting certain cardstock, you almost end up like little wispy kind of whiskers almost you when do. you're dying you cutting. You don't end up with any of those. You've actually got that one upside down. I was just wondering, you the know, angels are, are, are they are calling angels? Each other's, Sorry. Yeah. You see that? I wasn't sure. I could but see the wings, but I couldn't quite feel And now I can see when that I they're angels. When I cut that in, in glitter card, and even with some of ours in the past, you get the threads. Yes. Yeah, yeah, where the pressure line has made you get little threads or hairs like a beard. Mm -hmm. They don't get any of those. You get those, I can't, it's so difficult. I'll show you here, look. It's almost difficult How to show it wrong. How delicate that is. <laughs> yeah. You see there on the overhead. Wow. How delicate. But look on the back. This is where you would see threads. Yes, yeah. yeah. So what I would have to do is brush over it to get those little threads off. There's nothing. The worst that happens is on some of the small bits, the card may come off leaving the foil. Okay. And all you actually do for that is literally That's when the I can first find bit that I've it. seen you've been cutting lots of first bit oh, I've seen yeah. that happen too yeah and all you do is just pull that out and it will cut away perfect. so simply so perfect. you don't get any of the threads or anything Beautiful. So it's perfect for every craft going. The thing is, as well, it works alongside other things that I know many of you have got in your stash. So, obviously, we've got the red version here alongside the metallic and the satin sheen. It sits in beautifully. Now, the thing is, these come from different manufacturers, but we were talking about Pantones earlier on. Pantones are kind of that guide to make sure you've got exactly the same colour across multiple kinds exactly. of manufacturers. It's so that I can, we can actually say, so let's call that this is 1379U. Yes, yeah. That's the colour of that red. Mm -hmm. It means that we've been able to supply these colours to di our different manufacturers to make sure that everything ties in or it matches exactly. So we make sure everything's tonally right. Exactly. So that if I ping out, but what we've also done is played with colour. So if I get the, um, I've done this before, let me grab this one, it's my favourite one. So I'm going to grab you this one. Okay. This is so it. They're this more is, almost. <laughs> this is the blue. This is the Air Force blue. Gorgeous. Okay. But look at the Air Force Blue with the purple. Yes, it looks different. It looks purple now. Yeah, yeah. So this has been matched with... Sorry, I had to get more. I've gone... I've chunked through this. <laughs> I really Gorgeous have. Colour. But if you see there, that's your two purples, your gloss and your satin. We call this chocolate box because I'm do. not allowed to say Cadbury's. <laughs> yeah. But you see there how that blue yeah. ties in. Rather than doing a purple, yeah. but... If I actually grab the Air Force and the mm -hmm. teal colour in the satin yeah. card. It's very clever the way it does this, I have to this say. This is I'm weird. Very so impressed. We're looking at it now and look, that's purple. Yeah, Here in the you studio, would call that purple. I've got to be honest, that looks more purple in the yes, studio than does, blue yeah, now. Yeah. yeah. Let's look at it on blue. It's blue. It changes it out. It's amazing. That's blue. <laughs> Now it's purple. Now it's blue. <laughs> Play tricks with you. But we've tied all the colours to match so that you've got a perfect mix 
every time. Um, and that is the key thing. Now, obviously, we've spoken of the gold and silver. We saw those previously. And we have indeed had those as a bundle um, together during the, the course of the shows. Lots of you have been adding additional bundles in. But the gold and the silver have gone completely. They're not available anymore. The only way you can get them is within you one day special. And it's a similar situation with regard to that traditional Christmas red and green. Those ones are looking incredibly um, vulnerable. But to be honest, why would you... Oh, oh they've gone. Oh, they've gone altogether. So, yeah. Yeah, these different options are dis uh, disappearing. They're different item numbers, incidentally, as well. So if you are thinking, I'm going to go for the one-day special, I'm going to add some additional colours in, well, you've narrowed down your choices to 50%. You traditional red, gold, um, silver, um, and your green, they've gone. You can't get hold of those. But can I make the suggestion that if you have already gone for these, as the one-day special, maybe during the launch show, maybe through the nighttime shows, even this morning at 8 o'clock, do consider the possibility of perhaps getting another set. The reason I say is the gold and the silver, we missed out on those for such a long time. This is the thing. We don't know when we're going to see these all together. It's a brilliant bundle for you to get them all because you will utilise them all. Even those colours, when you look at them, you think, oh, I'm, I'm not a pink person. I'm not a blue person. I'm not a green person. You will still use those because they support everything else that you've got. So if you've got your metallics, you've got your satin finishes, all your different colours of your cardstock, even your, your, your basic cardstock, Stock, which let's face it there's nothing basic about it so that you can't stop when you, you're buying craft two cards it is one of those staples you need to get hold of now over 80 percent of the stock has gone so if you are thinking of coming back in and getting more of them you need to be quick do want you don't want you missing out on these 19 pounds and 98 pence we're still in flex extravaganza up until six o'clock which means if you're taking advantage of this if you are going for a second set you can spread the cost over two payments do not be without this you will regret it it's absolutely beautiful card stock and you're going to love it so if you're wanting yours, 008659. Now, if you fancy extending the usability, this is something that we chatted about earlier on. It's beautiful car stocks, fabulous price. So it almost turns it into an affordable luxury. So you might be kind of tending to think of using it that way. I still wouldn't. I'm a frugal crafter. I want to make sure I'm maximising it. So by maximising, I'm adding in things like my mirror and my satin because it makes it go that much further. $24.99 will get you this beautiful set, which is your candy jewel pack. But we have got a traditional Christmas pack for for you as well. So if you like your gold, your silvers, your reds, your greens, then of course you've got all your different options. And with this one, you're getting all of those gorgeous colours that are going to work so well alongside your one day special. £24.99. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to tell you about it. Happy hour. How could I forget? Oh, you found it. You don't need me to tell you, dear. <laughs> now, the happy hour is a deal that we're bringing to you every single hour with the one-day specials. But while you've got the opportunity, the one that we had earlier on this morning, that sold out. Um, I think it was a, kind of like a happy half hour, to be honest. It had gone. So with you guys, oh, I've got to hold it up now. I don't know what I've done with it. Oh, here you go. <laughs> found it underneath everything else now just to let you know with this one you are going to get the and or die which is this one isn't it everybody's going to get that everyone one everyone will get that one and then its contents may vary okay. so you will get oh little town Lovely. which is this one set of strips or you'll get the nativity scenes okay the nativity scenes has the shepherds on it oh cute. Um, i think there's a sample there oh which shows you one you. of the strips from that one which is the oh i which see is the shepherds okay so you will get either... So still traditional yeah, Christmas, and yeah. And with that one, you actually also get the little... Um, you get the manger, you Aww. get the uh, stable, and you get the little donkey, because that one's Aww. my favourite. So you get the little, little donkey, donkey, I think, in that one. Love it. There you go. So that's your happy hour. Have you seen the price? You would normally be... Now, hang on a minute, John. Hang on. These dies by themselves. How much you'd normally I pay for that one? I think that's or eighteen ninety nine. Wow. So, for less than the price of that one die, you're getting it fourteen ninety nine, and you're getting an additional die in there. Yeah. And you can spread the cost over two payments. £7.50 if you wanted to go for these. Uh, it's not going to be any surprise to you when I tell you that 10% of the stock has gone already. As we said, this is the consistent between them. You will definitely get your and or die with all the fabulous elements that you've got featuring in there. But you will get an additional die. It's going to be a very traditional scene. It may be the nativity. It may be um, the three kings, as you can see here, with a, um, a little tan in the background there. It, either way, they are usable and they are going to be ones that you will love in your stash. 329 at um, sorry, 763 if you're wanting those ones. 14 but be quick. As I say, the last happy hour deal sold out in half an hour, so you don't want to miss that. It's on the website, along with everything else that John has been working with, along with many other things that have sold out as well, incidentally. Some brilliant reviews, so if you do want to check out reviews, you can. So do have a look at that time die set as well. That is a brilliant one. John was working with that earlier on. Absolutely incredible design. And there's so much on there. If you want the Calling Angels, you can get hold of those. And anything you're adding into your basket, 
basket call you can, you can spread over two payments because it's flex extravaganza you don't have to wait till you pop something in there that's already spread over two payments you can organize it yourself simply by placing your order and uh, choosing to do so when you come to check out so john what is the plan what we right. have to well i thought we'd do something with the andal Oh, and nice, with yeah. The, and oh, with the, I'm going to use the satin and I'm going to use the waterfall. Nice. But this is a suggestion of Jane's, and she said that she just thought the the strip dyes just would work so well in this as an aperture. Nice, yeah. And I thought, I never thought of that. What a yeah. wonderful idea. So I've got a piece of the satin. This is the silver satin here. Okay. And it just works well. And this is a great way, as you said, of stretching your waterfall card because you're using shine in there, but yeah. it's not overpowering it. Yes. And what I've found is, apart from the flowers, if you actually put your, um, you put two colours of the waterfall together, mm. they kind of fight a little bit. Right. And that's where the satin comes in. Yes. It, it, it's almost like it's too expensive. Yeah. So I've used my long piece of tape trick and taped the two dies together. Lovely. And I'm just going to run that, put that on, and I'm going to run that through. And whilst that's going through, I need to prep just a little bit. So I'm going to run okay. this through. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm actually going to sorry, take a piece of black and I'm going to run a couple of these through. Lovely. Now, while you're doing that, um, I'm going to put the shout out to you guys at, at home. Helen has been in touch with a, a question. Brilliant question. I shall ask that in a few moments. If you've got any questions that you're wanting to ask, do get involved. I'll try and ask um, as many as I can think of myself. But if I miss anything, then I'd love to hear from you. Studio at the craft store dot com. We've had some brilliant ones, which we'll recap. But Helen's asking about using the eye zinc glitter pouches. Yep. So, so are these are the kind of like the paint. Well, they come in two. We have the diamond paint, which is right. what mixes in with the medium, okay. and then there's the pouches of the dry glitter. Okay. So if you if you mean the diamond paint or the yeah. diamonds, yes, that will go on top perfectly. So that goes through like a stencil, a stencil or you can paint it on. It's like a gel, isn't I'd it? That one, some, yeah. yeah it's, it's it's almost it's amingly clever. Okay. If you are talking about the normal glitter, yes, you just add that as normal glitter right. by adding glue and adding it on top. Oh, okay. So this is pretty yes. much <laughs> neutral. Okay. So it's not. A lot of non-shed glitter card, or what we're used to that, yeah. is actually, as you call it, encapsulated. Yeah. So what actually happens is you get a colour piece of card, or a piece of white card is printed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then they kind of sort of spray glue on it. Right. Then they shake glitter on it. Okay. And then it has a plastic coating put over the oh, top. Oh, okay, right. To keep it all in. Right. Yeah? And that's why when it says non-shed, sometimes you'll cut it and you'll find... Oh, hang on, yeah. it is shedding a bit. Do you get a little bit? Yeah. yeah. I bought some for the cricket and it, yeah, yeah. well, I've said that before, it was terrible. Um, but it was just a, a, a different brand. Um, but what that means is what you're sticking anything to on the top mm -hmm. is plastic, which means you have to use stays on to stamp if you've got a smooth surface. Right. Because this is made with a foil. So if I grab a scrap, Okay. I can show you, hopefully. And I think it's important to understand the makeup of it, because it makes sense then. If you know why, yeah. you know what you can do, use it yeah. for, and I'm so boring. If I start to dig, okay. and I have to really dig, that's actually pulling up paper, not the foil. There we go, got it. Can you see? Gosh, there's loads of layers in here. That is a foil. Oh, okay. And what I said right. about it being silver first, and we had these colours added. So, there is no glitter in there. But it's not plastic, it is a foil. Ooh, so, sorry, I just so, got distracted then because my mind's all over the place so now thinking about this. And... So it's a foil, so Ooh. it means it can't shred and shard, but it means you can put anything on top of it. So, yes. yeah, your diamonds will work absolutely perfectly. Love it. No there you go. Brilliant question, Helen. So, yeah, whether it's your glitter, just get your glue in place, obviously, first, because otherwise your glitter's just going to fall off, frankly, isn't it? So, um, but then, of course, those gel mediums as well, perfect. Um, we had other questions asking about ink again earlier on. We saw that fabulous example there of using um, the eyes inks as ink pads on there. Pigment ink's perfect. Um, and again, um, putting your colour through stencils as well. So, the answers for most questions seem to be with regards to this one is, is Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. There's very little you can do with it. It's almost a case of I'd love to be able to call, not call it glitter card. Yeah. But we can't because that's that what it is. It, it yeah. is a glittery card, a card that beautiful? glitters. Um, because people have got such an idea of what glitter card yeah. was. Yeah. And what glitter card can be that you buy these it's days. Because yeah. you can still get non-shed glitter card that sheds. Because <laughs> yeah. I've done it a, it's a it's few months confusing. ago. <laughs> So, I'm going to pop those to one side for a minute. Okay. So, I've cut this into the oundle, and I can understand where Jane was coming from on this. Because it's a beautiful frame for all round. I mean, you've got some samples there. 
that I've actually done with some of the eyes ink glitters. Um, but I've actually done um, using it as a sort of Christmas card anyway. I mean, there's that one there and the one underneath, oh, okay. which are just Hold doing, just again, over. show how well it works as a die. And how it's that sort of, that nice. should have been, this card should have been out two days ago for the 4th of July. Yeah, definitely. But you can and it see... Shows, and it's nice because we've seen a lot of glittery going on, but it's nice to see it without the glitter as well. It is. It's yeah. nice to see what else you can it's do. It's like paper piecing there. Yeah. yeah, really Love simple that. to do. So that's the one effect you can get with it. Or you can take it really simple like that. Or you can start to go OTT with your glitters and your glitter cards, with your mirror and your satin cards. There's loads of possibilities. Again, there's just so much you can do. And this is a happy hour die. Yeah. This is the thing. I mean, this is a usable die. I think we die. thought it had sold out and yeah. we found ah, another box in okay. Narnia. But this is, this is one of the ones that, if you were to actually see this one, you, you would be paying, obviously, your full price with this one because it's worth every single penny of that. You've got so many different possibilities. But the thing is, rather than paying you 17 99 $18.99 for this, you're actually paying 14 99 But as an added bonus, you're getting the additional die, which could be the little Bethlehem scene or it could be the Kings. It could be whichever of those two. Either way, you are going to get a fabulous die that's going to sit beautifully in the middle there. Um, but was it, what was the update again? 20%. Sorry, I think I was supposed to have told you sit the 10% earlier. But right, so what know, I'm going to do now chatting. is put this down. I've spray glued this onto a piece of the waterfall glitter card, making sure that I've got the, 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 the falling in the right direction. Yes, yeah. A bit like if you saw the show last night with uh, Leanne, Leah Griffiths. Okay. And the crepe paper, and she's yes. saying, make sure you get the direction yes, of the crepes yeah. right. You know, do the same with this. You want to get them. If I hold it up, you can see. That way, it just, I don't know why. To it's me, like we call it waterfall, curtain. but that one actually looks like <laughs> the Matrix, with all the numbers yes, scrolling down the yeah. screen. Um, but I want to take that centre out, because, again, I've paid a lot of money for it. Okay. I don't want to waste it. Right. So I'm going to take the separate die that comes in the andal, click it back into place. Mm-hmm. So it just clicks back in, and that will take out that centre. Okay. So while that does that, I can show you the pieces that I'm going to cut of the O Little Town. So what they do is they cut the top line. But you might wonder why there's all this extra metal. Okay. Because a lot of these strip dies, you know, they're, they're right up here, aren't they? Yes. To save the metal. It's done for a reason, and the reason is that effectively you can't get them straight. Oh, why? When they're on a fine line, you can't get them straight. Okay. Because you would think that, I'm going to show you this die, you would think that is straight. Yes, yeah. But it isn't. When you actually cut it, the legs aren't right. That's a good point, so actually, So what I've yeah. done is extend it and made at the end a squared off end. Right. So to get it straight, so they're climbing up the hill right, Yes. you put that end flat against your card edge Got you. and pull it along, which means you get them straight without having to look through. Clever. Because I am too lazy <laughs> to do it that way. So I've used the 350 GSM black card here. So. And I love this. Can I just very quickly show you, because don't forget, we've got two dies in this happy hour. So this die by itself, you could use it quite easily. And you can see there in a little aperture how amazing this looks. Absolutely beautiful with that little starry sky in the background. Um, of course, you might be getting one or other of these ones. But again, there, the fabulous scene in the background. It's a popular one when we saw this one. And again, Again, you've got all the little kings there on the the camels on their journey and this is the beauty of this one when you get in hold of it you will get obviously the andal die that john was sharing with us just a few moments ago but you will get an additional die maybe the one that we're looking at it'll either be the oh little tan or it'll be um your nativity scene either way you've got something that's going to make some perfect christmas cards right so all i've done is just snip them out yeah so i'm just going to take so i would take out and clean out the little bits now I grabbed, and I didn't realise when I put this together, 350 card, which is That's normally my weighty, box yeah. card. Yeah. So it is just going to take a little bit to piece those out. But I want to show you a trick we can actually do with this one. Okay, with the right. Windows. Yeah. Because I've used a thick card, it's cut through, but I would have to push each bit out. Mm -hmm. So if I grab a little strip of the waterfall card in the silver, okay. what I'm going to do is, again, get it straight, so match the end. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pull it along slightly, take that up to the top. I'm going to run this through and cut this. Now, this is obviously just the glitter card, right. the waterfall, and it is um, on um, 
and it's 250 GSM, so it's a lot, lot lighter. Okay. So just while that's going, let me take this one out. So now I've got my frame. Oh, look at that. That's fabulous. So I've got a beautiful frame to yeah. frame that sort of eastern scene with. So come on. I should have done this in the Kaleido room. Because <laughs> it's small enough. So now I'm going to just take this one out and trim it out. Okay. And we're going to cut through. And all I do is continue that line. Oh, I see. Right, yeah. Yeah. So, because I could put the next one onto it to continue yes, the scene yeah. along. Say I wanted to go along the bottom of a bottle or something like that. That's clever, because you can make it as long as you, you want it to be then. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. So I just have to take these windows out. But you see, look there, look how that. delicate that is. Let's get that a little bit that out of the way. That is such a crisp cut. But no bearding. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely no bearding. So this goes a completely different way. And the other thing that my, my friend Mrs Duck always says to remind me about this die is she said, if you're making Eid cards... That's a very good point, yes. It's perfect yeah, because this yeah. just is the, is the minarets and the temples yeah. and things like Definitely, that. Definitely, yeah. She did me a sample um, and she put it onto... Um, I think it was for Ramadan and she put it onto a postcard of an elephant oh. in black over the top. So you can see there we've got... Oh, look at see that. Let's just take that out. It's like the Shimmering Palace. It is! Yeah, okay. But let's just give it a quick spray into the spray box, which has magically reappeared. Make sure you keep your it's feet moving, because you might be stuck. Oh, I've done that before. <laughs> but if I go over this, can you see... Oh, wow! ...how I've <gasps> created the shadows oh, in the window? That is beautiful. So there... Oh, look at that. But I'm going to put how they stand oh. off against that tower. So if there's something you can cover a minute, just while I yeah, click these little bits up, it's boring for people. Um, not a problem at all. I mean, obviously, that particular die that John's been working with, it just shows you if you're using it with your glitter cardstock, your self-adhesive cardstock, if you're taking all of those layers and bringing them together, you can paper piece, bring everything together. But don't forget, you've got all the different layers, all the different elements. So if you're wanting to create it and make it into a card base, just using that die by itself, then you can do. But the beauty is you can play around with it. You can extend it, turn it into more of a rectangle use it as a placement um, spot there for maybe a sentiment or a greeting if you've got a significant birthday and you're wanting to put a date on there or an anniversary then you can do that with this one but you can utilize it alongside other things that you've got in your stash there with your fabulous um, kind of greetings um, and alphabets as well it's a popular one though 30% of the stock has gone so just to reiterate what you are getting with your happy hour if you're placing your order before the top of the next hour so before we get to one o'clock then you will get your hour all done this particular die, you're probably looking at in the region of £18, £18.99 along those lines for that die by itself. Draw your attention to what's on your screen at the moment, £14.99. So if I was to say to you that's a happy hour deal, um, you're saving £4 on that one, you'd be thrilled to bits. Of course you would. It's a fabulous die. It's a brilliant deal. But it's more than that because you are getting that additional die. Now, it might be the one that I'm sharing with you here with that fabulous scene that um, John's been working with. Or it might be um, the nativity scene where you've got the shepherds, the manger, the little donkey all featuring there. To be honest, either of those you're going to be thrilled with because they're so usable and they work well together. They weren't necessarily designed to work together, but they do. And John's showing that with the, the fabulous card that he's creating. $14.99. What a phenomenal nominal do it's no wonder we're busy the last happy hour that we bought with you during one of the one day special shows sold out about halfway through this one is flying out as well and of course the beauty is you can get hold of it with the details on your screen there 329 76 street do not miss out on this one add it in alongside your one day special and spread the cost maybe over two payments if you want to how's that coming together right, John? So that's all come together now i've got all those little pieces so, I just want to take and adding a little bit of foam tape on the back. Okay. Really important, this, for giving di depth and dimension to it. So, we'll take this one off. I should have got that bit done, but I was, I was actually listening to you. <laughs> and no, I wasn't. I was supposed to be doing things, and I wasn't as listening. You mesmerised. You see here, so I've got there my, my sort of um, village scene. Let's pull it down so you can actually see it, yeah? But then, when I put over the top... Oh, I, see, I love that. I never tire of that no, theme. No, I'm just done Classic in look. that little bit of the... It's like it's shimmering because it's been done in the waterfall yeah. card. So I'll trim that down. And what I've got is... 
I've taken, because it's boring if I show you cutting every bit, I've taken this shape that came out of the middle. Okay. Because I don't believe in wasting. Taken the next iron handle, and I've cut that out of there. I've taken the next die, and I cut that out of the scrap piece of silver. Okay, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. give me pieces for another card, but I've mounted them together to give me that shape. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty. all I'm going to do now is just add a little bit of foam tape on the back of here, and it just comes together so beautifully. And the thing is, if you've got good dies that you can use, that giving you, um, that maximising the air, I mean, to start off with, I mean, the overall square that you started with, what, it wasn't even six inches square, was it? No, About it was five and a half, half inches, inches yeah. square. But you're maximising the use. You're yeah, getting so two or three cards. Everything on this, because I would have taken that out of the middle of that, mm -hmm. so everything so far has come oh, look at that. from a five and a half inch square of satin card and the waterfall card. So you're probably talking less than 20 pieces of card. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it's, it's less than one A4 sheet. So I'm going to work sort of backwards now. Okay. So, just so I've got a little bit of maneuverability. I'm glad you said that and not me. I'm going to pop that in the centre. Yeah, I'm then going to take... Can you see how that works over there? That is gorgeous. Yeah. <gasps> so I just need to trim that down. Are you just doing this on the hoof? Yes. <gasps> no, I had planned it. No, you're doing it on the hoof. <laughs> I got all the bits cut ready, but I didn't know where I was going to go with it. But, I'm not going to lie. But it shows, doesn't it? I mean, this is a joke in a part. This is when you've got the confidence in dies, because you can cut the pieces out and then see where it takes you. Well, it's funny. What I always say to people with dies... When you get them home, cut them, find yourself, as soon as you get a die set home and you open it, mm -hmm. get yourself some card you've gone off. Okay. A colour of card you've or gone off. Or the orange for me, because I'm yeah. not too I keen on orange. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. Right. And cut every single die in the set separately. Right. Okay. And then just lay the pieces down. Mm -hmm. Then look and see which ones you can cut together and play with the pieces. Okay, and number yeah. one, it'll it'll kickstart your mojo. Yes, I promise yeah, you. Yeah. But secondly, you'll either, you'll then find yourself putting card together from it. Yeah. And then you'll suddenly fall in love with this card that you've gone off. Yes, yeah, true. Because you go, oh, happen, that looks yeah. nice. Yeah. But don't just think, right? I'm going to make that card that John made. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You can, and you're welcome to, and I say this every time, any card that you have seen on the shows from me or any of the mm -hmm. angels, any on our social media, if you want to copy it, go ahead. Mm -hmm. That's what it's there for. You know, if, if, you, want to, if you want to go and do a class on it, yeah. fine. Oh, That's okay. what it's there for. Mm -hmm. It's inspiration. But the best thing to do first is cut the pieces and see what they do. I mean, I love that as it stands. This looks fabulous. Yeah. yeah. It really works, and I know I can use it all year, but... I can then, when I frame it. Oh yes, can yeah. Can you see then? So I it's look at that and I go, ways. right. I'm actually two layers at the top of foam tape short. So just to measure it up, so I've got a layer on oh, here. Oh, I see. Right, yes. Because got the you. top is a little bit lower down. Because, because of the I've layers, got yes. One layer, two yeah. layers. Yeah. So I'm going to pop two layers on just to stop it, and then I'm going to just pop this on. Oh, look at that. What's not to love about a card like that? And there we go. And I'll hold this one up. I'll stand it up for you. And I've done an Australian, so let's do the trick. Hey. First ever demo I did on TV, that's what I did. Did you? Yeah, and before Jackie could turn round and say, Oh, oh Jackie. what are you going to do? I'd, I'd already folded it like that because I'd panicked. <laughs> but you can see there. That is beautiful. John, you thank you do in so much. Is that amazing? Now, the happy hour deal, half of the stock has gone. We knew it would be a popular one. Had good quantities of it. Obviously, you've got your two um, different um, styles with regards to the additional die. Um, but uh, it's something that you could quite easily be adding in alongside your one-day special. If you've only just joined us with the one-day special, thank goodness you've joined us now. Because potentially you could have missed out on this one. We've got, obviously, the rest of this show. So it's about half an hour left of this show and another full hour at 4 o'clock where we are going to be showcasing the one-day special. It's a deal that runs right the way through until 6 
o'clock tonight. But that's only if stock permits us to do so. The beauty is, it's a brilliant deal with a fabulous look to it that you are going to utilise in so many different ways. But it's rapidly approaching limited stock. Now, I'm going to let John get himself ready for his demonstration so you're not missing anything. Because I know how eagerly you watch and you like to see what John's doing. And it makes sense. He's making you, you see, the, the kind of, the maxi uh, maximising the possibilities of how you can work with these. But the colours that you're looking at have been put together with a purpose in mind. Traditionally, your gold and silver, those are the first colours that so many um, p uh, companies will find that will sell out straight away. Indeed, it did sell out the first time that we saw it last year when we were looking at Christmas. So these two um, sold out previously. It was a long time before we managed to see them back again. But they have actually gone now. This is a dual pack can't get it anymore. The other one that's sold out now is the green alongside the red. Um, I need to undo this and get them side by side, don't I? That was my fault, sorry. <laughs> but those two, as a bundle, those ones have gone. But when you look at that, that's actually half of them having sold out in their little bundles. So it makes sense to go for a second one day special, really. It, it does. I mean, I, I'm literally, I have no silver left, yeah. but I am so low. This I think is you my can entire stock. I earlier. have three packs. This is my, this is everything I've got left. Yeah, but you can see it's equal. Yeah, there's not really, apart from say the silver, there's only two, three gold left, two, three of the blue, three of that, my favourite blue, three of the pink. There's not loads left. And I've still Gorgeous. got more shows to prep, so. I'm going Good luck to with have that one. two of them. Oh, Good luck with that because you've already, you've already taken one of the silvers that I've got over here as well. I'll put them into order there. So, yes, these are beautiful. So, if you're wanting to get more of your colours, then you can get hold of more of these ones over on the right-hand side. So, these ones are available. They're two different item numbers. You can get hold of them. I hesitate because why would you want to, to be honest? Because you've not got a saving if you're going for them by themselves. So if you're going for a dual pack of these, um, lovely to get you, Charlotte. How much would you be paying for those two by themselves? Eleven ninety nine. Okay, so that's eleven ninety nine. You're getting two colours. So if we look at the one day special and we spread the cost over two payments, you're paying less than a tenner. Yeah. So straight away you're paying less than you were intending to pay to get hold of these, but you're still getting them. You're also getting your pinks. You're also getting your traditional red and green, which you can't get otherwise. You're also getting your gold and silver. So why would you want to go for... I mean, you could have picked any of those, to be honest. Why would you pay eleven ninety nine for two colours when you can pay a tenner and get them all? Now, I know you've got a second payment in a month's time, but it's a tenner. These are going to be things that you're going to use over and over again. Not just in their entirety for your mats and layers, but the little tiny pieces as well, the fall away elements. Little tiny red, um, anything that's got circles, keep them. Those little kind of red style um, sequins almost. You can use those for things like, um, you, you can't do like your holly berries and things like that. No piece is too small when you're talking about a luxury cardstock like this. The tiniest bit, even the slither is you're kind of squaring off your cardstock. Keep those. You can weave those in and out. Now, John, um, this, I've just scrubbed this. So rude of me. What, what have we got here? This is every scrap of the waterfall card that I have. Even that, oh my goodness, so look at the little tiny wisp of it. I am not wasting it. I yeah. pay good money for it. Yeah. So this is how I keep it at home. And it's actually going to happen. I mean, you showed us thinking about gutting your cards, doing it. We do do that sometimes, we do. but we don't do it all the time. No. But it's best when I've trimmed it down and I've done anything, and you'll find all the samples I've got here, and you'll find you will see a lot more samples in a month's time. Okay. For of, some of the new Christmas die collection, have nearly all been made. We're using this. Yeah. But even then, I've taken the middles out and everything to conserve how much I've got. Number one, because I want to be. I'm tight, and as my friend Paul <laughs> says, I'm from Yorkshire, so I've got short short arms and deep pockets. <laughs> But I don't want to waste it, but also because I know what happened last year with the waterfall, yeah. and I know it was a year before it came back. But and I don't want to risk that. Using one of those large dies with just a Merry Christmas on there, with just a happy birthday, a happy anniversary, instantly you have got a classy looking card with just a little piece of this. Now, I'm going to apologise. We've been talking about the one day special and obviously um, the happy hour day. It's resulted in a bit of a phone queue. Well, not a bit, a big phone queue situation. So again, apologies. We're looking at nine minutes again. But more importantly, we're looking at a limited stock situation with regards to the one day special. Now, you may well have joined us during this hour. At the top of the hour, 
and I'll make no bones about it, I'd be the same. Join us to find out what the happy hour deal is. What a phenomenal deal. You may be placing your order for it now, which is brilliant. But consider, if you did watch the previous shows and you did get hold of your one day special, while you're on the phone placing your order for your happy hour deal, why not get yourself a second set of the one day special, spread the cost over two payments. It's only an extra tenner. In fact, you can spread the cost of your happy hour as well. So it makes it a very affordable way. Even if you're adding this in alongside your happy hour, you're looking at what, 750 for your first flexi buying your happy hour. You're looking at a tenner. You're still paying less than you would be for that one day special. You're still paying um, less than you would be. Well, you no, know, you wouldn't be paying less for the, um, the happy hour because it's 14 99 But you know what I'm saying? Think about it before you check your baskets out. Because if you've spent nine, sorry, ten minutes on the phone line waiting to get your orders um, taken, please do not hang up the phone before you make sure you've got everything that you want. Because otherwise you're going to go all the way back round to the end of the queue. And when we're looking at limited stock, potentially you could miss out on some of these. So I'll leave that with you. But some of the other things you might like to add in, and we have seen John working with these throughout, traditionally a poinsettia. If I say poinsettia to you straight away, it's one of those, as soon as you see it, I mean, it's not just for Christmas. I mean, it's they're an international that, flower, aren't they? Both of those, are, I've used them to make lilies. Yes, They yeah. work perfectly with your flower foam. Good point. So they can make, and when you twist and pull the solid one, makes you perfect. Um, lilies and like stargazer type lilies. Oh, nice! Really works differently. It's perfect for Christmas. But what I've done in this bundle is you've got the actual leaves as well. Okay. Because the petals of a poinsettia flower are just the leaves in a different colour. Oh, okay, right. So if you actually look at a poinsettia, if you get a, a real one this year, mm -hmm. you'll actually see that the leaves, the the petals, are exactly the same shape and build as the petals. They're just a different colour. Okay. So we've included here the overlay, but also the separate leaves. I mean, I think there's actually, I think, oh, right to your right, sorry, there's some earrings and a bracelet that's been made. I saw those. I picked those up. I was, with the matching leaves. I was leaves. kind of drooling. I'm just going to let Marcus just um, come out, because otherwise Bye. you'll see my ear. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants, everyone wants to see okay. your ear. There we go. Let me get them. There we go. I've got them. Yeah. But you can see there... <laughs> It's actually done a pendant from them, just using gilt metal. But Isn't the leaves are exactly the same, so you've got those. But I thought this was amazing by Art Angel. Isn't that beautiful? And I've I sort of kept that, so you're getting all of that in there. But you can use it all year round. I mean, again, you that does not that. say Christmas to me. No. That's like a, um, I don't know, a summer barbecue or something like that, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You yeah. can make tropical flowers out yeah. of it. Yeah. So there's, I it's always like wanted this to be more. almost, isn't it? That kind of large uh, yeah. petal. Yeah. And that's my poinsettia and my poinsettia shape. Beautiful. I've done the new overlays for it. There may be a new size coming later this year in it. The attempt in But us. this is my poinsettia. I won't do another one. I can't understand. Why, well, yeah. You know, make, yeah. people who do one a year. Yes. And it's like, it's year seven. This is this year's poinsettia. <laughs> How many times can you redo? So, you know, this is the end what, of it, really. Yeah, what have we got going on this here? This is using the waste. Really? So this is using the waste from cutting it. Okay. So that is actually the waste when she's cut them out. That's but insane. inside, she's actually made invitation cards and menu cards. Oh, wow. Uh... Using the waste from all of the cards that, that she's That is cut. clever. That is a canny crafter. Because I tried to make sure that the waist is as attractive as the piece it cuts out of. Really pretty. And of course, because it's in one place, it cuts it all the time. Yeah. So this has almost been put together. Obviously, you've got the addition of the pearlescent cardstock in there, so it's almost made something out of nothing. Because it it's what you'd yeah. normally throw away. It's, it's the away. you would normally throw away, and there'll be another wow. project that has all those poinsettias in different colours, ink somewhere. Love it. Amazing. Um, very traditional when we think of Christmas, but as John quite rightly said, using it all year round, different colours, you're going to get different results. You're going to get all four of these die sets coming to you for the price on your screen. And free to remember, you've got discounted price with this one, which brings it down even further. You've got £14 saving. You've got 20 in total but 70% of the stock has gone it's not just about the petals it's not just about the lead it's about those fronds it's about the additional elements that kind of further extends and kind of fills in the gaps this is the yeah, thing I mean, if you grab the board you'll actually see Ooh, yeah that the when we talk about the fronds they're not they are full twigs yes yeah. they are a lot bigger than they look in the packaging and you get, I think it's eight of them in there. there a bit. It's almost like a little tree. Yeah, it, it's not. These were called Leslie's twigs because Leslie asked me to do twigs. Oh, I see. And these okay. are the perfect base for any flowers in your I will see. think of her as Twiggy from now on. Think of her as Twiggy. She'll I love will. that. <laughs> but if you actually look at any of the cards, if you go onto our Facebook group and you look at the samples on there, how many of them you'll see with these large twigs behind. 
as just the start beautiful. because Look everyone's that. using them all through the year absolutely brilliant and this is the key thing it's giving you all those little elements i mean i could bring in so many different cards you will see them appearing whether it's a tag like so or whether it's a case that you're filling out a design with regards to here i mean look at that gorgeous in the pink i have to say yeah, just works I do like that. and what i did for the waterfall card is i made a card with those poinsettias and those twigs in every one of Absolutely the eight colours. Absolutely beautiful. And they just cut beautifully and they work so, so well. They certainly do. Now, if you are looking for a poinsettia dye for this Christmas, then this is certainly the one for you. Absolutely beautiful. Whether you're making little tags or whether you're making large pieces to go on your, um, it might be your table, it might be to go on your Christmas crackers, they are absolutely beautiful and you're getting 20 dyes. Freedom members, you've got a £14 saving. It's a very affordable way for you to get hold of those and they are beautiful, but you need to be quick. You need to get them as quickly as you possibly can. It's pretty much the case with everything during this hour. So anything in your basket, make sure you're checking your basket it's out now Christmas time this is something that we've been talking about isn't it and this is a lovely set um, that uh, you definitely want to add in because this one is literally time for Christmas or time for any time of the year I love this one brilliant we saw John working with it earlier on fabulous as a New Year's card I love the and I do this very traditionally um, when we have a new baby in the family if you're sending like a congratulations card you could actually set the time to the time that the child is born because you've got separate hands with this one so please don't think it's just for New Year it's for any time you'll like. So making time maybe with this one. 15 99 if you want in this one. 13 dies. Brilliant value. But half of the stock has gone, or approaching half the stock, should I say. Um, makes a fabulous um, tenfold card. Love it. Now, this is a nice one. Now, the Falling Angels, or Calling Angels, but they were falling when I was holding them upside down, <laughs> to be honest. They were gripping on for, the, for dear, sheer life. Now, 12 dies with this. And this is a really useful set because you've got your embellishments, which obviously can be your foreground, but you've got your series of frames with these, your innies and your outies. You're going to make some beautiful cards with these. Um, Fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Such an affordable price. Seven two nine three six zero. Now another one that you might want to add into your basket. Since we're shopping and we're shopping wisely, definitely make sure you're adding in this frame. And this is a lovely one. You've got your corners. Now the corners with this one, they kind of um, sit to almost like a flat style. We've obviously been talking lots of dimension with regards to the point setters coming out from the page. So this is kind of a nice way for you to frame those flowers. Works naturally together because of course it's poinsettia so 13.99 if you want in that one um and that one i'm getting it's kind of like almost like a picture corner if you want to do this john oh are I'm you using okay. the next demo to make Perfect. a really quick card using it and again making sure we're using less of the waterfall card but getting Makes the maximum sense. impact now if you're wanting that die 880984 um you're saving three pounds on that one giving you a price of just 13 pounds and 99 pence okay so let's see it in action right so this is what i call a bin man card a bin Oh, I've done this for years. I say that you make three types of card at Christmas. Okay. One that you spend two or three hours on each card. Okay. Close family and friends, your mantelpiece pleasers. Yes. Then you do your ones you spend half an hour to an hour on each card. Okay. Your close friends and people right. you really like. Then you have the cards that you have to make. And I always say this is a Yorkshire thing of, you know, I remember my mum, we always had to tip the bin man at Christmas. Oh, yes, you and do. Yeah. Otherwise your rubbish would be strewn down your path <laughs> for the first three months of the year. And and it's the one you pop to the neighbour. Yeah. It's the one that, like, um, you know, I, I say this on every show and I get shot. Or, or but, it's you dug know. across the road who takes the bins in on a Thursday yeah. for us. Years ago, my partner came home from work and said, um, oh, I need 20 handmade cards because everyone knows I make them and what I did. Mm -hmm. um, I, um, for work, I went, okay, no worries, when do you want them? He went, tomorrow. People don't realise sometimes. And it was 8 o'clock at night. Oh, okay. And, you know, but it's those cards you send to people at work. Yeah. yeah? So all I've done is take a piece of normal craft card. Mm -hmm. I think this is a craft two linen one. Lovely. And this works really well because this is A4. Okay. Folded in half to five and three quarters and trimmed yeah. down to make a, a, my own five and a half inch card blank. Yeah? And what I've done is this die cuts in, doesn't cut out. Mm -hmm. So it cuts out the centre but doesn't cut in. So all I have to do is put it down and run that through as normal. Oh, as easy as that. That's it. Simple as that. You can make really complex cards with it. If I can borrow that one in front of you... This one? There. Yeah. I would never think that that is the same die oh, wow, so as I'm pretty. using now. So that's your mantelpiece pleaser yes. with this card. Yeah. But can you imagine if I'd used um, sort of red waterfall behind oh, that as wow, well? Oh, wow, yeah. It'd be gorgeous. Sure this is your simple card with the same die. And that's it just rotated twice and it was oh, designed I see. to fit. Yes. Yeah. Clever. So that is the die once. Yeah. And then Ventures twice. Rotated around. Clever yeah. idea, yeah. To give you that. So we'll just check this one. So it all 
also as well, I know that uh, um, when people are on the run-up to Christmas, sometimes they sell packs of cards as well, like we saw earlier on in that little, yeah. that little folder. This is perfect So this would be a nice yeah. one to do. Yeah, so yeah. because it's come this way, it's skipped a couple of panels. Okay. Yeah? So all you do if it does that is basically rotate it round okay. yeah, and fold the back side over. Right. This has a two-fold effect. It'll help by shimming. Yeah. It means that your die's going through the right way. Mm -hmm. It means you don't have to attach a different piece on. Yes. And it will give you an impression of the die on the back. Oh. Which always looks really pretty. That's a nice little kind yeah. of embossed frame, yeah. It, 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 yeah. Yeah, it really does make a difference. We sometimes so forget about the back of our cards, don't we? And people do sometimes look at the back, don't they? Yeah. Well, it, you, yeah. you'll see it on the back because I'm going to cover the front inside back. Okay. But can you see there? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. I've got a beautiful imprint. Yes. Yeah. So, we'll take this one out. And, of course, that is on the back. Okay. Because that's where you would write on this one. Oh, I see, right. Because you're going to see through it. Yes, so of course you would, So there's your frame yeah. created. So you could take your Mica Magic and just go over that to make yeah. it pull You've out. Yeah, you've got your recess there, yeah. So Hello. just give it a flick. I wonder if I'll get those little and pieces And apologise to Maddie. <laughs> now, this was based on exactly the same poinsettia. Because I drew it, it's exactly the same poinsettia mm -hmm. as I had in the pinstripe and the leaves. It's as if you've made a collection, yeah? Wonderful. So I'm going to pull one in that I've already pricked the little bits out of, um, because I can, and because it's easier. But you see there how beautiful that looks. That is gorgeous. On its own. So you could just take a piece of the gold waterfall in again. Mm -hmm. This, instead of cutting it down to five and a half, I've cut this to five inches. Okay. So I get more out of it. So mm -hmm. there... Oh, isn't that lovely? But those aren't standing out. So the other die in the set is a plain die. Right. Which cuts out a backer just for the oh, flowers. Oh, I see. Okay. So you've only got one. Right. Because it would cost you more if there were two. Yeah. So you either cut it twice or cut two pieces of card at once because it's a simple shape. Lovely. So I'm just going to cut one. I've I've already got one i just found some cut. beautiful finished samples. I don't know how I've missed these earlier on, but these are gorgeous. Um, lovely frame, as you've seen, as John's been cutting it out. But how dramatic does this look? Can you imagine using this with your one-day special card stock and some of that metallic that we've got as well? And it's utilising just small areas, because don't forget, the bit that John's doing now is just utilising that little die that kind of goes underneath. We often talk about an overlay die, but it's almost like an underlay die, isn't it, this, on this occasion? So again, a little bit of that glitter to, um, showing through. Um, again, utilising it alongside the poinsettia that we looked at earlier on. Again, creating that framework. I love that idea. Isn't that beautiful there? Um, and again, that poinsettia sitting bang in the centre there. Little ideas like this. Brilliant. Where you kind of got an area where you're needing maybe an open area. This is such a clever idea. Christmas. Oh, did you have roast parsnip soup with vegetable crisp? Oh, that sounds posh. Come round to yours for Christmas. I like the idea of that one. But again, utilising it alongside side other things that you've got as well do not miss out on this one if you've gone for anything that's got poinsettias on it you need to be adding this one into your basket and that's a similar sort of idea as john's just shown us how you can utilize it on both corners there as well um so we're 13 nine times very affordable die that right. one for what you can do with it, it is it's it, it's amazing what you can do with this one it's one of my absolute favorites so i put the gold in and i put one of my red on so here we go just pop it out but again you're not using anything but even that as a corner yes yes yeah? All I'm going to do is, you can spray glue, but if you spray glue, you're going to make the whole card sticky. Yes. So yeah. I'm using my glue glaze because I need it to be nice and strongly stuck. And this is a flat, dry glue that won't mark the card at all. And it's easy to do this way. So put a little bit on. Do it from behind. So you'll see that fits exactly. And only fills where there's flowers. It doesn't fill any of these little bits. So you can put a third colour behind it Beautiful. if you wanted to. Yeah. But when I close that, can you see there? Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. Now, I've used, I reckon I can get six of those out of two and a half sheets of the waterfall that is glitter good card. Going. If I stand it up, you'll be able to see how it will sit on someone's mantelpiece. That looks beautiful. Which to me is even more important. It's almost like a gold see, line on my curtain coming it down. Is. <laughs> but you could change the colour or anything, but again, don't worry about that glue, it will dry completely clear and flat. Beautiful. But there you've got a card made in less than 10 minutes 
really it's effective. Like an and sell as many one. as you want. Love it. John, thank you so much. Certainly need to be adding that dye in, don't you? $13.99. Um, add it in alongside your one-day special, but don't forget about your happy hour deal as well. We've got a little over three minutes left in this show, um, and it's also a case you've got the, the break, so you've got, probably got about five minutes or so to take advantage of your happy hour deal. Don't forget we'll be back with a brand new one or when we get to four o'clock, which is your final court with your one-day special. Now, the four colours that you're looking at there, you can't get hold of those by themselves. You can also get those gorgeous colours there, all included within that set. £19.98 is the prize with regards to this one, so make sure you take right. advantage I'm, I'm really while you sorry, Hayley. I'm just going to carry on talking and then John can't butt in because uh, if you, you're in... <laughs> you may know or you may not that it is Hayley's birthday today, you so this is for me. Happy birthday, Hayley. Thank you so much, I wish darling. I could give you the hog, I really do. Elbows you and all that. Yes. Happy birthday. Thank well you. deserved. Oh, thank you. And I must say a massive thank you to Paula and Yanis as well, because they've rallied together so as I, I can finish a little earlier today, which has been very kind of you, because I'm um, going out for dinner tonight, so I'm being treated. So, so, and I need plenty of time to get ready, to be fair. Um, <laughs> but thank you. Thank, thank you, you so That's much. Um, but uh, thank you to the guys as well. Thank you, Charlotte. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this aside... It's a one-day special show. You need to be making sure you take advantage of this deal. It's an absolutely beautiful collection. That gorgeous waterfall glitter card, you could miss out on this one if you're not careful. And I would hate for anybody to miss out. I just wish you could stand where I am and see these fabulous finished samples because you realise you do need it in your life, so much so. And that's why I'm urging you to consider going for a second set if you've already got a set of these. Absolutely beautiful throughout. Now, of course, John's going to be back with you at um, 4 o'clock. So if there's any stock left, it will be available then and um, there'll be a new happy hour for you to attempt yourself with I mean let's face it it's, get, it's a given as you're going to want it and you still have the opportunity to get hold of the current happy hour right the way through to the top of the next hour so I'm going to head off out go and get my lippy on and have a lovely evening so thank you John thank you happy always birthday. a pleasure thank you darling um, so stay tuned lots more coming up after the break loads more to happen here I can't think what but I'll tell you in a minute anyway I'll see you later bye Bless him. Um, craft embellishments coming up. Oh, there's some lovely things on that show. Then the lovely Katrina's back with her Christmas embroidery. And then festive stamping with frogs. That's a talent. <laughs> Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy and pergamano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team. Now you can continue watching the craft store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV. It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type thecraftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, 
purchase and catch up with your favourite TV shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello there and welcome back. They say the first thing to go is you memory, isn't it, as you're getting older. So if you did tune in for the one day special um, show a few moments ago, um, you'll realise I thought I was going home and I'd completely forgotten. But how could I forget about an hour like this? Because it is crammed full of some amazing bargains. So I'm kind of glad to be able to share it with you. We're talking about embellishments, we're talking about Christmas embellishments, and we're talking about phenomenal prices. Now I would urge you to jump ahead and have a little look because I've got a feeling we're going to have a busy hour and on the website you're going to find everything that we've got to offer you so you've got all sorts and you've got all sorts of different color schemes which is nice some very traditional reds and greens with these we've got a lot of craft card elements coming up beautiful things that you're going to be able to use around your home as well those wall hangings are beautiful absolutely gorgeous but lots of kind of things that you're going to use alongside many of the um, things that you've got now i know we were busy in the last hour with regards to the one day special these would work beautifully alongside those because obviously you've been talking about gorgeous cards stock with the one day special but you won't necessarily have a die cutting machine allowing you to create your own embellishments it all comes with time doesn't it so before we get die cutting what we do is we create things using things that we've already bought and of course it can be a costly affair that's why hours like this are worth it because they're giving you the opportunity to get some amazing embellishments that you can use without the need for a die cutting machine so let's kick things off we're looking at a tenner less than a tenner for this first item now this is beautiful you've got two Two different options with regards to these so the top one that we've got is your gorgeous flowers you can see these have been cut out of kind of like a hessian finish with regards to these very useful um, neutral tones with these so perfect to use with your craft card um, also nice if you wanting to add color to them as well because it's a nice base to get started now with these you are getting a hundred pieces in total they're beautiful now I don't know if you can see from the packaging there but when they actually come to you they've actually got little tiny pearls sitting in the center there as well so very, very pretty. Beauty of these is they've kind of got like, a, well, it feels like there's an adhesive on the back of them, but it's not sticky. It's kind of like supporting them because what happens with Hesse and it can fray somewhat. So that's why you've got the backing on there to keep it all together. But you could actually use these and stitch them in place if you wanted to. It doesn't have to be in your cards and your, your paper craft and you can use them in a whole host of ways. So if you're wanting these, 462002, those are your flowers. But you've got another option. And these ones, your bows. Oh, say bows, but I'm looking at butterflies. What do we reckon? Is it bows? Is it a butterfly? butterfly? Well, tell you what. Are you getting two packs? And are you getting four packs? So you're getting two packs of bows and two packs of butterflies. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they could. Uh, they're, those are butterflies, aren't they? But they do look a little like those. Either way, you're getting brilliant value for money. And again, you've got your two colour tones with those. Your natural tones, as you can see, they're absolutely beautiful. And again, less than a tenner. So take advantage of them while you have the opportunity. 462002. Now, tartan bows. I love a tartan bow at Christmas time. Um, I um, have often done decorations where I've added ribbons, and to actually sit and tie all those bows and get them to all uniform is quite a skill to do. To be honest, I think I got bored after about 10 of them. So with these, what you've got is, you've got 30 of these pieces, and they are beautiful. Perfectly tied together, as you can see there. But the beauty is they actually come with a little bit of double-sided foam on the back. So if you wanted to make kind of fancy little tags to go on your gifts, maybe use a little bit of uh, baker's twine or maybe a little um, bit of your, your brown paper string, you know, the kind of things that you use. Cinnamon sticks as well, they always look really nice when you kind of go for that rustic look. So this is a nice way for you to perhaps do fancy packaging with your brown paper, taking attention to the detail of your embellishments. That's the thing, I think, with these. And at £9.99, for 30 of those that is really good value they come in little packs of six as you can see there and you're getting all of those on that item number so six three seven at three one eight if you fancy those now what about them um, adding kind of paper bows to things well these ones are metallic and you've got a mixture of glitter tones you've got some pearlescent tones with these as well um, and they are beautiful now are we getting all the colors of these oh is it choices right 
Okie dokie, so we'll take you through these. So we're going to kick things off with the silver tone that we've got at the top here. Um, now these ones, I mean these, you could actually glue these onto little gl um, grips and things like that if you wanted to. Again, you've got your foam on the back there. Again, they're going to make fabulous little embellishments for tags. And you've got choices with regards to these. So we're looking at your silver tone to start with. So you've got your silver and white. 9.99 brilliant price normally 14.99 for these um and you're getting is you getting four packs of these there's a lot in there so you're getting 40 in total of these so i've got oh no i've got an extra pack under there there you go so it's eight in each one there you go i was trying to do the maths and i couldn't figure it out um but then you've got your other option which is your red so very traditional with regards to these so you're going to get five packs and in each one of these you've got eight so you have got repeats of these so if you fancy these ones, then the details are there on your screen. I'd be tempted to go for both sets, to be honest, because it's the same item number, so it's no additional post and packing. So uh, you're still getting them uh, um, much below the original price. Now, silver and white proven to be very popular. Um, neutral tones, potentially, that's what it is. But um, that, that nice crispness, I think that's the nice um, thing about this. Now, the green. Now, these are nice. Now, it's a different item number with regards to these ones. Now, your green, um, you've kind of got like an iridescent essence with the green on these you've got your foil as you can see the metallic look with these but when you're looking at these ones i'm going to take it off there because i think they're all going to fall off if i'm not careful can you see you've almost got like a bluey hue with these as well so really effective again you've got your double-sided foam on the back there so perfect when you're going to be popping those down in place on whatever it is that you you place them on with it little gift box i mean the little ring box with that on top oh that's gonna look beautiful isn't it or a pair of earrings or something like that in the little box um 9.99 brilliant value again you're gonna get five packs of eight in there so if you are wanting your green then uh, there take advantage of those eight one two one two five that's the all-important item number for that one. Now, pearl embellishments. Oh, these are pretty. Now, these are actually on ribbon to start with. So, um, you can use them just as they are. You can use um, a little bit of double-sided tape potentially with these. Now, you're actually getting 18 metres in total. So, they come to you um, carded, as you can see there. And you've kind of got the, the pieces uh, that are on there. And they, they are glued in place. But you could, if you wanted to, separate them too. Okay. So you're going to get three of the white, three of the cream. But they've got like a lovely, and that's kind of relating to the ribbon colour. But what you'll notice is it's got a very much kind of vintage look to them. See, I'd be tempted to take those all off the ribbon, maybe put little earring backs on there. You can make loads of kind of little pairs of earrings, couldn't use jewellery. Or put brooch backs on them and things like that. Again, get the um, hair clips out, hair slides. Use them as embellishments. Now we've got on the screen that it's a seven day saver. I don't, is it a seven? Oh, it's not. Well, we're sorting it out. Okay, okay, that's good. I was going to say, I didn't think it was. Um, I, I'd had a little look at them on Sunday morning. And he's like, oh, and I thought, I don't remember seeing those. Um, but, but what you have got is a lovely deal that you can take advantage of up until the top of the next hour. So you are going to get all of those. Um, as I say, you your cream ribbon and your white ribbon. It's tr quite tricky to actually see on there, but you are going to get a mixture of the two. The actual embellishments themselves, I think, are saying the same throughout. The white ones may be slightly brighter white, um, but um, either way, they are going to be brilliant so we're eight two seven four seven three if you want them so this next one these are brilliant christmas presents as buttons how fabulous is this these are so cute. Now, you could be using these just in the centre of a card. I mean, 60 of these. Imagine making a little tag and popping that on there adorable they are usable buttons though so if you did want to stitch them onto a jacket or something like that then you could do imagine just a plain white shirt rather than having like your, your christmas earrings you could be actually changing the buttons on your shirt or your blouse couldn't you for work at christmas 9.99 you're getting 60 of these now you've got kind of a variety so you've got things like your little presents as you can see there that red and the green there you've got little embellishments like little candy canes these are so cute you're getting 60 pieces in total. You've actually got different sizes of the candy canes as well. So if you're wanting to build up something um, with a bit of perspective, you could do. They're very, very effective. Absolutely amazing, as you can see there. I love that with that little kind of candy swirl that you've got going on there. Little holes in there. So again, if you want to make jewellery with these, you could do. So you've got your red and your green going throughout that particular set. Now you've got 60 elements in there. Again, less than a tanner. 
So affordable. So affordable. That's the beauty of um, hours like this. And I do urge you to jump ahead and have a little look. We've got very much a red and green kind of theme going on. Lots of the elements we've looked at already would work beautifully alongside these. So um, you could be adding several things in. And just because it's a happy hour and just because we're talking a tenner, you can still take advantage of Flex Travaganza with any of these prices. So if you are shopping on a budget and you want to spread the cost over two pounds, you can do. So for any of these items where you're looking at like 9.99, you're only looking at a fiver for your first payment today in a fiver in a month's time but obviously do the maths and uh, do your shopping um, at those brilliant prices that we've got now this is a nice little set so these ones are your festive christmas trees so what you've got in here is you've got 30 pieces in total and they're these fabulous little kind of three-dimensional um stickers so they're all printed already They've all got their kind of stickiness on the back, so you just remove your protective layer and you can pop them onto your tags or onto your cards and things like that. Nice one if you're crafting with the kids. Now you've got 30 in here, so I don't know, classes at school, are there around 30 pupils? I don't know, really. Um, it's a long time since I've done that kind of thing. Um, but you've got your foam pads on the back there, so if you are making things, or maybe making up little craft kits, I mean, what you could do quite easily is take these items Put them into little bundles, little packs, and um, perhaps put them with some card bases. Maybe you've got um, your little tiny square cards and envelopes. Put them in packs of ten. Put loads of different embellishments in. So you actually got little craft kits that people can make their own cards from with the bits that you're supplying them. Might be worth doing. Seven eight six seven five two. Brilliant value. Absolutely gorgeous. Love them. Now, the next set, we've got a lovely bright white look with this one. And we've got very much a dotty theme going on with this. Really cute. These are really thick embellishments. Now, with regards to these, obviously you've got some Christmas themed ones. You'll see your little Christmas tree in there. But you've got things like stars in here, which are cute. All year round you could be using those. You've got the little hearts as well. And you've got 35 pieces in total. My goodness, you're getting a lot. Just $9.99 for all of these. You've got everything. You've got angels in here. You've got kind of your little, well, we're saying reindeers, but I, I, I don't know my thing. Is, is that more of a moose? It's more of a moose. He's got a moose kind of nose, hasn't he? The little angels playing their little trumpets. Adorable. Beautiful. So there you go. If you fancy getting hold of these, again, less than a tenner. We've got some very affordable prices during this hour. Um, 641 or 455, just 9 99 You're saving £6 on every set of those that you're going for. You're actually going to get 35 of those embellishments over three packs. So if you want to bulk up on them, you can do. Now. Oh, these are so good. Oh, look. Oh, my God. Run, 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 run. Sweet! I love the way they've got their little red jackets on and their little Santa belts and their little hats. Oh, they're actually different. Some go to the... Oh, that's nice because you can kind of have two together if you want to. So they're facing each other. That one's got a little candy cane and a little stripy sweater. Beautiful. Oh, this one's got himself all tangled up in the Christmas tree lights. That will be a familiar tale for many people, I am sure. Now, you can see they're multi-layered. So, again, quality, depth. You've got your dimension with these, giving them some really good looks. You've also got some additional bits and pieces. So, if you do want to add additional um, embellishments, you can. Things like your little holly um, elements there. Now, you've got 35 pieces in total for a tenner. 9 99 Again, multiple packs with these ones. And, again, perfect if you're crafting with the kids. So, you've got £3 saving on these ones. If you're wanting them, then the details are there on your screen. 063603. Now, these are going to be popular, so I will warn you. If you're wanting these, get involved early because we're looking at foam and it's sticky foam. And what you've got here is got these fabulous little snowflakes and they've actually got like a glittery look to them as well. So it's quite a subtle glitter, but you have got that little bit of shimmer. Beauty is it means you can stick them in place straight away. And you are getting 225 of these. Now, because they're foam, they're lightweight, which means that you're not adding bulk to any of your projects that you are creating. Makes it a very, very easy option, especially if you're making cards that you need to be posting. Works out at just four pence per element. Now, obviously, we've been talking um, with the One Day Special Shows. We've been showing you some fabulous dies that you can cut out your own embellishments with. But we don't all start off with a die cutting machine. You might be a soft crafter 
You might not have a die cutting machine, you might be more into your sewing, your quilting, your dressmaking, but you might like to make Christmas cards. And this is why a show like this is so perfect because you've got those elements that mean that you can create your cards without having to buy a die cutting machine. Um, now these, you are loving these ones, 10% of the stock has gone. You're getting a lot of these. So this is where you, perfect if you're wanting to do multiples of a particular design. So if you're making designs, you kind of batch card making with this one. This is a definite one to go for because you can make lots of repeats. Again, if you're making packs of cards maybe might be those you making little cards again the kids making cards for their teachers making cards for their friends having the multiples there means it gives you the scope to create so much more um at four nine eight three four six if you are wanting these do pop them into your basket but we're going to add in a little bit of color and that gorgeous gold top. now this is lovely because this is almost like a champagne style gold absolutely beautiful now of course Stars, you're not just going to keep these at Christmas, are you? You use them all, right? all year round. It could be given out. You could actually use them as reward stars, couldn't you? If you've got a little reward chart. So somebody who's tidied up or somebody who's um, finished their dinner or whatever you want to um, pass on that award. It could be somebody um, completing uh, their homework on time, as boring as that. Or it could be for the best floor manager of the hour. <laughs> <laughs> Could be our Ben. He's the best. He's, he's the best. He's fabulous. Um, so uh, yeah, three hundred of these. My goodness, three hundred. And the beauty is, they're actually got the self adhesive on the back there. So all you need to do is peel off that backing, stick them in place, and away you go. And again, they are glitter foam, so they're lightweight, so they're not going to add a lot of bulk. Maybe you're into journaling. Stickers for your journaling, that can be quite an expensive um, way to kind of add your embellishment. And these are quite substantial stars. So maybe you've got that sense of achievement and you kind of want to give yourself a pat on the back. I saw something in a, a journal, uh, well, actually, no, it was a planner, and it was um, a little uh, kind of page that somebody had put in. I thought it was such a clever idea. It, was called, it said, well done me. And it was a case at the end of the week, they said well done to themselves for achieving certain things. So little goals that they'd set out. Even if it was something as, as boring as sorting out your sock drawer or something like that or getting your iron end done. I ironed three dresses last night and it's taken me three months to get to these three dresses. And every time I wanted to wear them, I was like, oh, we'll iron and we'll iron. So I thought I'm going to iron all three of them at the same time and then I can use them um, and wear them. So it's kind of sometimes giving yourself that little bit of oomph, isn't it, to get something done. And that's where those stars could be utilised. 342-451. Brilliant value for money. Now, we're moving on to more foam, but this time we're looking at Christmas trees. Now, would it be too much to put a Christmas tree that size underneath the star like that? <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit overkill. But it would work. It's probably a gravity-defying Christmas tree, but, uh, but there we go. But you're getting these again now with these. Now, we've got two different colours, so it may be... Oh, I don't know, actually. Oh, I don't know. I've got skinny trees and I've got kind of... So those two, they're the same colour, but different stars of trees. I always see it's saying assorted. So the ones that we've got, are the ones in the packaging the same colour? Oh, so the reason being is when I'm looking at them from the edge and from the edge, they look like a lighter tone. Oh, it comes with age, don't worry. <laughs> and 9 you're going to get all of these. Um, again, 300 pieces. <gasps> 446483, brilliant value for money at 9.99. And again, any of these items that we're talking about, whether it's 9.99 or more, then you can spread that cost over two payments. Some very affordable prices during this hour. Now, what have we got next? Oh, the trees. These are cute. They've got a very contemporary look to them, actually. Oh, you could. Kirsty, so right, you could put little earring hooks on those, couldn't you, straight away? You could weave your ribbon through those, maybe if you wanted to use them almost like little bookmarks or kind of markers in your journals. Now, you're actually getting 21 of these. If I knew how the song goes, I'd start rapping, but yeah, I can't, so I'm not going to embarrass myself or my family um, by doing so. But £9.99. 
21 pieces to go. That's as close as I'm going to go with it. Um, 740814. Um, you've got your different tones with these as well. But these are beautiful because what you could actually do is dip them into a little bit of glitter if you wanted to as well. So uh, 740814. Um, again, many of these are in packets. So if you're not wanting to use them straight away, if you do want to wait until closer to Christmas, then obviously they're all self-contained. You can quite easily just pack these away and then bring them out close to the time after your holidays, September, October, whenever you choose to get started. But at least you know you've got them. That's the key thing. Now, these are beautiful. Now, I know we've had elements in the past, and we will have dyes, I am sure, that will allow us to create beautiful pieces like these. These gorgeous trees. But do you know what? I'm probably going to get shot down in flames now. I can't be bothered with the little tiny pieces sometimes when your die cuts in. But with this, look at that. Isn't that a lovely look? Now, it's actually made up. It's actually a flat piece. But it gives the illusion that it's been made up of lots of little tiny leaves coming together. Absolutely beautiful. A gorgeous little bow on there. I wouldn't even attempt to try a bow that size. But they're beautiful. Now, you're going to get 15 pieces of these. So again, 9.99. They come in uh, three packs of five, as you can see. Um, a little bit of foam tape on the back there as well, so you don't even have to find that. So again, it's just an easy way for you to be making quick and easy cards, crafting with the kids. You don't want to get all the glue out. You don't want to get the mess. This is a lovely, clean way for you to create some fabulous things. So 631-630 if you're wanting to get hold of those. Would it be too cheesy for me to say, oh, the bells? That's what we've got at the bells. But these are proper little bells. Proper little dingle dangle bells. Now, I don't know whether it, it, it has got a little clapper. I think it's a clapper, isn't it, that you have inside of a bell? Was it a hammer? Clapper or a hammer? And they will, they will make the noise, but not when you, you're holding them. So you need to kind of dingle dangle them a bit, and they will, they will make that little jingle jangle noise. So, yeah, it, it doesn't work when you're holding them like that. But 9 99 60 <gasps> Oh my goodness! Sixty. I haven't got a little thread or anything. Come on here. Um, so yeah, um, I will show you these. They, they will make that little kind of noise, um, and we'll see if we can find some. So next time that we come round, I'll, I'll show you. You can kind of hear the, the metal on metal, but they will jingle jangle. That is a brilliant price. Sixty of those. You're gonna get a mixture of gold and silver. So perfect for, for any of you, your different projects you're working with. They're nice to team up with other things as well. So if you want to use something like your little wreaths and put a couple of little bells in there, you could do. Uh, but they will make the noise. Now, of course, you can use them, obviously, with them at your Christmas cards, which is kind of what we're chatting about during this hour. But you could use them in your soft crafts as well. So think about additional things that you're making, maybe little soft toys for Christmas time. Um, then by actually using these, you can put them on little... We've got some fabulous ribbon coming up. You can stitch them onto little ribbon that could be a collar to go around the neck of something as well. Um, so um, there's absolutely loads you could be doing with regards to, to these. Now, we've got some, kind of got like a paper ribbon. Oops. Oh, dear, I need to knock everything over then. I've got some here. Now, let's have a little look. If I twist the end round, and I've got a little blue, with a little bit of luck, with the crafty god shining down on me. This is almost like a little, oh, it's like a little cat bell. There you go. Now you're going to get 60 of those. So if you wanted to get hold, we've got people giving you all sorts of threads and <laughs> get an abundance of threads. Should we see if it sounds differently if I put it on a thinner thread? Too bit, bit of market research. We might do that next time round. Uh, 449525. You're going to get 60 of those for just £9.99. And £9 now, have you seen these wall hangings behind me? These are lovely. And this, if you're into a contemporary Christmas, I know a lot of people um, like a kind of minimalistic look around their home, um, almost like a kind of um, Nordic look, then this is the perfect way. It also makes a very good exercise. It's probably brilliant if you wanted to exercise a kitten or something like that, because they could climb up it. It's good, isn't it? Um, now, what you've actually got here is you've got, obviously, your pieces um, of your birch in your different sizes, going from your smallest right the way through to your largest here. So they make a 
brilliant um, wall hanging, obviously Christmas themed. It's kind of like the raw essence of it. So if you wanted to, you could add your embellishments, you could add your ribbons to these if you wanted to. Um, decorate them up so they're going to work beautifully within your home. Now, what you've actually got is a £42 saving with these. So um, at £32.97, you're going to get all three of these. So it's working out at just a little over a tenner per piece. Again, it's something that you might want to embellish, something that you could be selling if you're wanting to. I love the way that we've kind of got a gingerbread. <laughs> so just like peering through, it's like, hello. <laughs> We should have attached one. £10.99 um, for each one of those, but it's a happy hour, so you've only got 35 and a half minutes to take advantage of the price there. 188133. We've got so many different embellishments that you could use to actually adorn these as well, so this is something that you might want to consider um, getting hold of. So if you do, then please get them into your basket. More importantly, get your baskets checked out. Now, these are lovely. The little fabric pieces. Now they've been printed on, so you kind of got that kind of canvas look to these. You could stitch them if you wanted to, because they are kind of like a fabric with a backing on the. Um, I don't think it's a heat fusible backing, but you have got your little foam tape on the back there. So if you do want to use them on your card, you can do. And if you wanted to, you could stitch them in place. How you get on with something like a sewing machine, I don't know, because it has kind of got like a, a backing. Might need to make sure that you've got the right needle, um, a larger needle, like a denim needle or a leather needle, maybe. Um, but they're just so cute. And the beauty is you've got all sorts of different embellishments, or phrases, should I say, on these. You're getting 40 pieces. Some of them are kind of tapered off at the edge, like your little banners. You've got love, you've got Merry Christmas, you've got peace, Noel as well. All of these. And these are lovely. I mean, these would be fabulous alongside those tartan, um, the tartan bows. In fact, have a look at these. I'm going to go and do a bit of personal shopping. These are fabulous. You're going to get um, 40 pieces of these. So if you're wanting to get hold of these, I would certainly consider some of the other bits and pieces that we've got. Because when you start teaming them up together, so um, can, I just, can I just tempt you? There you go. So you can have that. Obviously, you do it so you can see the sentiment a little better. But if you pop that on there... That could go on a little tag, couldn't it, or something like that. And it's got that look of luxury about it. So, yeah, if you fancy getting hold of these, do consider some of the other things that we've got on the show because they all work really well together. So, if you want these, three pounds saving, just 9.99095132. Christmas pudding. Ooh. Brandy sauce, custard, bit of ice cream. <sighs> See, I like my Christmas pudding at quite a distance after my Christmas dinner because usually I just can't fit anything else in, to be honest. So I often have it at tea time. Oh, it's not, it's not everybody's thing, is it, Christmas pudding? I like also the kind of variations of Christmas pudding, like Christmas pudding ice cream and mince pie ice cream and Christmas pudding gin I was introduced to at Christmas last year, which figgy pudding, figgy pudding gin. It's very nice. Anyway, we digress. Now, these are lovely little embellishments. So have a look at these. You're getting 25 of these. And the beauty is they've kind of got that crafty card look to them. Again, that works well with your, your kind of traditional golds and greens. Look at the little Christmas puddings. How adorable are these? Now, you're actually getting 25 pieces of these. Um, they come pre-packed, so again... You haven't got to use them straight away. They are safe and secure within there, so just don't open them up if you're not ready to use them. You know, keep them all in there with their little backings on there, and then when you are ready, you know that you've got them there. So if you wanted to make your cards with a little bit of depth and dimension but don't own a die cutting machine yet, then there you go. You've got all the embellishments that will help you on your way. 795976 if you're wanting to get hold of those. Lovely. There we go. But Santa, Santa is here, and these are cute. Now, these I am little kind of, well they're like wooden embellishments these, and you've got a variety of little Santas they are so cute, now you're going to get a variety of different styles and designs with these, and what you will find with each of these is they have actually got like a little foam pad on the back, so you can peel that off and pop it onto your card if you want to, you could also put them on little things like fridge magnets if you want to brooch backs as well you could almost be making a Christmas card with a little gift on there, couldn't you? For 9 99 you're gonna get 30 of those so these are something that uh, you can certainly do something a little bit different or put them on crackers and little tiny gifts and all sorts so 861103 brilliant value as is the place with all of the things that we've been bringing to you as well so if you fancy those then pop them into your basket now you might fancy adding this in alongside it so if you like the embellishments up until this point oh my goodness wow we've got a mega bundle a hundred packs, not a hundred items, 
100 packs. Don't forget some of those um, packs that we've been looking at. I've got, I don't know, it could be um, eight, it could be 20, and there's all sorts in there. Now, contents will vary. I love that. Contents will. They will do something. What are they going to do? They're going to jump through hoops. <laughs> they will vary. But they've, you've seen all the different items that um, could be in that bumper bundle. So you're going to get 100 packs of those. There is a lot in there. And when you consider some of the prices that we've been looking at, some of those, which have been brilliant prices, but you're getting a lot for your tender, you are saving £30 on this one. So uh, two flexi buys are £32.50 if you fancy getting hold of those. So 535-285, do pop those into your basket. Now, satin ribbon. Again, this can be something that it kind of finishes off a project, doesn't it? Talking about things like cinnamon sticks, we're using them as embellishments on your gifts. Well, having classy ribbon alongside it. Now, this is brilliant. You're getting four metres on each one of these um, spools. And you're getting five colours. So that is a lot of ribbon. Now, it's um, 10 mil, so it's a centimetre wide. Um, and it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, can I just ask, is it four metres per re per pack or is it per colour within there? Because because if it's four metres, then how is it divided over five? That's all I'm thinking. So is it four metres in total or four metres... I've done it. I've done it. Well, that's a metre, isn't it? So, yeah, it's four metres of each one, isn't it? Sorry, Ben. Not sorry. So not sorry. Happy birthday. That is definitely... Yeah, happy birthday, me. That is definitely four, more than four metres, isn't it? So, it's, there you go. So, if I fold that in half, this is going by the... I mean, this isn't a scientific measurement. I'll just hasten to add it. It's twisted as well. Um, so um, I think what you're getting with this is you're getting four metres in each one of those colours. Oh, I've got a knot in there as well. Have I done that? So what you've got here is you've got four metres in five different colours to start with. But then you've got repeats of these. So you've got six. It's out. Oh, gosh, we're going to need a calculator for this one. So we're going to have four times five to start with. That's 20, isn't it? No, it's not 20. Yeah, it is 20. <laughs> I'm myself now. Maybe I had to take my shoes and socks off then. So, yeah, that, that is kind of a metre, isn't it? And I've got four repeats there, so that's four of that. So we needed to know, didn't we? So you've got 20 um, metres on each one of these. Then you've got 16 of them. So we're looking at 320 metres. So if we're looking at £34.98p, Kirsty, can you divide that by 320 or whatever the figure was? Because we're talking about pennies per metre with these, aren't we? 10 pence, 10 pence a meter, and this is quality ribbon. Now, obviously, you've got your white in there, which is going to be perfect for any opportunity. You can change the colour of this if you want to. I mean, this is a satin ribbon. It's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. You've also got your fabulous green in there as well, which is almost like a minty green, but you've also got that darker Christmas green and your different tones of your red in there as well. So you can see these are very usable um, ribbons. Perfect if you're going down your Christmas route because, of course, they are the colours of Christmas, aren't they, those? But they are um, a, a, a centimetre wide. Now, if you're using these for your tags, I'm not going to get Kirsty to figure this one out, but, I mean, have a look at that. You're probably using, what, 10 centimetres off that. So you're probably going to get in the region of about 40 of those out of one colour on that. So there's going to be a lot of tags that you can be able to string up using that ribbon. Absolutely beautiful. And the quality is phenomenal. So if you're wanting to get hold of that, as we say, it's um, four metres per colour on that spool. So 20 metres on there. So technically it's 16 by 20 metres, isn't it, I suppose, if you want to split hairs. But there you go. 641220. £34.98 and pence. An abundance. I think that's what you would say with regards to that one. Now, what have we got next? Now, this is a nice bundle. Here you've got all sorts. Now, you're going to be able to make 60 cards here. Now, usually when we're looking at 60 cards, what we're doing is we're looking at the fact that you've got your cards and your envelopes. So that's where that figure comes from. So working on that, if you're looking at about a pound a card, that would be £60 worth. Makes sense certainly does make sense but you've got so much in here so what you've got you've got your envelopes good size envelopes so straight away you're looking at your a5 card bases um, so you're going to get 60 of those 
Now, your card base has come to you. Um, well, is it a card that's folded? Let's have a little look. So you've got a variety of different cards. You've got different embellishments. Oh, that's got like a velvet touch to it. Ooh, that's nice. See those little embellishments that we've got earlier on? They work beautifully with that, wouldn't they? Got a little bit of flittering going on with this as well. So, of course, these ones are definitely Christmas. You've got baubles going on here as well. You have actually got some candy cane stripes with these as well, so you could be using them all year round. 60 cards. Now, this is... Oh, my goodness. I can't believe how much you're getting here. We're making a right mess here. I do apologise. So, you've got um, more of your card stock here. Now, this one hasn't got the kind of the flittering or the glittering on there, but this one has. It works out just 50 pence per element. I found the card bases. Ah, so what you've got is you've got your card bases with these. They're pre-scored. So that's going to be your card base if you're choosing. There you go. So that's your card base. The quality they got with that. That is really good quality with regards to these. You've got your envelopes. So there we go. There's your card base. Then you choose. Then you choose how you're going to adorn it. Are you going to add mats and layers? Because you've got so much with it. In fact, some of these ones, I think, with the foiling can be card bases as well. So, yeah, that's a plain one. Let's just go in here, what we've got in the middle. Let's have a little delve. See, that's a card base as well. See, I'd be cutting that in half and actually using that as a card front. I wouldn't be wasting it on the back. So, potentially, I mean, we're saying 60 cards because of the cards and envelopes, the card bases and the envelopes with these. Whoops, a daisy. Nearly knocked it all then. So that's to start with. But then you've got your embellishments. So here you have got, oh, look at these, foiled embellishments. And these are die cut as well. So you're going to pop these out, pop them in place and make your cards. You've also got your ribbons in here already pre-tied. You've got your gems in there. You've got your sentiments as well. So you've got your toppers in here. You've even got your foam pads. That is a really good buy. That is definitely one to go for. So if you fancy adding that one into your basket, you've got an abundance of cards made there, haven't you? And as I say, if you're fundraising, it could be so affordable for you to be making at least 60 cards, working out, what, 50 pence per card? And that's everything, card and envelope. You've even got your, um, oh dear, I knew I was going to do that. You've even got your phone um, pads there as well. So straight away, if you're thinking about um, crafting with the kids or the kids getting involved making their own Christmas cards, then this is a brilliant bundle. So if you're just getting started with your card making, maybe this is the year that you're thinking, I'm going to make my own Christmas cards, then do take advantage of the deal that we've got on your screen. Of course, because we've got Flextravaganza going on, you can get hold of all of this. You could spread it over two payments. $14.99 will get this on its way to so your second payment in the month's time. But you could be creating your fabulous cards with these in no time at all. Quick cards, that's the thing. Craft clubs, after school clubs for kids as well. Brilliant way of getting hold of them. But you've only got 23 minutes to take advantage of that. 5719008 if you're wanting those. Now, I've got another bundle for you. So with that particular set, it's a big set. You've got 60 cards in there. But if you're wanting a smaller set, then this is a nice one. Similar sort of idea. Um, idea. Now these, you've actually, I've got two options with these. Oh, okay. So you've got your green and your red. Your green and your red, and you've got your red snowflakes. I suppose that'll be that then, won't it? Because you've got your snowflakes on there that are red. You've got your reindeer on there as well. This is brilliant quality. Love these. So you're getting all of these in here. So this one is option one which is your green and red. Again, they've both got green and red in there, to be honest, but we'll have a little look. One set's got pegs in it, one set hasn't, I think. So we've got the peg set. <laughs> Perhaps it's red and green because you've got red and green pegs. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I don't know. But you've got some gorgeous colours in here. Again, you've got kind of paisleys in these. You've got your sentiments with these as well. Absolutely brilliant, as you can see with these. You've got that gorgeous kind of overlay with these. These are really good. This is $14.99 for all of these. My goodness. 
So I'm in the cardstock. Oh, we've got little gingerbread people as well. So this one that we're looking at at the moment is your red and green. Now, we're saying it's making 30 cards. Again, I'm getting we're going by the number of envelopes again. So again, it's the same price that we were looking at a few moments ago, 50 pence per card, isn't it? And that's for your card bases and your envelopes. Adding your own bases, adding your own envelopes, you can make it go much further. Again, you've got your die-cut elements here with your little baubles. Beautiful, as you can see there. Sentiments. You've got all sorts going on with this one. Oh, that's probably me knocking it over, wasn't it? There you go. So you've got all those in there as well. Card bases. Now, we've got card bases. I've just come to those. So let's have a little look at those because these are a similar sort of idea. So you can see there, you've obviously got your, your design on the front there. And this is the beauty of it because you can just literally fold it in half like so. There you go. You've got card base. You've got your envelope. Straight away, all you need to do really is pop the sentiment on there, which is spoilt for choice actually because there were loads on there, weren't they? You could have just easily stuck that on. Again, we've got foam pads with this as well. Yeah, yeah, foam pads in there. Complete. There's a loads in here. Fourteen ninety. Oh my goodness, there is a lot, a lot within there, and brilliant value for money. Again, fundraising. Works at £7.50 if you want to spread the cost over two payments. Now, this is a craft kit that's going to be perfect to pass on to the grandchildren, your nieces, your nephews, craft clubs, after-school clubs. If you're crafting, um, maybe you're just getting into your kind of little um, community crafting groups again. We've obviously had to take a bit of a holiday from them, haven't we, over the, the, the last, um, well, 18 months, I suppose you could say, really, couldn't you? But there you go. These are some brilliant, I mean, it's the quality, look at that, these aren't flimsy. So even if you're going to be paying a, um, a pound a card, I'd really look at this and I'd say it's probably in the region of your 300 GSM, the actual bases and sales. So when you're adding your embellishment, even if you wanted to die cut areas out of these, you could do. They're very substantial cards. And the quality of the envelope as well, because I know it sounds a bit daft, but when you hold an envelope up, you can tell the quality by if you can see the light through it. Because one of my bugbears is when you actually make a card, put it into the envelope and you can kind of see the front of the card before you've even opened it takes away the surprise doesn't it so with this you've got all the elements in there you've got these fabulous little buttons you've got gems in there as well you've got your baker's twine in there that'd be brilliant with your little bells that we were looking now we're getting busier and busier with regards to these any of these deals that we're bringing to you need to take advantage while you've got the chance that is the key thing. Any of these deals, we might not see them again. That is the key thing. It might be while well, stocks last. And if that is the case, you don't want to miss out on these. And this is one of those. So this is your first option. Don't forget, we've got two options on the same item number. So you could go for two repeats. You might want to add them in alongside the 60 we were looking at. So let's have a little closer look at this one. So similar sort of idea. This one, you haven't got your pegs in. You've got um, your kind of your wire, your craft wire with these. And it's almost like a, a little... It's like a little beading that you've got in there, which is kind of cute. Again, this one you've got perhaps a little bit more kind of glittery tones within this one. Absolutely fabulous. Again, flittering in there as well, giving you that gorgeous look. Oh, we've got snowflake. Oh, these are pretty. Again, loads and loads of different colourways. Card bases as well. So again, you've got the school line on these. These ones, you've actually got the colour on the front and the back. So again, brilliant quality card. So that, I mean, that is a card in its own right. The kids could be adding a little embellishment to that little sentiment. You've got die cut pieces with these as well. I'm going to turn on the side here, so I can't quite reach there. So um, again, beautiful card bases throughout here absolutely gorgeous then you've got your die cut embellishment so again these are going to be pieces that you're going to pop out very easily but the kids could be making with these very very easy you've got sentiments there so if you want to stamp your sentiments on the new do. but again 14 pounds and 99 but oh these ones are nice look at those Again, add a little smattering of glitter. You've got your gems in there as well, so you can add your gems to these if you're wanting to. Really good value for a minute. Oh, that's a big embellishment, though, isn't it? All oh, hearts come home for Christmas. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Beautiful. And, of course, with these, I mean, you're looking at huge savings and we're talking about Christmas cards, but there's nothing stopping you making your memory albums with these as well. So maybe you've got your photographs for previous Christmases that you've not dug out of your photo albums or from your shoe boxes under your bed, or maybe they're still on your phone, because we're all a bit guilty of that, aren't we? But if you wanted to get hold of these, this is your other option with regard to it. So we were looking at your red and green, and this one is your red snowflakes. 
So there you go if you're wanting these. 628540, just £14.99. pence. Now, if you want to extend the usability of any of those bundles, it might be worth adding these in alongside. So you've got your Christmas card. So with this one, you've got your A4 cardstock. You're getting 40 of your white. You're getting 20 of your red, 20 of your green, 80 sheets in total for just £16.99. 659151. Really good weight as well um, with that one. So that was 170, did you say, with that one? Oh, 270, 270. It's on your screen. You've only got to read it how it's simples. Um, so, yeah, pop that into your basket. Um, a perfect basis. And nice if you're wanting to use any of those embellishments that we've been chatting about during this hour. And, again, extending the, the packs that we've been looking at as well. Um, so, yeah, if you fancy getting hold of those, please do so as well. We've got some dies on the show as well. Don't forget we're talking happy hour prices for this hour. So these are going to go up in price. They're lovely designs. We've got some um, Christmas trees in here, bulbs stars um, and that lovely star edger you can just use on the edge of your car I think we might have seen these with um, the lovely Karen um, was it only yesterday yeah so yeah you might be able to go back and watch the show if you wanted to 29 pounds and 96 pence or 44 of those dies um, brilliant value for money 711543 and then finally, some peel-offs. Oh, this is a nice, easy way for you to add your sentiment. These would be brilliant to add in alongside any of those um, kits that we've just been looking at because quite often you only need to add a sentiment and you can use it on the card basis that we've just been looking at. You've got 25 sheets there, um, just 9 99 a variety of different sentiments, all Christmas-themed, but gold and silver, red, black, they're all different colours featuring that bundle. Contents will vary, I'm guessing, with regards to those ones, but brilliant value. Um, um, whichever you receive. So 656760. Now in an hour like this, we've got some brilliant sales. I mean, we were looking at these card kits, which are phenomenal value for money, but you're paying £4.95 postage. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't really like paying post and packing if I can get away with it, which is why I'm a Freedom member, and I know so many of you guys are as well. So if you're not a Freedom member already and you wonder what on earth I'm talking about, have a look at this. This will explain. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selective Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away, or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888, and join Freedom today. Makes sense too, doesn't it? Because when you're looking at a saving and you're saving £30, why would you want to spend a £4.95 pence on your purse and packing? Now, we are getting busy. Lots of you having seen all the things that we're bringing to you during this hour. So I do urge you to start checking your baskets out if you're not already because you could miss out on these. Now, I thought I'm going to have a little closer look at some of these card packs. So I'm literally, what I'm going to do is to start off with, because this is what's going to happen. When you receive these, this is what is going to be coming through your door. So obviously we've got it all looking very pretty on the on the screen here, but I'm just going to gather everything up and show you the quantity of elements you're going to get. So you're going to get, first of all, your card. That's almost like a ream. There is a lot in there. Now, we are saying to you, you're going to be able to make 60 cards because that's your basis. Your 60 cards, your 60 envelopes, that's what you're going to get within here. So that is the key thing. You will get all of those. And we're looking at incredible quality with regards to them. You've got your adhesive foam pads. They're going to come with it as well. So the minute that it arrives, you can start crafting. But then you've got the quality of the cardstock. Obviously Christmas themed. You've got lots of kind of foiling going on, lots of glittering going on. And these are for your kind of your mats and layers. So these are beautiful all the different traditional colors with these sentiments i mean you could cut those out and make those into your sentiments couldn't you with a pair of scissors away you go love it red and green again traditional colors coming right the way through um so working my way through these now you're getting loads of these you've even got things like you can oh look oh i like a bit of foiling oh that's nice 
That is a nice one. Oh, a bit of glitter going on with that one as well. So these could be boxes that you're making. There could be bags that you're making with these. A bit more of that glitter going on with that one. But also what you've got in here is your card bases. Now, your card base that I showed you earlier on was a solid green, but it might be that you're choosing to go for one of the holly bases, which you could do because you've got loads of those in there. Some of them have got different fronts to the backs. So it might be that you're actually wanting to cut those down as well, which you could do. Or you could just use them as they are, tent fold, upright. It's entirely up to you. Entirely up to you. The beauty is it's your pack. But these are your card bases. So here, we've kind of got it split now. So these are your card bases. You are getting loads in there. Absolutely loads. Good variety. You've got your traditional poinsettias in there, as you can see as well. Well, that was a nice one there. Look at that. See? Absolutely gorgeous. Imagine taking that, folding it in half, making a lovely card there. Absolutely beautiful. You almost don't need to do anything with it. So that's your card bases. You've got your die cut elements as well with these. Sorry, I'm just wrecking the joint here. But these have got foiling on them. They're all die cut as well. So some of them are going to be little sentiments that you can use and pop in place which you can do. Now these are lovely because they're uncoated, so if you do want to add a little bit of colour, get your inks involved, your pencils involved, you can do as well. But they are perfect, ready for you to add some of that foam elements. Oh, we've lost a few on the way there. But you get the idea. Really pretty designs. Then when you start adding your embellishment, oh, that's where they are. There you go, they popped out. Good sizes though, aren't they? Those, like those, pop those back over there for a few moments. Because you've got your embellishments with this set as well. Now, embellishments, you are getting loads in here. So, you've got your large bows, and you've got those in green and red. You've got your smaller bows, again, in green and red. And then you've got your little kind of almost like berry embellishments there with your green and gold is there as well. So, £29.99. That is a brilliant value bundle. If you're looking at making cards en masse, if you're looking at making cards as fundraisers for charity, you're working out, just working on the card bases and the envelopes, you're looking at 50 pence per card. So straight away, if you're making and selling these, you are going to make some uh, fabulous cards. So you could make these, um, add, I mean, just using what you've got in here, using the foam that you've got in here to put it all together. You could be selling these a pound donation for your local charity, your animal charities, your local um, hospice, your church, your, uh, your hospital, wherever you're wanting to raise funds for. But it's one of those things you don't get reimbursed for your materials, do you, when you fundraise? And you do your time, you gladly give your time, but sometimes shopping wisely is the key thing. That's why I would urge you to look at these. Then you've got the practical implications if you kind of run craft clubs and things like that. Brilliant value. So I'm going to leave those details with you if you're wanting to get hold of those. You can see you've got an abundance of elements in there. There's absolutely loads in there. So take advantage while you've got the chance. We're talking happy hour prices with these. I don't know if we're going to see these back again or not. If we do, brilliant. If we don't, then you'll wish you'd taken advantage of them when you had the chance. That's all I'm going to say. Now, um, details, if you wanted to get hold of that particular set, it's on your screen there, 571908. But we've got choices with another bundle that we've got. Now, if you want to go for a smaller bundle, or maybe you're kind of not particularly into that particular colourway, I don't know, might be whatever it is, might be as well as. Because I'm a, I'm a kind of as well as crafter. Because <laughs> I like have that one as well as this one. Um, so here you've got lots of embellishments again, die cut embellishments, foiling going on. Now this one we're calling red and green. I'm calling it red and green purely because you've got these. And can I just point out the quality of these pegs that you've got as well? They're little wooden clothes pegs, but they're brilliant. You could be making like a little washing line, couldn't you, with those? You've got your buttons there, you've got your embellishments. The die-cut elements that you've got with these, again, absolutely beautiful. You can pop these out, they're all ready to go. It's pretty much a half-price saving with this one. You're saving £15, you're just spending um, £14.99 with these. But you can see on each one of these, they're die-cut, you don't need any scissors, you can pop these out, add your glitter, even make your little tags with these. Got 50-50 chance, haven't I, with these ones, every single time, upside down. You've got continuity going with these as well. So you've got your gingerbread people, you've got that on your cardstock as well, you've got it on your, your different bits and pieces. You've got your card bases. Now, again, with your card bases, we're saying you're going to be able to make 30 of these purely because you've got 30 of those score and folded cards. But if you're thinking about that, you could make that into a card base, couldn't you? You might need to add in your own card um, envelopes. But this particular set... 
if you're looking at these and you've got 30 of those, then anything else is going to be a bit of a bonus, really, isn't it? Again, loads of different ideas with regards to these. You're going to have loads of... See, again, there's another one that's even got the sentiment on there. So, so useful. This is the key thing with these. Making your cards quickly and easily and a very affordable price. Works out just 50 pence per card. Um, and when we say per card, we mean card embellishment. We're looking at envelopes as well because you've got um, 30 of your cards in this particular one. Two different options we've got. I can't do it. I can't make it look pretty like our Ben can. Oh, help me, Ben, help me. Um, so you've got two options. This one is your red and green because you've got your um, your pegs in there. Take advantage while you've got the opportunity. Now, the second one that we've got is called Red Snowflakes. Again, you've got your 60 cards, and you can see there those snow... And these are lovely because the snowflakes have actually got that kind of glittery look on there. You've got the texture with those as well. Again, these are your card base. Oh, look. See 50-50 upside down every time. You'd think I'd know what I was doing by now. So again, brilliant value for money. Again, you've got your cards, you've got your envelopes with these as well. Absolutely phenomenal value for me. And this is your starting point. Start adding your sentiment. Even if you have got a die cutter, to be honest, the prices that we're looking at here, I would be using these, chopping into them, making apertures with them. Quick and easy cards, but we're looking at A5 cards. Every single one of these is an A4 sheet. So these aren't your little cards that you're going to be making. These are the cards that when you are making, you could quite easily be asking a couple of pounds per card with these purely because of the size of these. That is the beauty of these. And you're getting multiples in there. You're getting your cards scored and folded. You're getting your envelopes, your embellishments, your adhesive with your little foam pads in there. Bumper bundle. All for that fabulous uh, price of $14.99. They've only got a little over five minutes to take advantage of not only that deal, with that one option being your red snowflakes, um, but to, of course, um, any of those other goodies that have been sharing with you as well. Now, this is now that you might want to have a little look at some of those seven-day savers as well, because we're kind of coming to the midweek hump with regards to your seven-day savers. Sunday, 8 o'clock in the morning, they are going to go up in price, so take advantage while you've got your chance. Now, with these, you are getting loads loads and loads of tape here different sizes with these as well so perfect for your mats and layers perfect with regards to your construction of your projects your boxes and all those different things so i would certainly be adding that in and again you only have up until six o'clock to use at flex travaganza it is drawing to a close so any of the things that we've been talking about, you need to get hold of them because of it being a happy hour. We're coming to the end of it. But also, Flex Travaganza is going to be disappearing. So you'll have to pay for it all in one go, which is okay. With prices of a tenner, maybe not too bad. But these are kind of things that you might want to just spread the cost over a couple of payments to mean that you can get them into your basket. Now, four minutes for the prices of these. With these, you've got your little, little taxes. Absolutely adorable. In a game. You could use these on there, can't you? Because you've got the red and green. Everything is so colour coordinated in this house. It's brilliant. Your little, little butchies. Some going to the left, some going to the right, but they've all got their foam pads on the back there. Now, your happy hour deals, if you've got them in your basket now, if you're thinking of coming back and we say 10 minutes it stays in your basket for, you don't want to be doing that because in 10 minutes' time, all those prices will have gone up. So you need to be checking your baskets out now. Now, we've got another amazing hour coming up after the break. We've got a three-minute break. We'll be back with Rowan Dean Embroidery, um, and uh, you're going to have a whale of a time. So you need to check your baskets out. I am definitely going home now. It was a bit of a surprise spending the next hour with you because <laughs> it was like, oh, do you know you got the next hour? And I've kind of forgotten, but there you go. First thing to go is your memory, isn't it? 063603, if you're wanting this particular item, check your baskets out. But any of those goodies, get the baskets checked out. They're happy hour deals. I'll see you later. <laughs> So you've got the most amazing hour coming up. You're going to love it. Um, make sure you stay tuned. Then we've got festive stamping with frogs. I'm intrigued. I really am. Actual frogs. We're stamping with them. <laughs> that doesn't seem quite right. Have you heard of freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. 
you will also receive our exclusive Freedom Members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hello, I'm Barbara. And I'm Julie. And together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product, uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque, and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Yes, we are still in festive flex extravaganza here at the craft store. Well, basically, we have got four more hours of any item that you want to buy that is about five pounds during these life hours, you can flexify it. And that means, of course, you can spread the cost and interest free, which makes it much easier to get all those essentials, those things that you maybe have been waiting to try on a good day. And today is that good day. This hour is that good hour because, of course, we are talking about beautiful kits from Rowan Dean and the gorgeous, of course, uh, brand new bundles that we have got for you. Now, we have got some news before we go into the, well, actually, some sad news, actually, because the Holly and the Ivy, our beautiful Robin has now sold out. Now, we were so busy in the last hour. The Robin, which we kind of kind of baptized him Mr. Stitchy Pip Rowan, that was the, uh, of course, and the, uh, you know, kind of composed name uh, for him, has now gone. We are trying to get some more. However, there is no promises. We are trying. Well, actually, Ted is trying behind the scenes. So if as soon as we have got any news on that, I will let you know. Right, that is him, uh, you know, kind of going flying away. But of course, uh, somebody who we keep here in the studio so he can inspire us with her demonstrations and projects. Katrina, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Really well. It, we had a, such a busy show early on. I think it's all down to your love of nature, color, and of course, quality. It's a good subject to, to work it is. with, though, isn't it? Yeah, you can find lots of interest, lots of things to stitch, and. Uh, yeah, I was definitely inspired. By inspired. The, by the and of course, you have the Robin there working, that you started work uh, early on. So we can go and we see the progress. I can see it. This is a little bit of an update on, on the Robin here and the holly and the ivy. So we, this morning we melted out the fabric, put him on a branch, and I've stitched a little bit more just to show you how it, one strand uh, for the body and you just blend the colours together. And you can see that little... Uh, a shape appearing and of course I think it's the eye the French knot yeah. it's the eye that Absolutely. just brings it brings it alive and makes it look so really beautiful. real uh, and you can add as I many I mean I've added a couple of the uh, sequins of snowflake the holly oh, and then some I like wooden beads so there's some wooden beads on there so you can make this bit as decorative as you want and carry the uh, 
Fabulous. The further down. Thank you, Katrina, for showing and that updated uh, Robin estate. And now, of course, if you did get it, uh, you know, thank you so much and well done because it is absolutely a stunning arcade. But uh, now we have got another brand new today, which is the, the uh, Embroidery Seasons Greetings card. Now, two thirds of the stock has gone. And if you want yours, well, you don't want to happen the same as the Robin. You don't want to miss out. And then do check out your baskets. It's absolutely stunning six uh, beautiful cards but of course you could make more projects as well because uh, I believe Katrina with the tweed um, so we have got five projects printed in here then we have got the felt for the bubble and then we have got some uh, leftover of the tweed in here you can see that you could use for a, a seventh project and I love uh, Katrina that you are giving us a very kind of um, kind of simple outline so we can put our own stamp if you will want to. I think I think that's a great idea just a little bit of a starting point on the, on the fabric and then you can develop looking at the the beads and the other stitches and then that comes there, there's six unique projects then uh, that, but I think it's nice to have a little bit of a starting point that on the fabric absolutely and they're all different so you've got different different challenges in, di in different uh, designs but all of which link with all the threads you know you've got a fabulous range of threads there we've got like 17 different threads there and some natural wools as well so we've got variegated threads loads of sparkle uh, all of which can be used to create fabulous designs that and the beads and the beads we have got a lot the of beads, beads. We have the got beads that of I, uh, you know Emily uh, painstakingly has found all the beads that I dropped in the previous hour but look at how many you are getting because you are getting a it's, it's like a treasure pack. I know, I know but that's that's the beauty of individual designs you can put the greens on the holly uh, the, and the white beads as a collection of uh, silver mix uh, for the holly and then there are loads of reds and pinks and purples so there's a great mix of colors in thread and in the fabric absolutely gorgeous of course brand new today at the season's greeting car kit uh, 19 pounds and 95 pence is your prize uh, 032762 is your item number we want to see it in action uh, of course but you will find it uh, onto the website of course the the craftstore.com that's where you will find this kit and the previous well the previous not because it has sold out actually the holly and the ivy has flown away uh, and now of course uh, the returning favorites uh, is of course uh, you can see five star reviews in there as well including the amazing hard kit as well in there and of course the butterfly case and uh, the pycanthus pyracanthus pyracanthus that, that's it and of course we have got the hardware uh, display hoops as well look how many five star reviews yeah, for a uh, rowan ring kits and of course you have got the fat quarters as well maybe the embroidery cuttings or of course the tweet as well one great idea is now that there is FlexiBuy, and remember FlexiBuy, is, you can still use them until 5 p.m. on anything about five pounds. That means that you can stock up on your, in your kind of essentials. Look at those five star reviews, 24 of them. You know it's quality. It is that kind of closer weave that is perfect for this sort of layered and textured embroidery. And of course, if you want some essentials, accessories, and of course, we have got the landscape flowers. Uh, the beautiful book by Katrina herself with all the different techniques step by step and so much inspiration in the form of beautiful photography and of course quotes as well right do check out your baskets remember everything that is about five pounds you can flexify which means to spread the cost in interest-free payments two of them Katrina right so you have got the embroidery um, the beautiful cards with you aren't you don't you I've got the cards here and I'm just going to show you different different things than we, we looked at earlier on. So we've got the six um, different designs and so the, the sixth design is on a piece of felt, it's on a, on a piece of wool felt. So uh, there's a template to draw the wreath shape or the bauble shape and then you're just going to add some fabric flowers and some French knots uh, as detail. But I just thought I'd show you the hanger. So once you've completed your um, completed the, the whole thing you're just going to cut that out and you'll have plenty of felt for the backing so you can leave a little bit of an edge or you can cut closely to your stitching but you're just going to cut that shape out can we use the excess uh, felt for something else absolutely I mean there's lots of things you could you could add them as gift 
a gift tag to go with them. You could add it as berries. You could stitch the person's name on oh, the back. Yeah. You know, there are lots of possibilities. Mistletoe berries that yes. they're white. You yeah, know, that, that would, would be great. Nice. So I've got two strands of of, the, of any colour. I've just picked two colours that I quite like, and I've folded them in half. And then I'm just going to twist them, and I'm going to keep twisting the thread. I've got a knot at the end, so I'm just going to twist it okay. until it almost pulls itself together. Which is very counterintuitive because yes. we never do that, do we, in embroidery? With well, it's, it's a little bit like a, a you're making a cord, I oh, suppose. I see. A cord. Yeah, of course. And, and as you twist it, it gets tighter and tighter, and eventually it'll start to, to want to fold and to twist in half. So if you take your piece and it will naturally oh. twist together. And you've got like a little bit of a hanger there. Wow. So the little tiny bit there. If it's not tight enough, you can repeat that if it's not if it's not tight enough. And then you just take that. That looks fold. like it has been uh, like a plat plat, is it? Or a pl plate. No, how you say it? Um it's plat, plat, yeah, a plat. Yes, it looks a little bit like that. So it was just like a little bit of a cord. Yeah. And then that piece can get attached at the back and then you'll have another backing there and that's the bauble uh, complete so then you can apply that to the card um, yeah. or you can keep it as a bauble separate uh, but just, I think the I idea of, a, of the a cord using any of the colors that you've got in that kit you could make them uh, any combination of colors so that that's quite a nice way it is of adding absolutely. a little bit of texture in there okay. uh, to the design so I'm just going to show you another little way of adding some um, texture to this one. This one has a lot of beads on it and, uh, and some uh, white French knots and some green French knots. So I'm just going to add a couple of green French knots um, with the shaded thread here. So I'm using the full six strands and I'm just going to add a couple of French knots all the way around. Right. And I, I mean French knots are so easy. We, we work those on lots of different projects. So the secret again is just to go around twice, once, okay. twice. Yeah and then through and you can add the beads and there's lo because there's loads of beads in there you can do groups of silver groups of white whatever you wish and that's going to add just a little bit of interest to the the holly leaves yeah. oops and of course the uh, you're using the spring herbs uh, from uh you, the accessory packet uh and of course you have got the details bottom of the screen oh no actually it's going to come into the left hand side screen how the stock has gone and of course you are getting the five inch and the seven inch with the embroidery scissors as well in there uh, grab yours of six four six seven eight five is your item number and you can pay just eight pounds today if you flexible it and uh, katrina you you know, you have been using these uh, embroidery hoops for a long time. A long time. I think they're really, really good. I like the two sizes. So if you were doing the, the pyracanthus and the rowan berries design, use the seven inch hoop uh, and, and the five inch, uh, you know, for moving it around the project. They're great. They're great. They're, you, if you like machine embroidery, you can use it oh. to wear machine embroidery. There are lots of other uses. You could display your work in there. But I think it's as a working hoop, they keep your work yeah. really, really taut. Yeah. And of course, uh, take advantage of that flexi buy because, of course, that means that you can get it at half price today. I think that the spring loaded means it's so much easier. Uh, I think like, I have got the traditional hoops, and I always uh, struggle to put it in and out. Whether well, this is just so much easier. Six four six seven eight five. Remember that you are getting as five, the seven inches, the embroidery scissors, and you can flexi buy it, which means today you could be paying just for eight pounds for them. Right, back to you, Katrina. Okay, I'm just going to make. I'm using one of the, the threads, which is a wool thread, and I've just got a bit of a pen there just to tie the thread around. So I'm oh, just going to tie it round, and then I'm just going to make a bow, just as if you're tying your shoelaces. Mm -hmm. And then I've got my bow. And so that's going to be, and you can adjust the lengths and the tightness of that. And then once you've got that onto there, that's going oh. to be applied onto the bow. the bow and so you can just pin that in place and then you can attach that with a couple of stitches and that's going to make the piece quite 3D yeah uh, so that you know that makes it a little bit more interesting than it just uh, leaving leaving it as the berries so that one that one is so easy to do scatter some some of the beads over the top there 
we've done the stem stitch uh, earlier on so you, you just cut as close as you wish to the the holly leaves you can get quite close there if you feel as though it's too difficult to start with take a uh, you know a little bit more of the green leave that and then you can go back to it but i think a little bit of the green showing is quite nice it is indeed absolutely gorgeous i love that and of course it's not just for cards because although the cards are included you could use them as mini uh, frameable elements bookmarks that it's endless the choice it choice is endless really i think oh, there are yeah. lots of possibilities and of uh, course, uh, remember that if you're frugal, it's not just six. Uh, of course, six book card blanks and six envelopes are included. But having the tweet uh, printed with five... Yeah, I'm going to start knocking things down now, am I not? Uh, if only I was a little bit taller, so I would have more kind of, I don't know, perspective to hold things. Mm. That's not the word that I was looking for. Anyway, uh, so you can see that there are five elements that are printed and then you have got that empty space. Now that, of course, that means that your seventh project and you're thinking, but there are five pre pro printed projects. Well, that's because, of course, you do the bubble like, like uh, Katrina has shown into the felt, which is also included as part of the kit. We are approaching 70% of the stock gone. Now, it's a brand new today. It's beautiful pinks and purples and reds and greens in here in this amazing brand new card kit now this is makes completely unique cards every single one of them is going to be completely unique because you have got those beads in there that kind of give you the ability to be creative to colors and of course those textures if you want yours 032762 is your item number you if you flex it because of course we are still in fast and flat flex extravaganza uh, of course you are paying nine pounds and 98 pence today and then the same amount next month for, of course interest free and that means that uh, you are getting it half price today 032762 is your item number back to you Katrina okay well I'm just gonna uh, work at the, the Christmas trees or the pine trees at the right hand side here I've taken you, you'll see that you've got a little bit of a print on there and I've taken the fabric um, a little bit of metallic uh, fabric and the red organza and I'm just going to cut a little piece of the organza okay just tiny little piece there and I'm just going to fray that piece and I'm just going to distort it and just make it look interesting you can have as many layers on there as you wish and then I'm going to pin those over the little bit of the print there so and then you're ready to start and start to stitch now you can make the trees uh, different or you can make them all the same color but you've got the same, you've got the shape just to get going on the tree. So you could either start at the bottom or you could start at the top. And you're just going to take small stitches into the middle. And then uh, you're just yeah. going to work down the bark of the tree and just create a bit of a Christmas tree shape. Mm. And I'm using the six strands here. You can use... Um, the walls but in the instructions it'll say which ones that I've used and I like the idea of using six so that gives a nice strong yes. shape to the tree so you just work all the way down until you come come to the base of the tree and then a small stitch for the trunk mm. so as you work your way down that's just, and of the course the variation of, of uh, the, the threads, the colours, it makes it, it adds already like you're painting with, with thread. Well that's, and that's the beauty of the variegated threads. They do change and the colours change and so you don't really have to think about that at all. And you can mix the colours, you can put two colours together and make different shades of pink and red. Yeah. And as you work down, it's, I think it's sort of... Uh, it's quite relaxing to work with, you know, these are br quite bright colours. But sometimes it's nice to just sit back and look at your, look at your work and see how, what it looks like. So as you work down the trunk there, okay. when you reach, reach, reach the base, you can, you'll see the tree really appearing. And I'll just stop at this point here. Okay. So you can add, you can add your sequins at any yeah. point. You can add the beads at any point. It's not something that you have to complete 
all the trees first. You can go on to reduce another bit. Now you can see that the tree is changing oh, colour. Yeah. That's, that's so pretty. And it's just such a simple stitch, isn't it? So everybody can do that, the stitch, right? Everybody. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's the thing. I think people sometimes think embroidery is difficult. It's not difficult. There are, you know, a couple of stitches, three or four or five stitches that we do. But really, the idea is it's supposed to be a relaxing hobby. You know, don't get stressed about it. Just enjoy the colour and the texture. Do you find with variegated uh, thread, it's almost like every time that you pull the needle, it's a kind of a mystery where it's going to fall? Well, that's sort of, sort of no, but it, it's a sort of thing that you don't need to worry about that it's perfect on the back. Yeah. Don't care what the back looks like, you know, just enjoy the stitching. I mean, the more stitching you do, the, probably the easier it becomes. But if you're new to stitching, just have a go and you've got those You've got a simple outline uh, to follow, and at the end of the day, if you go and do something else, you add, you know, red beads on the end of these trees, or you change it into your own. That's great. That's that's what it's all about. So I'm just going to finish that last one of those there. So if you have your stitches, you've got a gap. You can always go back back into the tree, and, then and you can add look. and fill the gap. So like a feather. It does. It does a bit. It does. It a does bit. But I love. I love that. That it kind of. It could be three feathers. It could be. It doesn't need to be Christmas either. It's. It's. it's that flex of, like creativity that you, you. We can explore those other imagery as well. It's nice to use different colours. I mean, these are probably yeah. the reds and pinks are probably more traditional. Yeah. But as well as once you've got your, you've got this sort of the. the metallic threads on there. I've got here, I've got a, a knitting yarn, some mohair, you know, it's a, a textured yarn and I'm just going to do a small tree here, a small plant. So I've got yeah. that'll hold my threads out the way. So I'm just got, I've got, I haven't got a knot this time, I've just got the threads level and I'm going to take a small stitch and then another stitch in the same place. Oh, so look you've got at that, that texture there. The texture. And then I'm going to cut that. So it's a bit like a, you're sort of creating grasses really. So then you can That's cut beautiful. all the loops. And you can trim the loops to whatever length that you want. And I usually leave them free, you don't stitch them down or anything. But you could if you wanted. You know, you could uh, do a little tiny stitch and keep those in place. Uh, just that, to create a little bit of movement there. That's the movement, the texture, the, the dimension. Uh, I love that. Thank you, Katrina, for showing that uh, bit of uh, mohair uh, into your creations. Now, of course, and uh, very busy for this bundle. 70% uh, of the stock has gone. And I love the different textures. And even if we look just at the thread, with those metallic elements, we have the embroidery with this beautiful shim, the variegated ones, and of course, the mohair ones in here, with that softness in here, the texture, the loop as well. Now, there are so many ways that you can use it, but of course, having the kind of inspiration from Katrina and how to create a stunning pieces. Now, you are getting so much for your money. You are getting the bag of treasures, which I absolutely adore, with all those beautiful beads in here. You know, you have them included. The six blank hearts, you are getting the satin pieces of uh, fabric, you are getting the pearlescent as well well and of course you have got the organza elements in there as well now you can flexify because we are still in flex, uh, festive flex extravaganza which means of course that you're paying pa nine pounds and 98 pounds today and the same amount in next month if you want yours 032762 is your item number and grab it flexibly if that makes it easier and remember to add accessories as well we have got our, more organza we have got of course the beautiful Beautiful cotton and of course their fat waters in the tweed. Now talking about tweed, the next bundle, uh, of course the Christmas sparkle is one of the returning favorites and of course it features a different designs but again six blank cards, six envelopes and those amazing designs for Katrina, from Katrina. And now of course you, you can see it in here, the amazing detail on the trees. I mean this is incredible, I love the detail. French knots? All French knots. I think it's, they're just great. So here we've got um, 
you've got some organza that's laid over the triangular yeah. shape and then you're going to do really bars of, of French knots. So there are a lot. There are a lot of French knots, but the knots there. But yeah. I think it's just so, it's a dramatic design. It is. And of course, you have in the car, in the kit, uh, six car blinds, but you have put, used it for a pouch. So we could do it, frame it, we can do a, a bookmark, we said as well, tags. Or a heart, you know, you mm. can do lots of things. You know, you could put uh, herbs in there, you could put yeah. spices yeah. in there as Would well. Would you recommend to go for the uh, um, tweed fat quarter so then we can sew, like you have done there, a beautiful pouch so you can pour maybe spices in there so it kind of smells like I Christmas. Th I think it's a great idea and you'll definitely have threads left over from the, from oh. the kit anyway. So, you know, you can, you can work out, you could change the shape and use the rest of some of the beads to, to add a little bit of texture. That's I gorgeous. just bring across yeah. one, course, the, where this started. Oh, you, know, yeah. you can Definitely. see. Look at, and of course, if you want more <coughs> tweed details at the bottom of the screen, twelve ninety nine for the I'll fat just move my other one out the way. Okay. Love it. Oh. So you can see on, on, the, on the fabric that we have the six designs. So there's the design there that's used to create um, yeah. different colours. And I like these because it's got purple and red and it's got a bronze uh, coloured yarn fabric and that makes it quite different. And there are different stitch techniques on here with some lazy daisies and there are some spiders webs. So they're, you know, very easy stitches to do. Uh, yeah. And you fill the whole thing and then cut the, cut the design up afterwards Absol and I quite like teal and the, yes, the, the, the teal. not Christmassy colours if it, you know what I mean. It, it's, a, it's a great uh, kit because you have like very Christmassy with a Christmas tree but then you have like completely all year round. I also would say a Happy New Year card or people who don't celebrate Christmas this would be absolutely perfect because you have got maybe like new beginnings as well and kind of that beautiful heart in there as well. Uh, 089566 is your item number. I see a heart. I don't know if it is a heart but I see it. Uh, 19 pounds and 95 pence is your price. Uh, of course, you can split the cost if you want to. And of course, you'll be paying 9 pounds and 98 pence today. Now, we have got more for you. We have, of course, the uh, kind of Christmas in blue and purple. Now, this features also of the gorgeous wreath and the tree. This is, has to be one of my favorites. Usually, I go for greens and reds for Christmas, but the blue and purples, I mean, this is stunning. It is a returning favorite. However, it's a slightly different. Previously, it had come, it came with a, um, uh, aperture cards. These ones are blank cards, you know, single folded. But well, of course, this is the original that you can see in there. So you can see the three trees in there. Now, Katrina has kind of re, imagined those beautiful images into something a bit different and I have to say I actually prefer it because I love those three trees in there it's just magical with the pines kind of the branches going down with the beads in there and I, that again it's all year round this is a kind of the sea as well kind of you know the under the sea kind of world in there that's I, I love that love them and of course you have got the wreath in there with those beautiful zesty greens and those gorgeous blues that again could be all year round but I think for Christmas tree it will be absolutely stunning 317144 is your item number now half the stock has gone very busy for them it's just 19 pounds and 95 pence remember you are getting everything you need to make six cards but if you are like us you're a little bit thrifty with your products you can do more than those six projects now you can of course flexify and of course that means that you spread the cost into interest free payments of nine pounds and 95 Pens. You can go for all three, the brand new, the Christmas sparkle and the blues and greens. And of course, you would be paying what, 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 what it would be. So it would be one and a half. So one and a half today and of course one and a half next month. Uh, they're working it out. I'm, I will not attempt to pay £29.93 for all three. So six. Um, so that would be uh, 18 projects plus you know, so you can start creating your Christmas cards and of course all the year round cards. Now we have to go now to the next one, which is one of my favorites. I love this Scandinavian feel to this one. Ah, look at those beautiful French knots in there with the, the yarn. And of course, it gives that snow cap effect with yarn. It's, it's just lovely to work with those textures. And it's a natural wool. 
uh, as well as the sparkly threads but it's it's just because it's different different weights of the yarn and it just looks perfect for that style of stitching it does and the stars are just stunning i love the there is a simplicity but a sophistication at the same time and i think you accomplish that katrina so well because your innate say is a sense of color and texture I, I, yeah i think i think it's the fabric that really helps because it's it works with lots of lots of different colors and combinations but it's very soft it's very yes. it's very tactile to, to stitch with so it's really really nice it is absolutely stunning. I love this one so much. And of course, you have the, the details on the screens for that. 16 pounds and 95 pence is your price. 243982 is your item number. Of course, you have got the gorgeous tweet. And even you give us as the stuffing as well. Yeah, the, yeah the, everything's in, in the design. And again, the hanger was made just in the same way as we twisted the yarn for the bauble. Oh, exactly gosh. the same way. Uh, except obviously a little bit heavier yarn. I love that. A little bit longer. So, so oh well, that, oh that's sure wrap <coughs> it around it and again. Well, that's like well, I shouldn't touch everything, <laughs> Paula. I shouldn't, you know. Right, um, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> So can I take it like this? <laughs> like a little bag. Uh, right, of course, details on the screen for that. But let's move on to the pebbles, the Christmas pebbles. I love the originality of this project. I love that you are getting both the uh, elements to, to create the green and the red. Uh, and of course, the emeralds and the rubies and the sapphires and those uh, gorgeous uh, top hats. And of course, maybe even... It looks like a mix of jewels from the sea as well. Yeah, the blue the colors, the colors, on a, and the, a couple of beads there just give it that that interest as well. Yeah, and this has very. Uh, this one is a great one to if you don't want to do lots of embroidery, but you want to put a lot of a sparkle and French knots. That's all. Yes, that's, it's so easy to do. But I mean, I think looking at it now, if you didn't want to make it into a pebble, you could make it into a bauble for the tree. Oh, uh, you know, yes. instead of putting the card inside to make it that shape, yeah. you could make that free hanging uh, as well. Absolutely. It's got the wadding in there for, yeah. to make it into that dome shape. So you could just as easily make it into uh, a into bauble a if, if you... You know what I was to. thinking as well? Uh, you know that we have got lots of die-cutting companies, especially John next door that has uh, boxes, you know, that you can die-cut paper. And this would be amazing on the list. So if you have got a box that is more oval or even a squarish, a smaller one, so you can do it on the top. So then it kind of is... Fabulous. That would be lovely. I really, I really would really like... Nice. Yeah, there would be like a treasure <coughs> chest. Yes, a hidden have a look and see yeah, what's inside. Exactly. And of course you can do that. You know, we are just giving you some ideas of what you could do. But I love the, of course, the ornament for the tree. Now, if you want your Christmas pebbles, uh, 19 pounds and 95 pounds is your price. 631374 is your item number. Now, another favorite is, of course, the beautiful frosty scene that we have got. Frosty, uh, for, uh, winter frost, actually, in fact. Now, this one, uh, Katrina, you show us uh, at the end of the last hour a few tip, top tips. And I love the silver element to this. I think the silver and, and the bronze. It's the bronze with that little bit of purple. Yeah. And then the the sequins for the snowflakes just give it that special uh, just special look but it yeah. is so easy to do and I think I think when you look at these designs they look, they can sometimes look complicated but then they're really when you break it down into the different you know the tree and the foreground yeah and very this, easy very and the, easy to do and the French knots in the background like a snow falling on it's, you know, it's just it's a, a, a nice picture you know you could imagine that just just sitting next to the fire and looking at that view out the window. I want an open fire. <laughs> well, I mean, I know we are in summer, but, you know, it's just kind of... It, that's it's the sort nice of time. images that you want to have right beside the fire. Uh, 10 pounds and 95 pounds is your price, and 907613 is your item number. But even this one, 10 pounds and 95 pounds, you can flex a light because, of course, uh, for a flex extravaganza means anything above um, 5 pounds, you can spread the cost into interest free payments, which means that today you would be paying 5 pounds and 48 pence for the winter frost. Right, uh, Katrina, I, I am I'm seeing a lot of different stitches there. Well, but this this one's got a couple more stitches, so I'm just going to show you a couple of um, a couple of the different stitches here. This, this is a spider's web. Spider's web. I often use this stitch. I really like it. That's beautiful. And that's of course from the Christmas Sparkle Star Kit, isn't it? It is. Okay. I'm just got, I'm going to make a star shape to start off with on the print. Okay. 
and so a, a sort of a cross shape. Right. And then you've got your work in the hoop, that, that helps as well. So you just do the cross shape first. And then you're going to stitch in between. And that's just going to give the star shape. And I'm working with six strands, so that's quite heavy, so it'll be quite dramatic. Okay. And you work round, all the way round. And then as you come to the last stitch, you then bring the needle back into the middle. Okay. And this time you're going to use the eye of the needle and you're going to go all the way around. So I'm going to turn my work at the same time. So I'm going to go back over one and under the next one. And as I go around, <coughs> excuse me. I see, yeah. I'm Creates just going to that... go round and round. And that eventually you'll see ridges. Yeah. Uh, look at that, it's absolutely stunning how you can create those beautiful kind of stitches in there. Uh, now, of course, we have got the Christmas sparkles over there, but we want to uh, have to, of course, the brand new today, to, of course, that we have in here. Uh, now, because um, three quarters of the stock has already gone. Now, that means, of course, that if you want it, make sure to check out your baskets. We have already had a sell out. And if you want yours, remember that you can flex divide, spread the cost into interest free payments of nine pounds and nine pounds. Sorry, nine pounds. Just nine pounds and ninety pounds, and you would be paying today. Zero three two seven six two. Very busy because it is such a gorgeous kit, isn't it? You don't want to miss out. If you have been thinking about it, now is the time to check out your baskets. Now is the time to say, you know what? I'm going to treat myself. Today is the last day of festive extravaganza. I can paint just half of it today, and I can start making beautiful Christmas cards or beautiful Christmas ornaments. I think the idea of transforming them into pouches into little kind of ornaments for the tree makes all the sense and it doesn't it so do check out your baskets uh, back to you Katrina okay we're just uh, just nearly finished uh, going up around that shape uh, and you've got a really nice textured flower really and the idea of this design is great you're just going to play do as many of those as you wish all over and then you're going to fill in with teal colored beads and gold beads so it's not not terribly Christmassy but it's it's just using fabulous colors that work together and you're creating almost like a little bit of a carpet a magic carpet just with it with color and I think that particular one would look oh. great on the lid of a box oh I think that it would, would look really be really amazing. amazing and just so you can really yeah. you get a big piece of fabric so you can make that a rectangle or a square or you can change the shape but this, but the idea is just to use spiders webs from any of the colors I mean in the instructions I will say all the colors but when you look at the range of colors you've got a lot of opportunity to use teal and and then shades of pink and shades of red so there are a lot of colors there that you can use to create that design it is but it, i always in the instructions i always have what the colors that i've used you know they're, yeah. they're named as the colors and of, and of course the thing is that i love the um, the versatility, the flexibility that you give us, because I love, you, I'm one of these people that ne can never follow a recipe, and I, but I love to have an inspiration where I'm going to, but then create whatever I want. And I think you kind of capture that perfectly yeah, in your case. It's, it's the same thing, isn't it? You like certain stitches, I like certain stitches, uh, and I start off with a design, and I have to just absolutely love that design uh, to put it into a kit. But it's lovely when um, some of our followers for the stitching yeah. just love to just show their own work and uh, what they've done and that's fantastic that's yeah. really really fantastic so the only other stitch that i think is quite useful is for this design is a lazy daisy so a lazy daisy can be worked in this hoop or without and it's just a matter Absolutely. of working. Well, you know what, uh, Katrina, you were speaking about, talking about uh, people uh, sharing their artwork they have done with uh, Rowandine uh, kids. And we have had an email from Pat who has sent the butterfly kit, the beautiful, uh, you can see it here. We have that kit in the show. Of course, it's, I think it's the uh, tortoiseshell uh, butterfly kit. And oh, it's absolutely stunning. Now, well done. I mean, it's such a gorgeous. And I wonder how many of um, if you were an advanced or a beginner um, because that is absolutely stunning but I think Katrina your kids are 
you know, are for people, for beginners and experienced ones as well. I think if you love the picture, that's what makes yeah. you want to finish your design, whether you've done uh, embroidery or stitching before. If you love the picture, then you can get started and have a go at it. And it's, it's you, lo you fall in love with the stitching then, if you love the picture. But if you've Absolutely. got to sort of practice on something you're not that keen on, no, go for the one you just love. That's, that's the way. I think that's a very good uh, recommendation. Go for the one you love. And, and I think this is such a gorgeous way with the butterflies. Right, uh, if, if you want to go for the tortoiseshell uh, um, butterfly kit, you have got the details on the screen. And of course, that's £14.95. Or uh, if you flex it, it's of course £7.48. That's the flexi by option. Grab yours, check out your baskets, and make the most of those last four hours of festive flex extravaganza. Thank you so much, Pat, for sending that picture. It's it's gloriously beautiful and of course it's uh, everything that Katrina puts together. Oh, that's really nice. I, love, I think it's great that uh, when people send photographs in and, of is. the work and, and have it displayed and uh, I think mm -hmm. it's lovely because it's nice to show off what you've the stitching exactly. you've done. It's really good. And, and I think with your kids there is such a sense of achievement because I believe there is nothing like there is no right or wrong is there that's right that's right and uh, and i think people worry that it's got to be absolutely perfect or the back's got to be really neat when we were uh, you know in our early years we were taught you know how yes. to unpick things and and the back had to be you know just the same i love that or forget yeah. just enjoy the idea of stitching yeah. Uh, and especially, relaxing. Yeah, especially these kids that you can cover the back and nobody needs nobody's, to know. Nobody's going to see unless, exactly. you, you, know, unless you want them to see, but yeah. that's fine. Uh, but I think it's a really lovely craft to do. Yeah. Just pick up, transport, tape with you, move from roof to room, mm -hmm. sit outside, you know, it's, it's got, it. you don't yeah. need a lot of equipment to you do You know, this. I was thinking, this is the mixed media version of uh, soft crafts. Yes. It's a mixed media because it you is. are having the organza, you have got the metallic element of the, uh, you know, the threads, you mm -hmm. have got, of course, the, the gorgeous embroidery, you have got beads, you know, it's a mixed media. And of course, if you want to experience your, uh, we have got the greeting cards a selection on your, <laughs> oopsie, oopsie. Sorry. Well, it's 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 nothing has been broken. That, that's that's a win. That's a win in my book. Our new today, of course, is the greeting, uh, the season's greeting cards. We are approaching 80% of the stock, and it's absolutely glorious. I love the trees as well. I mean, can we come in closer? I love that card in here because, of course, uh, the Katrina started the demonstration with those gorgeous, uh, the hour basic with that moir, um gorgeous yarn into it, and it's like a snow. Cab, you know, kind of wild, you know, I don't know what you would call it. What is it called? This this beautiful plant that has, like, um, I've got it in front of my house. I don't, I don't know what it's called. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that kind of a willow. Yeah, but it's not. It's a, anyway. You know the one I mean, anyway, so, you know. <laughs> but it's just glorious. It's just beautiful colors and beautiful inspiration. You can see it there. Now, of course, if you want your uh, season's greetings uh, car kit, 032762. And remember, you can flex it by it. Katrina, what are we looking at next? We're going to be looking at, at the heart, the Christmas heart. Oh, yes. And so I was just going to show a little bit about um, how to start the heart. It has the print on the fabric. It has, let me just take... It has a template inside so that you can decide the size of the heart. I'll just take mine out here. So I've got the heart. The heart, the design on the heart is printed on the fabric. And then you can decide if you wanted to make that a much bigger heart or you just tack around the shape of the paper heart. And that's just going to give you uh, a shape to work within. Uh, oh, really? And then, then you can put it into your hoop. This could be, this would be lovely as well as a wedding present for somebody who has got a winter wedding and put lavender inside. And of course, this could be like, you know, to put right in their pillow at night. I think that would be lovely. That would be really such nice. a lovely detail. Let me just get this needle threaded. Okay. So as you, the, the idea is that you're going to, it's, um, you're just going to create a little bit of texture there uh, from the stitching. So we've got some lazy daisies. We've got some fly stitch here. So I'm just going to do a little bit of fly stitch in amongst, in amongst the grasses. Yeah. So this is a really, really nice stitch to do. So you can go over some of the grasses that are already there and you can add drama with the red thread. So you can use a metallic thread and you yeah. can add 
and fill in. So the idea is that you're going to fill in the foreground of this design. Beautiful. Very busy stitching. for the heart as well. Uh, two thirds of the stock has gone. Oh, sorry, sorry. And then oh, the accessory, uh, the accessory pack. Sorry, I kind of missed again. And the then it's just pack. really good to do the. the you can do some uh, long-legged French knots, so they're lovelier too. You can build up a design, just really easily. It's on the tweed, which is great to work with, and you can build up some French knots in there. So the idea is that you're just really using the two colours, the, yeah. the natural coloured wool and I love shades your of red. Selection of colours there and textures because the red, the sparkly red, even though there is not that much of it, against the white and against the tweed is just extraordinary contrast. So you'll, I'll just bring the colours over. So you can see that there's quite a big range of colours in there yeah, uh, that you can use. Um, I've got some variegated colours. I've got some different shades, different thicknesses of wool, a little bit of gold uh, and a little bit of white. So mm -hmm. as you come st start your stitching or you get a little bit further on, uh, you can really develop the design. You've got little bits of beads mm -hmm. in there. We've got some star shapes that you can add. So you can add, make it as... as uh, simple design at the bottom or you can really go to town and add a lot more stitching so I've got my two pieces in there and on the reverse side of the of the uh, heart I've got two pieces of fabric so that right. that's where the join is and that's where you're going to put the filling in yep. afterwards and then just to cover that up you can take a little bit of the bits that you've cut off and make the design on the Perfect. back of the heart so inside it you'll find that they once you tack the two surfaces together you can stitch either hand sew all the way round or if you wanted to do it on the sewing machine you could do but either either way uh, I quite like to do it by hand yeah and it, then you've got it's quite tactile it thing is. to finish and, and you know it, if you've got somebody in mind you want to give that to you could put their name uh, that would be or initial or, yeah or it's just yes. initial just or something. monograms of, as we were saying about a couple or for an engagement as well or for just just for instance our Katie and her a loved one maybe you can put as well you know a K and an A right or M you know K M N. anyway so you could do things like that this is a lovely uh, little detail lots of, lots of possibilities and I think that would look great hanging in, in you know I sometimes put these on a door handle or uh, you know in the kitchen oh, yes. uh, just as a little bit of of interest for, for yeah. festive seasons. You, you know the other thing I was thinking of, uh, certain people tend to lose their keys all the time. This could be an amazing keychain. <laughs> it could be good. <laughs> you, you, you don't lose it, and if you lose it, you find it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, it's actually I remember this idea because somebody, um, the gas key, like for instance, when so you have a gas the same when it's allowed, of course, uh, you, you know they would give it a such a so then they wouldn't fly back with the keys, and then of course they would have the keychain. Uh, that's one person that I used to um, visit uh, had this idea and I thought it was a really cool idea. £16.95. Of course it's up to you how you use it, how you decorate it, how you gift it, how you finish because Katrina has given you that amazing tweed, those beautiful threads, the yarn, the know-how to with those beautiful French notes. You have got the illustrations on what to follow but as well written instructions. And of course, uh, you have got even the filling for the gorgeous heart. So you don't basically, you, well, you, all you need is scissors. And of course, if you want to add those embroidery accessory packs, the, the, the hoops, because of course, if you flexi buy them, then only you only pay half of it. So that means that instead of having to pay the full amount of £15.99, today you only have to pay actually £8 and you are getting both the 7 inch and the 5 inch spring loaded hoop and of course you are getting the scissors as well so it makes the perfect head and then you don't need anything else but your time and your enjoyment to finish any of those crickets. Two thirds of the stock, over two thirds of the stock has gone. Remember you can still flexibide because we are still in fact 
festive affl affl extravaganza. Right, if you want to check out your basket, you need to do so now, of course, because, uh, oh, especially for the brand new today, the amazing greetings cards in here that we have got in front of us, because it has got the most beautiful finished cards that you can send for Christmas. And of course, then you can frame them. You can use them as little pouches. You don't have to use them as cards. There's so many possibilities, but it's all about those colors, those sparkles, those textures that Katrina kind of puts together and gives you an idea and a starting point, and then you finish them however you want. If you want yours, do make sure to check out your baskets. Brand new today, and 80% of the stock has gone. 19 pounds and 95 pence is your price. 032-762 is your item. Do not miss out. Don't be like the robin that flew away and never took them back. Maybe, I mean, at least not today. Uh, do check out your baskets, so maybe in, in sole seriousness. Nobody likes to miss out. And of course, there is a way here at the craft store, which is checking out your baskets. Another beautiful Christmas card collection is, of course, the Christmas Sparkles card kit. You are getting enough to make six cards because you are getting the six blank cards, the envelopes, the fabrics. You are getting the organza, the beads, and the needle. And again, in this kit, you are getting the gorgeous tweed that has been selected, oops, sorry. I mean, they're all right, they're all right. And of course, you can see the printed tweet in here that is that kind of a perfect weight. So it will sustain all the layers of organza beads and of course, French knots. Because if we look at one of the ones that I knocked on, you can see that it's full of gorgeous French knots, and you can see them all here with this beauty. So you need to have the right tweed, which is included in this kit. But if you wanted more tweed, we have got a fat quarter as well. And remember, today is the day to stock up on those essentials, on the fat quarter of the tweed, the fat quarter in the cotton, the special weave, so you can, of course, um, kind of create your own projects as well. If you go for the sparkle, Christmas sparkles, you are going to get that delight of color and texture in thread base. Of course, you are getting the chenille needle and the bead needle as well for those, of course, attaching all those sequins and beads. 089566 is your item number, 19 pounds and 95 pence. Uh, that could be what you're paying if you want off payment, but of course you can pay uh, nine pounds and ninety-eight pence. Just stay there. Do not move. All right. Of course, moving on to the uh, the blue and purple uh, kit, Christmas card kit. Very very popular. Over sixty percent of the stock has gone. I have to say, I love this so much because it has those trees in there. And remember, this is a returning favorite, but slightly different from the original with that version of the trees kind of, it's not an aperture card, but overlay. And of course, it has got those raggedy edges from the organza, giving that ethereal nature of the sky blending into the atmosphere. And of course, you have the field of blue in there. So it's not just for Christmas. I think these ones could work very well all year round so why not getting it now for and sending uh, you know for people as well to celebrate winter if you want a uh, 317144 is your item number Katrina we have got about five minutes left uh, what else would you like okay, to show us I'd like to show the blue and purple Christmas card oh all right food. so there I've got the ideas and we've got those on on the fabric so this time we're not using the tree we're using um, the cotton fabric and so we've got the six designs again or seven if you make it into a, uh, the wreath okay. into a bauble. So we've got the heart shape. And so the idea is to overlay the different organzas and the different colors. And then when you look at the color range of colors, yeah, they, they don't necessarily need to be for Christmas. We've got fabulous purples and blues, nice gentle blues as well, a little bit of sparkle um, and a little bit of green in there. So you, you know, you're gonna get the opportunity to make uh, several different cars, whether it's with straight stitch, which is just straight stitch over the print, and then add your decorations. You know, there's lots and lots of sequins and sparkle there. And then the second one, we've done stem stitch today, and we've gone all the way around the heart, and then there's some hand-dyed uh, felt in there and a template, so you cut out the heart, and then you can add your lazy daisies, stars, and some French knots over. So that would make a nice birthday card, I think. It, it does. It, I was thinking of Valentine's. Yes. Because yeah. it's just kind yeah. of a, or, or, you know, a wedding card. 
I yeah, think somebody yeah, getting not, married and you want to send them a well wishes? Yeah, not, not too, too Christmassy. And then, again, uh, this time it's a, a slightly different shape of a Love Christmas that. tree. So yeah. this is all French knots uh, with silver and white uh, beads in between. And then this time I left the cut away the background so that the organza was left frayed on the card uh, and applied. So you could add little French knots on there before you cut it out or you can leave it with lots of frayed fabric. So you know, there's lots of things that you can do. And again, this is the, uh, this is the little heart, uh, wreath here that I've got that you can add. Oh, yeah. I've got some hand-dyed uh, felt here. Yeah. You can cut little leaves for this. You can make mm. flowers and you can really enhance, enhance that. And that's what I've done. It makes a perfect companion with the, uh, you know, the brand new Kate and as well the Christmas sparkle. It's nice to use different combinations of colours with the same stitches, but you can get just fabulous effects yeah. uh, just with, uh, you know, a few French knots, a few stitches. And a, and a lot of beads. I have a question, and I know, Katrina, you're a lover of colour, so almost I don't want to ask the question, but what is the, your favourite colour to oh, work with? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I love, I love the colours of the season. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Whatever season it happens to be, I fall in love with the, you know, at the moment, the sunshine colours, and then the aut autumn colours. There's a lot of spectacular yes. colours oh. there. And then when you look at the, uh, the tree, we've just the winter frost. Yeah. Those colours are just lovely. So you get inspired by the kind of changing of the seasons in terms so. of what colours you then create with. I love yeah. that. Yeah. And of course you can see it because it's sometimes I think when as a designers um, we tend to go for some colours a lot more than others and yet yours is a, in a beautiful exploration of colour that is just unlike anything else. I oh. love that. Oh, I, I just love work and that's my inspiration, you know, the colour. But it's also the threads. Yes, you know, the different the texture. textures and sometimes when I'm designing something I get a big pile of colours on the table and, and you know just, that's my inspiration for those so yeah it's it's the texture as well as the colour. It is and you can tell that and of course you if you want to be part of that colour and texture creativity you can. Now there is three different kits for the, car, the cards of course we have got a brand new one we have got the pinks and purples and reds from the Christmas sparkle and of course we have the blue and purple in front of us. Now this means that you have got that kind of frosty beautiful clear skies from winter but also the beautiful purples in here all year round beautiful for all year round now two-thirds of the stock has gone if you want yours you know what to do check out your baskets and remember uh, well this is the last live hour from Katrina today however they are you know also flex extravaganza ends at 6 p.m. today so you don't want to miss out you want to get them you can do them a little bit easier to get them a little bit easier which is of course by spreading the cost in two interest-free payments of, of course, nine pounds and ninety-eight pence. That would be where you would be in today. Katrina, we have got about two minutes left. Is there anything else that you would like to show us? I'm just going to show how to just add a little bit of a one of the flowers on here. Oh yes. So what? What you, the thing? The thing, thing? The nice thing to do is to keep looking at what you've you've stitched and just admire it. So I've I've been looking at this one here, and I think I'm just going to yeah. add a couple of blue flowers here. And I'm just going to add those just straight onto okay. the, the back of the, yeah. of the thing and, then and add stitch through the felt. I've I already, you know, more or less finished it, but you can still add more as you go around and you can add, make that wreath really, really textured. Yeah. Fabulous. Now, we, uh, of course, Katrina, we have got less than a minute. I just want to say a massive thank you to you, Katrina, and also Ted, who works very uh, hard behind the scenes, uh, for bringing us these amazing kids. It, they are just, I just always feel so happy when I see them because it's color, texture, but also, like you said, the seasons. It is the seasons, and it's, it's just fabulous, and I hope people enjoy at uh, work in these designs. I'm sure they will. Really Thank nice. you so much, Katrina. Thank you as well, Pat, for sending that amazing, uh, you know, beautiful butterfly kit. And do not forget to check out your baskets. Do not forget that you can, of course, flexi buy your kits and spread them in, co in cost into interest-free payments. Now, Katrina, we need to see you soon. When are you back? 
next month. Oh, next, next month. month. <laughs> <laughs> well, we look forward to whichever day that is. I'm sure it will be a great day. Do stay tuned here at the craft store. Don't forget to check out your baskets. But Yanis and Sue are, of course, ready uh, next. Well, we have got festive stamping with frogs. I'm not sure what is the next word. Uh, then craft artist Christmas card one day special at four and then at five best of Christmas. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orange Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orland Create shows. Hi, I'm Jo and I have the pleasure of demonstrating for That's Crafty. That's Crafty are a family run business that started online in 2005. Initially, as an online business, the company has grown and Graham joined the business in 2015 and they now produce their own surfaces and stencils. That's Crafty have a wide range of products including stamps, surfaces, stencils, paints, inks and mediums, all geared up for mixed media and paper craft alike. I hope I can inspire you by bringing along my experience together with the That's Crafty products. So make sure you don't miss the That's Crafty shows. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. All of our MDF products are produced in Devon, in the UK, and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. So it is the final day for our Flex Travaganza event. Don't miss out. If you've got five pounds or more in your basket, you'll be able to split the price. And we have got a fantastic hour coming up because this is Frog's Whiskers. Second time that we featured Frog's Whiskers here at the craft store. And it's a great brand from Canada. We're going to get into that a little bit more in just a moment. I'd like to introduce you to our lovely demonstrator and the very talented Sue. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good afternoon. I'm See, good. You're always so bright and bubbly. You you strike oh. me as someone who always looks at the glass half full. Definitely. Yeah, yeah very good. optimistic. Yeah. I love that. Life's though. too it's short. Dangerous. Yeah, we like and that. And when you've got crafting in your world, <laughs> it's a happy place. I said to Sue just before when we were getting ready to go live, I said, Sue, so what have you been up to, Sue? I haven't seen you for a while. She's like, crafting. Because <laughs> that's what you do. You love it. Oh, I know. That's all I'm yeah. good for. <laughs> hey, no, you're very good at it. Uh, so just tell us, anyone not familiar with Frog's Whiskers, tell us a little bit about the company. They're from Canada, okay. and they're run by a husband and wife team. Okay, that sounds and, nice. Um, Rosemary does the designing, yeah. Yeah. and Tom does the manufacturing. Good partnership. And, yes, and actually, um, Rosemary was born in Scotland. She's come yeah. from Scotland. Paisley. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the designs are sort of inspired by... Was she emigrated when she was yes. quite young? Yes, wow, yes, okay. yeah. yeah That's so... still from Scotland's beautiful, Canada's beautiful, which has got a lot to draw from. And you were yeah. telling me one of the big thing with this, it is a family-run business, that's something to stress, but also the back catalogue and everything is designed to work together. Yeah. It's mixing, matching scene builders. Yes, it's quite different because they have, the designs are quite small, yeah. but you can scale up your designs by adding lots of elements and scene building. There's mm. this great ethos about the scene building with these stamps and they have back catalogue of over 3,000, I think it is, and they're still all sold now wow. so that you can, you can build up your collection with these, yeah. you know, smaller stamps. And that's that's the key with these. And we're going to see some yeah, really nice yeah. demonstrations. I've had I had a, a sneaky peek at what's coming this out. And uh, Sue's got, we're going to hopefully fit in three cards uh, this out. They are stunning, mm -hmm. so please stick for that. All right, we are talking Christmas. Let's start here. Now, something to point out with these stamps. Beautiful designs. There's going to be a mixture of grey rubber and red rubber in these. And uh, I like the fact that on the design, you can see it's kind of got the reference from the catalogue, so the actual number to alluding to the stamps. And I will just show you the stamps. So they are uh, the rubber stamps. Some are grey, some are red. Here, this collection, they're all grey. They're foam mounted as well. Beautiful detail. And, and see, because you've been working with these, you're saying they stamp wonderfully. Oh, yes, yes. They're, they're very etched very sharply, yeah. and they, they do stamp beautifully. Love that. And there's that. That would give us the illusion of the snow flurry, or just a lovely background. It doesn't have to be snow. I mean, that changing color, just a really nice background. Definitely, then, it's just dots. I yeah. think. Yes. We've got our yeah. wording in there as well. The wording comes out perfectly, yes. And this is very special because that, I tell you what, I'll do there. I know you're looking at that thinking, well, what is that? I'll show you. <laughs> that's Santa. Look, I love it. Look at the detail in that antlers. That's yeah, nice. It's, it's and then good. the trees down here as well, the little snow flurry coming through. All of these. Now, the sentiment, I'm just going to have to look here for the sentiment. Uh, may, may you all be too grown up to search the skies on Christmas Eve. Oh, no, wait. May you never be too grown up. <laughs> <laughs> I missed out never. May you never be too grown up to search the skies on Christmas Eve. Uh, and we all like to have a little look at the skies. Yeah, sure. yeah, and feel the magic. and. Santa Tracker. Yeah, and with this, this mm -hmm. is these stamps are all rosewood collection, which yeah. is the scene building ones, oh. and it is very much Victorian themed. Oh, okay. So tradition. If you like tradition at Christmas, you're going to have a fair. wonderful time with these stamps. Now, if yeah. there are any uh, kids watching, we're halfway through the year, and because it's our Christmas event, I had I had a quick call with a big guy. Just Already? See how things, already? Well, halfway through, I just wanted to gauge the state of play, and I mentioned your name, Sue. Oh, I say, where's Sue? Naughty or nice list? <laughs> Apparently, you are firmly on the nice list at the moment. So you're doing a good ah, job this year. Ah, mm, good. Just saying. But kids, keep it up. All right, let's, uh, that's you as well, Maddie. Uh, let's move on to our next... Oh, she's give you the details here. 308 uh, 849, your item number. Uh, remember, you can spread the cost as well, so we have got flexi order. So do split the cost. And the thing is, we'd never normally order, uh, be, be able to allow you to split the price outside of a flexi event, flex extravaganza event. You wouldn't be able to do it. It just wouldn't happen. So being able to split that price really makes a difference. Uh, just to remind you as well, because it's a Canadian company, everything's coming from Canada. So it is on extended delivery, 15th of July, and we'll get it out to you. Not long at all. Let's move on. You talked about setting the scene and that Victorian vibe too. Yeah. This is nice. I know, yeah. And you, you can almost see Scotland in those, those yeah. tree silhouettes there. Scotland yeah. and also Canada actually. It's got that sort of picture perfect yes. Yes. scene to it. So we've got that yeah. wonderful, uh, I love the sleigh getting driven along. Off we go. You've got the Victorian mother and daughter, the backwards in there as well. That's a nice image. And then of course, the little country church. But the church, I'd be thinking all year round, that's just a lovely church if you wanted for winter weddings. Perfect, yes, yeah. yes. Just showing you here, this is the grey rubber you're going to get. And the, the scene, it's typical actually, just going down the counter, a lot of the stamps kind of fit this scale. They are, they're all the yeah. same scale, so you, you can put them, you know, different places in your foreground. Mm -hmm. So you've got these little elements, but you can actually use them in different ways yeah. to create a different look on different cards that you make. Oh, I like that. There's the sleigh. I've got it upside down. Maybe, I don't know, it's hard with the stamp. No, I think 
think you had it the right I didn't know it was right. Yeah, sorry, that was right. There well, we go. Obviously, they're good the for, you know, creating, like, menus and place cards and invitations and yeah. all sorts of other things you could use them They're on. ditty, but they're cute. And for 19.99, you're getting a lot of images that you're going to be able to uh, build up. And remember, these are coming from Canada. 291494, uh, your item number. Just going to show you here. This is the kind of scene. I mean, that is a beautiful card. Look at that. Yeah, we've got some nice sample cards yeah. direct from okay. fro uh, Frog's Whiskers. When we and found also, them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I've made a few, and also my mum's helped me make a few yesterday as well. We need so, to give your mum a mention. Mom. What's your mum's name? <laughs> Janet. Janet, thank you very much. She runs in the family. Uh, okay, we're going to move on. We're going to give you our next offering. Uh, this is nice because here, actually, this is, we talk about fitting to scale. This is a sizable grey rubber stamp. Yeah, this one's gonna, beautiful. And look yeah. at the size. That's a whopper. Lovely tree, though. It's got a bit of uh, winter about it. So not just Christmassy. That's more wintry yep. to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, winter but, birthdays. It'll be good yeah. for you. Yeah. Also, I think it's got a bit of uh, sort of magic about it. Yeah, yeah. it's got that sort of Christmas or, or winter dust blowing from the leaves, which I like. Or you can mask that bit off yeah. and have it more of a sort of still image. Nice. Yeah, so you've got great. that large image with the tree. You've also got a little sentiment in the mix there. And we did say that some stamps is going to be a mixture of red stamps and uh, grey stamps. So there is a little cheeky snow uh, flurry there with the gray, uh, red stamps. Just going, oh, sorry. Just going to show you a few samples here. This is nice. Take a look at that. Look at that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Done with your heat embossing and added gems in there. Yeah, yeah it's lovely. <coughs> yeah, we're just looking at that. That and th with. With the silver emboss, you can really see that that's, um, it gives it that, it plays well with the actual theme, it's quite magical. Yeah, especially yeah. on black card as well, it's lovely. Yeah. Got to tell you, 20% of the stock has already gone here from the size, of, and I'm not surprised, 15.99, look at, just for that stamp alone, it's a whopper. So that's a big grey rubber stamp, foam mounted, and you also get the little sentiment in there as well. So it's holiday greetings, which is a really good one if you're not sure and you don't want to be too religious with your cards yes. or gift to friends. You're not that's sure. True. Holiday yeah. greetings, good one. And you've also got the little snowflakes. Uh, 766811, your item number. Now, I like this. This is a winter village. Oh, who, who doesn't like a village? Do you know, Christmas? it kind of. Um, I like it's when you go to a village, you're, you're going on holiday or you go on a Sunday drive and you discover a really nice little village and you have a little wander through. It's got that feel to it. It's just yeah, a beautiful winter yeah. village. So, again, here there are so many si nice scenes too. The courting couple. That's like, you, don't, you don't hear that often enough, courting. <laughs> I like that. Do uh, you? You do a bit old fashioned. I think it's nice courting. You know, it's a kind of thing, I, I imagine, Marcus, in your day, you've, you've done a bit of courting. <laughs> Marcus is our director. A gentleman. Yeah, I know. You yeah. do better, you know. Marcus. He should be linking, not courting. Linking? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What's, what's linking? Is courting. it like courting? It's like, is I it think the modern courting? Yeah, linking, okay. going out. Yeah. He, likes, he likes the sound of that. <laughs> there we go. Let's just show you the uh, designs that we have yeah. here, just showing you. So that's the, uh, the wonderful scene. So you get that beautiful winter village. And I like the sort of arching nature of it because what it does, it instantly gives you that sense of scale, but you're not having to do it. No masking techniques here. It positions it nicely, Sue. Yes. And, and it forms the lie of the land as well, you know. Yeah. It, it gives you inspiration to add something, like a skating ring in the foreground, or even oh. draw one yourself. A little and skater. Add. And there is, I'd say, this yeah, is when you get a mixture of the grey and the red. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is where you're absolutely right. Adding those characters so someone could be skating. Pop that down. Couples could be a courting. <laughs> so courting couples. Or you could have... What's this one? Just a little flourish. That's the Father Christmas going oh, is that uh, Father through Christmas the sky. In here? Oh, wait. He's here too. Okay, let me pop that down. I apologise. Yeah. Let me see, because I didn't say... Oh, it is Father Christmas there as well. Let's have a look at a finished example. It's slightly larger scale, actually. That Bigger centre. Yeah. He's obviously had a good lockdown. <laughs> Let's have a look here. So there is. Oh, but I do like the fact it's a different scene to the previous one as well. Is it different? Slightly larger. 
Yeah. The, the cottages? No, the, the centre. I'll compare oh, the, the two. Oh, the centre, sorry. Let me just show one. you. I'll put yeah. the two side by side yes. so we can see. Yeah, definitely yeah, larger. Yeah, you can see there. Yes. <laughs> Bit closer. Okay, there we go. Twenty-four ninety-nine is your price there. Uh, Nine eight seven two two three your item number. When I was younger, really quick story. My uncle come from America, and he um, decided to try and dress up as Santa to make it special. He'd come to visit. It was a poor effort because he didn't have a Santa outfit, so he put a blanket over himself. And then I don't know why. I just remember this memory as a kid, and they got some some. Uh, he put sort of silver on his face. So it wasn't Santa at all. I came downstairs and he thought I'd be wowed by it and wouldn't recognise him. And I just remember being very disappointed and going back to bed. But the one memory from that is the silver he couldn't get off his face for two days. Uh, OK, good memories. <laughs> I bet you uh, freaked out at that. I was just very confused. I was, I was, I was very young. It's more a memory that my, my yeah. mum tells me. OK, let's have a look here. <laughs> the fun we had in the Morgan household. Uh, now, this is another beautiful set. This is a winter stroll. Oh. I adore that scene. I love the perspective of it. It's, it's so you're gorgeous. talking like an artist here, and it's, that's such a good description because the, the nature of this image, and I think where it gets its power, is from the perspective. And it's got that beautiful gate, this sort of ironwork gate in there as well, Victorian yeah. gate. But look at the Fabulous. size of this for fourteen ninety nine. It is another whopper. Beautifully detailed, grey rubber, Foam mounted, you cannot go. That is a beautiful, beautiful stamp. Yeah, and the detail in the branches of the trees, that all comes out. Yeah. It's wonderful. And then we have our little scene builder, so the couple are having a stroll. And we've even got a little sentiment in the mix as well. All of that, grey rubber, foam mounted for $14.99. And what's even better, this is your last day, your last opportunity to take advantage of a Flex Travaganza event, which means we can split the price in half. Uh, you can pay £7.50 today. We send it out to you. And then in four weeks' time, obviously, you pay your remaining £7.50. But what a lovely, lovely scene. Uh, yeah. The sentiment in there that as well. That caption is glorious as well. So, it, you know, mm -hmm. Try and, try and get hold of more than one set so you've got more to mix and play with. Yeah, I mean, I'm just looking at the actual sentiment. It's, it's uh, Christmas... I don't know. Gre is it greetings? Yes. Christmas yes. greetings. Oh, OK. There we go. Best wishes for the new year. Well, I don't know if... The, I haven't got the best wishes for the new year. Oh, but that... Oh, is it just Merry Christmas? It's on a different set. Oh, sorry. I was looking. I was yeah. looking at the card. No, it just says <laughs> Merry Christmas. There we go. That that will work. Okay. I so, got greedy. I wanted to use that. You wanted it all. Yes. Well, we've got that with coming that up. With that caption. So yes. <laughs> just to, and you can have it all because we're going to bring it up. Just to correct mm. myself, so it says uh, Merry Christmas on that one. Okay. Let's have a look at our next offering. And there's lots to enjoy here. After, we were discussing um, Frog's Whiskers. How how it got its name. Yeah. We don't know how it got its name, no. but I love the name. It kind yeah, of, it's, it's, yeah. it's whimsy, it's sort of fantasy, it's taking you to a different land. Uh, yeah. Let's have a look here. This is another great offering. Oh, now, that's a lovely scene. You've got the trees, and it's just the whole feel of it, the way he's leaning into her. It's very nice. It's very romantic. Yeah, you like that. <laughs> I like it. I like it. What can I say? I'm an old romantic at heart. <laughs> and I will show you... The <laughs> Apparently, I'm, I'm, I'm at least half of that. I'm, I'm old. Uh, let's have a little look here. So you've got, I mean, that's very pretty. It's nice, that one, because it's a silhouette stamp. So yeah. Quick and easy to create. A nice create your effect. background. And I, that could be, for, winter wedding's perfect. I know we keep talking about winter weddings, but uh, for winter birthdays, for, for any card. I just got, it's got that, it's, there, winter can be quite a magical time yeah and it taps yeah. into that beautiful scene but then you're not only getting that you've also got this beautiful stamp so that this is where we say it's a mixture of red rubber and gray rubber so you've got that wonderful majestic horse and the sleigh so the classic sleigh you ever been on one of those Sue? no i don't think oh. i have well, it's no, still not in the snow anyway we got no. to maybe in manhattan one year and <laughs> yeah. we've got a tree that's so useful, that stamp. I love that stamp. And it's amazing how a small stamp can be very powerful. Very powerful, yes. And then we've also got a sentiment in the mix, too. There we go. That's Christmas cheer. At $16.99, your price, if you do want to get a hold of this, your item number is 920659. Another bundle. 
So what we're going to do, we've just got a, a couple more things to show you and then we're going to be heading uh, to our first demonstration. So this is another great sort of scene builder, Christmas magic, a lot going on here. You're actually getting one, two, three, four, five, uh, five stamps. But great size. So first thing that strikes me is the actual sentiment, really good sentiment. I mean, having a look there, so that's a good size sentiment in the mix. And that sentiment, I'm just going to look at the packaging. So that reads, may every Christmas minute have a bit of magic in it. Isn't that lovely? Well, I love that. Yeah, gorgeous font as well. And I like this, the different sizes. I yeah. love that one. You've also got another sentiment in there. Uh, that's just for you at Christmas. So just showing you that. That's just for you at Christmas. That's cute as well. I like that one too. Yeah. Then we have... Our little bench, that's, that's a nice one. Yeah. So you can create a lovely warm glow coming out of that lantern. It's great. I like what you're thinking, yeah. yeah. And then you've got yeah. your Christmas tree line, or your tree line, I should say. Feeling quite Christmassy at the moment, so it's very odd to say that in the middle of July, but it's nice to have a, a little period where you can get a bit festive. Yeah. And these stamps help you feel festive as yeah. well. And then finally, and that's another really nice scene. Oh, I love that scene. It's beautiful. Now, if I just show you... Ba -ba -ba -bum, this will give you an idea. So that's everything on there. You've got that bench. You've got the sentiments. Isn't that pretty? May every Christmas, uh, may every Christmas minute have a bit of magic in it. That's a great sample card. I like the fact yeah. that they've put that, the sentiment inside. And obviously you can use these stamps as the sentiments inside yeah. your card. And even because a lot of the stamps are small, you can add them to the bottom corner of your inside of your yeah. card as well. Why not? Well, I'd add a cheeky one envelope art. I talk about this a lot yeah. on the back of an envelope. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, twenty one ninety nine is your price there. One one five seven seven nine your item number. Now we've got some dies for you as well from Frog's Whiskers. So we've got some great dies. Uh, Christmas trees and our dears. Do you know what instantly what I like about these? Batch cutting. Okay, yes, yeah. yes. Definitely to start with, just run a few of them well, through the machine. I just think that you can, yeah, you can, you can cut multiples at the same time. Yeah, but they are different sizes and different, two different trees. But then I'd be, yeah, but I'd be building up that scene. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. All different, you know, white card, craft uh -huh. card, oh, yeah. black card, they're all in front of you then. You I feel I'm winning you over with the batch cutting here, Sue. You, yeah. you, weren't, you weren't sure <laughs> to begin with. Uh, so you've got the trees yeah. and then you've got the deers in there as well. Majestic reindeer. I was lucky enough to meet some reindeer in that land. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. There we go. They're very friendly animals if you've got carrots. Uh, so there we go. You've got your reindeers in there as well. <laughs> Twelve. That's, that's where the story's going. Twelve ninety nine is your price. 206 977, your item number there. And then we have the multi-frame. So multi-frame giving you the possibility to really set the scene and very useful die set. Oh, it is a very yeah. useful die set. Yeah, I got quite excited when I saw that. that oh, okay. one. So, I, just, I just thought, oh, I can use this this way, this way. But even the packaging, the way it's laid out, mm. you know, even just using those three windows together like that is just a terrific card. Wow. Now, see, I totally get your excitement with this. And you are getting an awful lot of dies for your money. And all I've been thinking, matting and layering. So instantly you can create good size for the stamps that we have on the show. So perfect. perfect. Yeah. Yes. And layer them up because it's something we hear so often here at the craft store. The, the, one of the aspects, if you're running out of mojo, if you're struggling, get some foam underneath. John was mentioning this yesterday, uh, John next door. Get some foam underneath, raise it up, and it has impact. Oh, definitely, yeah. yes. And if you use a few of those little square dies together, it mm -hmm. creates frames. Okay. And I've put two frames together on that sample card, create like a star. Well, now that's beautiful, and I, I would never have thought... Sue, that is a lovely scene, especially with the deer. What a beautiful card, but I would never have thought to use the squares like that. Yeah, why not? You're yeah. genius. That, yeah. that is a lovely, lovely, lovely card. Well, I find if you cut your elements out, because yeah. those... Those trees and reindeer, I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And, and if you have them with you, in front of yeah. you, you know, you can pick them up and try scale and try adding different things, adding different things mm. to create more impact from them, because they are tiny. Yeah, yeah. But they, you know, use them. It's not all about size with no, these. No, size yeah. doesn't always. Am I allowed? 
You can say yeah. size doesn't always matter. Of course, size doesn't always matter. Of course not. Uh, there we go. So, twenty-one ninety-nine is the price there. Five nine three eight nine four. Your item number. Maddie's not so sure. Uh, now uh, we have got queues on our phone lines, so we're just going to say if you are currently stuck in a queue, the fast way to order is to go onto our website or use the app. There's lots to discover on our website. Uh, if you've got any questions for the lovely Sue as well, I really like working with Sue. And can I say that card is a great illustration of how talented Sue is. And I really mean that. I think she's an exceptional crafter. So if you do have any questions, if you're uh, looking to pick Sue's brain, please get in touch. And that's the beauty of us being a live show. Just email studio at thecraftstore.com. Okay, so enough from me. We're going to start having a play. Uh, oh, and by the way, this is a really good opportunity to scroll at your leisure because I know we've seen a lot. So if you have just tuned in and you're like, oh, I just I want I missed the first few items, go onto our website, just type in the frog's whiskers, and you'll be able to see everything that we have on our website. Okay, Sue, how are we getting? On? Yeah, I just want to mention as well that when you get these. They do come with a paper backing. Okay. So you do need to take this off. So it clings? Yes. Okay. I think that keeps the clingy surface clingy and clean. Okay. I mean, I do... I suppose you can replace it afterwards, but... I binned mine. <laughs> this set, I have to work with this set, because these trio of houses is just oh, that's brilliant. Nice, yeah. I love it, yes. So let's work with that one. Okay. I'm going to bring my stamping platform in. I do like my stamping platform. Okay, nice. and I've just got some smooth white card. And this ink pad is terrific. I've been using this one, but I like this one. Actually, they do slightly different things. This one's more of a very permanent and slightly quick drying ink. Yeah. And this one is very juicy and slightly slower drying. Okay. But it's terrific. And it's, it stamps really well. I love it. And it's I think it's on the end, end of call item. Yeah, you can find that. That one. It's terrific. Wow, look at that. Can you see the detail in there? I just think that's wonderful. All the little brickwork on the chimney breasts. And I just think that's really lovely. Okay, I'm going to stamp, stamp it out twice because I'm going to use the squares. Let's get that out of the way. I'm going okay. to use the squares. And this is a beauty of having a stamping platform as well, because it does give you a bit more control. Yes, yes. And also, it's a nice flat surface. I've got yeah. a wooden wooden surface yeah. at home, and it's, it's never going to be dead yeah. flat, so I often use this surface as well. Well, now, that, see, that's already looking very that pretty. That's good as it is, doesn't it? it? And a there's village. a lot of <laughs> detail that you, you have to stamp it out to appreciate how much detail you have. I certainly do. I do love these matted layers. They're right. great. Let's get them all out. Okay. And it's nice that you've got a multiple of them as well. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to actually pick out these nice little cottages. Yeah. So I've done another one because these two are close together to get oh, okay. them. So I've done, I've done those like that. So I'm going to die nice. cut those out. And I've got them already die cut out. I've already done that. And I've already cut out yeah. there. And it focus you, focuses you in on them, doesn't it? And oh, I do like nice. the stitched edge as well that you get with these. Good size for ATCs. Yes. Mm. Oh, these stamps. Yeah. Great idea. Yeah. I'm going to so make some. There you go. You've got to yeah, do it. Yeah, great idea. So I've cut the largest one yeah. out of the same Lovely. smooth card. Would you say that's uh, is it a DL? Or is it, I th um, not technically, yes, it is, is it not it technically? It is uh, a four size. Yeah. So it is a DL, yeah, okay. yes. Yeah. Super, super slim, I suppose. Okay. I've just cut out a card blank. Brilliant. Uh, just talking about the dies, uh, I've got to just share it with you. 20% of the stock has gone for the dies. The amount of dies that you're getting, nested dies in one set, and I love the little uh, little stitch detail that you're getting in those as well. But look at all those dies. So layer, layer, layer here. You've got your outside layers coming through as well. We are talking about the actual, if you were to use the largest size, giving you that sort of a, a slim DL uh, card fill to it. Twenty one ninety nine. your price. We're approaching 20% of the stock. Oh, we are. Sorry, apologies. 20% of the stock has gone there. 
Okay, so the next size down is this one, mm -hmm. and I've cut that out of a nice green card that's just thrown on the floor. So let's add this to our card. Excellent. Our as well. So it's going to give you that white layer. Yeah, and, and there you get to actually really appreciate the stitch detail. So isn't that yes, pretty with yes. the green? I love that. So then the next size down, because you get three, mm -hmm. I've cut this, incorporated the three squares yeah. to get this framework. Ah, uh, okay. So I'm going to stick this on as well. I've got foam pads on the back of this to you know, raise it up. Sue, forget Christmas. I'd be putting uh, pictures in there. So yes! imagine just put your pictures. So look, it's got the feel of, like, if you've gone and got your picture taken. Yeah, almost like an old yeah. camera film. Film strip, yeah. Reel. Yes, that's the word. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's add these, yeah. and I want to add these um, with foam pads as well. Get my bigger foam pads. Okay, getting the big boys out. Yes. So we've got two at an angle, and I'll just put one on, and one straight facing. So I'm going to put the straight facing one in the middle. Mm -hmm. And let's have the one facing right at the bottom. That's it, and then this one at the top. Yeah, perfect to add little photos in for a personal card. It was interesting seeing your thought process, so having the two at the angle... Yes. Yeah, ...and then having the one straight in the middle. Yeah, because you kind of almost notice the middle first. Mm. I think it's all about... I love design, and it's all about where your eye travels yeah. as well. You I see, you're passionate about design, yeah. Yeah, and the bottom one, because it faces right, it leads you into opening the card, I That's, think. Do you know, it's a small little nuance you won't necessarily be aware of, but exactly. it's on a subconscious level, yes. you are picking up on that. Yeah, exactly. Like um, this little caption, I love this. So let's, let's stamp this one. Nice. And because they are so small, why not yeah. just tap it onto the ink? This is from Christmas Magic. So ah, I've just for you at Christmas. Out. Do you like Christmas, Sue? Are you a Christmassy yeah. person? Oh, I love Christmas. Yeah. I love Christmas. And I've just cut it out, and I'm actually going to snip into it to create a fishtail banner at the okay. end. Just adds a little bit of extra interest yeah. rather than leaving it. Nicely done. Uh, rectangular and I want to back that onto the same green card mm -hmm. keep the theme going I'd expect no less from you Sue. another little scrap piece with a little bit of a board around okay so cut that out to match and this is going to go on the top mm -hmm. just do it by eye that'll be yeah. good enough just come in a little bit with that and then puts that on with some foam pads. I mean, when you consider what Sue has achieved, this is something uh, something that all crafters, whatever your ability, will be able to take on. It's an inspiration, I think, that's very, very achievable. Yes, yeah. And I do like monochrome as well. Yeah. I do like a bit of monochrome, so that will just sit on there. Classy, like yourself, Sue. Oh, thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then we'll have the... Linking couple. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> courting, Our courting couple. couple. Here oh. they are. And we'll stamp them as well. It's nice. Let's grab. This should look okay on this desk. I'm of, the, I'm of this school where it's nice to hold the door open for someone. Oh. That's a, bit of, a bit of courting. Nothing Good wrong for with you. That, eh? Good for you. Right, I'm going to cut that out. When you cut something intricate like this, take it away from everything else yeah. so that you've got a smaller piece then that you can More manageable. Sort of, yes, exactly, yeah. yeah. So cut round that and you get okay. one of these. And then I've even cut the little gap in between because I yeah. just think detail... How did you do that? For anyone who's like wondering, because that would have been, would you use a craft knife? Yeah, a craft knife, yeah. So yeah. you just you can then just go in, in with it yeah. as well. Okay. Yeah. So Nicely put done. Put some foam pads on there, mm -hmm. and they are going to sit at the bottom. And I like the fact that put another one there that they are facing towards this house at the bottom as well, nice. so they can just sit on there as a sort of balance ah. that detail out. They're walking home yeah. after a very pleasant day day of courting. <laughs> 
I love it. I think Thank that is you. a really nice fit. What a lovely card. And there is um there is a sense of romance and I like when I say romance, with the collection I think this is indicative of Frog's Whiskers as a company. It's that nostalgia. They kind of take you back to a different era with a lot of their stamps. Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, I actually actually what? I forgot these little frames. Well, oh, okay. I've even cut the um, frames out of the green card as well. That you can put in there. I forgot to add those. Well, that's okay. We can add them now. Yeah, I'll add okay. them. You can add those. Yeah. Um, oh, I like it just <laughs> with the one in the middle works quite well. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not bad. <laughs> Very good. So, I love it. We're going to get back <laughs> to our you. next demonstration uh, in just a moment. A quick recap for you. Everything coming from Frog's Whiskers, an incredible Canadian company. We're very proud to be able to offer uh, it to you here. Things to point out. It's going to be dispatched on the 15th, and that's only the time it takes to get to us. But the good news is you're not having to worry about any import duties, any taxes. We've handled all of that. The minute it arrives to us, we'll get it out to you. Let's take a look here at our first offering. So, this is a beautiful set. This is your Searching the Sky, so a collection of grey rubber, and I will just hold up the inspiration so we can see it, because there's a lot of elements. You've got the trees, you've got Santa in there as well, the Christmas sentiment. Ne may you never... This is a really nice sentiment. May you never be gr too grown up to search the skies. Isn't that nice? Lovely Santa flying around, bit of magic going on in there, like the glitter. You've got the background stamps there as well that create that snow flurry, and then the beautiful tree line. Nineteen ninety-nine is your price there, 308849, your item number. Then we have our next beautiful stamp set. This is the Little Country Church. So, really good example, actually, the first couple. A lot of the uh, options we're going to be giving you, they're scene builders, and this is a, another indication of that. So seeing where you're going to take your central image, that beautiful, I think that's kind of the focal point, the little country church, and then building up around it. You've got the Victorian mother and daughter, another couple on the go there, and there's a, a sentiment too. We can just go up and be able to see that sentiment. It's, uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas. I'm going to show you a little, this is a beautiful card. Really nice card. I mean, can you imagine sending these out to friends and family? Isn't that nice? And I love the use of just a little bit of glitter. It does look, that does look shop bought. And whoever made this, their uh, absolute dab hand with the alcohol markers, because that is Beautifully done, beautifully done. 1999 your price there, 291494 your item number. Okay, now we've got the snowflake tree, which has been very busy. I'm not surprised. Look at the price, and I have to, on this occasion, I will show you the size of the stamp, because I know earlier on, Sue, you said size doesn't matter, but this is a whopper. <laughs> Look at that, that is a big stamp. It is, yeah. I love the fact that they've incorporated the, the ground in there, yeah. which you could easily mask off if you didn't want it. Yeah, you so get a sense of the detail, the depth of the etching. I mean, this is what we want from a grey rubber stamp or rubber stamp. Uh, all foam mounted as well. I would be definitely using a stamping platform with this. Uh, you've also got a little snow flurry in there as well, or snowflakes, I should say, and the sentiment. But come on, holiday greetings. Silver emboss, absolutely the way to go. 40% of the stock has gone here, so if you can imagine yourself using this beautiful tree, your item number is 766811 and it's 1599. Uh, another uh, wonderful scene is the Winter Village. This is one that we were just demonstrating a moment ago. And actually, Sue is a great example in our previous demonstration of using the dies, how you can just lift certain elements, so you can use the scene as a whole, or you can die cut and then uh, deconstruct and make your own abstract scenes from these. So we've got a wonderful sentiment, Christmas greetings and best wishes for you uh, uh, for the new year, I should say. You've also got the couple, so the courting couple, the linking couple. You've got Mike in there as well. Just random Mike, the little boy skating. And then if I just show you a little sample here, Oh, this is nicely done. Is this one of yours, Sue? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's really pretty. Yeah. Just gone with the sort of sepia look. Yeah, it is that nod to the past going through. Do you know, it looks like there, oh, it looked like they were carrying a little baby. I think it's a wreath. Oh, maybe. I think he might be carrying a wreath. 
Okay. It could be a baby. Could as be a baby. Well. I'm yeah, thinking as a, as a new dad, I can imagine carrying carrying little Archer. <laughs> Twenty four ninety nine is the price. Nine eight seven two two three item number. Spent a fortune on took months to research, bought a pram, cost an absolute arm and a leg. It cost more than my first car I bought as a oh, kid, right? Wow. It was expensive. <laughs> he doesn't want to be pushed in it. I, he, he wants to be carried. Oh. It's like, Archer, do you know how much I paid for this prep? And you want me to carry you around while pushing the prep? Oh. Uh, okay, let's have a look at this next <laughs> offering. So I'm not bitter. Uh, this is the Winter Stroll, and I know that you're a particular fan of this one, Sue. Yes, yeah, yeah I like this one. Yeah. So uh, within this section, I'm going to show, here we go, a little finished example. So, I mean, lovely overarching trees. It's a kind of road, if you lived near, you would absolutely be going for a little stroll. But when it's got that winter magic, snow's fallen everywhere, just looks a little bit more special. Uh, you do get the Merry Christmas and you get that wonderful couple in there too. But the beauty is mixing and matching because if you had another couple from a previous set, it's that sense of scale. And now that's really important to Frog's Whiskers because they've got such a big back catalogue, everything is designed to work and also it's future-proofing you because any designs they bring in the future will also sort of work well. Yeah, they want to encourage you to yeah. use, you know, your previous purchases, which is yeah. lovely. I, I love like that, that concept. Yeah. Uh, 14 is your price. For, you know, it's another one. I've just got to give you a quick flash of the uh, stamp. Good size grey rubber stamp. You're also getting a two smaller stamps as well. Oh, it's upside down. There we go. Uh, 48508, your item number. Okay, now... We've got the ice skating. You ever been ice skating, Sue? Uh, yes, yeah, quite a long time ago mm. in Oxford, yes. What? Oh, in, o in Oxford? Yeah. <laughs> You're very posh. Uh, yeah. Seeing here, we've got a wonderful <laughs> scene set. And this, it could be in Oxford. You can imagine a young couple. I, do you know one thing I just noticed, and it's, I find this a lot with Frog's Whiskers, you pick up little details, so there's another couple there. Is he proposing? Is he down on one knee? Possibly. I mean, it could be whatever. Falling over. <laughs> Falling over, proposing. I don't oh, know. But yeah. it's like you've got, you got another little couple there as well. So it's all those little details that you were getting. And I will just show you here. Uh, you're also getting the horse and sleigh, and it's better actually to pick it up on. Uh, I've got a finished card, so you can see the horse and the sleigh, and then the cup up here. Another beautiful example of where you can take these fabulous stamps. I mean, look at that. That is such a strong image and silhouette, I re and the trees as well. I really like that. I and love the way that's been layered up like yeah, that. It's, it's clever. Yeah, I was thinking exactly yeah. the same thing. But you could achieve that look with the dies we have. Obviously, it won't be a circle. It'll be the square. And then you've got that wonderful sleigh on there too. Beautiful horse. Sixteen ninety nine is your price. Nine two zero six five nine your item number. And then the last stamp. This is your Christmas magic. So coming through uh, Christmas magic, you are getting, and it lives up to now. There is a bit of magic here. Uh, a lot of stamps to play around with. And just having a little look. So we've got our little sentiment in the mix. I actually got a couple. because so we've got just for you at Christmas. We've also got, um, just getting there, every, may every Christmas minute have a bit of magic in it. That's nice. You've got the bench. You've got the row of trees, and actually here you can see this finished example. Borderful. There's the sentiment, there's the bench, the trees, everything coming together to create something very special indeed. 115779 item number. Right, we also have the dies for you, so just doing a flash details for the dies we had back to our next demonstration. Uh, here we have the trees and you get the uh, fabulous uh, deers in there as well. Wait a second, are we getting the trees and the deers for 12.99? Two sets, that's very good. Uh, 206, 977 your item number there. And then we've got the multi-frames for you too. Now, being really busy for the multi-frames. Half the stock of the multi-frames have gone, and I'm not surprised. Considering this is coming all the way from Canada, $21.99, and the amount of dies, 15 dies that you are getting, it's a beautiful collection. 593-894, your item number. This is the multi-die set, just to show you uh, in person. I mean, that is a really good set, and Sue's absolutely right to be excited by this set, because there are so many possibilities with this one there die is, set. Yeah, like, like you just holding it horizontally as well, yeah. you know, conjures up more ways of using it. Like yeah. It.
Brilliant. We're going to head back to Sue. What have you got for us next, Sue? Oh, I'm going to play with this one because this okay. is adorable. This bench and this cottage and the caption as well. Let's use all three. Let's get them out. Nice. I've got some uh, heavy duty watercolour card. Yeah. Okay, we'll I'm going do to a bit of colouring. To stamp with these. Nice. Yes. So I like seeing the smile on your face as you craft because yeah. you epitomise what crafting should be about. It should be fun. Yes, yeah, definitely. Okay, let's get this the right way around. Yeah. I'm going to use my ruler because the images aren't on the back. Okay. So some stamps do have this. Yeah. But I do need this upright level. So I'm just mm. going to use my ruler. Good little tip. Use the lines yeah. on my ruler. I like that. And I'm just going to place that. And now I can just eye up the, you know, to get that horizontally and yeah. then just unpick it. That is a really good tip, Sue. Thank you. I wouldn't have thought to have done that. That's it's clever. Just, it's just thinking of ways of getting round. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I'm going to put that up that end. Because... You ever, have you ever been to Canada? No. Yes. Yes, I have. Yeah. That's, that, that's where Niagara Falls is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, one side's in Canada, yeah. one side's in the UK, yeah. yeah. Very nice place. It's kind of the only reason I mention that is it's got. You can imagine discovering a lovely little little town in Canada, winter time, and it kind of takes you back to yesteryear. Yes, yeah. And then this one, I'm just going to drop about here. So I think they're in place, but I'm going to pick them up on the lid. And the beauty of having a clear lid as well. I want to make sure that caption is centralised mm -hmm. within my image yeah. and I'm actually going to use the lines on my yeah. cutting mat here. So that will be kind of maybe the edge of my card. And the caption is a bit over to the left yeah. there, so I'm just going to pick it up and just move it. And the reason Sue, just for anyone wondering why Sue yeah. was using the ruler to keep it straight, is because on the back of the stamps you haven't got the image printed. So it was just a, a way, if you ever encounter stamps, and some ru uh, rubber stamps they put the image on the back, some don't. Uh, on this occasion with frog's whiskers they don't. So if you ever encounter that, it's a good way to keep everything level, just having a ruler. It's a really nice yeah. Yeah, just a little tip, yes. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're stamping directly onto a card as well, yeah. and you with the caption, and you need to get that square yeah. on the edge of your card. So I'm actually using the archival ink this time okay. because I want that fast drying action, which you'll see why in a minute. Yeah. And of course, because it is watercolour card as well, I need to do it a couple of times. Yeah. Just to get a good enough image. Of course, that we're not stamping C, card. That C. And this is where it. a platform is so useful. Yes, yes. It certainly is. Okay, so everything's there. I'm just going to get a spare piece of paper and just clean up the stamps. Just take that remainder of that ink off. Mm -hmm. And I want to show this some colour in a, in a quick way. So I've got three mini ink pads here of the Distress inks and I'm just going to use them just to directly colour these stamps. Okay. So I'm going to put blue on the caption and maybe a little bit here and there on the seam. I've got green, I might add a little bit of green as well. Mm -hmm. Colour those fir trees, dab those with the green and a bit of the foreground nice. and maybe the bench as well. Okay and that lantern and then of course I've got brown for the deciduous trees mm -hmm. just put some on there I'm going to spray my card now and this is why I've got a nice thick watercolour card so I'm going to spray mist that with plenty of water let's use these plenty of water and then load that on that's it bash it down a couple of times just to ooze that ink out yeah. That's it. Oh, and come on. That. Instant colour all over. Isn't Sue, that, that looks so good. And then you can add a bit more misting if you want it to bleed a bit more. And what I, what I get really excited about this is look, look at the way this colour bleeds out. And it almost looks windy now. Well, do you know what? You've got the illusion of just a beautiful sky, a dramatic sky behind. And all we've done is used our inks. That is yeah. such a clever technique. And if you want a little bit more brilliant, around brilliant. the caption, then go for a little bit more. That's it. And just missed it a bit more. 
I love Isn't that. that lovely? Really sort of whimsical technique, and I love the way you get surprised by just how the ink moves around. Yeah. So and I've really cut that out. Yeah. I've cut that out in one I've done before. Okay. And this is how that I now know that my caption's central. Yeah. And look at this. This is like moved up in curved, like it's it does, cloudy. Well, you know how you're saying that sense of movement and wind driving through. It it brings life to it. Yeah, it gives it energy. Yeah. I do get excited about accidents like this with inks and yeah. paints. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of twine to this because I okay. think I like that rustic feel. So I'm just going to add a little bit of a little bow. Nice. Yeah, I think with this kind of seam, a little bit of a rustic twine feel to it would work very well. Yes, yes. So I'll get a, um, my glue stick. I do like a glue, glue stick yeah. to glue down bits of yarn on the back, so I'm just making two little areas there. Okay. I want the bow to sit at the top there, so just fold it over. Nice. And then the glue stick holds. And the good thing about the glue stick is it dries. It dries on the back so that when you mount it, it doesn't go everywhere sort of thing. And then I add some more glue stick just to secure that down. Okay. And then I want to add foam pads to this, so I've got some. Nice. I've got some quick strips here to use up. So I do like to, I do like dimension, and I like to raise things up. Yeah. So put a bit in there, and a little bit in the middle, mm -hmm. and then I've been a bit extravagant. Yeah, and so I've oh. used the same watercolor card Ooh. to create a card base. So if you I can't like be exaggerant uh, on uh, live TV, have I said the word wrong? <laughs> if you can't go to town on TV, when can you go to town? <laughs> so I've used the same watercolour card for my card blank because I, uh -huh. I like the consistency of it. Yeah, that's nice. And then another good trick with a glue stick is that I love to go in with my craft knife and just grab a little bit of glue yeah. just to tuck it under that bow and hold it shut. And there you have it, quite a quick a colour technique. beautiful card <laughs> that's worthy of being a bit extravagant. Uh, <laughs> nicely done, Sue. Very, very nicely done. That is such a good card. OK, what I'm going to do, just give you a quick recap of our seven-day savers, and then we're going to head back to Sue for our final inspiration. Uh, we have got some watercolour card stock, so if you want to recreate that exact uh, inspiration that Sue so kindly shared with you, this is how you could do it. Uh, have a look at all our seven-day savers. Oh, the prices are just ridiculously good. We've got four days left on our seven-day savers. So the watercolour card stock from Pink Frog, so you know it's the good stuff. A hundred sheets for twelve forty-nine. Why wouldn't you stock up? Uh, you can also spread the cost. Time is running out on our uh, festive flex extravaganza. So as it stands now, that twelve forty-nine, you can split the price. The nine ninety-nine for the red liner tape, the double-sided uh, bundle, you can split the price for your acrylic paints. Stop. Think the saving if I'd be getting those acrylic paints onto my jelly plates. Yes, please, can I have some more? You can split the price, but only part of our Flex Travaganza event, and that is running out. Does it finish at six o'clock today? Oh no. I've got this t shirt for the whole evening. <laughs> that's a, that is, that's a little bit awkward. So for me, it's going to be Christmas until I finish my shift at 10. Uh, so, <laughs> Oh, oh I, I think I've got a shirt somewhere. Uh, okay, so there we go. That's that's part of our event. Let's head back to Sue. Yeah, let's quickly squeeze in another one. I've, I've delved into my uh, craft stash, uh -huh. and I've got some like handmade paper. And I'm going to go a bit rustic this time. So I've got some of the handmade paper. Yeah. And if I grab, oh, I've lost the stamp set. I want to use this big one with the lovely trees. And I just want to make that sentiment there a focal point. Yeah. So let's dig that out. Here it is. Nice. So I'm going to stamp that onto this lovely, any sort of brownish sort of paper. And I'm going to stamp it with the, the oxide, because you can stamp with yeah. the oxide. It comes uh -huh. out quite well. Yeah. The walnut stain. Oh, I like, like a bit of walnut stain. Yeah, nice dark brown. And mm. if it doesn't stamp out quite well. That looks so good. It doesn't matter even. Say, Sue, that looks really nice on that, that cardstock. 
this paper with the uh, walnut stain. I love that. Yeah, it's nice and sort of rustic, isn't it? And mm. Sort of vintagey. It looks expensive. Yeah. I'm just going to rip that out. Yeah. Some nice tearing. Nice tearing. And then I've got, if I move this out of the way, mm -hmm. I've got some brown card as well, or brown paper. Yeah. And I want to rip a second layer onto this. Okay. Um, the ink might be a little bit wet still. So a t what I like to do, an easy way to rip an added layer, is to just stick it down. And then you've got a guide then when where to rip. Oh, that's a good idea. Grab hold of this firmly and then just tear towards mm -hmm. you. You've got a good technique there. You'd be great with coupons. Oh, I love rip paper. I do it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you get better at it. You know, yeah. you can... You get a feel for it and manage to follow yeah. where you are with it. Like that. Okay. And then actually I don't need that. I need my craft sheet. And because I've used a glue stick, I can actually unglue it as mm. well. Because I just want to add a bit of oh, um, yeah. brown to the edges. Uh -huh. Quickly do that. Yeah, that's nice. I want to go a bit heavier. I quite like old looking things mm. and vintage style. Okay. You can really go to town on the vintage style, I think, with yeah. these collection of rosewood stamps. And then I just want to add a few specks of water. Uh -huh. Let that seep in. Get rid of the paper. And have I got a bit of tissue? Do you need tissue? A bit of tissue. I haven't got a bit of tissue. Yeah, this is unused. Oh, thank you. Okay. Oh, perfect. It's, Couple it's of seconds. Genuinely, it's unused. And then you can dab that off and you get the little yeah. added sort of detail of the white specks. Okay. That's still tacky, that glue, so it's going back on. Mm -hmm. And then I've got an A5 cream card blank that I'm going to use here. And yeah. I want to make this look old as well because this is going to sit... It fits, yeah. Oh, that looks fits. so good, Sue. But I need to make this rustic as okay, well. Okay, how are we going to do that? Another nice tip is I'm going to scratch oh. some lines, just random lines. Bit of scraffito. It's actually a thing. You heard of scraffito? No, what's this? You need to you need to research scraffito. It is an actual art. Uh, it looks really really cool. This isn't technically scraffito, but oh, yeah, that sounds like an Italian dish or something. Well, it is Italian. Have oh, a look. Ah. Yeah, have a look. <laughs> scraffito. I'm gonna have to Google that then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now when I show the ink to this, it sort of shows up. Oh, that's up. nice. Just a quick bit like of that. aging. So it just means uh, it's graffito, it's Italian for scratch. Oh, is it? Yeah. And what do you scratch? It's artwork. I think what it, I'm pulling from my memory bank here, but you lay down a colour and then you scratch. And so let's say you had a hot pink underneath, say, a black base, and you scratch, and then those scratch marks come out uh, oh, and a bit more prominent. Okay. Don't hold me to that. Do you, something like that. Oh, I think I might have done something like that as a yeah. child. Nice. Okay, and I'll do the water technique on That's this. That's a as great well. way to age paper. I've yeah. never done that before. Oh, this is really quick, but you you know, you could. So I've been presenting here for nearly five years and I've never seen that technique. You are very oh. good. <laughs> it's just mark making, really. Yeah. And using what you've got. A bit of faux bleaching now. Yeah. So let's stick this on. And and I think just just go for a blob of glue in the middle. To get that level That's rather nice. than sticking everything down so you get the edges lift up as yeah. well and actually i think we might let's oh, that like down. That. we might actually you've got a it minute to left, make it yeah. look like paper yeah oh a minute i've die cut some little reindeers okay so i'm just we, going to fix yeah. those on they get fixed on at the top because i so like don't worry about gluing them down just get them on. a little scene at the top Oh, that's nice to have them there, yeah. Big tree and the little tree, just give them a bit of shading at the top. Do you know, by having the white cardstock, but then creating the surround, it gives the illusion of light coming from behind? Yes, yes. Oh, I want the bigger one, the smaller one. The reindeer? 
I tell you what we'll do, because time's beaten us, Sue. Shall we have a look at your finished yeah, example? Yeah, that goes sorry. on there. Sorry. Oh, there we go. That's nice. We'll and have then, a look at the finished yeah, one. I'm sorry we've got a little bit rushed. And I've just put a gold around the edge and mm -hmm. a few drops coming away from the sleigh. That's lovely. Thank you. So you are an absolute star. I really mean Thank that. You. And I've, every time I work with you, I feel I learn something. I think oh, you're very talented. Good. Can we follow you on social media? Certainly can. Yeah. How yeah. Do you do Sue that? Smith Creative Design. Okay. Yeah. Please give Sue mm -hmm. a follow. Also look out for Frog's Whiskers as well. Definitely give them a follow uh, and share with Sue and Frog's Whiskers anything that you make. Sue, thank you so much. Thank really you. enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. When are you back? Are you... I don't know, actually. Hopefully yeah. very soon. Hope so. Yeah, I hope so. Mm -hmm. I've, I really do enjoy working with you. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. This is what the craft store is all about. We want to bring you fantastic brands from across the globe and we also want to bring you some fantastic demonstrators. So don't go anywhere. We've got another great hour coming up. It's going to be Final Call One Day Special. So coming up, John is here with our craft artist card, uh, Christmas card collection. Do not miss that. Uh, then we've got Best of Christmas and then we're launching our brand new One Day Special. We're talking Indigo Blue. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Are you struggling for ideas or need a little extra creative inspiration as you start your crafty preparations for Christmas 2021? From Thursday the 1st of July at 6pm to Tuesday the 6th of July at 6pm, we'll be bringing you the Craft Store's festive Flextravaganza event. Tune in and be inspired by a fantastic selection of your favourite crafty experts who are guaranteed to get you in the crafty Christmas spirit. Also, as an early Christmas treat from us to you, if you add at least £5 worth of any items to your shopping basket during the event, either online or on the phone, you will qualify for our festive Flextravaganza Flexi Basket offer. This means you can spread the cost of your entire order over two equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you a more cost-effective way of shopping with us. Flexi payments for everyone. So get ready for Christmas 2021 by tuning in to our festive Flextravaganza event from the 1st of July at 6pm. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Festiv Flextravaganza is only well, it's two hours left, and then that's it. It's closing for uh, another period. Uh, we got a one-day special, and this is going to be the final call, so the last live hour of the one-day special, but there is breaking news. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Before I tell you this breaking news, can I introduce you to the man of the moment, our very own John Lockwood. Hello. Hello. How are you doing, buddy? I'm good. How are How's you? It? I'm loving the T-shirt. What does it say on the other side of the, of the sequins? A, well, it's a, that's party animal, party pooper. Ah, very uh, good. So I'm going to stick with the party animal. I think you should stick with the party animal, yes, definitely. Yes, there we go. Except for TV. Uh, now, the breaking news. This was immensely busy at launch, and we were talking about the fact that we lost 50% of the stock in the first hour. Yep. Well, now we've lost all the stock. I'm afraid the one-day special has technically, well, not technically sold out. It has sold out. That's it. It's gone. 
What are we going to do, John? Well, I'm, I made okay. a I made a phone call actually at twelve o'clock. Yes. Um, to Uncle Peter, thank you, Uncle Peter, and he has given us a small amount of more stock. You are a hero, John. But what it actually means is that the craft store have had yeah. nearly three quarters of the year's stock of this. What? Yes. Because I didn't realise last night they were adding on reserve stock and all sorts. Because so we you have... at the launch show and we said uh, at launch, and look, we, can't, we can never lie about this, but you were saying that with the stock levels for a card show, uh, a show where we're just card stock, yeah. it's the most stock you'd ever, ever. put onto any show. Yes. Oh my goodness, you weren't lying, were no, you? No, we have now we've gone... Taken three we've quarters taken three of the quarters year. of the entire year's stock. And once that year's stock has gone... I cannot see us getting it, if it all goes, yeah. I cannot see it coming, it, but there's no way I can see us getting it back before Christmas. Last time okay. the silver and gold took us a year to get back. It's a year since we last had that on you air. You have been warned. We're going to get into why it's so special. I do need to point out, because it's on extended delivery, it'll be on the 12th of July uh, when we're, well, that's right. 12th of July? 4th of July. 12th of July. 12th, yeah, sorry. Don't know where I got it's not extended from. from two days ago. No. <laughs> it's 12th of July, so you're only, wait, you're only waiting a few more it's days. It's just to give them yeah. time to pack. Okay. Obviously, there are an awful lot of orders yeah. they need to pack, so it's to give them time That's to good. pack on that one. If they can do it earlier, they will. Now, uh, it's already flying. Where's the sw Who did 12 o'clock? Hayley, but it's her birthday, so you've got to be nice. Well, where did she put the little... Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, it was me. <laughs> um, okay, now I just want to show you, this is why we've been so immensely busy. So, anyone who's not seen the waterfall cardstock before, tell us a little bit about it. This was a pattern that we found um, in a bunch of about 200, 150, 200 samples yeah. of foil that were sent to us two and a half years ago. Right. Sam and I put them, laid them all out in our living room carpet and were picking them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're picking all of them. And it was, it was shown in there in silver, so we got in touch with the manufacturer and said, love this, any other colours. They said, we can do it in gold, that's it. So that's so where we it all brought began, yeah. silver and gold last year. Stunning. When it launched, it flew, oh. and everybody said, yeah. could we have new colours? Did you just hear what I heard? I did, yes. That's what stopped me from talking. <laughs> We're three minutes into the show, and 10% of the extended delivery has gone. We've literally just activated it. Sorry, John, but that's yeah, ridiculous. It is. That is crazy. So we, we chose our own colours, we picked them, and yeah. I picked them until we got traditional, and we got the colours that I really think are going to be very, very hot for this Christmas. Oh, um, and basically ordered an awful lot of it, Yeah. Um, and it sort of trundled its way way in um, but it is completely different because you're looking at what it looks like it's constantly winking at you yeah is the way I it's look at it. It's very flirty card stock. It is very flirty card stock. I like mm -hmm. that um, but it looks like it's covered and coated in glitter in different layers. Absolutely. But it feels glitter. like silk. You can die cut this, you can stamp on this, yeah. you can cut it with your Cricut machine with your silhouette, you can cut it with a knife and get paper cuts effects on it. You can stencil onto this. Yeah. Kay from Indigo Blue, who's got one day special at six. Right. She's got some fantastic new sprays. Yeah. She's already been. She said, what are you doing? I said, glitter card. She said, well, let's have a look. I showed her she went mad. Yeah. So she's already catched a sheet of every colour off me and been through my scrap bag. Wow. Which I don't know where she that's gone now. And nabbed every bit of silver I've got left because she's <laughs> intending to spray on it. Okay. And stick around and for launch. when you've when got another... Someone that you that. admire in the craft industry like yeah. Kay, and they come in and say to you, I absolutely love this, this is amazing, yeah. then it, 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 make, it fills you with confidence. Of course it does. And when she starts trying to nick it off me, then Just she's like, is this the only silver you've got? <laughs> Kay, I've got no more. I'm glad you've taken it all. <laughs> You've got the lot. I love this blue. And can I just yeah. say, for if you want to create the illusion of an ocean, because this is what makes the waterfall cardstock so special is that printed design, and it's foil-based. There's no glitter on there. That is unique to Crafts 2. You will not be able to find that pattern anywhere else. That blue is just sumptuous. So for, sea, for uh, scenes, sort of seascapes, but then this for a midnight moody sky, and if you wanted to put the ocean in there, uh, we got to talk. We're five minutes into the show. We're approaching a quarter of the stock. This is card stock where, and I didn't know this actually, um, because I was doing, I had two shows back to back effectively, um, so I did a production meeting but not with John. So I wasn't aware of the fact that we had taken as a company, the craft store, 
Or is it three quarters? I think it's nearly three, three quarters, quarters of, of the, the year's I mean, this supply. Is, you know, of, of what we've brought in. So this is what you have for yeah. the year. And it, the extent of it, and the only reason I'm saying that is last time we brought you the gold and silver and they sold out within a blink of an eye, we, it took a year to get those, well not a year, but it took a long time to get those back in yeah. stock. I mean, I'm hoping that we've got some kept on one side, not on additional to that, yeah. but from that from that totality, yeah. because I do want to bring it back for my Christmas diary la launch in mm. sort of three, four weeks' Listen. time, because it's designed to match with it. So, um, you know, we may see it back on that, but yeah. it will all be out of that original, and in this... You've it's had just, already nearly three quarters of the whole lot that we've got. Just, we're up to, and I don't, I don't want this to be an hour where I'm just giving you updates, but you need to know, 30, but we're approaching 30% of the stock now of the extended delivery. It is disappearing rapidly. Let me just show you something that I think makes it so special. So here, this has been stenciled on with ink. Tell us how this has been done. Yeah, so this is literally just using... Craft Artist Pigment Ink, a stencil and a stencil brush. So one of our brushes straight through onto it. So this is not stays on. This is not anything special or spectacular. This is just standard ink through a stencil onto the card. And it's already sealed. It's not had to... That, if yeah. you rub over that, that's not been sealed. I've not hairsprayed it or anything. Yeah. That's literally just been left to dry and that's done. Yeah. Because it feels like silk and it is. It's so smooth. That's amazing. You can, you know, there's no, there's almost like it looks like there's so much texture, but there's literally, that looks like lots of texture. There's literally right. no texture whatsoever. It's all whatsoever. that printed design. And there is no glitter to come off. When we say it's non-shed non glitter, there's no glitter to come off. You were telling us a really good story with Sam, because you bought yeah. some non, well, I bought some non-shed glitter card yeah. for his, um, for him to use in his cricket machine. So I bought this non-shed glitter card for him to use in his cricket machine, and it said on it, non-shed designed for electronic cutting machines. I opened the bag because I'm nosy and I want to know what it's like, and the first thing I got was hands full of glitter. Yeah. Literally. I gave it to Sam and he tried it and he said, this is not non-shared, he said, and this is not for electronic cutting machines. He didn't want to put it in his machine, he's no. got a cricket machine. No, he didn't. He had to, yeah. because what happened was, it did, yeah. I've lost my blade now, so That's I can't right. actually Just, show you. Well, I'll let you get the blade cool. while I tell everyone, we're now over 40% of the stock for the extended delivery. Uh, while we're doing that, actually, I'm just going <laughs> to try, try and divert attention. We have got a happy hour for you as well. Now, what John's been doing every hour of the one-day special is bringing a different happy hour, and this hour is no exception. So what you're getting are these two die sets, 15 dies in total. Uh, you've got the Woodford, which is such a good one. Uh, and then you've got the polar bear scene. And I've got to show you a few examples of the polar bear scene. Come on, look at that. We are approaching 20% of the stock for our happy hour. I, lo I love that. That is such a nice scene. But we can go from there to something like this. But do you see all the elements, those scene builders that you're able to generate? Or what about in black? Isn't that nice? Or how about this? Really nice. Ten ninety nine is your price for the happy hour. You're getting both sets here, so you're going to get both of those fifteen dies. So effectively, five pounds fifty per set is just ridiculous. Three two eight eight nine four your item number. Uh, we are now approaching three, well, a quarter of the stock there. Uh, okay, John, how are you finding right, life? So yeah, I have. What I wanted to show you is this is the thing about it cutting an electronic die cutting machine. The thing that Sam found when he was cutting it, basically. Basically, it's hitting glitter, yeah. so it was juddering. The blade was yeah. juddering. This has no glitter, so going across the grain watch, Beautiful there's color. nothing. And even well, I'll show you in my. I want to show you my guillotine because yeah. something else you struggle to do with glitter cards. Yeah. It will. People go. Oh, if you want to, if you want to sharpen your um, guillotine, you use sandpaper. Mm. Really don't. It won't work. Yeah. Um, foil's best, but if you watch, that cuts perfectly. There's no gritty sound, there's yeah, no yeah. juddering, but I can Very even sweet. go ultra fine. And you see there. Oh, yeah. And that cuts like an absolute dream. That, now that wouldn't happen with glitter card. 
yeah. could never get anything that fine. Yeah. That's why I was so genuinely impressed with it. You know, something else that impressed me is when you use sort of your intricate dies, but it still works. Sometimes, especially with a glitter cardstock, you're using intricate dies, and it can be, uh, it can be a real chore. But this just cuts beautifully. It really, really does. It works so simply. So if I just take, I'm going to make all the cards on the front. Mm -hmm. So I did a card, eight, exactly the same, one in each different colour yeah. on the front, and I've done them all in white on red, yeah. or white on the colour. But I wanted to show you, that was mainly to show the colour, because I feel it looks better. Mm -hmm. But a die as intricate as this, this is actually my, um, from the Calling Angels set, this is my favourite frame. Yeah. I love this, it's actually on my favourite Christmas card that you were show oh, kept yeah. showing earlier. But I'm going to cut this in the middle, but just to show you, this is so delicate, but this will cut all of this intricate detail and all I need to do is nothing special mm -hmm. so I'm going to go this way yeah which will cut all these sides perfectly these will probably jump yeah. so all I need to do is rotate it but I don't even need to shim it and your, your first instinct as a die cutter when you have any speciality card and an intricate die is I'm going to need to shim that yeah I'm going to need the extra pressure yeah but the card is only 250 and it's something, I, I say this a lot, and I, I think people must get sick of me saying it, but I have to know why, mm. is the card is what we, is foiled onto what we call virgin card. Mm. So it's pure white new card. Yeah. And the difference is sometimes you'll see mirror card and it's on a sort of grey. Mm -hmm. That's recycled. Brilliant. Brilliant for the planet, but it goes fibrous. That's a great card. And it sheds, and it doesn't cut very well. So you can see there, hopefully, all those side pieces are cut, mm -hmm. yeah, but the two sides have missed slightly. So all I need to do is rotate it around, and that's just how die cutting is, because yeah. it hits that sleeping policeman. So if I run that one through, so this is one I've done, which I'm going to carry on the demo within a bit. Oh, that's so nice. this is what happens when I put a white over the waterfall, and to me, that has more impact. Yeah, you know, I'm looking at the, and what I love about it is something that makes the waterfall cardstock unique is the pattern. So that, to me, could be a sunset, and we were discussing this last night, the blue for the ocean, yep. you've got the purple, could be a night sky. Just that pattern, I think, really does make it unique. It does, and remember, you can ink over this. Mm. So you can use your, your ink techniques. So now I've gone through there, mm -hmm. yeah, all cut. So I'm just pulling this one out and ease it out, because obviously it's going to be pushed in there, but just to show you, yep. even on this intricate die, you can see here, I have to ease each piece out yeah. carefully, uh -huh. because of the foil, but can you hopefully starting to see there how we're getting each piece is cut. Yeah. So I'm easing each bit out, I'm taking my time. It's one of those that it's worth it. So you may think, oh well it comes out, no it's not cut. Check the back, mm -hmm. you'll see it's cut. It just has to be eased out. You see how delicately even these little bits in the middle are all cut out. But I think a lot of us would just avoid a, a glitter cardstock with a detailed die like that. So the fact that we're able to cut it uh, okay, we have to f ease a few bits out, but I would definitely take that. Yeah. For the so, finished effect. If I just take this, finish this corner, and I'm not going to do all of it because mm -hmm. watching me weed out a die is not the most exciting television. Although I think watching me anyway is not very exciting. Do a bit more, just while I show cool. everybody. This is the die set that uh, we're currently featuring. So we've actually lost what we had uh, several die sets. We lost Sam Circles, and once the die set goes, that's it. This one is one of John's favourites. So we're just going to bring up the details. It's your Calling Angels. I will show you, I've got some boards just to show you everything that you were getting. So here, there's the frame that John was just demonstrating so beautifully. So you've got that wonderful frame, but look at all the elements, the difference. Uh, oh, actually, let me turn it around that way, sorry. So you've got the banner in there, so you're going to get a banner in the set. You've got your snowflakes coming through, beautiful frames. But then we have our angels. I mean, look at that. Isn't that stunning? And you can imagine the pat banner in between them. So you've got your detail, and then you've got your matte layer as well. So uh, a lot of you are going for this. Fifteen ninety nine is your price. Seven two nine three six zero your item number. When it comes to the one day special, 
two thirds of the stock has gone of the extended delivery and we're only 15 minutes into the show. So you can do your own maths on that one. We launched, we literally activated it as we introduced the show and now we're at two thirds of the stock. Will it last the full hour? Pfft, no way, no way. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, yeah. I don't know what, um, well, we've got the foam and I haven't been able to get to the glitter foam. So okay. we will hope might be able to show that, which is good. So I'm not going to take it all out, but can you see there, that's not actually taken more than about two or three minutes. It just feels so long when you're on TV. But can you see there now how intricate oh, wow. that is? That's nice. But I'm going to be honest, to yeah. me, I like that, but I think that's too large an expanse. Yeah. I actually prefer when we do this oh, I and we do the it. white on top. And what I'm going to do is use one of the other dies from the set okay. and I'm going to take the centre back out. And this is why it's so important that your dies have, and all of mine do have, separate outside and inside lines. Yeah. Okay. Because then you can cut in and cut out. That's you true. can take it's the centre like a true out. Crafter, though, John. But you want the most value out yeah, of it. Yeah. You, can, you want the most versatility out mm -hmm. of it. Now we have got uh, queues on our phone lines. We've actually got six minute queues on our phone lines currently. So I really do apologise for that. I hate being stuck in a queue on the phone line. Uh, if you do want to jump the queue, you can always go to our website, thecraftstore.com, or you can download the Craft Store app as well. It's got all the same features you would find on the website. I have to say, I use the web, uh, the app, sorry, all the time now. It's my go-to, and I, you can watch Rewind on the app as well, so you can do everything on your app. So what I'm going to do now is, I don't believe in waste, but suddenly to me now, that frame, sings yeah that just like that that's really nice really does completely if i hold yeah, that one up you're able to see if i do it the awkward way just to make it more difficult for poor holly mm -hmm. but you can see it's nice i'm not ha i'm hardly having to move that to get that to wink at you to get that yeah. to flirt with you now what were you saying because you have a, a rule you don't build up a stash you die you say die cut don't don't it? gut die cut that's it yeah so what i've used here is a piece except that all i've used there is a strip that big mm. and instead of gutting out the middle of the card i mm. die cut out that piece yeah and now i'm going to use that piece yeah so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the angels from this so i've oh, done the nice. frame from the first yeah, one lovely but i love the angels these were I, i'll be fair these were a vanity yeah. It's very rare I do a vanity die, and it's one that I absolutely love, and it's something that I want, and I've always wanted two facing angels. Uh, so again, I'm going to cut them out, but you see, I made I mean, sure that they fit from the waist, yeah. the waist in the middle. You but can again, imagine those with the gold or the silver yeah. as well would look well, incredible. If you look how I've positioned them, yeah. okay, equal and equidistant, uh -huh. because I'm not wasting this precious yeah. card, because I will get those two angels, but then I will get a background for another card, and I'm going to show you how we're going to make two out of that. Nice. We're now up to 70% of the stock with the extended delivery on the one day special. There is a very real possibility that we might lose the one day special before we get halfway through this show. So I'm going to keep on telling you because I just don't want anybody to miss out. That's all. So there's my two angels coming out, mm -hmm. or my two angel backers. So I've got that, but I've also got this piece. Oh, that's yeah. Nice. So, I'm going to put this to one side for a minute. I'm going to grab another piece. I'm using the Crafts 2 white linen card, just because that little bit of texture really, it lifts. I don't know if you can see it on air, but on the card samples at the front, it really lifts it using yeah. that texture as well with the texture. And it, mm. it, it just, I just think sometimes white card can look cheap. Mm. It looks a little bit flat or a little bit shiny. Mm. So this time I'm going to use the two inserts for the angels. And I'm going to use the outlines as well, and that's why they're always separate. So I can go pick that one up, long piece of tape, hover over the inner, pick that up, tape it down, repeat on the second one, do the same thing again. Okay, and again, I'm still going to position these, even though this is scrap card, because I might be able to, might want to use this piece again. Mm. But I'm going to run them down the side of the machine. Okay. Because that's where I'm going to get the most time. Yeah. And I'm going to have the least number of cuts in the most amount of time. Mm. That way it's going to go in three seconds, it's got to cut all of that. Yeah. In that, in 10 seconds, 
to cut all of that. Mm. So you'll get a better cut. Okay. Yeah. So we run those through. And while that's going, I'm just going to take this piece from the middle. So this is start my second card, really, into the spray box. Yeah. And I'm going to put this onto another piece of the linen card. And then I'm just going to take those out. Come on. There we go. Okay. I'm going to chop this down with scissors to match. I could have used the die, but there's, it's simple cuts. So this is using the waste. It's getting the most out of the card, yeah. um, which helps because if it does go and I can't do any more, then I've got to make the most out of what I've got because I haven't put my order in yet. Okay. So, there we go. Nice. So, then I get these... So here's my angel. Mm -hmm. We'll probably only use one, but there's my angel. A little bit of quick spray. I did have a spray box, but obviously I've just lost that somewhere random. Mm. But then, again, look at the white on the red. Oh, no, that is lovely. And the detail that we get. If I hold it in a pump, there we go. John, that is so good. It looks like her dress has got movement. Yeah. Yeah. But we've got this bit left, haven't we? Mm. So what I can do with this is take the inner bit. Yeah. So this is how we can almost do her in three colours. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take that one out. And now, just give that a brush. That, I'm going to fit into that gap. Yeah. And take down. Nice. And the opposing one. I'm going to take into that, guys. So I just wanted to show you, when you're cutting these for your first card, think about how you can use this waterfall yeah. for your next one. So again, we'll run that through and I'll finish the last one off while I'm doing it. So there we go. Here's my other one. Give him the flick. Mm -hmm. Poor Emily's already swept this floor twice today. Sorry. She's mastered it. She has. She's done very well. It's how you move up to be a big style producer like our um, Kirsty. Yeah. <laughs> I really forgot her name then. So, there we go. So that one will go on there. So now, for this one, I have my backer. Yeah. Because I'm not wasting any more of the waterfall. I can put my frame on. I would foam mount it. I've then got my two no, calling angels. John, yeah. that is a beautiful card. Okay. And then I would, would you know, then Did I would bring in. No, I would actually personally bring in mm -hmm. a, the poinsettia set. Mm. So I've cut the same. So I would start to build poinsettia flowers around in the leaves, which is what I would do if we've got time. Yeah. But I want to show you with the other one. So this is the waste from the middle, here. Right. So I take these out. So now, I could actually put into here, um, I could put acetate on the back and make these into shaker cards. But what all I'm yeah, going to do nice. is, yeah. so we've gone red, white. What, what other colour? What's the next colour of, of waterfall should we go for, Yanis? So, I, what about getting, I'm just thinking a bit of gold behind there. Yeah. I thought you might say that yeah. one. It's traditional. Yeah. So, again. Yeah. Yes, John. But what you could actually do, if you really want to save it, is die cut those outlines out to just from behind, it. Yeah. To stick them behind. Uh -huh. But then, if I'm just going to do this as well, a little bit of foam tape, just, so not much more, right. so not in the right place where I do it, just to give a little bit of difference. And adding foam tape, I'm a big fan of putting foam tape on cards, yeah. um, because I think it adds a little bit of dimension. If you only have one layer, it won't increase your postage. But it just allows light through. So if I hold this up now, you'll be able to see. 
John, that looks so good. And I have to say, the the dies with the waterfall cardstock is an absolute marriage made in heaven, quite literally, with the angels. Uh, got to tell you, with regard to our one-day special, three quarters of the stock's gone. Of the extended, we actually made a cheeky call to see if we could get hold of more stock, and we were told no, that is it. Look, you've literally had everything from us, and we did try, so I applaud you, Kirsty, for your cheek. Um, but they were like, no, that is it, no more. So uh, I'm gonna put that out there. When it does sell out for a second time, and it will sell out for a second time, that is it. Categorically, we cannot bring hold of any more, so don't miss out. And we have got the event, and this is something really important, because we've only got two out, well, actually, coming up to just over an hour and a half left of our festive flex extravaganza, which means, for the next hour and a half, you are still able to split the price. If you've got five pounds or more in your basket, you can split the price. That 1998, is 9.99 one day special flexi payment i've got to stress just for anyone new it just means you're paying half now and then half in four weeks time but if you did want to double up on your order again splitting that price in half 19.98 you're getting uh everything sent out to you you pay half now and then half in four weeks time let me just show you why the watercolor cardstock has just caught everybody's imagination and this is if you just go through the different colorways. So there's your silver and gold. That's where it all began. But look at that beautiful pattern, that ripple effect. But so, and the encapsulation, you would, before I saw this, and before I was fortunate enough to spend an hour at launch working with John, I would have swore blind that was a glitter card. There's glitter in there. I mean, how can you not? It looks like it's all foiled. It's all, there is no glitter. It's not, there's no glitter to shed. We're saying it's non-shed glitter. It's because there is absolutely no glitter in there to actually shed, but it looks so good. I mean, it dazzles with glitter. It does. It really looks as if you've, you've thrown an entire expensive pot of glitter on it. Yeah. And there is no glitter in it. You will not, when you're cutting this, you won't find, I know I can say you won't find bits of glitter on your desk or on yourself. Yeah. You can't because there is no glitter in there. Well, look at your top. Yeah, and this is, any, this is a to... literally plain navy cotton top. Yeah. And trust me, glitter sticks to this. Like, I don't even know, I don't even know a polite phrase to say what's, how things <laughs> stick to things. <laughs> yeah, um, there is yeah. nothing, there is absolutely nothing on it um, because there isn't anything to stick. I don't have any glitter. I, lo I just love that blue and I keep going back to it. An ocean scene with the blue is just absolutely stunning. And then you've got the purple. So those are all your colours and I just wanted to go through and show you what you're getting. But then when you see them in situation, for instance, how good does that look? The most, it just bedazzles, it comes to life with the amount of shine that you are getting. Now, I'm just gonna show you this one. Actually, let's go a bit festive. How about this with your flowers? The poinsettia. I mean, come on, how good does that look? But I've gotta pop this down and I've gotta get serious because we're approaching 80% of the stock. 80% of the stock, <sighs> very, very busy. Uh, we cannot get hold of any more stock. So that is, I'm just putting it out there, you cannot, you will not be seeing any more stock added on a further extended, okay? So once it's gone, that is it. I'm just gonna show you, this is the happy hour and it's proving extremely popular as well. Getting both sets for 10.99, we're approaching half the stock. I mean, come on, you're saving 13 pounds. So you're actually saving more than you're spending. Uh, you've got two beautiful sets. I mean, how good is that? And I'm just going to show you an example. So that's the kind of effects you can achieve there with your Woodford. And then you've got the polar bears in the mix as well. Now, if you were to split this uh, in half on flexi payment, courtesy of our festive flex extravaganza, £5.50. And those are yours, your first flexi payment. And then in four weeks' time, you're remaining £5.50. So you're splitting that price. Uh, 328 894, your item number. We're going to move on to the poinsettia collection, and this is something. Um, this is something that John. This where it kind of started for you with regard to flowers. It's one of it your did. earlier. This releases. is one of the very first yeah. flower stamp and dies where I came up with the plate idea, and the idea of having the plate with the corners that matches onto the stamp was the one I created a few years ago, but sort of held back for my own ranges yeah. and thought I'll try it. And this was the first Christmas flower I ever did on it, wow. and this is the first. This is the first time these four have been available together.
Okay. This is the our first time that the solid's been on, I think, for nearly 18 months. Wow. And this is It's already a sold out on its own. It's sold out with the stamp. Yeah. So pretty much this is the last place to actually get the solid with the pinstripe, which is my favourite top of all. It's a bit of a collector's piece, if you think this is one of uh, John's first collections with that plate system. And let me just show you why we were approaching 80% of the stock on this. And that's How my favourite card, as I said, I think. Beautiful. Ever made. The dimension you're able to create here. But let's also just appreciate the beautiful Leslie's twigs in there as well, that wonderful throngs. Uh, the, uh, this is designed, so one of uh, John's angels was saying, please, can you give us some twigs? So uh, John hand designed those for her. And you can only get this as part of the collection. I hadn't seen this before. What? This is Art Angel. She made a pair of earrings and a necklace from the leaves. And she's just used the Crafts 2 gilding sheets Come um, just on. to do it. And it just, it's beautiful. I mean, that's literally been sat on my shelf of... I have a top shelf at home yeah. of cards that I really like or bits that I love. That's been sat on there in my sort of little secret section of the things I like to look at that no one else sees in the graph game. That is definitely top shelf. Uh, but then we can go from there to... Oh, where's the paper napkin? Here we go. Look at this. This is very clever too. So another inspired inspiration. Just creating a little napkin ring with the poinsettia and a bit of foam. Isn't that nice? There's so much you can do with this. If you go with your gold card, we can have a look at that. And we have got some beautiful satin cardstock. Or what about this? Bit of doodling in there. So layered, I think we were talking about this. Um, uh, who did this one? I think that's Shelag. Yeah, and I was, may be wrong, but I think, yeah. yeah and saying that this, uh, put the die down, bit of a uh, zen doodle in there. Yeah. Now, we're approaching 80% of the stock. Oh, we're, sorry, we are at 80% of the stock, and once it's gone, that is it. It's another collection that uh, will not be brought back on extended delivery today. There is a £10 saving. You can still uh, take advantage of flexi payments here. So 19.98 your price, 085762 item number. We're going to move on to Christmas time. This is a really good set, a really good set, and I'll tell you why. Because what you are getting in your one set, having a look here... So you've got, the die will cut, and how would you describe that, that, that sort of card blank, John? If you actually peel it off, yeah. it's only spray glued on, right? you'll actually see, I think there's a sample lower down, but you peel it off, you'll actually see that it cuts well, on half the size. Glue. Okay, it's Yeah, it's, it's not going to come off. Yeah. It basically, the back folds over so it pops up. Oh, okay. So well, there is, like this. that's it, that's it exactly. So that's the card blank that it will create. And that stands, so you can send that as a square, you know, you send that yeah. flat, but it will actually self-stand up just like that. Brilliant. But this is the thing, because you've got this beautiful uh, design, it's sort of, how would you describe that design, John? It's, um, it's just, it's a lattice, but if you look yeah. closely into it, you'll see it's actually a hand-drawn lattice. It's not uh, computer done, because it goes off in places, well, so that it's connected nice. properly. So it's to look almost organic. So can you see it's, it's yeah, yeah. you see there where I've actually drawn it, not just got a computer generated yeah. image of a yeah. lattice and slapped it on the back and, and then merged got it together. And holly in there, so you're getting, that's okay, very Christmassy here, that's all year round, so the yeah. lattice all year round. So we're getting our background sort of panel detail. You've also got this wonderful little foliage, the uh, holly in there. So you've got, and that's both sides you get, plus the little sprigs out of each side. Then you're getting the clock, which fits in the centre. If you're lucky enough to get hold of Sam's Circles yesterday, I know that sold out, that will also fit in the centre too. And then I'm going to show you some examples, because this is where... This is really good. Look at this one. Look at that for a finished piece. Taking the clock and using the design from the holly. Isn't that pretty? Or how about something like that? So again, this is just fold. using the die to make yourself a gatefold card. And really pretty. Uh, it's such an engaging set, and having the clock, great for your masculine cards. Really good. Uh, 15 99 your price there, 424 725 your item number. We had a little look at our beautiful angels in action, so we have got a really nice set here. This is your calling angels, 
And I will just show you, uh, John, one of your favourite frames, and that's a big statement for you. It is. I, I, I love this. You will see this pops up all over the place. So many samples through the whole thing and through mm. a lot of the group, you've got that beautiful frame on it. I don't know what it is, I just really, really like love it. it. Yeah. It's almost, I probably shouldn't have called it for uh, calling angels. I should have actually called it Snowflake Frame, Maybe. with the angels being an extra, because yeah. that to me is the major push of it. And you're saying you've the even banners, got the banner. Banner's important because that's, in your view, you wanted to give us two angels that were facing each other so you could have that banner in the center if you wanted. I mean, how just that negative. Yeah, uh, just on its own, it cut into card. Um, I think you've got to sample that set, where literally I've cut it into the wow. card and then I've made a sort of shaker card with glitter behind. Wow. But I've used different colours of glitter. That's really pretty. Right, there we go. That's your Calling Angels 729360 item number there. And then we have our beautiful pinstripe poinsettia. So within this, I will show you the most, I mean, beautiful frame. Look at that. But where John's been clever, he's also giving you the mat so you can put detail behind the actual um, poinsettia there as well. 30, 1399 your price, saving three pounds, 880984 your item number. And I'll just flash you just one example with that one. I mean, come on, that is just classic. Uh, 1399 your price, 880984 your item number. We are going to head back to John for some more fun. What you got for us, John? Right, so what I thought I'd do is I've gone back to the frame and card that I made earlier because I really did want to show people how I made the cards that we've got on front. Um, so we've made the frame, seen that I've just mounted it now onto a card blank. And this matte and layer of red here of the waterfall card, yeah, yeah I'd cut this panel out of it. Okay. So that is just a little board around. Yeah. It's not a full sheet there because it's a waste of waste of money. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I've got another piece here, mm -hmm. and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this solid yeah. out from the waterfall glitter card because right. again, I feel you get a better impact by having the white over the waterfall I agree with than you. the waterfall over another okay, colour. I, I, I agree with that. Yeah, so yeah. I'm just going to run that through and cut that, okay. something we want to run through to a second. Just to let you know that we are approaching limited stock for our one day special. It's sold out once before. We put it on extended delivery and it's going to be dispatched on the 12th of July but it looks like it's going to be selling out for a second time and then that's it. We are not bringing any more and a big statement with this as well, as a channel We've actually got crafts to, so was it three quarters? It's nearly three quarters. Of your supply for the whole year. Of the whole supply, of the whole I mean, year's supply that we bought in. we have been greedy. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I think it's quite simple. The craft store likes shiny. Yeah. Or maybe it's just Kirsty likes shiny. Our producer Kirsty does like shiny, yeah. But again, just to show you, when you're taking mm -hmm. these out, just ease it out. So, you know, one of the things you'll find, because it's made with a foil, don't just sort of slam it off. You know, you'll find sometimes it pops in, they'll cut beautifully, and again, no bearding. And what I mean by that is there's no little shreds. And watch yeah. when people actually, and watch when you cut certain glitter cards at home, you will find the bearding and you'll get little threads coming out right. from it. Yeah. It isn't because it's been sealed together so well. And the, the important thing is as well is the packs, and what I'm using mm -hmm. is come from the stock. Yeah. So these aren't you know, my production samples mm. that, you know, the company sends through first to go test, is this any good? Mm -hmm. And, you know, you think, oh, well, they're going to put more effort and this is stock. Yeah. So you still have, because one of the things you'll find, because it's made of foil, you will find you'll get the occasional sheet, I think it's on that red. Sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't. There's a line in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Some colours you see it more than others, but there's a line in the middle. Um, I think Yanis is going to um, I'm try and find trying to find um, one with it, um, and it's just where two pieces of the foil have been buttered together to make it, because obviously the foil is not in A4 sheets; it's in a lot bigger, mm. it's in a lot larger sheets. So, you know, don't worry, that happens, and it doesn't affect the quality or anything of it. But that's the two things to watch out for: gently the ease them out. That, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Can you see there? Yeah, it's basically where the pattern almost continues, yeah. yeah? 
Um, and that's in, you know, randomly will fall on different sheets the in nature different of, packs. You're not going to use it as a, as a sheet as a whole. We're going to be die cutting, yeah. we're going to be cutting up mass in layering, so you wouldn't notice. But if you're going to use a whole sheet on its own, then you're wasting your money, if you yeah, ask yeah. me. Yeah, okay. um, you know, you, you, the beauty of this is when we use it. Little goes a long yeah. way. Yeah, and again, across the shape, you won't notice. So here I've got all five um pieces out of this and it's you see it's cut beautifully oh, and um, nice. part of the reason for that is even with the foil it's still only a 250 gsm card oh which is a question actually and thank oh, you right. so much and uh ask the question what is the gsm so 250, 250. that's a great point. yeah but always remember um it's something i'm i'm going to try and go through on a show next week actually or the week mm -hmm. after i can't remember when it is seems so much on at the moment mm -hmm. um GSM just means grams per square meter. Mm. It doesn't mean how thick card is. Just the weight. It means how heavy it is. Uh, okay. Now, I used to do a, tr a trick when I did workshops, which obviously, hopefully, we can start again at some point, mm. um, where I used to pass around three pieces of card and ask people to rank them in the thinnest to the thickest in terms of GSM. And then once they'd done it, I would tell them that all three of them were 300 GSM because they were. Uh. So... Always, when you're buying card or anything like this, look at the GSM, yeah. but it's one of those things I say about when you're buying online, don't just trust, yeah. because I've bought 300 that doesn't cut and I've bought 350 that does cut. Okay. It depends on the loft and how thick it is. Right. So you can get very thick watercolour water card mm. that's 300 GSM and very thin super smooth card that's 300 it's GSM because it's more compressed. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry for... Absolutely sorry for the lecture there, no, but it's good to know. I just I, I want people, you know, I, I just love to be honest and say, don't mm -hmm. always judge it on GSM. Yeah. Cool. Um, watch people cut it and go, right, if that cuts yeah. through my two and a half year old machine, mm. it's going to cut through yours at home. Fair enough. So all I'm doing here is I'm just putting, so I've already cut the whites, the tops, yeah. in the white. Um to go on but again if you see to me maybe I'm, that has more impact yeah than it on it than just on its own nice. you actually see more of the yeah. waterfall to me with having the top on it than you see from it just being on its own it's almost like sort of mm -hmm. i don't know what it is so all i need to do is fold okay. pinch and fold each individual flower, but I'm going to do that on each individual ones. If you want to run through anything, well, I just, I've got a quick question for you. Um, what? How would you describe that colour, John? How would you describe that? That to me is evergreen. Evergreen. Okay. Well, uh, it's going to be complimented by <laughs> the on the screen because we are limited for our one-day special. This is the extended delivery. Uh, just to remind you, it will be dispatched on the 12th. Uh, so it's Monday next week, and we are now officially limited stock. We've got 10% of the stock remaining, or actually less. So if you do not want to miss out, now is the time to pop it into your basket. And we are busy on the phone line, so please, please, please go onto our website if you want to place your order. Don't miss out. Uh, and we, we will put green on the screen, but it is green on the screen there. It's, it's being cheeky. Oh, there you go. You can see it. So it's green there. Bless. Mm. So I forgot, I've not worked with you in ages, I'd forgot about your green on the screen. I'm sorry. Phrase. So I've got my flowers done, I've just done four yeah. of them. Okay. I'm going to put those to Good. one side. Yeah. But all the cards on the front were done in single colour. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it just checks, yeah. Yeah. So what I did was I also cut the twigs. Oh, no. I really twigs like these. In this. Like these. And again, yeah. this, what, what I would normally be doing is, if I hadn't already done it, this piece here, mm -hmm. yeah, that I've got behind, I would have cut the twigs from. That's what I did on all of those cards. Okay. So if you actually peel any of those off, yeah. and you look at the glitter card on the back, you'll see that there's all holes in it. Mm -hmm. So that's what I was supposed to do, but didn't. Right. But I'd already set that up with one that I'd already gutted out of the middle. Okay. So I want to show you as if I've done it now. So I'm going to say it was five and a half, seven and a half. Yeah. So I need to cut it to five and a half. And because this doesn't go to seven and a half, I need to take... Seven and a half to eight. I need to take three quarters of an inch off to okay. make it seven and a half. How boring is the fact that I know that? Well, no, uh, I'm impressed. So that would be that mat there. Yeah? Yeah. And what you do is just literally, I'm going to put these, but 
I'm avoiding all round the edge. Yeah? So okay. all I'm doing is making sure that I'm avoiding cutting anything about a quarter of an inch all the way round uh -huh. so that I can use this as a mat and layer and people will think, ooh, look at that, they've even, they've even put an expensive piece of card at the back. No, I haven't. No. Don't gut it, die cut it. Like this, we need a t-shirt. Got a great email here from Ruth. Do you mind if I read this? No, one? not at all. It's a good Ruth. one. So Ruth's saying, hi John, in brackets, my favourite crafter. Oh. Oh, thank you. Ruth, you charmer. And she's also <laughs> saying, hi, Yanis, in brackets. No, there's no brackets. Uh, <laughs> boo. Um, and there are, oh, sorry, are there any future plans so, so far for the waterfall card in black or white? Brown and cream. Keep up the fantastic demos. Cheers, and that's Ruth Taylor. So she's, what, Ruth's asking, any future plans for watercolour cards, like sort of different colours in the future? Um, to be honest, it launched at six o'clock last night. Yeah. So we haven't even had time to talk about how this lot has gone. But judging by the success... Yeah. Um, I think they... White, I will tell you now, no. Okay. And the reason is the waterfall glitter card is all based on silver. Okay. okay. Because it's foil. It's because it's a foil. So, if you see, when we actually peel it back, you actually, when I did the peel back earlier, you saw that the backing was silver and the top was red. Yeah. Yeah. You cannot, we cannot put white on silver. Yeah. To work. Right. So white is not possible. Okay. So I'd rather say that now. Black, oh, we good. could certainly look at, we could look at yeah. other colours, but Brown, going yeah. on how it's taken this year, it would probably be next Christmas. Okay. Well, thanks to look forward to. Um, but also, one of the questions being asked as well is about single colour packs. Yeah. No. And the reason is, if we do single colour packs, yeah. and I'll be quite honest here, we do single colour packs, we have eight colours. Yeah. That means that we have to order in eight different packs, which means that we have to order in eight times the quantity that we order in rather than four. Okay. And what it actually does is it doesn't increase the price, it doesn't decrease yeah. the price, it increases the amount of stock we have to hold and the cost of bringing it over. Yeah. So the more, in, when we do a single option, they are always more expensive than putting two colours together for you, yeah. for the customer at the end. Of course. Yeah. I know that doesn't make sense in anyone's head, but genuinely no. that is how it works. And I know you, you work really hard, both yourself and Cross too, work very hard to keep that price down. We do. We, yeah. we really, really do. We actually brought this in earlier in the year, thankfully. If we'd have brought this in to arrive any time in the last month or so, mm. this would have been more expensive. I know, everything's gone up. I just got to say, please make sure to check out your baskets, only because we are limited stock with regard to ODS on the extended delivery. If there was a situation, and we're getting very close now to it being gone, and once it does go, if it was to jump out of your basket and you haven't checked out, someone else could nab it off you, and I will tell you if that situation arises. Uh, Anne's got a good question. So Anne's saying, hi, John, congratulations on the ODS. Hello, Loving man. the Calling Angels dies. Have this been on before in any other format, uh, not snowflakes? So have you had the Calling Angel dies on before? Um, the Calling Angels were launched last year. Yeah. They've only been on once, which was last year's launch show right. um, for my Christmas dies last year. Yeah. They haven't been on since, and they haven't been done in a different frame format. No. That's exactly as they are. So if you've got the Calling Angels last year, then it's the this same the set. Yeah. Okay. Um, it hasn't been done in a different format, and those are the those are the only angels I've ever done. Wow. And there are there are no more planned at the moment. Okay. So, because um, I try and do something different each year. Yeah. So this year is um, well. I, if you've seen, you, if you've actually seen the box kit that I did, you've seen a little sneak of what of where my mind okay. went for this Christmas. Well, you're gonna have to watch this space because I know we, we originally we were gonna be launching your Christmas. Mm. Look, just logistically, the way things happen. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. watch your space for that. So what I've got here is I've cut them out. Mm -hmm. Where have I put that? Honestly, but can you see here? That could make a beautiful background. Well, that's nice. You know, or there's... that I would put another piece on top and that would become the mat. Yeah. But I've got all of these twigs out, and that's not even all of the ones in the set. They make I've got beautiful all of those out. They would actually, so... wouldn't they? The only problem is, this is the first time, because they're twigs, I didn't do a left and a right. Ah, uh, well, that's right. Because to me, I didn't feel that it was yeah. as necessary. Yeah. They make a beautiful wreath. Mm. Um, there is a sample somewhere, but there are so many samples. We haven't actually been able to find the samples of the happy hour, and I know that they're somewhere, um, of the Woodford, but uh, 
There we go. So I'm using hot glue for speed. But you can see, even though I'm monochrome, how well and how it works, because I did the white on the red, but this has used, in total, yeah, mm -hmm. one sheet of A4 waterfall card. Wow. That's all I used for each of these cards in colour. Yeah. So that's, and that includes the flowers. So what I would do is... Mm -hmm. I just need to poke some holes in my point set here. Can you cover yeah. something for a couple of yeah, quick seconds? Yeah, I just going to let you know Sorry. that with regard to our one-day special, we're into single figures. So the one-day special, it will be selling out for a second time, and I'm not surprised. This card stock is beautiful, and it's wonderfully unique. The pattern is unique to Crafts 2 as well. You're not going to see this pattern anywhere else, and I think that's what makes the watercolour cardstock so engaging. Uh, last live hour too, so don't miss out. But say it's not going to last the hour, because it's going to go. We are into single figures. Please, please, please don't miss out, because traditionally, you would be able to get the one-day special up until 6. Even though this is last hour, you can still get it up until 6. Forget that because this is going to go, and there's absolutely no way in a million years any of this is going to be around by six. You can warned. Right, so just in a different way, I'm just cutting a little X with my knife, yeah, mm -hmm. into the center of these poinsettias. Okay. You can use um, like a cropper dial or a hole punch mm -hmm. to punch a hole in. You can use a bradle or something just to push it through because mm -hmm. the, the stamen match, and I think the stamen just work beautifully with this. Yeah. You can just pull that through, but it just really finishes that centre beautifully. And of course you get, I think it's 12, you get 12 of these in each colour, so you get so many in there. I'm just showing, I've just picked this up, so we've got some boards with the stamens, so all of these colours that you're going to be getting, well actually, let me just make life a little bit easier. So you can see all of those colours, and those are the flowers, just examples of flowers you could make using the stamens. So you're going to get all 12 uh, for $14.99, or 10 colours, I should say, 12 of each for $14.99. 531 381, your item number. And as it still stands, up until 6 today, we've still got our festive flex extravaganza, which means that $14.99 can be split in half. £7.50 today, we send everything out to you, and then in four weeks' time, you pay your remaining £7.50. So all I'm going to do is I put the stamen in and they match perfectly. This is another bit. Um, I had to try and keep Kay away because she looked at the stamen. She's like, I want those. Because <laughs> Kay's been using some of my dyes recently. You might right. see some on her show tonight. Mm -hmm. She's been using um, some in some of her samples. I love and how she's like, I might need to pinch some of those stamens as well, John. It's so nice how everyone gets on here as well and genuinely gets on. We, do, we, we genuinely yeah. do. I say it's, it's probably the most fun dysfunctional family I've ever been in. <laughs> And I think that that's definite, yeah. and it, it is the case, I know people say it, and everyone, you know, you sit at home and you think, oh, you know, yeah. Yeah. we all do, yeah. we've known each other all, all of us, have, a lot of us have known each other so long, yeah. and in the craft industry, a lot of us have known each other longer than the craft store have been going. Yeah, yeah. You know, I remember Kay being really, really nice to me when I first started, like seven years ago, yeah. you know, and you don't forget things like that, yeah. and it's lovely when we're all here the same. So all I've done is arranged three flowers in the corner. I've got a few more little bits of foliage that I can just add into the flowers almost to, let's get that in the right place, sorry, I got sticky on my fingers, but just to add that little bit more interest into it. Again, you take a little bit more time at home with your hot glue, mm -hmm. but let's go into there, shall we? I think that would come out there. There we go. But then, it's just a monochrome card with one sheet of the waterfall That's card. Lovely. But it's so easily done. And of course, we've got so many other things from that die set and to do with the scrap card that we've got left. So we use the frame from our Calling Angels. We use the poinsettias from the poinsettia collection. And then that beautiful watercolour cardstock. Speaking of which, the watercolour cardstock. The one day special. It's sold out. We brought it back on extended delivery this hour. <laughs> and it's technically sold out for a second time. Now, this is important because a technical sellout means all our stock is either sold or in your basket. There are quite a few one day specials in baskets right now. That's fine. If you want it, if you want to confirm your purchase, you need to press checkout. 
if you don't and you just leave it in your basket and i'm not trying to push anyone into checking out if they don't want to but all i will say to you is if it jumps out of your basket in the interest of fairness we would say to people if we get a chance for the end of the show that a few have bounced back if not, someone else will nab it, and that'll be it. There's absolutely, these aren't going to be sticking around for, for long. So well done if you have got any basket. Check out. You will not be disappointed in this card stock. Uh, let's just talk of well, because the hour is coming to an end. Uh, our happy hour. Where have I put it? Underneath that blue card to the right oh, of Oh, there you. we go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so the happy hour. So you're going to get two sets here, and look at that price, ten ninety nine. Just talk me through these sets. So uh, you've got the Woodford, and there's some beautiful samples that are somewhere around this building. Yeah, so because I brought them with me, and one and two with the polar scenes in there, which How do you matches use the with Woodford? the Oundle. Yeah, there are videos for it online on okay. YouTube because right. it's this year's die. Nice. So you would just go to my YouTube channel; it will show you how to make a card identical to that. I think. Lovely. And you've got the polar scenes as well. Yeah. And you've got the polar bears. That is your happy hour. You can only get hold of that for the next few minutes, but it's 10.99 there. Got to say a huge thank you to yourself, John, and Crafts too. No, thank you. It's been what? really fun. A fantastic <laughs> one-day special. Yeah, it has been a bit mad. It's been amazing. Uh, if you ever see now, I know that because we've had three quarters of your stock. Yeah, means there's a quarter left. Whether we get to see that again next time you come to visit us or not, but if we do, it'll be gone in a half. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping you do, but there are absolutely no guarantees. It was okay. it was planned on my Christmas launch show, but whether they will have any, I just okay. don't know. John, you're an absolute star. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Please find John on social media and also Crafts too, and don't forget to follow us on social media as well. Thank you for your company. So we've got a fantastic hour coming up with Paola. Please keep her company and she's going to be offering you the best of Christmas. After that, it's Indigo Blue, one day special launching. And then we've got Jelly Bean Crafts, happy hour. Lots to enjoy. Hi, I'm Anthea. Uh, I'm from Quilting Antics. Quilting Antics started around 2011, 2012, I'm never really sure. At one point we nearly became the cushion company because we've churned out so many different cushions. But we'll do bags, we'll do cushions, we'll do book covers, we'll do things for your sewing room. So don't miss the Quilting Antics shows. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters carry-on. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows. I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy and pergamano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team.
Well, what a moment to tune in because, of course, we are celebrating and kind of wrapping up festive flex extravaganza with the best of Christmas here at the craft store. And this is the last hour in which you can flexify anything that is above five pounds. So let me tell you, every single item in this hour, you can spread the cost into interest-free payments. Now, this is the best of Christmas, the best of that celebration event. And I have to tell you that there is so many amazing bundles shop ahead on the website of course the craftstore.com you will find everything that we have got in store for you these amazing deals with of course the prices that they were put on the show so you have got deals galore but also you have the possibility to spread the cost into interest-free payments and this is the last live hour of that festive of extravaganza this is the last hour in which you can spread the cost in interest-free payments you have got MDF you have got rubber stamps you have got of course dies you have got collections of beautiful papers also you have soft crafts you have got gorgeous uh, embroidery kits in there that you can see and of course you have the ability as I mentioned to spread the cost so kind of fill your baskets and check them out and make sure that you use that flexi basket option and of course uh, of course a stamps in there are uh, there as well and of course the only thing that you cannot flexify of course is the freedom membership that's the only one thing anyway but let's start the show it's of course the complete collection and sentimentally yours now this is the Rococo a splendor festive complete co collection and now this is an incredibly busy it was one day special I believe or launch uh, uh, with Phil on Friday and it is incredibly beautiful isn't it Thursday and Friday I believe look at the sentiments the Rococo splendor and I'm going to show you the kind of amazing detail that they are in these stamps they are photo and you are getting so many different elements in here now it's fell so it is quality it is swash it's elegant it's classy not brassy as he says and of course you have the most elegant font in there and you can customize it look I love that merry and bright the festive greetings across the miles so you are the first Noel for instance if you have welcomed a baby or maybe you know somebody who has welcomed a baby by the way it has and of course Sophie and of course uh, big congratulations on your baby now of course we have the gorgeous stamps in here the backgrounds the backgrounds that gives us the first layer they start and look at them he's a romantic actor or fell martin look at that he puts little hearts in there as well and you can see that happy christmas i'm going to turn it around so you can see the exact size of those stamps and I love how they are legible, but they are the perfect partial stamps as well. So you can create just those elements in the background. Not only you are getting the Rococo sentiments and the backgrounds, but you also are getting the glorious, beautiful silhouettes of the areas. You know, kind of the flourishes, the sprigs, the poinsettias, and the ferns, the gorgeous little pine cones, the mistletoe, all those elements. And I'm going to turn them around so you can see all. All the different elements so in the Rococo Splendor Fast Day foliage we have 31 individual stands think about maybe creating wreaths with the holly you know the ones you know what I mean with the small think about creating garlands think about creating scenes kind of looking into winter and of course those glorious larger sentiments that are beside it right beside it. so we have sentiments in here like I'm gonna turn it over so you can see and with love at Christmas, tis the season to be jolly, wishing you peace, love and joy, have a holly jolly Christmas. Oh, I like that one. Deck the holes with, oh, deck the holes with bows of holly. And then, of course, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Those fabulous sentiments that you can put in the front and the inside of the card. But that's not all. This is a complete collection of the Rococo Splendor. And of course, you are getting three embossing folders, eight by eight. So I kind of grab them because then you can see the full size of them. Eight by eight in sizes. And of course, when you look at it, they are open and they're here. So if you can want to do maybe a paper ribbon to wrap a present, you can continue it. You can extend it. You are getting the mistletoe you are getting the falling snow look at that 
This is just glorious, isn't it? Those tiny little dots. It's a perfect background for so many winter scenes. And then finally, you have the holly flourish there as well, the embossing folder. All eight by eight are included in the bundle. But that's not all. It keeps on going, this collection, because then you have two paper packs, the Christmas ones in here. You have the amazing, gorgeous kind of tones from the reds and the greens. And then, of course, you have got the background papers. And I love those background ones because you are getting 10 colors, two designs in here, and they are the perfect backgrounds. And, of course, you can see in here, if I put them over them, so you have those two designs, you can see the kind of bigger kind of boardwork, some kind of a wooden kind of elements, and of course you have got that distress element in there. Now you have got 10 different colors, and you're getting two of each in each pack color per pattern. Then you are getting also the holly and poinsettia beautiful papers in here. And this, imagine kind of making a box and then putting panels with these gorgeous papers. Robins in here, you are getting holly and pine cones in a smaller kind of, uh, kind of, I can say, a scale. Then, I'm making a mess out of this, though, am I not? And then, of course, you have the holly and the mistletoe there. You have got the bigger robin there as well with the kind of gorgeous berries. And then the pine cones. So you have got different uh, scales of the glorious papers. I love the poinsettias there. And then, of course, in a larger scale. Right, now, this is, of course, the full collection from the Rococos uh, Festival Splendor. If you wanted the complete collection, do grab it uh, and check out your baskets. Now you have got a Flexify. In this case it's actually three interest free payments. Now you're paying £36.30 and pence today. Make sure to grab a bargain and check out your baskets because you have got a £13 saving as well. And remember we are celebrating the best of Christmas that of course the event that's launched with Phil. So of course he had to be featured in this collection. And oh uh, my, my producer being so nice because he said that what that's the best. Well, I'm not going to say it. I'm a Christmas baby. Basically, she was paying me a compliment. Uh, moving on from that, and of course, we have got the embossing powders in here. Now, the embossing powders are kind of glorious colors. Now, you are getting all set five and set five and six as well. So, set five and six. Let me rotate that one. This is actually not as easy as it looks. <laughs> Because there, there it is there. You can see it there, all of the six parts of amazing embossing powder. Now, this, of course, you are getting the new leaf. You are getting the pine tree, the stone hearth. And, of course, you are getting the great oak and the berry red. And you are getting also the mold one. Now, shall I go? Which color shall I go for? Shall I go for the go? The green. The... Look at that. That gorgeous embossing powder. Look at that. And in this part, you are getting, actually, you are getting in this one. Well, is, is it, how much are you getting? I don't know. 20 mil, which actually, uh, usually, pots of embossing powder are around 15 mil, so you are getting 5 mil extra. Because, of course, Phil likes to give you extra, not only top quality, but also good value for money. Now, 34, 32 pounds and 94 pence for all three of them. And let's put them like this. Uh, all six of them, sorry, no, you don't have to choose. You have, you get them all six of them. And nine one seven eight six nine is your item number. Uh, now, of course, remember that you can flexify because we are still. This is the last live hour of the Fast Flex Extravaganza. So maybe now is the time to get those embossing powders uh, and pay just half today and half next month. It would be actually sixteen pounds and forty seven pence today. Now you may want to add some bluster beautiful burlesque cards from our fell Martin. Now here you are picking and choosing any three packs and we have got the, all the different colorways in here. You're getting 20 sheets in total of A4. Now you have the different options to go for. So we have got the gorgeous white, which you can see has got, it has that luster. It's a pearlescent white. Um, I would say it's a pure white rather than an ice gold or something like that. It is, has got that beautiful pearl. Then we have the silver. 
then we have the green. This is a proper forest green, isn't it? Or emerald green with a gorgeous shine. And of course, this is double-sided pearlescent card. I believe it's 290 gsm, so perfect construction weight. So you can die cut it. And of course, because it's pearlescent, you also can tear it. And of course, you will have a color in the side. It won't be pearlescent inside it, but it will be a color that kind of matches. Now, if you go for the speaker mix, you're choosing whichever three colors are your favorite. And of course, once you choose your three favorites, uh, you will have basically 20 of each. Uh, so in 60 A4 in total. Now, then we have the option to go for, uh, this has to be my favorite. <gasps> Look at this. Isn't it just beautiful? Now, think about your embossing folders. Embossing folders, once that you emboss them, now, of course, they look amazing. Then you have the copper. Is it bronze? Bronze or copper? That one? Oh, let me show. Uh, that's hot chocolate. I should have known hot chocolate. Beautiful. And remember, double-sided, so it will emboss beautifully as well. And then you have the gorgeous gold in there. And then finally, we have the red, which also has a beautiful name, which is Imperial Red. So those ones are your options. Remember, once that you choose them, you will have 20 of each of these A4, 22 pounds and 49 pence. And remember, you can flexify it. Remember, last hour of Fasted Flex Travaganza, so spread the cost, uh, and you will be paying 11 pounds and 25 pounds and reliably inform with the woman with the calculator. You don't have to doubt my words. You, this time is from the, you know, the right person. Uh, 692 and 269 is your item number. Now, Right, we have a festive borders in here. Now, of course, we have got a set of three border dies, and you are getting the magnetic uh, sheet as well in here. Now, I'm going to show you the, the, the dies in themselves because then you can see the detail. You can see the size as well. Just under eight inches in height or length. Look at the detail. Now, if you look at here, you have got this kind of a stitch line. That will be debossed, and everything else is cut line. I love the kind of film strip, so you could do a little bit of paper weaving if you wanted to, go through it. But you also can bring in, like Julia was doing yesterday, adding a strip of paper into the center, so adding more contrast if you wanted to not do paper weaving. The fact that you are getting all three of them means that also there is possibilities like creating kind of a card just made out of, uh, you know, the bands in here. Think about horizontal as well. You can cut them alongside the middle so you can have just one side. The cut lines are all around the edges, so you have like a border that you can add inside of the card. If you are thinking paper wrapping as well, you could join them together. Or if you're clever, you just put in the die cutting machine, you put the, you know, the, the cutting plate, you don't put it all the way through, you put it just a start in here. So that line will not cut. So then you can extend it should you wish to do so. Now, remember, Flex extravaganza. We still. This is the last hour, uh, of course, that you can uh, spread the cost. So twelve pounds fifty. That would be all you are paying today, if you want to flexi buy it. I spread the cost. Two nine six one two one six is your item number. Now the next one, very popular, very popular with that fern, the adornment uh, dice, and of course, do you have got the ferns in here? And look at that, you are getting four of them. And you have got the larger ones and the smaller ones. And look at the intricate detail that you are getting here. Look at that, look at this. It's really incredible detail. The rugged edges of the firm, but look how fine is the intricate line in the inside as well. You have got release holes in there as well. So if you is gonna come up nice and easily, and you can have that teal color that you know is sentimentally yours by Felmar. Martin gorgeous dies. Now the other thing I love about these dies is if you look at them here, or I actually I'm gonna put I just show you the real dies themselves. You have got the same size, but of course, one that is leaning towards the right and one that is leaning towards the left. And that means, of course, that you can always create the perfect kind of, you know, kind of corners as well. You can do, like, if you want to do a garland, of course, you can. Right, if you want yours, well, you can flexify them, of course, you can. If you choose to do that, and of course, 17 pounds and 99 pence, that's one of payment. If you want to flexify it, nine pounds would be what you'll be paying today. Very busy on their launch. You can still grab yours 
numbers at the right same price. 328178 is your item number. Now, paying for crafts, launch it, uh, the first, I think that was the first Christmas stamp set. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, don't quote me on that. But it was, I remember, over the weekend, they launched this amazing stamp set. And ye, it is very limited stock. It sold out previously because, of course, and now it's an extended delivery. Very popular. I love, can, I, can we come close in here? Because look at those lines. I love how you are coming in and you can see that you have got the empty lines in here so you can color them should you wish to. You can bring them, think about stamping and embossing powder. Think about these ones onto those gorgeous, uh, the true red or the true, uh, you know, black and then silver as well. And then of course using maybe those pearly wings sprays with the white in there as well. That creates amazing. We are down to single figures. If you want yours, please make Make sure to check out your basket. It's sold out and it's debut. And now we bring it back for the best of Christmas. You still can get it. You still can use Flexivite. But of course, make sure to check out your baskets because, uh, of course, it's limited. So your fl uh, flexi payment, your first pay flexi payment will be uh, seven pounds and forty-eight pence and of course you would be paying the same amount next month i love the special delivery because it's not just and can we can we look at this i mean if you want to send me a birthday card you have got this thumb here that's perfect for me to say do you know what it, if you if you have if you know people that are born on christmas day you can send them but christmas birthday cards as well we don't object to that and you can send also winter wishes in there. You can see them here. Now, we are down to a handful. If you want yours, please make sure to check out your basket. You know what we were thinking of as well? That we had the gorgeous Rowan Dean uh, beautiful cards. And I think these stamps, imagine that, stamping onto a gorgeous. And then, of course, bringing your organza, bringing this uh, stamp into it, and then using organza, green organza to layer over the tree, and then maybe some beads on there. You can take it as far as you want or just car making now i need to tell you to check out your baskets why because once it's gone it's gone so there is no more an extended delivery so if you want it make sure to check out your baskets uh, down to single figures really less than a handful now please if you want it remember you will be paying seven pounds and 48 pence today because this is the last hour in which you can use flexibly anything above five pounds 748 today and 748 next month now Talking about rubber stamps, and now we, of course, we are gonna have a look at some, uh, you know, I never heard of these ones, but they were uh, on air at 5 p.m. And we have got the gorgeous, um, beautiful stamps in there. Now, of course, they were on 3 p.m. with Sue Smith. So if you want to go on Rewind on the craftstore.com, you will be able to see Sue's amazing demos using these stamps. You have got the winter village in here. You have got those beautiful houses in there with the snow. And of course, you have the ice skaters. Have you ever ice skated? It's, it's kind of, it's, it's yeah, oh, well, I, I'm not very good, actually. Anyway. anyway, you have got the courting couple i love that and of course you have got mike in there i love that how, it, how it's, it's mike i mean it's a child you know what if uh, of course you can name it whatever you want and then you have got the country winter scene in there and of course you can color inside the houses and then that christmas script christmas greeting uh, Christmas greeting, greetings and best wishes for the new year. We are 30% of the stock gone and of course they are great rubber, uh, uh, it cling from mounted and they, uh, they, because they are of course from abroad, uh, they, they will be ex uh, dispatched from the 16th of Ju 15th of July. My 6th and my 5th, so I get them confused. Uh, now of course if you want the Santa and the reindeer, that's another one that is included and I love how you have them ready ready to go, cling foam mounted, ready to go, so you don't have to trim anything. And of course, you have got the scenes that you can do. I kind of think in the really idyllic scene of the countryside, 24 pounds and 99 pence, or of course, 12 pounds and 50 pence if you are paying today, uh, if you're flexible, 987-223 is your item number. The next one that we have,
we are half the stock god now of course that is the, the the beautiful tree in there with those gorgeous flowers i love that that's different isn't it it is a different image and of course in this one you are getting holiday greetings which i have to say if you are not one of those ones that send that sentiment cut the holiday and the greetings so you can trim it down and then you have got greetings and then you can use it and for other sentiments as well but personally i think it's always good to have a stash of different sentiments you have got the snowflakes as well included in that so it's a separate uh, rubber stamp again cling foam mounted so ready to go and then you have got that stunning a stunning tree there with that kind of snow floor floor not floor ground 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 area and of course the snow flakes and the stars and and it's just like snowflakes have become the leaves of the tree hanging on and kind of giving that sparkle that's absolutely stunning 15 pounds and 99 pence for that bundle three stamp sets and of course you can spread the cost into two interest-free payments so you would be paying of course eight pounds today now, if you like slim light design, those, and of course we have got the set for you. 60% of the stock has gone and you are getting the layering dies. And of course you have them here, you can see them. They're the stitch line and you have, if you look closely, you can see the outer one. You have got the stitch die and of course either side of the lines. Then you have them in here in the inside. But then the next one down, you can see they're there as well. They, so you can repeat them. So they are the ones that you place them onto your card. You can do uh, like a pyramid, like kind of a decoupage that goes out or inwards. You can do apertures, but of course you can cut the aperture in here as well. So you can see that he, that you have got the perfect uh, kind of layering for the outside, the larger slim line with that fine detail stage there. Now. 593894 is your item number. 21 pounds and 99 pence is your price. Now that, of course, if you split the clock, split the cost uh, in these stress-free payments, it's uh, 11 pounds. So it's a bargain to pay today. And of course, this is the last live hour of festive uh, extravaganza. Now, of course, it's an extended delivery. It will be dispatched from the 15th of July. We have had our first sellout, and of course, uh, that is the Pink Frog Crabs, the A5 ticket express stamps now if you have it in your basket check out right now now everything else that you want don't miss out do check out your baskets because of course that will make sure that you will get it otherwise there is no warranties here you need to get them when we have got them in the stock and you have to get them while they are on flexibly option you don't have to sometimes it's good like oh sometimes i will say no i don't want to flexibly sometimes you have to so it's great to have them there Right, of course. And now, if you want some MDF, now these ones are make lovely tags. This is a returning happy hour deal. Now, Craft Run and Crafty Devils, you are getting 30 MDF Christmas tree ornaments, approximately 11.7 centimeters. So just under four uh, inch, I think or four inches, around four inches. And of course, by 8.3 centimeters. Now, as we are 60% of the stock gone. Now, what would you do? with them well there are so many ways Christmas stocks for presents uh, adore, uh, you know ornaments for the tree you can paint them with green and then of course decorate them for the tree you could do like little tags for friends as well and uh, oh you could do as well of course ah oh, okay, Christmas key, key, key ring I was gonna say a Christmas earring but Christmas key ring that would be your uh, yeah if you want to go for you know that's a look as well yeah or also you know of course we have the bunting that our Emily, uh, you know, floor Emily, that's done. Look at that. Look at that. This is, look at that. Yeah. And of course, and now, oh, that's <laughs> I should have done it. Walk into it. Yeah, I know. I, I should have come going and own it, you know, coming in. This is what happened on Christmas Day. When, when I was born, I was like, yes, I'm going to make my entrance on Christmas Day. This is going to kind of ruin every book for everybody else, Christmas forever. Uh, now, of course, if you want your amazing MDF, uh, now we are very busy for them. Approaching two thirds of the stock has gone. Now, of course, you can use them for many different ways. I think the wishes for Christmas, an advent calendar, maybe in each of them. I, I I think I really would like to do this this year. You know, just put them on a wall, just hang them there. Each of them is put them a number because you have got 30. So you can do the whole advent calendar and you will have got left 
leftovers. And then what you do is, of course, write a message in the other one or maybe um, a quote for Christmas or something to like a name. So, oh, save the day. Oh, our Emily, are you getting married? Oh, no, no, she's not. Oh, 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 well. Oh, well. You know, moving on from that side, you know. I mean, uh, well, it's, it's, it's one of those ones that, you know, like, we can celebrate also my, you know, divorce. Anyway, uh, right, of course, you know, anyway, two thirds of the stock has gone. Oh, you know, try, you try and make it better and you make it worse all the time. Anyway, and of course, as I say that, my boss walks around and power us, which makes it much worse. Anyway, £10 saving, 9.99 means that it's better than half price. 902389 is your item number. Make sure to check out your baskets. Remember, Festival of Extravaganza ends at the end of this hour, so you can grab a bargain and split the cost into interest-free payments, which makes it even better. Then we have got, uh, well, I, w I would try to make it, but of course I didn't have glue so I did, couldn't quite assemble it but this is a woodland deer shadow box from Crafty Devils now Mel of course it comes in and then demonstrates those amazing kits over half the stock has gone and look at the stacks look at those beautiful reindeers now this is another fabulous returning happy hour deal with a five pound saving you are just paying 9.99 and you can see in here as well if I take that, how every piece has been used. Oh, I, you know, this could be a good challenge uh, for to assemble it. But I believe these pieces would go in the side in here. And I'm not going to quite assemble it, but you can see it. It will come with instructions because it comes with its instructions. But you can see the size of it, how it will be absolutely amazing. And of course, you have the base in here as well. Now, not only comes with the MDF pieces, with the trees as well, now you have also the LED lights in a string, so you can put the light inside it. So straight away, you have got something that will light up your dark evenings of the winter cup to come. They are glorious now at the minute, but of course you want to put more light in the winter. Uh, now, 908-057 is your item number. Remember, you are saving £5.99, and yes, you can split it. You can pay just £5 today and £5 tomorrow. Remember, this is the last hour of Festa Flex Extravaganza. Now, if you want something with a little bit of, you know, fun and cutesy and whimsical, you have got, of course, the amazing reindeers. Now, you can make him Trudel or you can make one of the other ones. Is it, um, oh, I need a Dasher, Prance, uh, Dasher, Brixen, yeah. Cupid, oh, Katie, you are on fire. Katie knows all the names. So you can, uh, I mean, she's very young. She has got good memory. Yeah, you, when you, you cross the line of 40, our, the memory just goes, just goes. Yeah, very busy for this one. 70% uh, of the stock has gone. Can I say also on my defense, we don't have Rudolf or any of his companions in Spain. So, you know, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, John is walking by, and of course, John is talking and saying, of course, saying, we, we don't have the reindeers, but we do have the three wise men, which we call Los Reyes Magos, and we, they bring a lot of presents. So, and John, John actually knows quite a good Spanish, actually. But anyway, moving on to the Rudolf here. Now, 70% of, of the stock has gone. Now, you have got the different pieces in there, and you have got the bases as well. And you can see in here, let's put it flat there, so it will stand up perfectly flat in there as well. So you have got that base as well, so you don't have to hang it if you don't want to. And if you wanted to do, of course, the red nose, you can do that. And of course, you have got the eyes as well. It would be really nice to actually, you know, to put little kind of snowflakes, I cut them with a invisible thread from the antlers, so you have got some kind of element in here as well. And again, I love this for Christmas Day. You can put the name of the person in here, or maybe you could also put maybe a dare for Christmas. Maybe a, what would you be your Christmas uh, Christmas evening, a Christmas meal dare? Why would you dare somebody to do eat all the Christmas pudding, the rest of the Christmas pudding, or maybe finish the puzzle all night long, or something like that? Something like really fun and doable, actually. Maybe not a puzzle if it's a big one. Uh, five seven. 
9716 is your item number. Now, it is 999, which already is a fabulous low price, but even that you can flex wide. You can pay just five pounds. And of course, you have got that six, pay, uh, six uh, pound saving there as well. Now, we have three Ds now. If you want to decorate those gorgeous antlers from the Rudolph or the trees that we've seen before, you have it here. Now, this is a dimensional clear medium. And of course, well, sorry, white medium. And of course, you have them in here. I'm gonna open it so I can show you the nozzle. And of course, you have got a fine nozzle a tip in there. So that means that you can put it directly from the uh, bottle and it can create those dimensional lines. Oh, can I, can I do so? Can I show, can I use it? That took a while. Look at this. Can you see how easy it is to create dimensional in there, the snow, there it is. And there it is. So quick and easy. And of course, that means that your Christmas crafts will be done in a doddle. Doddle, doodle, 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 doodle. Oh, well, that's one. Anyway, 3D as now uh, you can. <laughs> and of course, uh, 998 is your price. You are saving four pounds, 772, 714. I wanted some help from my, this is why my English is how it is. People just laugh at me, never correct me properly. And then of course I can't talk properly. All uh, right, and now we are very busy for uh, the 3D snow, so over half the stock has gone. And remember, you can flexify it, and of course, just pay four pounds. Uh, uh, sorry, four pounds ninety-nine. No, actually, five pounds. Yeah, four pounds ninety-nine. Four ninety-nine. Oh, I got there in the end. No, actually, that was the first number that I said. Yeah, yummy. Anyway. 4.99. Remember now, I love uh, big bubbles. I love big bubbles because then there are decorations for the home. <laughs> Then you can use them also, we were saying about uh, coasters as well. You can also use them for, I love this idea of sending a maybe a mini album because of course they have got the hole in the top. So you have got them. So you could pierce it through and create like a little mini album for Christmas as well. So you have that in there. Now this is a thicker MDF as well. So I'm thinking coasters. I'm thinking also using them for, uh, you know, decorations of maybe with um, power, uh, power tags, a power pole, and things like that. So, of course, that will be uh, for the outside. 023332 is your item number. Now, these, uh, they are from the Dreamies. I, of course, they launched them this morning, so it's kind of new today. But also, look at the price, 999 and you can spread the cost, so you would be paying five pounds today, and you are getting 10 of them. Really love these as well. You could create, oh, you know what would be really nice as well? Uh, you know, put them by the, you know, the ban banister of the stairs. So you can kind of hand it there. And of course you can put them in every day because you have got 10. So maybe you get three of sets. And then of course you can do the, like again, the advent calendar idea or pictures. You could put pictures in here as well. There are so many possibilities. If you like the large bubbles, uh, get them now. Uh, 9.99 is your price. They are uh, six inches in diameter or 150 mil. And of course the recipe of winter and look at that three spoons of happiness two helpings of a sparkle four large icicles a dusting of a snow falling outside and countless night by the fire that gives such delight and of course that believe that is a stamp by the dreamers which you can find on the website because of course the dreamers were uh, here this morning at 7 a.m remember flexivine you can get flexivine those large bubbles uh, zero two three 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 two is your item number and talking about large, look at the, the gnomes in here. They are properly large in here. And I love the decorations as well. I believe uh, they demonstrated them, uh, the Dreamy's Carnal and Haley, uh, oh, either 7 or I think 10 o'clock they were on. And look at them. It's a family family of them of course check out rewind to see the demonstrations but look at that all three of them and this is a lovely project as well for old ages so i'm thinking maybe if you are thinking projects for christmas that the kids can get involved because there are larger areas in here to work with they are going to be really fun and it's great to use all the scraps that you may have so papers and embossing folders and fabrics and little fibers in there as well and of course paper flowers gems that you may have 
And it's a great way to have displays. And then, of course, you can display them at home, or maybe can, they can be gifts, or maybe they can be like kind of the ways. I like, well, my idea, I'm kind of championing for this year the reverse advent calendar, which is basically instead of getting something every day, you are putting each, each day something in it, and then at the end of Christmas Day, you have them. And this could be for a family of three, and of course, the day after, the day Christmas, so you have got the elements, and each one, it belongs to somebody. 9.99 is your price. Of course, that means that you can spread the cost into interest-free payments, and just pay five pounds today for all three of them. 2.895 zero three is your item number and you know why you can flex divide even though it's 9.99 well this is the last life hour the last hour actually of festive flex extravaganza here's more info on that are you struggling for ideas or need a little extra creative inspiration as you start your crafty preparations for Christmas 2021? From Thursday the 1st of July at 6pm to Tuesday the 6th of July at 6pm, we'll be bringing you the Craft Store's festive Flextravaganza event. Tune in and be inspired by a fantastic selection of your favourite crafty experts who are guaranteed to get you in the crafty Christmas spirit. Also, as an early Christmas treat from us to you, if you add at least £5 worth of any items to your shopping basket during the event, either online or on the phone, you will qualify for our festive Flex Travaganza Flexi Basket offer. This means you can spread the cost of your entire order over two equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you a more cost effective way of shopping with us. Flexi payments for everyone. So get ready for Christmas 2021 by tuning in to our festive Flex Travaganza event from the 1st of July at 6 pm. That's right. And now this is the last live hour that you can flex see by it. And of course, that means that this is the last live hour in which you can spread the cost interest free of your, uh, of course, whatever, uh, whatever, if you put in your basket, as long as it's five pounds. Well, let's have a look at the website of everything we have on, of course, because we have incredible deals there, incredible uh, as in dice from Sentimentally Yours. We have sold out of the pink for cars. This is a reminder to check out your baskets. And of course, we have those Crafty Devils MDF Christmas tree ornaments. You are getting 30 of them. It's fabulous. They're gorgeous MDF a shadow box. And of course, we have got the 3D snow. And we have also the, of course, the stamp addicts, a snow glove, a stamp snow globe, sorry, uh, clear sunset. And of course, we have the car making magic with festive portals, as well as, of course, the embroidery kits there that you can see. So many different elements in there too of course, that you can check them out on the website. Now, Car Making and Magic um, is one of those, you know, it's a really fabulous uh, kind of brand that is all created in, in uh, around Christina Griffiths, who is an incredible crafter. And she lo loves the kind of car making, well, she loves obviously car making, but also loves, I think it is flowers, ribbons, and of course, pearls. And Everything is kind of very intricate and loves the elements that kind of layer and layers upon layers of pretty, pretty elements. And this is the Festive Portals complete collection in which you have 88 dies and 66 stamps in total. Now, of course, you can see that everything mixes and matches and you have got all the complete collection. You have there the price, 92 pounds and 94 pounds. Now, you can flex, right? Of course you can. But that saving of 27 pounds of course it will be there whether you flex it or not shall we show those ones as well because you have of course they have the hexagon and then we have the uh, kind of arch in there and then we have got also the um which one sorry i know that i keep moving them but you know uh, of course, you have got the square there with the snowflakes. Uh, and right, remember, if you flex it by 46 pounds and 47 pence is what you're paying today. And you can see there that you have saving 27 pounds. Now, grab yours, check out those baskets. Remember, this is the last live hour of festive uh, flex travaganza. Also, this is the kind of the best of Christmas, the beautiful kind of MDF. We have talked about dyes, we have talked about papers, but we also are going to talk about embroidery, cross stitch being the first kit in here. 
And Varvaka, uh, a uh, Christmas atmosphere, car counted uh, stage. Now, of course, this was a show, I think, at 5 p.m. yesterday with uh, Rosella. She's so amazing, isn't she? So those uh, shows are worth going back uh, on thecraftstore.com and rewind because then you can see them. Now, the first kit is, of course, the one that features the counted um, beautiful cross stage of the cats. Now, what that means is, of course, you have the patterns and then then you have in here the ADA as well, but then you can transfer because it's not printed onto the ADA because it's counted. Then you can transfer. Oh, this one is a little bit upside down, and uh, you know. My, you know, my friendly Patchy, which I haven't seen him in ages. Uh, he used to be like, he used to go upside down a lot with the times. He, he was a little bit of a cheeky monkey. Uh, but you can see how you can transfer them if you wanted the patterns into uh, different settings. So, for instance, a bookmark. So you can alter that once you have the pattern in here. Now, if you want to go for this bundle, 16 pounds or 49 pounds. However, you can split the cost and the saving will be still there as well. So you would be paying actual eight pounds and 25 pence today you have got the cards as well so it's a kind of a standalone and you have got all the thread that you need as well now of course we also have another card kit in here this is a different pattern this one of course is the beautiful Christmas symbols and I adore the Christmas trees in here you have got the heart and of course Rudolph in there as well and I think this is the harness isn't it it's a kind of the beautiful red harness though of course that's kind of the way that they do it in there and look at those ones look at this isn't just gorgeous you can see there and then you can see oh I love this and we have this snowflakes within the tree right very personal very special and of course they become treasure cards afterwards a 185104 is your item number again you can flex it still flexible flex travaganza now if you wanted to do um, bookmarks we have got just the um, the kit for you because we have got the gnomes and I love how one of them is sing, uh, Carol singing and of course the other one is standing there on top of the presents underneath the heart darling if you want to be kissed you will stand underneath the mistletoe not the heart and um, you know, somebody needs to tell him that a 14 pounds and 49 pounds is your price of course you inflate it in two it would be seven pounds and 50 pence today with a two and a, a two pounds and 50 pence saving uh, now so, oh did I say 20 uh, seven pounds oh sorry oh i was short changing you uh seven pounds and 25 pence of course it is never trust paula with maths thank goodness i have got somebody intelligent with a calculator in my ear now the next one that we have is a very was very very popular uh yesterday over half the stock has gone now what i love about this kit is that it comes in and it comes already uh, finished. Uh, I believe this one is the, uh, yeah, the work run. So you have pre-printed into your tablecloth and the pattern. Now you can follow it as close as you want or not at all because it's printed into with an ink that will disappear once you wash it. So that's quite imp good, isn't it? Because if you are not as, uh, you know, as, a, as precise as you would like to be don't you worry but also more importantly at least for me is that they come already finished and that by that mean is that already is a table runner printed so you can see it here the finished one that all the edges are already done so all you need to do is embroider and I know many of you uh, are embroiderers rather than sewers so therefore you know that this is a perfect project for you also, I do like the fact that if we come closer, we can see the stitches, the cross stitch is not tiny. If I put my hair, it's a really nice size. So if you are looking for a project that is not too, you know, like kind of easier on the eyes, these would be absolutely extraordinary. And look at the detail as well. Look at the colors. I love that. This is so fun in here. Right, if you want yours, well, 52 pounds and 98 pounds, you're getting the runner. And of course, the tablecloth, 50% uh, of the stock has, oh, 60, it's not no, I said it right the first time. I should have more confidence in my own hearing. 60% of the stock has gone. 311739 is your item number. 26 pounds and 49 pence could be all your pain today. You have got a two pound saving. But of course, it, if you went for the individuals, it, it carries forward an additional saving. So I think it was a 10 pound saving if you uh, were to buy them individually. So that is a 
good to consider. Now, another kit with embroidery, with gorgeous, of course, is the Romandine uh, card making kit, the season's greeting card. Now, Katrina was here at, I believe, is, was it at 11 and 2? And oh, I love her, what she did. I love her demos. I love how she puts together uh, incredibly beautiful cars and projects. Now, we were very, very busy. And of course, limited stock is approaching limited stock on them. Now, this means that you have six projects there with the six blank cards, but you also have enough to create a, a, a a seventh project. I'm going to come in. Sorry about that, because I'm going to try not to destroy the everything. But not, well, I did something fell. But anyway, we'll pick it up. Uh, now you can see in here that you are getting the tweet. And the tweet is being, of course, selected by Katrina. So it is the perfect weave. So, of course, you can put layers and layers. But you have got the empty space here, which means that you have got space for a seventh project. And you're thinking, but you're saying that there is six projects? Of course, there's five printed. Then you are getting the felt in for uh, the bubble, which is in here. There you can see the bubble. And of course, that means that you have the bubble into the felt, but then you have got five printed and an extra one in there as well. Very busy for this one. It, remember that we are now limited stock. Now, we are not bringing it back on extended delivery today. So if you want yours, make sure to check out your baskets. 19 pounds or 95 pence or today, because we still are on festive flex extravaganza, you could pay, of course, uh, you know, nine pounds and 99 pence, I think. Uh, now, of course, we have got only about 15 minutes left in, the, in, in this hour, 15 minutes to flexi buy your basket. So grab it while we have it. Remember, limited stock, so it means there is no security that even it would be available after the show. So make sure to check out your basket. Now, we have got lots more as well on the website, so check it out. Now, for instance, we have, of course, the Clarity Stamps Barbara Rhyme Time Alphabet Stamp Collection with the Rhyme Time Book uh, number two. And, of course, there are three cube boxes in there. Uh, now, £49.97 is your price, uh, and you're saving a massive £22.50. Now, that is phenomenal, isn't it? And I love those cube boxes as well. Now, you can can flexify, of course you can, you still have got, we are still flex, uh, flex extravaganza. Uh, two payments of £24.99. So actually, the first payment is uh, almost one of, you know, that like you're saving almost as much as one of your first payments, in fact, almost. Uh, 353848 is your item number. Now, we have another stamp set as well. Of course, that is the Snob Globe a Clear. Now, £10.99, and, and, and this is from Stamp Addicts, and if you want to flexibuy it, you can. How much you would pay? Of course, you would pay £5.50 and pence today. Now, it, it, it is on extended delivery. It will be dispatched on the 10th of July. 025098 is your item number. Now, of course, not only we have got Flexi Buy, not only how we have got Flex Terrence, but of course, we have got Freedom. Here's Leonie to tell you more about it. <clears throat> Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away, or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888, and join Freedom today. And of course, uh, join the family here at the craft store. I mean, we always we always say it is like a family, and it is. I mean, people leave us and then come back to us. Of course, our Emily, who is behind the cameras, our Katie, who is in my ear as well, and some people never leave, like our Chris, our director. Anyway, uh, now we have got, of course, the Rococo Splendor Festive Complete Collection from Phil Martin. It is an amazing collection that comes prices of three embossing folders, eight by eight. And 
now we have got the snow, the falling snow, the mistletoe, and the holly flourishes. Then you are getting three A5 stamp sets. You are getting the foliage, the gorgeous kind of solid there. You are getting the sentiments with the largest sentiments in there, the festive prices and then of course you are getting the final one in here as well that gorgeous um you know kind of sentiments in there as well with that fabulous fun so swoosh kind of so it of course is the amazing festive sentiments and of course you are getting the backgrounds as well so you're getting two of them and then you are getting the papers now you are getting uh, 80 sheets in total, 40 of in each of the packs, and you are getting two of each uh, of per design per colorway. Of course, the background ones uh, you have got two designs, and of course you have got 10 colors. So it's a fabulous bundle. 047 one to one is your item number. You are saving 13 pounds, and of course you can flexibly in three interest-free payments. Now we have got some news about the reindeer walk which is of course the kid now it, we are limited in stock now of course that means 90 percent of the stock has gone if you want yours please make sure to check out your baskets i love that how it comes to you uh, they are pre-printed pre-finished you can just go and stitch it and don't worry about the printed element lines because of course you uh, they will wash out uh, once you wash it in the machine uh, and of course you are getting all the threads to finish it off and then you will have something I mean, this has to put a smile on people's faces. I mean, even on Chris's face, it would put a smile, won't it? No, you know, oh, yeah, of course it will. Listen. And of course, uh, you have them, the details there. Yes, yes, kind of, yes, yes. 311739 is your item number. Of course, do you, super, 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 super limited. So if you want it, I don't know what was that, but you know, it's very limited basically in the stock. So if you want your kit, of course, you have got everything you need to complete it. Uh, check out your baskets. 26 pounds and 49 pounds will be all you are paying today if you flexibide. And remember the saving because of the individual savings, they are carried forward. So actually you are saving 10 pounds should you buy them elsewhere individually. Now, of course, we have not only beautiful table Plus, where we have got embossing powders, a set of six by Fel Martin. And I have to say, you are getting 20 mil in each, which is more than you get into the traditional embossing parts. Now, that means that you are getting actually 120 mil of embossing powders, that fine detail for all that specs of kind of that you get in his uh, amazing stamps. 32 pounds and 94 pence is your price. 917869 is your item number. If you flexibide, it would be, is it 16 pounds and something? Okay. 1647. Well, I got half of it, right? You know, half of it, right? Half of it. Uh, now, of course, we have a pick and mix of cardstock. Now, we have the premium luster cardstock pick and mix. You are choosing any three, uh, <laughs> three bucks. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love. Uh, I love working in this place. I mean, I wish, I, you know, uh, sometimes I wish we could put the, what the, the voices in our ear, it could be out loud because you will have a lot of sympathy for us presenters, let us say, you know. Uh, and also for other people working here as well. Anyway, so you can see the uh, gorgeous, uh, beautiful luster card. Now, now, of course, that means that you are getting three packs of uh, whichever colors you want to. Now, so that means that you, in each pack, you are getting 20. So, that, of course, that means that you are getting 60 sheets of A4. Now, you can choose whichever you want. So, we have got colors like the Majestic Blue, which is one of my favorites. Which one would be your favorite, Emily? Uh, that's the Majestic Blue. And people in my ear, which one will be your... Ah, your... Uh, Katie likes the gold. She has... Uh, oh, look at that. Do it works. And of course, uh, Chris, which one is your favorite? Oh, he's just not listening. Oh, the orange one. Oh, he really likes the ginger color. The red is red, actually. Look at that. Yes. <laughs> Okay, man. That makes actually. Can I? Can I just say, if I put it like, like, um, like, the, is, is it? Is, I don't know even the Spanish flag now. <laughs> uh, no, like, like this bit. <laughs> like that. That. That's it. Uh, no, no, that's that's the Spanish flag, isn't it? 
the, 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 yeah, yeah, the, the, the yellow in the middle and then the red in the side. Yeah, you know, that's... Anyway. <laughs> now, it's, I kind of, I've really forgotten. It's two, two small, thin red lines and one gold in the middle. It is, yeah. Uh, 22 pounds and 14 and pence. Uh, 692269. You know when you are sure about something that you know very well, and then <laughs> the voices in my ear that kind of no, that's like no, that's not it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, apparently, they are, they, they are saying that I'm not from Spain. They are, I, that I'm from Grimsby. Somebody email in once, and I, I forgot your names. And if you are watching, please email us in, because that was amazing. I love that. Uh, somebody said that the other half thought that I was uh, from Leeds, so I would come off air with a Leeds accent. I think it's a hilarious uh, idea. I wish, I wish I had a Leeds accent. I wish I had any accent but mine. But anyway, moving on, we have, of course, the gorgeous borders in here. You are getting the Fastest 4 Borders trio. You are getting three uh, dies in there that are eight inches in height. So we just under or over, I think just eight inches. And you have the beautiful detail. The here that is debossed. And of course, you have got the cutting lines either side and you can do some paper weaving as well. You are getting the holly, the poinsettia, and of course the gorgeous uh, snowflake border. But if you want to flexify it, well, you have about five minutes to do so, to check out your master case and tick that box. I want to spread the cost in interest-free payments and pay just, of course, uh, £12.50 pence today. Now, the... You also could add those fern leaves by Phil. Now, of course, if you want them, £17.99 is your price, or half that, so £8, uh, no, uh, yeah, uh, eight, uh, £9 today. 328178 is your item number. Very popular for those ones, very popular. So do check out your baskets. Uh, now, of course, we have, we're trying to show you as many as possible. Remember, this is the best of Christmas, and this is the last hour in which you can spread the cost on anything about five Five pounds. What a way to get some amazing craft products. And here we have, of course, the Winter Village uh, rubber stamps. And of course, they are rubber stamps, clean foam mounted. So you can, of course, bring them to life with any color ink that you want. I love the fact that they are clean foam mounted. So you can see them here. And, of course, 40% of the stock has gone. Remember, they were, uh, Sue was here at 3 p.m. with them, so you can watch it on Rewind. Now, we have got minutes to go uh, till the end of the hour, but with seconds to go until the this end of this show. I want to sell you, of course, that Flex Travaganza will end at 6 p.m., so check out your baskets right now. Get the bargain, can I spread the cause, and, of course, stay tuned here at the craft store, because after the break, a brand new one-day special. Well, it is a brand new one day special from Indigo Blue, okay? It's ready to delight you. Then we are back, well, I'm back for Jelly Bean Crafts Happy Hour. Have you heard of freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away, or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888, and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Jo, and I have the pleasure of demonstrating for That's Crafty. That's Crafty are a family-run business that started online in 2005. Initially, as an online business, the company has grown and Graham joined the business in 2015 and they now produce their own surfaces and sensors. 
That's Crafty have a wide range of products, including stamps, surfaces, stencils, paints, inks, and mediums, all geared up for mixed media and paper craft alike. I hope I can inspire you by bringing along my experience together with the That's Crafty products. So make sure you don't miss the That's Crafty shows. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. All of our MDF products are produced in Devon in the UK and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. Good evening, everyone. I'm so excited to be able to do this one day special. I'm a huge fan of Indigo Blue, a massive fan of Kay. And let me introduce you to lovely Kay. Hello, Hi. it's been way too long since I we worked together. It has, it has. I don't think we've actually done a show since you had Archie. That's how long it's been. What? And he's seven months old, so. Ar Archie was seven months, yeah, literally yesterday. So we haven't done one since no, Archie was born. We haven't. Wow. Okay, so that shows. So it's lovely the to be here been. anyway. You know, talking about journeys, I mean, I've been at the uh, craft store now for coming up to five years, and mm -hmm. you're such a big part of that journey, because I remember one of my first shows I did was with you. That's right, And that's seeing right. the evolution, I've still got, you made me a lovely mixed media piece. Oh, uh, really? I've still got it in our kitchen. You've yeah, still, we've got still got it. that. Yeah, oh, I've still got that. Bless. But um, <laughs> and the only reason I'm saying that, I know that you've got so many fans out there, and it's so nice that you've shown the progression, the evolution of the company. The box kits are incredible. The amount that you get for, I mean, for 1996 is phenomenal. It is, phenomenal. and the amount of work that goes into it for, from all of the DT is incredible. So how long would it take to, to comprise a, a box kit? How much work? It, it gets, um, it's months and months worth of work, yeah. basically, from the conception to designing the, the stamps and the dies and everything. Mm -hmm. We talked to the graphic designers and they did the papers for me. I did a, a couple of papers and then they took those elements and did more. And then we have to um, get those approved approved and come back and then we start with um, commissioning all of the DT, the design team members yeah. and then they spend weeks on it because of course because it's a magazine they want their very very best work so they may do if they're a commission to do like five projects they might do 10 or 12 and then once they've chosen the right ones they then have to write it all out yeah. the, the ingredients the step-by-steps the photos it's a huge amount of work that they do yeah. And, you know, we are so grateful that they bring their skills to share with everybody. And that's what it's all about. It's all about educating people and hopefully get, getting you aware of what you can do. Because a lot of people may be a little bit tentative. But if you've got a project there and how to do it, then you can have a go yourself. And that's the key. Look, the way I see this, if I know, know for the last year or so we haven't been going to workshops. But if I was to say one project, to make one project... Um, you go to a workshop, how much would you pay if we were to then, and that workshop, they would give you, say, the stamps or the papers uh, or the stencils to create that project? How much? What? 1996, I think, is very conservative. Oh, absolutely. I mean, how much would you say for work, one workshop? Well, we, we charge £170 pounds okay. for two days okay, at our dirty weekend. Dirty weekends are amazing, That's by the way. That's right. And they are, are amazing. Are they coming back? Dirty uh, they, they are going on. We're oh, actually, um, we are actually doing selling them on uh, the craft store, okay. so they can buy have them from through the craft store. Yes. You will never have a better weekend. Trust me. Dirty weekends. <laughs> no, they are great. They, they are. are well they made. Are. But um, just wanted to say, and we are very, very busy. Look, let's just say for a local, forget Indigo Blue, I know Dirty Weekends yep. are phenomenal and they're yes. worth every penny. But if you were to just go to a very ordinary workshop, pay 30, 40 pounds for one workshop to do one piece. There are 71 projects in this fantastic magazine. Look at all the stamps that you are getting. I mean, that is a full A4 stamp set. 
that you're seeing and talk us through these stamps because they are incredible. Absolutely, yeah, if you went to a workshop and you got an A4 sheet of stamps like that, yeah. you'd be over the moon if you'd you only would. paid £20. Yeah. Now these stamps are absolutely gorgeous, I am thrilled to bits with these, I really, really love them. We've got loads of background stamps, we've got border stamps, we've got um, loads of single elements, we've got some lovely words um, and of course I've got that lovely big gorgeous poppy yeah. <laughs> we've got we've got vandals in the studio yeah, saying, we've got the stores, uh, in there. so you're getting all of the stamps but here's the thing those aren't the only stamps that you're getting can i just draw your attention to something that i know so many indigo blue fans are collecting and that is our collector's edition stamps you're getting a set of three of those included in and these are I mean, very coveted. They are. They yeah. are. And these are on our red rubber. So these are handmade by ourselves in Retford um, by Craig. And we have, um, this is cups. This is gorgeous. So I've done a stencil like this. And it's really popular. I adore it. It's a, it looks really simple, but it's incredible how many times you pick it up to use it. So we've got that. We've also got a lovely flower head here this is sunshine flower and this will actually match another stamp set i've got coming out later in, in the year so you will you, love using this you and such I'm good rubber as well can we i do. say they yeah really it's do. really a grade rubber red rubber mm. um, that we use and um, we make them deep etched so you get all those gorgeous details and thank you so much to mike uh, mike deakin art check him out online he does some amazing uh, uh, youtube videos he designed this for me this especially for so me cool. and it's so lovely i love that wow. um, an ex libra so you would normally put, i used to put these in my books when i was younger so and i'd write my name and yep. so you know if i lent my book to somebody this book um, belongs I, I, to they you. know they that, know that is such a good stamp to have <laughs> it is. okay it is. We are, so it goes in your yeah. journal beautifully journals books we're five minutes into the show over 10 percent of the stock's <gasps> gone and you know how much stock you Oh got. my goodness, <laughs> that's incredible. Uh, that is, and Thank I'm so, you so much. Can I say, Thank you. I'm so pleased, and I'm genuinely pleased for you because you've poured so much into this, and I know how much it means to you and the company and the design team. We're not stopping there though. So we took the collector's edition stamps, you're getting those, you're getting that full A4 stamp set as well. You're going to get the most beautiful papers you can see here. So you're going to get papers, and you're getting papers within. Uh, the actual, you'll find them all. When we flick through the magazine, yes, you'll be able to see those. those. But they are mm -hmm. gorgeous, gorgeous papers. But also you get these as well, these A5 papers. So um, we asked for some rice papers, but these are not really exactly rice papers, but they feel like a lovely textured handmade paper in oh, yeah. A5. And they really are nice. They've they got do. that sort of vintage vibe to oh, them, yeah. which I really, really like. But so even though they might be called rice paper, I wouldn't describe them as okay. traditional rice paper. That's fair enough. Uh, we've got a stencil in there as well, so you're going to be getting a I mean, I can't believe how much is in this one set. <laughs> Look at the stencil. And the textures on there. I love the texture at the bottom. Ooh. So tell me a little bit about this stencil, because that looks so well designed. I love the floral aspect and then the texture underneath. Well, I can only take credit for the texture underneath, because okay. that's, um, that's the one that I designed. And then uh, the graphic design team at Practical Publishing, they helped with the others as well. So they took inspiration from my artwork and mm. then has transferred it into this lovely stencil, which I think is gorgeous. That's nice. So let's just recap. You're getting the magazine with 71 inspirations and so much more in there. You're also going to get the collector's edition stamps. You're getting the full A4 stamp set, uh, 20 stamps in there. You're going to get the uh, stencil, and if that's not enough, the A5 papers that we're describing in there. So it's kind of like, it's got more of a hand paper feel. I know we're describing it as rice papers. But then you've got the dies in the mix as well. And this is the point. Normally, with the dies, I mean, we're getting three dies in the set too. All of that, dies, stencils, stamps, papers, more papers, 71 inspirations for 19.99. It is an absolute bargain. Absolute bargain. And I can, seriously, if it's your first time watching the craft store, maybe seeing Indigo Blue, get it in your basket. If you're a fan of Indigo Blue, Get it in your basket, and we're approaching 20% of the stock. What? Um, 
Do you know what we'll goodness. do? We'll be really useful. Should we have a quick flick yes. through? Yes, let's have a look. Mm. So um, this is how you get your your box kit. Okay. okay. And uh, I actually use the um, the outer of the box as well um, yeah. to to make stuff. So I don't actually waste any of that. Yeah. And then um, you get this package. So this has got all of your stamps in. It's got your lovely handmade papers in, and it's got your die in and your stencil. So they're all in there. Um, mm -hmm. Um, so I can show you there's your stencil which is beautiful this is my stamp set so it's been well well loved already yeah. so you get your lovely stamps as well and mm -hmm. um, you get your die and you can see that I'm, I'm using mine lots it's a really lovely die because it's not only uh, cuts the outer edge but it embosses as well so you can oh, nice. see that it's got some nice embossing on it as well yep. which is a really nice detail mm -hmm. as well so you get those lovely handmade papers this is the one that I've designed here um, and it's just <laughs> it's just fantastic so um, let's um, we open with well, can you just what's in the was that your yeah. TV Oh, there Who's you go. that there? There you hey. go. <laughs> That's our Leone. That's nice. <laughs> Yeah, so um, we obviously do include um, our story here because, yeah. of course, we've been here since day one, yeah. which has been wonderful. Um, so, um, and this tells you what's in your kit. So, I've got um, some samples that I've done. So, I do a masterclass on luscious, and mm -hmm. you know how you love your luscious. Yes. So, we've got some lovely stuff. Well, um, those two to inspirations do. alone, you've got me. So if, if, oh, if, if just to you. learn how to do two, I think there are 71 inspirations in there. You're getting the stamps, you're getting everything you need. And I do see it, I keep going back to it. For me, it's like a workshop in a box. It is, absolutely. You're completely right. And um, I think the value in this is just absolutely hot. superb. And I kind of get the feel that you learn a lot of techniques too. It's so, the instructions are really easy to follow. As they well, are, they through. are, absolutely. So I'll get one of Lorna's out. She's done some beautiful, beautiful work. I thought I'd got one out. And um, in front of you, mm -hmm. you will see that you've got these um, beautiful, candles that Rachel's done she's also done this utensils oh, yeah. here for the kitchen um, and she Sorry. also has done a, a beautiful plate as well um, as well as um, I just love that utensils to put all your stuff yeah. in that's so brilliant just here using the papers and creating some pots for you but do you know I'd have that in my craft desk and put my brushes in yes there. absolutely yeah. and the heart at the front as well Rachel's done mm -hmm. so um, and there's just loads. Our oh, Carolyn's done some beautiful work as well. Okay. Um, I thought I brought one of Carolyn's out. Um, it gives you a bit of a lowdown on some of our products, just to remind you all the things. We've got a lovely big Storage. box kit done by our Jill Humphrey. Oh, wow. Um, and then we go on to the papers. Now, look at these papers. They're a matte um, paper, so and they're a really nice quality so as well. We can stamp onto those as well. Yes, absolutely. So you can stamp, you can spray, you can paint, you can do all sorts, all and your they designs? are really lovely designs. Yeah. So um, they've taken the original designs mm -hmm. and some of the stamps, and then they've created these lovely papers oh, for nice. us, and yeah. they've done a really lovely job because I just love these. Look, Look how big that is. That's yeah. just gorgeous. It is the size of the printer. I love. Yeah, I, like I do, and I like the fact that they've put in you know odd little bits as well so I can easily make a card or a journal page really really quickly with these I mean, okay when you break look, it down look, think how much you pay just for the papers alone. yes I know you'd pay a tenner just yeah. for these papers there's 32 pages um, and they're double-sided and they're repeated ones so you know mm -hmm. you can stroke one and use one Done. as it were um, and then we go on to um, the lovely Kerry. Now I wanted to show you this. So I think Kerry made this one here and she's done a forever. Oh yes. I love these. I haven't made these for years but I absolutely love these mm -hmm. and you know Kerry said this was such a challenge for her to do these commissions because she doesn't normally do um, kinetic cards yeah. but I think she's really excelled herself and, what and done. Use of everything that oh yes can. absolutely. So she, she's using 
use the stamps on top of the paper. Absolutely. And she's done a really marvellous job. Um, and I particularly like this one as well, which I wanted to show you, because it really shows off those gorgeous dyes. And the embossed detail you get from Yeah, the well. embossed. And you also get a cut through as well. So if you wanted, you could shape them. They're good sizes. Think, You've got to yeah, think that's they, a flower. That's a really are. nice size. It is a perfect size, isn't yeah. it? Especially for cards. So this actually folds out like this. I just think it's really, really sweet. Really nice. nice. So she's done waterfall cards, all sorts there. So lots of nice inspiration for you. Um, and then we've got Vanessa Hodgson, who's one of our um, uh, designers from Practical. She's done a beautiful cover for a here. bottle of wine. I mean, and you've got on. that there. It's gorgeous, it, isn't it? Imagine giving that, gifting some wine and presenting it in a beautiful case like this. How wonderful would that be? It's We'd lovely, love isn't it? Come on, look at that. It's got, I'm getting a bit of a Japanese feel, you know, like the mm. um, Japanese screens. Yes, I think it's that red and yes, black, it isn't is. it? And the screens, yeah, that, it's lovely, isn't it? So you could quite easily go to a workshop and learn how to do, say, that as a project and pay what, 20, 30 pounds. Yes, definitely. The fact that you are getting 71 projects in here is just phenomenal, phenomenal. Okay, what else have we got? Uh, we've got our fantastic Carolyn Lakin, who does the most amazing stuff. Um, she's got some absolutely gorgeous work in here. Uh, we've got details on our Dirty Weekends. Mm -hmm. um, we have actually got um, dates now, um, which I think you're advertising on your yeah. website. So you can, um, you well, can book Leon's through here. been on Dirty here. Weekend. She has. How long was that? Um, no. Gosh, that was a couple of years ago now, yeah. and she's booked to come with us um, to do some more actually next Amazing. year. So, yes. Yeah. Dirty weekends are very well, popular. Too, I hear, I hear yeah. a lot of good things about your dirty oh, weekends. Oh, thank you. Yeah, 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 I do get a lot of thank yous. A lot of very, fun, yeah. it's, it's lovely. Just yeah. wanted to say, one day special time. It's going to be, and I apologise if you watched the launch of uh, yesterday's one day special. This is very similar in the sense that it's just absolutely flying. We are a quarter of the what? stock. And we really did have a lot of stock. Oh, thank That's you. in 15 minutes. And I'm genuinely so pleased for Indigo Blue and Kay in particular because it means so much to her and she works so hard in bringing you these box kits. But I think so many uh, viewers can appreciate value for money. This is Place B. We will continue flicking through the magazine in a moment. Got a lot more to share with you. All I will say, and I'm just going to leave you with this if you just tuned in. For 1996, let's just go through, I'm going to be super quick here, but think about this. For 1996, now you are, even at full price, 24.96, this is an absolute steal. How much would you pay for a magazine, a quality magazine filled with 71 beautiful inspirations from Kay and her design team? I mean, that alone is worth its weight in gold. But then you're getting a full A4 stamp set. We've seen 20 stamps in there. But this is where life gets really interesting. You're also going to get the set of three collector's editions, and I know so many of you are building up that collection. So these are really, really coveted. So you're going to get those. You're also going to get this stencil, which you're seeing down there. And if that's not enough, you're getting beautiful A5, right, well, we're saying rice papers, but they're more like a handmade paper. They've got that feel to them. I'm not saying they're handmade, but they've got that feel to them. You've got the papers we saw in the magazine, 32 sheets, double-sided, absolutely gorgeous. And we saw that when flicking through, they are stunning. Uh, then we have the dies down here as well. So set of three dies, A4 stamp set, uh, A5 papers, A4 papers, 32 of those. You're getting the collector's edition stamps, you're getting the stencil. We are well over a quarter of the stock, but the real heart of it is the actual magazine. This is, this is the foundation that builds a whole box set. And it means that you're going to learn how to make stunning inspirations. Just going through 71 of the most gorgeous inspirations there. I'm just going to share a few of these with you because you, ne you need to see it. And I know we were meant to move on, so I want to apologize to the team because cameras were moved and I'm being awkward, so I'm, so I'm sorry. But you can see that. What about, well, I tell you, I will ask for forgiveness in the form of this. Come on, look at that. Are you kidding, Kay? That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Or what about something like this? Or how about 
something like this. I'm going to open this one up. Look. Ba -ba. Oh, wow. So you're going to learn how to do <laughs> an inspirational that. that. But that's you know Kerry's. That's gorgeous, isn't it? That's in the magazine. What I absolutely love, and I will stop there because throughout the hour I'm going to show you more. 71 inspirations. I've just shown you a handful. But do you know what I love about this? Because there's nothing more frustrating than you see a demonstration, but then you're like, okay, now I need to find the stamps and I'll have I got the papers here, the dies, the stencil everything you need to make the inspirations inside here the 71 inspiration is given to you in the box kit and i've got to tell you we're approaching 30 percent of the stock it's a busy one uh 488447 your item number now okay. we've got some sprays for you and but, uh, I, I love i love working with charlotte my producer she's so good, but she's in, in my ear she was like before you say anything 40% of the stock's gone. 40% oh of the stock word. has gone. This is incredible. And this is a brand new release from K and Indigo Blue. We need to talk about these sprays because they are breathtakingly good. I mean, breathtakingly good. What I will say to you, I'm going to pick one up. I'll give it a bit of a shake because we already have, um, there's so much micro in here. Now, you were do you mind if we talk about the backstory to this, Kay? Yeah, absolutely. I didn't absolutely. ask you before the show. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. And the only reason I'm bringing this up, let me just give this a stir, is because Kay's wanted to bring something like this to you for a very, very long time. And you went to a number of manufacturers and you were telling me you just weren't able to get what you wanted. That's right, yes. So yeah. in the end, you thought, okay, we're going to make it in-house. Yes. So that's what you've done. Yeah. Tell us about the Vivid sprays, because they yeah. are phenomenal. They really, they're really, they just incredible. They are, uh, and we've had help from a manufacturer mm -hmm. who's taught me how to, how to do it, right. which I'm so grateful for. I really am. Um, and um, they... But first of all, uh, we wanted to do this for such a long time, as you said, so we actually do it in-house. We actually bring the raw materials in, we actually mix them ourselves. We've put about four times as much pigment in that you so would normally get. That was one thing you were telling me. So the samples yeah. you were getting back from manufacturers, they just weren't strong enough for no, you? No, they weren't. They weren't. And I wanted really, really vivid colours, hence the name. Yeah. Uh, Mike Deakin came up with the name said, well, if they're so vivid, that's what you need to call them. Yeah. And they are really rich in colour. We've got mica in them as well, so that they so have an incredible... So much mica. I mean, on the telly, you can't really see. They look dark. Well, that is the mica, yeah. um, and when the light hits them, they just sing. They, they are beautiful. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the names as well? Sweet as summer peaches. So this is now you can get the sets uh, as sets of five. I will go through all this, but the main, everyone's going for the the main collection. A slice of jam and bread, whiskers on kittens. Come on, I love <laughs> that. Uh, and then down here we have the English pastures green and a drop of golden sun. So but I've got to tell you a little story about this because this is um, this is for my grandma who's uh, who died a very long time ago but we used to go to her house on a Sunday yeah. and after Sunday lunch we would sit down to one of her videos and she had a really good collection of musicals and we would sit and watch The Sound of Music I don't know how many times so these are inspiration from that so uh. these are a few of my favourite things. Well, from... a few of your favourite things. Yeah. Okay. That's nicely done. <laughs> so, raindrops on roses, perfectly precious purple, fresh morning mist, a catch of, catch of moonbeam, your blue satin sashes. Um, okay, these are extremely busy. Can I actually... Can I interrupt yeah, for a second? There's also, if you notice on the label, there is a QR code as mm -hmm. well. So. If you've got a smartphone, you can actually um, download an app called QR Codes yeah. and you can point your camera at that QR code and it will automatically take you through to the Indigo Blue site where all the uh, gallery is of all the images. Now, they're not all up at the moment because they're all here and we've only yeah. just got them back from the publishers. But over the next week or so, we will put all of those inspirations on there so that you know you can always look at those inspirations and we'll, obviously the design team have made lots and lots more samples for you so nice. all those will be going onto the website so you can see those as well just showing some inspirations with this actually no i've got to stop uh, okay 
we've just started seeing them. If I, if I was to tell you, because I know we were saying going to it at 40%, if I was to say we're now at 60% of the stock wow. in 23 minutes, that's bonkers, Of the right? whole set? Of the whole set. Wow. It's good, right? <laughs> Thank we're you not, so we're much. We're not actually at 60. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I teased, I'm sorry. We're not at 60. We're at 80%. 80% of the stock. <laughs> of the oh, stock. my goodness. Are you kidding me? Do you know one thing I need to point out? We're going to look at these sprays. The quality, so the fact there is four times more pigment in these, and that's why Kay's made them in-house. So Indigo Blue actually make these sprays. Um, we were chatting, and I know one of your design team was saying the bottles alone, to buy one of these bottles, you'd be looking at any, it's around about the £10 anyway, so 8 to £10? Well, yes, apparently, because when uh, we were showing them on Facebook yesterday, telling them about today's show, uh, this lady messaged in and said, oh, I've bought one of those bottles off Amazon, and it cost me £10. Yeah. And I can believe That's it, because their uh, bottles are bottle. very, very because expensive. They're, yeah. they're like a perfume bottle. They are, and we haven't even spoken about the bottles. The bottles are really important because because the spray is very important yeah. for having an ink spray because they get clogged up, yeah. don't they? Now, you have to have um, a very small particle of mica in there um, so it doesn't actually clog up and also the ink needs to stay in solution. But yeah. not only that, it's the tube as well because yeah. we don't always shake them up as we should. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is when you start spraying, all you're doing is sucking the mica up the tube, the tube yeah. and it blocks it. Okay, what if we don't have a tube? So what we, if we have just a vacuum? So wait, these don't have tubes? So are they don't have a tube in. These are vacuum. They're airless vacuums. Oh. So they actually just, the pressure of you pumping them pushes the bottom up through. Yeah. So that means um, and you're I think get I've every got, last drop. I've got one here. I've got yeah. one here. So you can see the bottom right. has been pushed up and it keeps it going up until it's it's empty. If you just turn now, it for the overhead camera, okay, just so we can see, if you just turn it that way, that bit back to you, there you go. There we are. So you can see how it's coming up, it's like a platform rising it up. It is, that's right. Yeah. Um, we just need to give an update, I'm so sorry, sorry. Kay. Sorry. Uh, they've sold out. What? Yeah, they've technically <laughs> sold out. They've oh my goodness. Sold out. Wow. Oh, thank you uh, so much. If they much. are in your basket, please press checkout because there are going to be a lot of people right now who are watching uh, and going to be very disappointed. So while I know we're talking to Kay right now to see if we can get hold of some more stock, um, and we have been given the go ahead, uh, we've had, oh, we have got some more stock, sorry. So we have got some more. It's on extended delivery. It's going to be dispatched in a week. Uh, that's Thank you, Kay. Uh, so <laughs> I've just give got me to a get week mixing. to make it. You're good, you are <laughs> just making got to mix these. It, yeah. So back on extended delivery, you will have to wait a week. Uh, details are on your screen right now, and there are two flexi payments of 37.45. The salient points with these, very quickly, and we will be seeing the sprays in action, vivid sprays. Four times more pigment in there. You've got a cosmetic grade uh, mica also within your sprays. The bottles alone, they're non-clog in the sense there is no um, there is no nozzle going down to get clogged, so they're vacuumless. So the platform lifts up, and uh, once you see them in action, you'll realise how good they are. They are made in-house by Indigo Blue because it was the only way Kay could achieve the results that she wanted. And I know so many of us place a huge amount of faith in, in Kay. We've followed you, your career. So if you're saying something, mm -hmm. if you're happy with them, we know we're going to be happy with them. Yeah. They're very good. You will not be disappointed. They were absolutely 100% worth that week's wait. Uh, can we just say one more thing before we go back to Kay? And this, uh, I'd love to just draw your attention to a previous box kit. This is another great buy, really good buy. Um, so, and I watched your show with this. I know it's immensely busy. I also know a lot of viewers missed out on this. So if you are one of those viewers who last time you tuned in, because it was just one of those shows, and I think our system was really struggling to keep up with how busy yeah, we were. Was. So um, if you want to get hold of this kit, come on. $12.99, you're getting the actual magazine, and it is a beautiful magazine with 70 inspirations. I'm just going to show you. So there's the magazine. 70 inspirations there. Look at that as a stamp set. I mean, if I was to just forget everything else, let me just move this to one side. If I was to just show you this stamp set and say $12.99 for this stamp set, you, I mean, I could sit at home, it would be immensely busy, right? 
you're not just getting this stamp set, but this is a absolutely stunning stamp set. So you are getting the magazine in there as well, and you are getting the stencil, which we can see here. So we just have a look at the stencil. There we go. So you're getting the stencil in the mix. I mean, how good is that stencil? I want to put that stencil on a jelly plate. So you're getting the stencil. And if that's not enough, you're also going to be getting a die set as well. So just to recap, $12.99, you're getting the dies, you're getting the stencil, you are getting the full A4 stamp set, and you're getting the magazine for $12.99. Done, done. Get in my basket. 774-419, your item number. That is such a good deal. Let's jump onto the website as we head back to uh, K. I know there's a lot on there. We're going to be playing with everything. The Vivids are just so busy. Uh, so a lot of you are going for those Vivids. Now, you can get the, this is quite interesting. Look at those collector's edition stamps. You can get the set of three. They're $11.97 just for those. Thinking how much extra you were getting in the, um, the actual box kits. It's such good value for money. But those collector's edition stamps are really, really coveted. Uh, the Vivids are brand, brand new to the craft store. Uh, K and Indigo Blue has never brought them before, and they are absolutely <laughs> flying. So many of you are going for those. And it's because I know that there are a lot of Indigo Blue fans out there, and you know the quality you get with Indigo Blue. If you've ever worked with the Luscious, done, you know uh, that you're getting something that really is special. Okay, so go onto our website, do have a little look. I know it's a busy, and I'm sorry, launch show. I'm in the industry, this is called filling because we needed to speak to Kay and we needed to just, just take a few minutes to regroup. That's how busy we are, but we have done that. So now I'm going to hand back to Kay and we're going to have a continue through the magazine, are we? I'll just uh, show you a couple of samples. Mm -hmm. So we've got these beautiful samples here by Sue Jacob, um, and they just look so gorgeous. They really do. So I'll, I'll put one there. Um, oh, if you just sorry, overhead, overhead. I beg you your pardon, I beg your pardon, sorry, there we go. And I just oh, want to show pretty. you how beautiful that is, how simple yet stunning. Uh, and it's nice just flower. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? And of course, it, it's a poppy, but it can be any colour you like. Nice. Um, and so the step-by-steps are in there for you. Yeah. Um, and then there's, there's more, but we'll, we'll go through that yeah. later. What okay. I like is the continuity you get within the box kits too. So you get that large dramatic poppy in stamp form, but then you also get it reflected in the papers. We've got the dies in there as well, the stencil, everything sort of har harmonizes together and creates something really special. Right, what have you got planned for okay, us? Okay, so um, I was going to do one demo and just at the last second I've changed my mind okay. because um, if these um, sprays are going to um, go, I better just demo them straight away. Okay. Um, so I'm taking that lovely big um, poppy, poppy stamp, stamp here. Let me just move those out of the way. It's a beautiful, beautiful stamp. Just for it's that one lovely, stamp. It's lovely, isn't it? You would sell that alone. Imagine how much you'd pay for a stamp of that size in detail. I know, it's really lovely. I'm really pleased with it. Um, it's so long ago since I, um, I designed it. And then when it came through, I was like, oh, this is, this is really nice. Mm. <laughs> and there's lots to it as well. So I'm actually using um, Versamark Fine. Sorry, not Versamark, Versify. Yep. I'm using the black and I'm using my stamping platform because it's such a big stamp. Yeah. And let me just check that I've got everything on oh, yeah, there. I've just like missed out a yeah. little bit yeah. up there. I, mean, I that, think it's nice to see it stamped out because it's like a collage, the, the amount of detail that you've crammed into one stamp. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? That I'm just going to nice. put a little bit more in the centre there, okay. which is the beauty the of having... <laughs> I know, I know, I can't help it. Yeah. There we go, that should... Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. That's really nice. And you'll always find hidden words as well in my collages. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I always put a scrap of paper in, in there just so it picks up all the excess ink. Yeah, the residue, yeah. And um, with this, I'm going over with our super fine clear embossing um, powder just nice. to give that a lovely gloss. Remember the days when I used to help you, Kay? I know. <laughs> all those back then, you seem like a distant memory. I know, memory. I know. We will again, we will mm. again, definitely. Um, you don't have to go off because this will only take a few seconds because yeah. I've got my... my 
<laughs> he'd gone on steroids. Yeah. Um, but I, I love, I love watching this anyway. This is what really caught me the first time um, about stamping. Just sit, and it does for a lot of people. Just seeing that embossing, and it just never tires of it at all. Yeah. Look at that! Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that's lovely. It's superb. That is such a beautiful stamp, and it is just such a small part of everything that you're getting in this set. It's just ridiculous. Because there's one stamp. Got to tell you, a third of the stock has gone. In th well, that's actually quite fitting because it's 33 minutes into the show. There's a spooky eeriness to that. 33 minutes into the show, and we've lost a third of the I stock. I love things like that. I love that's that. That's the universe I'm, telling I'm, you you've know. something truly I beautiful. I love that. But we are very, very busy for this. Okay, so. Um, you still need to shake these mm -hmm. because you've still got mica in them. Even though you can see the colour, yeah. that's just the ink. You do need to still shake them. And what kind um, of ink have we got in there? Are they water-based? So they are a water-based ink, okay. yes. So um, you can actually reconstitute them, which is lovely. So you can mix them as well and paint with them and do all sorts. One thing we need they to mention, Kay, to everybody is when eventually, I mean, these are going to last you a while, but when they do finally run out, please keep your bottles. As we were saying, that you could go onto uh, well-known sort of online platforms and pay sort of 10 pounds for just one of these bottles. Keep your bottles because yes. in the future, you haven't worked out how you're going to do it yet, but in the future, you're going to figure out a system where people can and refill their bottles maybe with really? Yes, we are. We're yeah. just trying to work it out, but we don't, um, they will fully recycle, but we don't want you to do that. We want you to hang on to your bottles and we will figure that out, whether it's a, it's a swap system yeah. or whatever. So um, now, you have got a really fine nozzle on here. We've made sure that you get a very fine spray. Now, even with the finest, um, even with water with a bit of colour in, you can actually clog up your spray head mm -hmm. because it's so fine just with the amount of ink that you've got, even if we didn't have mica in. So the easiest way to remember to do it is to shake, mm -hmm. spray, and splodge. Okay, so that, yeah. I've just literally, let me put that over there. I've literally just dabbed that straight into a, a, a tub of water. Yeah. And I actually don't dry it. I just put the lid back on and it's an airtight lid as well because it's oh. got a nice, you can hear good, it. yeah. Now, I have got a question regarding the sprays. Could we use these on fabric? Oh, yes. And I've got oh, some oh. fabric to do later. Okay. Yes. Lovely. Um, so you can't wash them yeah. because we haven't made it into a, yeah, yeah. Um, because these are water based, basically. <laughs> but look how vivid, you know, when you talk Again, about vivid. Look at that you, vivid colour. A picture speaks a thousand words. It does, I mean, doesn't it? So vivid. And wait until they dry and you get all that mica coming to the fore. It's just beautiful. So, again, remember to dip. Yeah. Dip it in water and then it's never going to get... Um... Now with regard to the sprays, we sold out, we brought them back on extended delivery. Uh, they're going to be dispatched on the 13th of July. Half the stock of the extended delivery has gone. What? Yeah, half the stock. Oh, crikey. So we are very, very busy. I can't, I, already I'm seeing the mica coming through as that's drying. Now would you advise oh, it to just you. dry naturally, don't force dry that? I do, yes. Mm. Um, I have force dried it, but you burn off a lot of the ink and the yeah. pigment. Um, and I tried force drying a piece of John's um, paper yeah. and um, it all started bubbling the, yeah, yeah. the ink and I was like, oh, it's burn. it literally was burning the ink. Okay. Um, so I thought I should have left Let it, it really. Relax, so. um, the, your, um, the other thing is um, your sprays will come in their own little bag as well so they're well going to be well protected so if you um, are going to be traveling to your friends with them um, just keep your bag so that they they keep nice and safe but I suggest getting yourself a really nice little box mm -hmm. decorating it oh and uh, putting them in and um, so I'm, I'm working on that as well to bring you a, a lovely MDF box that we can decorate together lovely. Um, so I've done one of these in, in black with mm -hmm. reds on it so I've, I've basically been using um, raindrops on roses um, the um, peachy one which is sweeter summer peaches Someone suggested, I'm not going to mention who, that we call it Peachy Bottom. Peachy but Bottom. We decided that that might be a little bit rude, so we decided to call it Sweetest Summer Peaches. Oh, okay. And I've also put a little bit of Catch a Moonbeam on there as I kind well. I like Peachy Bottom. I, really I know. <laughs> cheeky, <laughs> cheeky, but not, not too cheeky. Yeah, that's right. 
Um, and then I'm going to use blue satin sashes, of course, because it's my favourite colour. And you can cool. see that um, I'm, I'm not got my apron on, no. and you can see the white paper around it that um, it's not spraying everywhere. It's really very, focused, yeah. very directional. Of course, you can come further away, and it's going to do a, a more of a fine mist. But um, I just want it fairly directional. Again, just seeing, give it a dip. I'm, I'm looking at it from an angle. And the intensity of the colour from my angle where I'm looking at now is incredible. And it's something, when you get it home, it's just the nature of TV, it's very hard to show you uh, all is. the different It is. It is. It is, especially all that shimmer and shine. So mm. I've got um, the Drop of Golden Sun. Mm -hmm. So normally you would put silver with blue, but just look at this. It, it just gives you the most beautiful colours coming through. Remember, dip it. See, I, I keep forgetting, mm -hmm. but it's always best to give them a dip. And I think I'm going to put a little bit of the England's Pastures Green. Yeah. Oh, they're nice. Yeah. So they're absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Just beautiful. And I have actually got some already dry to show you mm. that I did at home. So I meant to say I'll probably need an extra table to put everything on that's drying. Um, also, what I want to do is show you some of these gorgeous borders. So is that let's bring this with in. The sprays? Just this, there. yes. I mean, look at that. There we go. <laughs> it just absolutely comes to oh, life. Oh, there you are. There you are. It's just stunning, these isn't it? These are just seriously good. They are seriously good. Mm. Um, so let me just do this background yeah, do. as well. You can tell it's busy because the phone keeps ringing up in yeah. the gallery. <laughs> um, I'm so, so grateful to you guys for um, supporting us because without you out there, we wouldn't be here. Oh. So thank you so very, very much. Um, you know, it's been tough for a lot of companies over the last 18 months, and we really, really do appreciate yeah. um, what you've done for us. Well, I think I, you give a lot back as well. I know you, you work very, very hard to ensure that everything you bring is sort of first rate and at a good price, too. Thank you. Right, so some of these borders are just gorgeous, and I'm just going to lay them across there. I mean, it goes off the edge, but that's okay. That doesn't matter. In fact, let's move these up a little bit when I've got a bit more room. So that one will go hit round about here. This is gorgeous, isn't it? This lovely curly one mm. is beautiful. So let's put that round about there. And then we've got we've got this really cool one here. And Oh yes, and then we've got this at the bottom. I love this one. This is giving you that sort of torn edge look. Just, those so we're getting four different, are different edge stamps. Four different borders. Four borders, yeah. Yeah. Oh, let me just turn that over. It helps if it's the right way around. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, I've put them all upside down. That's not going to work very well, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try that one. Right, so let's just stick all those down. And because they've come off um, the, the same sheets, they'll be the same depth, so you don't have to worry. Yeah. Okay, look at those. Aren't those gorgeous? You do design very good stamps, Kay. Oh, thank you. I'm very lucky because I love what I do, so um, it is marvellous to be in the craft industry, it really is, you know. Yeah. So I've missed a bit there, I think because I've got a really thick magnet here, I always seem to have trouble with some of the edges. Mm -hmm. So let's take that magnet off and try again. I was doing this once, I was demonstrating live and I had had it the wrong way round, oh. had it for rubber, <laughs> which is really, really funny. See, they're all stuck together now. Okay, I'll clean that up afterwards. And then I'm going to emboss this again. So the reason why I'm embossing it is we've got um, 
a very water-based ink here and because it's full of pigment this is a vivid and it, that's right and because it's full of pigment and it's full of mica um, it's going to cover up all the black lines mm. so you're creating a resist effectively that's right exactly so that's why I want to actually make sure now on mine it is very powerful yes <laughs> It's actually um, not really the domestic, well, it is the domestic use, but mm -hmm. it's a little bit, it's like using a sledgehammer to crack a nut, really. Quick for demos. <laughs> it is. So, again, you just can't resist these sprays. You're going to just love these. So, I just want the border because this is just a backing. Okay, so shake, spray, and splodge. Yeah. Remember? This is, I keep going for this Raindrops on Roses. It's just the most beautiful, beautiful red. And let's have some of that lovely peachy, apricotty colour, which is the sweetest summer peaches. And again, let's go. So the papers I'm using are not terribly absorbent because they're uh, super smooth. Mm. But they will take the inks really well. And these are the um, Pink Frog um, papers so you can see I've just done the border and I'm just going to leave that okay. and there isn't much play off the edges but what I've found is if you use um, clear copy of paper clean copy of paper I should say you can actually use the backgrounds as well yeah because those have been really lovely so just put that over there and I'm just going to bring in what they look like when they've been done okay. so you can spray it and you can then stamp over the top if you wish to. So this is the one that I've just done, and this oh, yeah. is... There we go. Oh, um, no, I mean, come on. And when the mica comes through, it's <laughs> like you've got a battery in it's, there. Uh, it's blinding, isn't it? Over. That <laughs> is ridiculous. And you've it been really is. Very generous with the pigments and the mica in the vivids. But it's worth it, isn't yeah, yeah. it? Isn't really it worth is. it just to get something so fantastic? What's the point in doing something if you're not going to do it well? Yeah. So, you can you tell know, that these were close to your heart. You've, you've been wanting to produce these for a long time, you've had the idea. I have, yes. Um, and it's been a long time in the making, you mm. know. And as I said, we, we went to see quite a few people, and they do great products, but it just wasn't what I wanted personally. So, what I've done here is I've actually taken the red one yeah. and I've cut out the poppy from it and I've taken the blue one and I've cut out the blue poppy mm -hmm. okay it don't look too closely because it's not that neat but I don't care okay. that's fine so you've actually got basically two cards out of this but I'm just going to demonstrate one of them so I'm going to take that red poppy in fact I've ended up with two here oh which one should I go for they're just they're just gorgeous let's go for this one mm. take out that blue poppy and then yeah, get nice. our grab and go. So yeah. this has been a huge hit as well. So People are really so I liking done a show this. With, you with the grab and go. So tell me a little no, bit about you it. haven't, have you? So again, um, I was teaching a class, and um, it was really a bit embarrassing because we were doing this um, lovely cabinet, and we were putting it all together. Um, you know, I'd had it specially made. I'd, I'd, um, yeah, it was just fantastic. But the glue that I provided them with was rubbish. Mm. And I had about four different makes on the table. And either it was too gloopy and it was hard to squeeze out because the bottle was too rigid. rigid um, and it was too fluid. So we had to sort of tape them together until mm. it grabbed. So it, it was just really embarrassing because everyone was struggling. And so I thought, right, that's it. I, I need to get some decent glue. So <clears throat> we went to our manufacturer um, and said, could, could you do this? It's got to be, mm -hmm. um, be in a soft bottle, um, which we use these bottles for flitter glue. Um, it's got to grab really, really quickly. So as you saw there, you just need to hold it for about three or four seconds. So wow. it's really easy, especially for people yeah. who are making flowers. That's brilliant. Mm -hmm. If you do put a really large blob on, mm -hmm. obviously it's going to take longer if you're holding down, you know, um, big, big awkward things. Um, that's going to take a while. 
Okay. So it's very good. Um, nice and popular. Then, You've got details. You're getting two bottles of your grab and go, uh, grab and glue, a go. Uh, let me try it again. <laughs> grab and go glue. Nine ninety nine is your. Price. I did that on purpose, <laughs> didn't I? I called it that on purpose, didn't so just trip just you to up. Trip us Sorry. Up. Work. Uh, four 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 <laughs> zero eight six. Your item number. So what I've also done is um, I've actually cut out some of the circles. In fact, where did I put those other two circles? Excuse me, I'll just lean over here. Okay. Um, cut out some extra little circles for, for this. And I did have some words, but I don't know where I've put those because, as I say, I changed my mind at the very last second. So I'm just going to put these on to foam pads and just highlight them by putting them on top mm. of these just to give it a little bit of extra interest so and the foam pads are quite thin so you know it's not giving a huge amount of height it's still going to go into a um, a normal sized letter I think the large letters now aren't they this this size oh no maybe not Okay, so that one needs a little bit of a trim. And I'll just get some words, which I thought I'd stamped, but probably haven't. I'll put them on later on. There we go. We'll just have that one there. And we just need one more. But it's such great fun using the sprays. And don't think that you're going to make a mess, because I'm one of the messiest... Um, crafters going mm. um, and my shirt's still clean <laughs> she says with the fingers crossed and everything crossed yeah. <laughs> okay so there we go uh, so let me give that a wiggle there we go so you can see it properly there oh no there, that, there we are I'll turn it I'll turn it round that's it so you can't see the colour until you actually tip it up with the camera, but look how that just, it's like, it, it, it does look like it's good. lit up, doesn't it? That gold and reds and oranges all layered up together. And the stamp that you used as part of the, it's one of the stamps found in the box kit, is so well designed. It's lovely, isn't it? And there's, there's as I say, there's hidden words of hope and thankful and kindness and mm. the words that we needed this year. You know. I love it. And that's just the tip of the iceberg of what you can be creating with the box kit. Put together the Vivids as well, which are immensely busy. Uh, so they sold out. They're back on extended delivery, and we will get to those. But let's focus on the one day special. So the one day special, the box kit. The amount that you are getting for 1996 is staggering. It really is. So the real heart of this release is the magazine. And within that magazine, you've got 71 inspirations from Kay and her design team. I mean, we're just seeing the front cover actually got that one here. If I just show you, that is just one. That's lovely, of the isn't it? That's I mean, beautiful showing you but here's the real key to this is you have the stamps you have the papers and obviously you've got the education on how to create these because nothing more frustrating than you see a beautiful say if we showed you this but if you didn't have the stamp or you didn't have the stencils and you were stuck no we've got everything so um that's just one of the 71 designs that you are getting but let's think about this so the magazine and we had a flick through at the start of the show is so good. As a, as a reader, crafter, you will enjoy and you'll go through that magazine and read it again and again and obviously learn the technique. So the magazine is great. 71 inspirations. Have a look at this stamp set. So Kay was just using one of the stamps. Now you're getting 20 in total here. An A4 stamp set. Have a look. at That's the stamp we were just using. But there's sentiments, there's words in there. There's, I love the little box frames coming in, but the doodle detail. Uh, so thank you for your kindness. And that kind of sums up Kay, because she's a very positive person and I think very uh, appreciative. That's the word I'm looking for. But then you've got your boxes with words hidden in there. So that, as a stamp set, is phenomenal. Then, we're not stopping there with the stamps. Over here, you've got the collector's edition stamps. So these are stamps that are highly coveted. A lot of Indigo Blue fan and fans are building up the collector's edition. You're getting all three sets. These are foam mounted, red rubber, and I have to say that Indigo Blue, they really do uh, offer you such 
gorgeous rubber. You can see it there and you will feel it. The quality of the rubber, I mean, that's saying something that you can actually see the quality of the rubber on your TV screen. So that's one of the designs. You know, I'll show you, this one's a really good one. This is another of the designs here. So it's a little bit this book belongs to. I mean, that's so good. It's lovely, isn't it? And who designed this, you're saying? Mike Deakin. Check him out, MikeDeakinArt.com. I think dot com. Yeah. But uh, he's on YouTube. He has hundreds of, of beautiful uh, journal. Um, he does loads nice. of education. He's a great guy. And then I'll just show you the final one in there. So you are getting the collector's edition.